threw me off. Hey, yeah, Peek, I see you. It's Peek walking around over there. I just got a bunch of red. Burping. All right, let's like go. Like hell. Hey. Uh, burping is a farting from your Guess mouth. Guess I'll intro it. Go. Welcome to the first ever community questions that will be answered by us. Ponderances and remarks. Hmm. Thank God for the really English language. I don't language. like that name at That's all. Really Joel, Joel use you. your smart intellect to tell us what a good name for this would be. Inquisitions. And... and Responsiveness. No, no. no. Oh, we need to be more aggressive. We need to, uh, the Shark Tank crowd. Ooh, We're what? calling it the interrogation. Yep, the oh. interrogation. Ooh. Oh. Fuck. Well, let's go to the first question. A it's, serious it's interrogation. Is that a question? Yeah, first I'm interrogation. sorry. No, it's, no, it's an interrogative. Here's oh our first God. interrogative from uh, Kovic Life. Uh -huh. In Adam's first Rooster Teeth website journal, he said Rooster Teeth and Machinima are oh so very different companies. What are some major differences between the two? Height. Well, we work at Rooster oh. Teeth now. That's true. It's Machinima very different. Uh, the, the serious answer that I was alluding to in that is that Rooster Teeth is very production focused. True. And I like that. Yes, and, uh, and Machinima was more, they were more partner focused. They mm -hmm. focused on their giant network, which made total sense to us. Yep. We understood. 100%. So they are, I'm just saying, it is like going to two different homes, completely mm -hmm. different. Um, but they have their both have their strengths and weaknesses. I just I lean more towards the production side of things. Mm -hmm. uh, plus, the Rooster Teeth has one dude over there, super hot. Mm. Just one though. I like one. I like him. You oh. guys can find out and figure out which one it is. You know who you are. Last man standing. Uh, go to the straw poll below <laughs> to oh cast your vote. You know for you who have you to, think the hottest. You have to make that right. You're what? producing this show, right? You're I, I'm just gonna make up a link. It's gonna oh, go no. nowhere. Oh, nowhere. Yeah, don't worry about it. Mm. Bit.ly.q. The answer is Barbara Dunkelman. The hottest dude in the office. Definitely a hot dude. Barbara's a hot dude. Six. So the big difference uh. though is height. Mostly height. Uh, I will say this: I did spend a day in Austin there. I spent the whole day there. Who's the hottest um, guy? Uh, well, I'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> Being at that office was kind of like prison, because once you go there, it's it, there's different groups, there's different production groups. You kind of have to like pick who you're gonna side with right Ooh. away. Chris Martin. But I was like, I saw. I, I was gonna say I saw the video. You became someone's bitch. Brief, basically, yeah. What? Wait, who's? I don't know. <laughs> Either way, uh, it was fun though. It was really different. We yeah, did you describe it? Right now. Either we, way, it was so on. much fun. Austin was but great. Going I love going Austin. there. I got to go to Austin. It was so week. great. They loved me there, and I did everything from fun. I Would said you it describe was a little, it as a fun house. It was a fun house. <laughs> Next question, rated G for gay. Would you still make references to old content or include it in your jokes? Explain that one. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Yes, I'm sure we'll make references to old content. However, Machinima owned all of the inside gaming content and all of the stuff we made, so we can't show any of it. But but we because we were, about we were employees there, like we, when we yeah. were making stuff for them, yeah, the everyone was there. That so made sense. Stuff. So we can't show any of it. We can't talk about them. So remember that one time, I am drunk. No, 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 no. hold on. We're, Wait, I'm curious. Mm -hmm. A legal question: Do they own Bruce's farts? Oh. The farts oh, that holy shit farts left behind. Stairs. So that means Bruce can't fart anymore. No, no that's absolutely. No. They don't own my asshole. <laughs> so yes, we will refer to them, but uh, but you know what? Funhouse is new. It's different. Uh, it's something that we're going to yeah, innovate. We're on. gonna have a whole new show where we answer people's questions from Reddit. It's Listen, the interrogation. You don't you don't go out to the store and buy a head of lettuce, and then you put the lettuce down on your counter and you just let it sit there and you go, I love lettuce. Eventually, it's gonna wilt. Next and question. Then, <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst uh, metaphor. LW034, are there plans for another drunk something? Lawrence is that drunk something. Two, one. Yeah. No, we... we like alcohol, so yeah, probably. <laughs> Ma Mario Party. Hey. We want to do oh, Mario yeah. Party. We want to do Evolve. Oh, this was a we want to do. Hearth, Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm. Yeah, Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm. Uh, oh, we play, Smite. Oh, Smite. We're playing Smite now. Yeah. yeah. A, a lot. Oh, nerds! Yeah, Let's well. move over to the fun questions. Uh, Arouse everyone. Dennis wants to know, you've had the Joel Hole and the Sontag spot, but what is our new office called? Go ahead. It's my responsibility? Well, now it's James, because he named the rooms. I named them. So, the red room, which I don't know if you can tell, but this is the color red. Yeah. Uh, this red room is called Hertzog. Oh, and the other blue room so is called the Uva Bowl. I like that. It's so dumb. Good thing we only have to I work like here for six time. weeks. That's so stupid. Yeah, what, I mean, like, at least we get to move. Yeah, I'm no, it's this, like German. This is the red room, that's the blue room. Easy. <laughs> but is that a I... subtle reference to the little known internet series hey. Red versus Blue? 
Joel. Holy shit, it is! Holy crap! Joel, hold on. I'm having some questions about uh, the names of these rooms. Can I talk to you in the Uva Bowl? We can call. Go Bruce. On. Go on. We can call this one Sarge and that one Church. I don't know where he wants me to go. I don't know what the Uva Bowl is. Where do you want? Are you in the Uva Bowl? Please? Which one is the Uva Bowl? Which one's the Uva Bowl? Is it the red room or the blue room? Use the chart that I made. <laughs> the Uva Bowl. <laughs> Hang on, uh, James needs me in the... Uh, oh, it's right there, Joel. Joel, it's right there. So, oh my god, he scared me! He scared me! Uh, Shady Trio 9, with the recent news about the possibility of Legend of Zelda series coming to Netflix, what video game would you like to see become a series on Netflix or TV and why? Mm. Lawrence? The Legend of Zelda! God no, damn it. No, no. <laughs> James, what do you think? What do you think? Um, Super Mario Brothers, starring Bob Hoskins. Yeah! And John oh wait, he's dead. And Jet Li! John Luke was almost dead? Yeah. <laughs> Not the pest. Wait, hold uh, on. There's gotta be a really good video game that means that. <gasps> the Last of Us. Uh, they, we've already seen The Last the of Us TV show. The Last of Us television I played it. What about, the, what about Assassin's Creed, which is a, obviously a good, but oh, yeah. it's like a rich mythology that they that, get into. That, that, that could be a, a different... Assassin's Creed could be a good TV show. Maybe it could hold be on. a good, musical. Good action segment. Uh, I think all I heard Lawrence say was Farva Garga Quest. Farva Garga Quest. <laughs> it's gonna be really good. You, you know what would actually be a really good TV show if it's on a video game? Call of Duty. Oh, man. Every week you get a new... No. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You guys ever hear that Telltale game, Walking Dead? Bruce wins. <laughs> They're gonna adapt The Walking Dead into a television show? Actually, the Game, of Thrones, the game of Thrones video game is really good. If they could adapt that story into yeah. live action, that'd be pretty cool. I would actually, yeah, like love to focus on just Where's one house. house. Just on the, the, the what are they called? The house Hardwood? Yeah. Nope. House Hardwood? Iron from ice! Yeah. Our trees are really strong and made None of, of them steel. Sound that way. None let's, of them have that accent. Jon Snow, lick him a tent. That's the one. So cool. Oh yeah, I want to clap. Let's <laughs> lick him a tent. Lick him a That's my favorite game. Jon Snow, yeah. come into my grotto and suck in my grotto. <laughs> <laughs> he said grotto. He said, he said come to my grotto and suck on my yeah, grotto. I thought you were uh, saying something about a grundle. Get out of the snow and come into my right, snow. Right, snow. Oh. Crow X01 wants to know, Jon Snow, you want to be licking my grotto, Jon Snow? <laughs> <laughs> no, will you guys be changing your sex habits for Funhouse? Sex, what what sex habits do we have? That means maybe we'll start having sex. Well, I heard that we would be masturbating less here. Uh, yeah, that's frowned upon ever since they installed the security <laughs> camera. There's, no, there's no windows here, though, so we can do whatever. I was already at my floor. I don't know if I can go any lower. Wait, you never masturbate? At all. Oh, no, I'm saying I was at my minute. He masturbated three oh, times oh, a day. Oh, His yeah. maximum is oh. probably around 10 to 12. That's good for you. Cleans it out. That's how you get prostate cancer. Yeah, Not pipes. jerking it. Yeah, exactly. You gotta jerk it or else you get... I, I like to turn into one of those tanuki, tanuki squirrels. Uh huh. Oh yeah! Because they're giant. <laughs> and I drag them around, but then I can also sometimes pull them out and fly, soar through the air. But you're gonna have to change that as a new member of Funhouse. Mm, yeah. Oh, so that was my old. That was your old sex idol. Jin Snow, let me suck on your tanuki balls. I have really, Sorry. really tiny testicles. Yeah. Like little peanuts. Mm -hmm. Little berries. Your butter is so good. Last Jedi Knight 7. Why did you join IGN? That is a great question. Hold on, wow. I have a lot of good answers. Naomi, Naomi Kyle, she works here. Yep. Uh -huh. And she's sure. really good at what she does. Yeah. Hey Naomi, how, how's that edit coming? It's really good! What room are you in, Naomi? The blue room! No. <laughs> <laughs> that joke went far. We also get, well, no, we get to work uh, with Craig Miller. No, uh, no, 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 no. He left? No, yeah, he, he left. Max Scoville? He left for uh, Destructoid. Max yeah. Scoville's there, who's also, he's really great. I love working with Max Scoville. He's very um, tall. And uh, Thomas GN, who makes up the GN of IGN. <laughs> Wait, who makes the I? Uh, it's independent. Yeah, independent. <laughs> Thomas GN. Is we don't work for IGN. We never yeah. work for IGN. How has this person made it to the first? <laughs> what is it? The interrogation. Yeah, the interrogation show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Yeah. How, how has someone made it? Got their question into the first one. <laughs> they don't even know. Uh, they followed us from Inside Gaming to Funhouse, and now they're asking about IGN. Why did? Never mind. Yeah. What, what, what question? Are we gonna? What are we gonna do at the end? We oh, I, what do we do at the end? Let's now. do something. Different. I don't know. Do um, different. how about this? Uh, how about we try theming each week, and we come up, we try Christmas. to have them, we try Whoa. to have them, we have them try to come up with a good theme for next week. Alright, oh, good? Next week? Okay. Oh, for like questions. Should we do that? Oh, sure, I see. Oh, right. Valentine's Day next yeah. week. Well, it's on Saturday, Saturday so Saturday. this week should have been Valentine's True. Day. True. Oops. So, make sure all your questions for this week, <laughs> the episode you're watching, are related to Valentine's Day, and then next week, 
Your question should be about different kinds Hold of on. zoos. Let's find out what, what, what holidays are on February. President's or, Day. February 7th. Ask us only patriotic questions. Ooh, I like that a lot. 24th. What's on February 24th? Holidays and observances. 24th? Ooh, uh, the, it's a Christian feast day. Ooh. Which day? The Feast of Saint? Uh, it's for the lions when they eat the Christians. Right. How do you pronounce that? Uh, Ethelbert of Kent. Ooh, Saint Ethelbert. Yes, yeah. I think I think Maybe Ethelbert was also a king. All right, so Ooh. ask us your questions about the, the Ethelbert Saint of king. Kent uh, for February 24th, and we will let you know. Yeah, what are you going to eat for oh, the Feast of Saint Ethelbert? For Christian Feast Day. It's We're National Artist Day in Thailand. Fuck the artist. It's Christian Feast Day. Ooh. So we're working on this part, but we'll get back to you. Happy to be back, everyone. It's good. We missed you Hope you, you guys. enjoyed the interrogation or whatever. <laughs> Never left. All right, we're done. Interrogation. <laughs> you didn't have to do a thing. I like that. You're a special boy. Be blurry. Um, Focus on me. Okay, ready to go? Yeah. Welcome back to another episode of the interrogation. Sure. No, Can, no, it's a no, dumb name. Need yeah, a new name. It's a dumb name. All right, well, what is it then? Uh, let's come up with a new name. I like the fan suggested name Open House. That came from Joan Soda. Joan like Soda. That. Joan Soda, Open House. Open, open House is pretty good. Yeah, His name is, is copywritten though, is that gonna be a problem? <laughs> Who is Joan Soda? Joan Soda? Yeah. Well no, but it was Joan Soda. Not Jones Soda. Correct. So let's call it Joan Soda. Joan new episode Soda. of Joan Soda. Joan Soda. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the first Joan Soda. I didn't get the questions. <laughs> First question this week comes from Tifer. So, we learn Adam has a fear of sharks. I personally have a fear of cows. What other fears do you guys have, things you really despise? I told you. I've answered this question before on another show that we cannot speak of. Uh, and I'm not afraid of anything. I no, told fearless. You yeah, I'm fearless. I don't have a fear. I'm not You're afraid like of babies. spiders. I'm not afraid of babies. No, no, but you're like a I'm baby. not afraid of James. Well, baby, wait, hold on. Babies are afraid of everything. No, babies are fearless. <laughs> what about the don't fear anything? What do you What do you do in the darkness? In the darkness? What do you do? I lay Everyone's there. Everyone's afraid the of the dark. I shout at the. Hold on. Don't you wake up every single night screaming because you think you're covered in bugs because you had a night terror? Uh, but I'm not afraid of them. Oh, oh, so, you're you're screaming them away. You're like ah, bugs. Well, I mean, look. Well, hold on. Would you ever? Would you want a bunch of bugs on you? Uh, it depends on the context. <laughs> What, what context would you want a bunch of bugs in? Uh, say, like, I'm at a massage parlor, and then they they say we have this new, like, East Indian practice where we hit you over the head with a shovel and then cover you in bugs and bury you in the sea. That's not called a massage. <laughs> Mo most of my fear uh, basically includes big open spaces where I can't see what's happening, so, you know, oh, being underwater. Yeah. Uh, and drowning in some way Some more water oh yeah basically kind of weird and I, I like the ocean the ocean's fun but like I, I went on vacation ours was actually my honeymoon and we stayed in one of those places where you could basically you live on the ocean it's one of those cool green, I forget what they're called but you could swim to your <laughs> hotel room it was pretty uh -huh. cool um I got about halfway from the beach to the hotel room I started flipping out uh -huh. There's a reef around yeah. the place. No shark could get in there ever. No, I know. But I still. But you were scared. It's like it's okay. So, Adam. And then Moral playing the story. But playing that game brought that fear oh, back. Yeah, that's right. Straight to the Moral show. of the story: mm -hmm. Adam fears marriage. <laughs> I'm very happy in my marriage. I'm the opposite of Adam. I'm afraid of tiny places. Oh, claustrophobic. Like, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, not necessarily claustrophobic. Mostly like spunky type stuff. Mm. Like when people go right. scuba diving yes. in the dark through tiny caves. No, thank you. There's that movie, The Descent. I think we've talked about this before, yeah. where they all go, they all go cave diving or whatever. The movie's and scarier they before they find the monsters. That's that's the thing. Yeah. The movie stopped being scary for me when the monsters show up because for me, I would welcome death. If I was there, I would say, hey, dear monster, please rip out my throat okay. and eat my insides because I don't want to just sit here in the dark and die. That makes sense. Yeah. So uh, you guys are all pussies. Feels well, like you're the one who's afraid of babies. <laughs> Next question from Danny Boy Kane. If two people in the Funhouse office were in a BDSM relationship, like Fifty Shades of Grey, who would be the dominant and who would be the submissive? Why does it have to just be two? Yeah, I thought there's there's seven of us in here. There's three Fifty Shades of Grey books, which would make 150 different shades of grey. Alright, so let's say Joel is the dominant one. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I guess that would make Let, sense. Let's say he's the dominant one. You would have to be the submissive one because you're so fearless. Absolutely. So this is how you get... I don't have a safe word either. Uh, I'm a people pleaser, so I'm like, I will suffer for others. Okay. So, so you're submissive? 
Yeah, but you know, I want to be on top for once. Well, they say all the power lies with the submissive person. What if you're on top? <laughs> okay, Adam, what if you're on top, okay. but <laughs> someone's having sex with you from below? Uh huh. Like butt oh, sex. Yeah. How so about? you are basically lying on your back. But you're getting railed ceiling. from the bottom. Yeah, but you're getting railed from the bottom. Is that okay? So I'm a. Hmm. Wait. So I'm just sitting on him? Somebody would no. pretend to be the bed, except their dick would be sticking up, and then Adam would just be laying so on the bed. You got it. The person below Adam is, is the dominant, even though he's below Adam. Yeah. So Adam's on top. Adam's a... He's a on different top. kind of power bottom. He's a pussy top. The, but the, Adam's a power top. The worst, oh, the worst part about this is that Spool has to Photoshop this now. Let him work. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Mike 45 week, if you could go back in time and be any highly influential person... Who would you be, and what would you change? I would be Lord Byron, um, and I wouldn't change anything. I, I just fuck everybody and drink all the time. Lord Byron, let me read the wiki, is... Yeah. Greatest pimp in all of time. Was an English poet and a leading figure in the Romantic movement. Among Byron's best-known works, the lengthy narrative poems Don Juan, and everything else that nobody's... Skip to his lifestyle. That's uh, Byron is regarded as one of who died one year later at age 36 from a fever contracted while in Missolonghi in Greece. Yeah! So what are you going to change? Uh, I would live to 500, so I would still be alive now. No, but you would have a bunch of VD and like, yeah, it'd be really bad. I'd have all of it. That's good. Uh, whatever. Who cares? If you if you get one, it cancels out the other. So as long as you keep getting more, just keep getting you, VD. You, yeah, you fight the symptoms, not AIDS, the disease. Gonorrhea, herpes, yeah. syphilis. Yeah, crap. You can get used to anything. To, to all all of our new viewers, we're very sarcastic. Don't do this. Don't get, go back. Are you, why are you talking to spool? Don't you're don't get all spool when you, when you say spool. Wear a condom. I can't do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Password is not atomic, writes, if tomorrow you woke up as the opposite gender, what would be the first thing you'd do? Bruce, go. This question was for you. First thing I'd do is I'd go like this. Oh, I'd do okay. this little thing All here. Right. Oh, I thought the second thing I'd do is I would take my fingers. Yeah. And I'd, I'd start here. Like All this. right. Yeah. Hold on. Is that the Star Wars thing? No, it's oh. E.T. I'd stop here for about 15 minutes again. Okay, yeah. Let's yeah. Right. Back and forth, nipple to nipple. All the way down. Yeah. Hold on, I'll take it. Okay, let's take it slow. Uh, I'm looking at belly button. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I'm touching myself right now, so it's kind of, it's hard. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because... That's not what I meant! <laughs> and then I go all the way. Yeah. Underneath. Oh, beyond? And then I just keep on going. I, I want to feel oh. my thighs, my legs, yeah, my yeah. shins. Feel your feet. My toes. Feet. Women have soft feet. They've always wondered about my soft toes. So yeah. soft toes is what I look at. Yeah. I'd get a job in a high power position because I don't believe in gender roles. Yeah, right. Good luck. Boom. Hashtag Gamergate. Suck it. I'd finally learn how to cook. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You guys are all sexist. Uh, your next question from Rated G for Gay. What do you think of VR headsets other than the Oculus Rift, especially highly accessible ones? Like Google Cardboard. Lawrence. Hey Lawrence, have you built yours yet? No, yes. It's <laughs> no, great. You have we have a lot of cardboard I have. in the room. I live with you. No, I made it. it. Oh boy, you guys don't even know how cool it is. Is it real cool? It's so cool, I can't even describe it. So, how did you build it, Lawrence? Uh, I got a lot of cardboard, I cut it along the specified lines that they wanted me to, and right. I- Found it! Put it yeah. on! Yeah! There. there it is! Alright, let's go back world. into the matrix. Ah. What does it look oh like? God. God, you guys! Does that work better than VR gear? I'm visiting the future. Serious time, though. I think, I think we all believe that Oculus Rift is basically the future of gaming, and that's where it's going, right? Do we? It is a pathway. I think- I, I think- I, I, I think don't, I don't think there's anywhere else like to go. Mobile gaming is. Yeah. There will so, be some people who are hardcore same, into it. It's the same thing because basically Oculus Rift is what? A cell phone that you put up to your face? Yeah. That's pretty much what it's becoming. So yeah. it's going to become one in the same device anyway? Where you just uh, pop your... There's going to be some glasses it, you put on. It's an, it's an input methodology that I don't know if, that everyone's going to subscribe to. I, I, I think don't think it's as open... That, I think it'll be cool. Yeah, it'll be cool. I, I think we thought motion control was going to be the future. I never thought that. Uh, well, I'm sorry. not The collective we. The, the, okay, the, right. The, the whole, whole human race. I'm the man myself. <laughs> Uh-huh. But regardless, it's gonna be a mix of that. Leap Motion, Oculus, that's gonna be the future, so the cheaper the better, but like, I'm, I'm waiting for the moment where the guy uses VR for so long that he forgets that he's in the real world, right. and he's like, I can jump off that building and kills himself. And a bunch of people are like, we gotta ban VR, and then it becomes more popular than ever. Remember Virtuosity? Yeah. That movie Virtuosity? I will not be shut down. Stoller Bear. 
as I'm sure you're familiar with the life of St. Ethelbert, King of Kent. Oh, I gotta Google Who would you cast in a movie about his life as St. Ethelbert? Hold on, let me Google him again. Uh, you don't need to look it up. Ask me anything about Ethelbert of Kent and I can tell you. Where was he born? Kent. Wrong. <laughs> uh, who did he marry? Uh, Come on, guess a weird name. Ethel. You're close, it's Bertha. Bertha. Bertha, oh. Um, uh, that old, it's pronounced Bertha, sweet. but in Old English, it's was, Ethel. Was her name be Bertha Berthelbert? <laughs> Bertha Ethelbert. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I always mix those up. Both, both names are dumb. It's fine. Wait. Russell Crowe is my answer. Bruhelga? I would uh, cast Russell Crowe as St. Ethelbert. From Virtuosity? Russell Crowe. The character from Virtuosity, uh -huh. played by Russell Crowe, would I have be some, cast in this movie about Ethelbert. I have some fantastic news. I believe this episode, it is, is airing on the <laughs> air... <laughs> you can't not sneeze while I deliver the most important line of interrogation or fun house or whatever. Open house. Open house. Open house. <laughs> he died on February 24th, 616. R.I.P. Happy birthday. R.I.P. Ethelbert. Who cares? What does his family crest look like? <laughs> Just is this a guy in a hat sneezing? It's pull <laughs> yes. oh, It's pull in mid sneeze. That's a very good question this week. As always, leave your questions on the link below. This week we're looking for Russell Crowe theme uh, questions. Yes, we are. Like yep. what, what movies he was in? Maybe. The Crow. <gasps> what if Russell Crowe started in a remake of The Crow? He already did. Yeah, yeah he already started it. Lawrence already said he started yeah. it. What? Yeah, yeah, it was called The Crow. And then he died. That and was he came him. Back. Yeah. Yeah. His name was originally Why Brandon Why do you think Lee? they named it that? Here's oh, a, a okay. bit of trivia a lot of people don't know. He was actually the only person on the planet whose last name was Crow. That's why it's called The Crow and not A Crow. But there's an E at the end, so it's The Crow. Well, they had to abstract it. Uh, otherwise, they'd have to pay more royalties. Just click stop. Well, I guess you can't say this isn't informative. Thank you for watching. <laughs> One, two, three. Well, I thought we were oh, gonna sink. You know, scream. you know, Barack means lightning really? in Hebrew. What so about Barack? Mean, the movie. Yeah, what does that mean? Joel. Let's go back. No, Barack Barack means welcome. The Sufi word for peace. Welcome yeah, to yeah. the show where we take your questions and we answer them with our words. Hey, hey, and that hey, show hey, is hey. called. Whoa, whoa, uh, hold on, hold on. I intro here. I intro the open house. Well, That's what we're calling it. it. What are we calling it now? Chronos. No, it should Chronos. be called the Russell Chronos show. He gets show. it. Krypton-115 sure. wants to know, if you could choose one Hollywood director to make a documentary of your life, who would it be and why? Joel? I mean, my life is directed by Wes Anderson already, I think. Mm. I don't know if that's this the most shirt. pretentious thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shirt. Yeah. That's, yeah. Who directs your life? I want to know. Well, first of all, uh, it has to be, I want a good du director of documentaries. Yep. Not, not all Hollywood directors can transition into documentaries, so I'm going, I'm going, uh. Oh. Uh? Yeah. Herzog. Yeah. Werner Herzog. That's the only answer, by the way. I don't get it. Freddie doesn't know. The name of this room is called Herzog. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. It is not. I was here it's last red. week, and that joke it's... still doesn't work. Hold on. Anyway, Werner Herzog is the only answer to this question. Yeah, I know. Look as this... he wakes what? every is morning. Is this French? He, and no, he's come, he is come. Yeah, you were That's doing it German. You do. You continue to narrate my life. He wakes please. every Adam morning. Hood. Facing Adam Hood. Adam Hood director. Adam. <laughs> unlimited Adam. chaos of sheer oblivion. See, that's real good. That's really good. That'd, That'd be my life. <laughs> every day. Would that be in your head or just out loud? Oh, you, you just hear it constantly. Yeah. yeah, he'd be walking behind me. You would probably shoot yourself in the face about three days into it because you'd be like, well, there's no point in living anymore. Great documentary, though. Yeah. What if he started exactly. suggesting things for you to do as your life is going on? Then he's a bad director. No, he's but that's what he does. No, no, but that's what so, he does. He writes, he yeah. collaborates with his subjects. His whole mm -hmm. thing is not just to do like, oh, I'm just going to sit here and shoot. He inserts himself in the movie. Yes, yeah. 100%. Adam, wrong. What? Freddie, what would y'all, who, director? Oh, I think uh, Freddie and our, oh, I think would, our lives would be co-directed by Morgan Spurlock. Ooh! <laughs> he would spend 30 days having sex with both of us. Oh, God. He's the one who does the narration for the Penguins movie, right? Mm-hmm. That was Morgan Freeman. That's the difference. <laughs> uh, 
Chillmaster 99, what were you Wait, guys' quick, what's what up? What year do you think Chillmaster 99 was born in, guys? Uh, 1899. 18, yeah, 18, yeah. He's a vampire. <laughs> oh, yeah, obviously. Our biggest vampire fan, <laughs> Chillmaster 99. He's like, I wrote this comment in steampunk. <laughs> <laughs> What are your guys' plans coming out of high school? Uh, as if, uh, basically, what did you want to do before gaming journalism? Do we do gaming journalism is, now? Is gaming no. journalists? No. no Welcome to gaming journalism, everybody. <laughs> I'm here on the scene of E3. Breaking there are news. people walking. It is crowded. I can barely get through without maybe I seeing a girl. Uh, coming out of high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do. That's why I went to college. I thought you want to be a lawyer. No. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to be an old southern lawyer yeah. wearing a white suit and go, Mr. Now, Judge, ladies and gentlemen of the I'd, jury, I'd respectfully like to object. I may just I, simply be a country boy, but. What if I was to conduct the rest of this <laughs> fun house in the style of a fat southern lawyer? I may just be a southern Jew growing up in Louisiana. <laughs> But I can see that this man's innocent. And you point to a carton of eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence, what were you going to be before game journalist? I was going to be a programmer. Then I was a programmer. And it sucked balls, so I changed jobs. Nice. James? I wanted to make movies. Whoa, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I, really missed, I missed the whole target. It's not even a matter of not getting a good score on the tossing of the pointy thing. It's a matter of throwing the thing and then it goes woo and then out there's a door and then, then the thing the point thing turns into a uh, an eagle and the eagle flies uh, into a glass wall yeah and it's dead same year growing up. oh man so um i actually took my exam to be an insurance broker Ooh, no um, a dream i sold insurance i was primerica selling insurance for a while count. i was part of primerica that that, that pyramid scheme door -to -door knife salesman if you're doing that no you just hit up all hey, the people Cutco at your church makes a fine quality product <laughs> Um, no, I was actually licensed to sell insurance for a while, and then I realized this what is kind a of insurance? life insurance. Insurance. Not Speaking insurance. of, uh, Freddie, have you thought about your future? <laughs> you sold life insurance? I did. It wasn't zero fun. sales. Yeah, you, wait, wait, uh, you know, you know who trusts, uh, who you should trust to, to buy life insurance know, yeah, from yeah. is an eighteen-year-old yeah. pimply-faced greasy <laughs> kid. I just Excuse me, Mister. You could lose everything in an instant. <laughs> Have you considered your long-term financial goals? Uh, <laughs> you're basically betting someone that you're going to die. You don't want to win. <laughs> well, what? No, well, first of all, real quick, people. they are. Yeah, Everyone Lawrence, will die. Lawrence, you're gonna die. I think probably of all of us in this room, Freddie, are you the only one doing what you wanted to do when you were coming out of high school? <laughs> Uh, oh, argue? I don't know. What well, you guys want to do? I mean, life insurance salesman clearly panned out for you. Didn't work out. Sorry. There's still time, Adam. No, we were. Do I, I wanted to do movie stuff because I made movies in high school, and this was like right when the this was like when the iMac was around, and like mini DV was a thing. So it's like you had the technology to do it. And that was like that was like right at the, the the beginning of that. Did you do it right out of high school though, or did you have a job before that? I did like odd stuff. Yeah. Oh, well, no, I went to college. Right. I went to college. What's that? Uh, yeah. It's the higher education thing you pay a lot of money for. Ooh, we talking about guy. high school? Yeah. No, after high school you just go to work. College uh, is a scam. Yeah. It's like life insurance. Yeah, yeah. That's what just my. Like life insurance. It's that's what Jesus' my... way of keeping you down. Project Polak asks, which video game characters would you choose as your personal bodyguard? Uh, I have an answer for this. But... It's, this is lightning round. Let's go quick. Let's go quick. Uh, I would choose Thrall uh, from World of Warcraft because he's a shaman, and if anything bad were to happen to me, he could protect me, but then he could resurrect me as well. Uh, King Hippo. He's only got one weakness and he protects it perfectly. I would pick Lara Croft from the new Tomb Raider, <laughs> and I would only have her protect me in the rain. Um, I would pick whatever Smite character John Reisinger was playing oh, as, yeah, yeah. because uh, you can't forever. fucking kill it. Robot Man. Yeah. What well, Mega Man's dog? Rush. Rush. Because yeah. a dog's also a hoverboard. Yeah. Yeah. Spring. And he's man's best friend. And it's a true. submarine? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, none Mega of Man's just, best friend. None of these things make a good bodyguard. Why? The, He's a robot dog! Yeah, some of Some of your, if you bees, you got a swarm of bees, and you gotta get away from it, and now you're underwater, you're fine. Hold on. I just need a big black guy. That's real quick. Oh, whoa. Is it a bodyguard's job to protect you from a swarm of bees? Is that like, if say the dogs don't know the difference? he hits a hive, do the bodyguards protect him from the bees? Well, that's why you need a bodyguard who's also, uh, who also runs an apiary. Alistar3900 asks, if you had to have one internal organ become an external one, which one would it be? This is intrinsically a very stupid, I'm sorry, it's a very stupid question. Your organs are inside you for very good reasons. But it really makes you think. <laughs> Technically, if you're a man, that already happens, because women have a genitalia packed That's up true. All That's true. And how horrible has it been for us? I was going mean, to say, maybe I'd get rid of my job. scrotum altogether. Oh, 
and it's just two balls. It's yeah, you know, it's just the balls on oh, the outside. God. Okay, just like a thing. What's, like connects, a like, what, what's stopping them from nothing? Torsioning tension, out. Tension. Torsioning out, man. What if you get them all like you know, like you get like a cable sometimes. All right, you get a mega boner, and your your veins are just like boop boop. Cake seven, if you could make up war cries for each of your fellow housemates, what would those war cries be? Mm. Okay. Um, you think you go first. You do so me. I have to do someone. No. I'll do Joel. Okay. And it'll be, protect my ankles! He has weak ankles. You have weak ankles. Joel, your team knows me very well. Uh, I would Dance choose time. Matt Peak, and mm -hmm. his would be... Um, to Xfinity and beyond. Ooh, Xfinity. <laughs> yeah. Is, that the, is that the car he has or something? What is that? No, it's the internet. Xfinity? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Xfinity. You don't, you're not on Xfinity? No. What's oh, Xfinity? Oh, get with I, it. They have got downtown, man. What? No. No. I have Time Warner Cable. No. <laughs> Uh, Freddy, would you like to- I have- I got one for COVID, I just- oh, yeah. This is gonna be hurtful. Okay. But it's- Sorry, can't go out tonight! Staying in tonight! Oh, yeah, he's gonna be a real war crime. Oh, <laughs> we hung out last night, you son of a bitch! Yeah, like, after like 18,000 times to get you out. That was a thing. That was a but how long did that take? Yeah, we're ske I'm scheduled to hang out with you again, like, in, what, 2032? I think at this mm. rate? Yeah, he's scheduled to Let me- hold on, let me check. Buy a bottle of wine now and drink it then. <laughs> <laughs> Not looking good. No. Uh, who do, so I get to do Lawrence's war cry? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Final question goes, kittens are evil. Uh, what the hell happened to Lawrence in this gift from the Let's Play Live? Right, so we're gonna play the gift. Should we? Oh, I'm play. Okay, we're gonna play the gift. All right. Right up yeah. through here. Can you feel it, Cole? Can you feel it? Him up. Let's go. Yeah. Lawrence, what happened there? Nothing. I just tripped. Come on, <laughs> guys! Like, tell the truth. What? You I see, got you see up. Jeff eat in the background. You fall for some reason. Did a ghost hit you? What is that? No, I'm just I'm a clumsy person. I don't know what to say. Like, uh, that is not clumsy. Look, I'm gonna try to walk across the room, and nothing bad. Is gonna Let's go! yeah! There's a lot of expensive equipment in here. We used to have an office. <laughs> it's fine. And you're getting sick. Ah, don't call me. Getting? Getting? Why did I knock over? For those of you wondering, Lawrence is in fact the Melissa McCarthy of Funhouse. <laughs> uh, that's it for your questions this week. All your Russell Crowe questions were not very good, so instead we brought in an Asian man. Yep. So next week, ask You're us, welcome for being here. Ask us questions about Asian culture, Ooh. Asian people, Asian oh. food. It's purely Asian. Yeah. Purely in Asian. In honor of Chinese New Year. <laughs> It's the year uh, of the goat ram, I, I We're hear. not sure if Freddy can come back for that one, so everything we say probably will be racist. Yeah. Disavow any knowledge of... Yeah. You guys want to come to fight? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> just like the ancient Koreans. Joel's hair just looks big in general. You look like Jean Ralphio. <laughs> really? You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've not I mean, heard that. In that is crazy hair. I know, I know I you're never. being sarcastic. It's like no one's ever told me I look like Gregory House, but... I'm just saying, your hair looks like Jean Ralphio. Yeah, look your like hair looks like Jean Ralphio. Oh, Hugh, Hugh Laurie, come on. Welcome back to another week of questions on this week's episode of Open House. Were they all Asian questions? Like I demanded? Uh, there were. That's why there were so many Asian questions. You in didn't it. watch the show. Oh, yeah. Wait, you didn't watch last week's show. No, I watched the show. It yeah. was really good. I remember you? that Asian thing, and I was like, <laughs> Bruce, what's your favorite YouTube channel? Uh, YouTube.com/slash Rooster Tooth. Our first question is from Cosmonaut Koala. Uh, if you had to ruin one film or video game franchise, how would you do it and to what game or movie? Wouldn't it be hard. All right. Go ahead, Adam. What? Oh, I'd ruin Half Life. Uh, put in kill streaks. It's a very linear oh. gameplay. <laughs> you basically just, yeah, you go down a hallway, you kill four dudes, the game's two hours long, we're calling it a day. All okay. Right. Mm, okay. Perfect. Uh, James? I'd ruin The Last of Us. How? I'd turn it into a fun game. Ba 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 da boom. Eight. Uh, Joel? I would ruin Indiana Jones by making a uh, 20 year later sequel and having Indiana Jones be an old man with a son where he looks for aliens and fights monkeys and ants. Joel, Whatever. I just want to point out to you that if you really want to ruin it, they shouldn't fight the monkeys, they should team up with the monkeys. Oh, yeah. No, that would be awesome! Hold on. I like James's idea. I have an even better joke. I would ruin Psychonauts by releasing Psychonauts 2. And it would live up to all the hype! Hey! Uh, your second question this week comes from X Vam I don't even know what that is. X Vim Vive. Yeah, X Vim Vex. I 
Mm. You know, uh, on. what is one thing you want to do but can't do to having limited office space? Edit orgies are an acceptable answer. Mm. You can have orgies in a small space. I don't yeah. know what his problem is. It's actually is. better. All right, so yeah. then it's just bodies. Yeah, you just kind of lean lot. forward and you're inside of something. I get a lot of feedback about how we should answer these questions seriously. So I'll answer these questions seriously. Go ahead. I would put a, a, a set over in another room and have a green screen. What we could do mm. is walk up to the set. Mm -hmm. And stand in front of the green screen and read the video game news. You want a green screen in the background? That's what I would do. We have what a blue, would you put in the green wall. screen? Wait, is this is this your answer to the first question? How to ruin a film or video franchise? Oh! This is why I don't answer questions I seriously because they're boring. Wait, you would no, do no, that? No, no, no. That's not. A, this is Wait, actually a kind no. of good question. I wish that we had a space with like a couch so when we did a podcast or something. Yeah. Boring. Like a more would, casual thing. I want to talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. Uh, I will say there's really we nowhere. We have a couch. There's there's no really. Yeah, I, I like I like your idea. Like we went it's to the Austin studio. They have, they have bunk beds. They have bunk beds. Well, no, beds. they're loft beds. Not funny. It's, uh, okay, yeah, they have loft beds. But at least they have somewhere to Boring. sleep. Yeah. I want Next question from Q Saws. Are you guys going to start live streaming again? The answer is maybe. No, Probably. I have an answer for you. I finally oh. got an answer. Oh, oh okay. Uh, yeah. This is another serious answer. Oh. Yes, we well, are well, going to start live streaming yeah. due to the request of our CEO. Oh. I told him, I told him we used to live stream, and he was like, "Well, yeah, you guys should be live streaming." Wow. So when did you, you tell go. me that? I didn't tell anybody that. No, when did you tell oh. me that? I didn't tell anybody. I'm that. the CEO. Is the point, Bruce? Oh, oh he's making a joke. Go back. Go back to the footage. Hold on. When did Joel come up with that? And he's right there. Like, that was the point. There's the light bulb. Light bulb Indiana light bulb Jones goes and the Crystal Skull. But I'll do it in my own style. Oh, Joel, I'm sorry, buddy. It's a rough cue. Oh, wait, we should let people know that we used to stream at 3 p.m. Wait, we didn't stream before. This is the first channel we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> now Zoom. we generally play games at like 10 a.m. <laughs> so UK should be happy about that. Um, also, we're going to do it whenever the fuck we want. Yeah, fuck I off. Guess, I, guess, I guess the question comes down to, is it going to be on Rizzer Are we going to have a fun house? We, ha we do have a fun house Twitch. we got to talk to Gus. Yeah. Gus is going to actually help us out. we just got to kind of figure out what the, the strategy is. But I would love to start live streaming again. I mean, Spool does it fucking for fun. I know. Yeah. What a douche. Oh God, Weird. Did you hear Adam? I would love to start live streaming again every single time he goes yeah dude uh, fucking live stream fucking, hell. Fucking, <laughs> fucking live stream if we were if we weren't live streaming it would be an issue we get so much more work we do done. we get uh, everything done <laughs> I, I liked being on a schedule where we were forced to make videos every day, pretty much. Adam said that a lot. Yeah, I like yeah. that we were getting more videos you done. You can put yourself on yeah. a schedule I, where you're recording every day at the same yeah, time. Not, not really. Live stream. Yeah. This yeah. question's yeah. tearing us apart. Either way. <laughs> I was going to say, yes, we are on a live stream again. Right. So, yeah, it's coming up. It complicates the shit out of our capturing setup. It really does. That's does. really the only problem. Boy, right. boy. But okay, we're willing okay. to suffer for you guys. For you, Montezum. Go ahead, next question. <laughs> uh, yeah. And the CEO, yes. Montezum, who actually got a question in this damn show. <laughs> Back when you worked at that other company, you uh -huh. were very upfront about not getting paid based on the number of views of your videos, uh -huh. but that you still had to make some unpopular choices involving um, them. Uh, we'll like make... using eye-catching thumbnails and unusually worded titles because uh -huh. the channel needed to have a decent number of views to right. be profitable. Uh -huh. Is that still the case, or do you prefer to plead the fifth? Is this question too long? Uh, I'll answer the last question first. Okay. Yes, yeah. the question was Definitely. much too long. That's why you're not normally in the show, Montezu. Uh Here's the deal. It wasn't an unpopular choice to title them and thumbnail them. That was something we wanted to do because we would like people to watch our content. Yep. That's the reason we do it, because we want people to watch our content, and as many people as possible. So yeah. if we were doing other things that made it so that people wouldn't watch our content, why would we do that? Why would, I would just be producing a show for myself. Why well, just go sit well, at home and read the news in front of nothing and be like, that was a good show, Bruce. Well, and Thanks, also, Bruce. And then to, jerk off a lot. To expound that, it's not like there's some dictum that you have to get views. You just have, like, that's your job. You're, you're running a show. You want to get yeah. as many people to watch it as Plus, possible, you're right? Ma you're making right? a show. I mean, right? You're making right? Up as, Am I right? As, well, as, I mean, here's, a, here's another thing. Uh, I mean, it seems unpopular in the community. But we're all YouTube certified. Like we <laughs> took courses. He's right. We are. No, like it's we not a joke. Certified. We had to it's take courses and a certified. test. <laughs> yeah. Um, to be certified for YouTube, and part of that is how to set up your thumbnails, how to set up your titles, and how to set up the whole the whole package so that yeah. way it gets as many eyes on it as possible. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, the problem is with YouTube, not with us. YouTube is a competitive yeah, space where is. anyone can upload anything. Mm. And I've said this before. I would love just upload a blank image. 
page or just a screenshot and just put video one, video two. <laughs> and if it got a billion views, fantastic. Yeah. We wouldn't have to do any work. I, I, Unfortunately, you're fighting with 72 million other people to get eyeballs. But we want new viewers. Yeah, we yeah. want, we we want, want people who don't know Rooster Teeth to come want to watch these videos. And how do you get them in? By by baiting and switching them. All right, so here's, <laughs> here's the deal. Joel and I just came up with a new show. Oh, <laughs> guys, oh, jeez. By <laughs> promising something and not delivering. <laughs> exactly, Jim. By lying to so your audience. I, Thank you. I've, I've discovered a trend on YouTube yeah. that there are a lot of asses on thumbnails. No. Nope. Well, so, there are not a lot I don't want to do asses. So, I have decided to put out our first ass thumbnail. God damn no, it. Don't no. make this the thumbnail. Oh, please. Adam, you have the power to control this. Don't look, guys. Don't make this the thumbnail. Everybody look away. You're gonna make the thumbnail. Look don't away. make this the uh, thumbnail. Look this away. better not oh, God, the God, it's a dark hole. Have... Next question, Joel. Just Shades wants to know if Funhouse was given the responsibility to direct a red versus blue episode or episodes. Ooh. What would the plot be about? And if each of you had your own character, what would they be like? Wow, that's a lot to, to mm, let's answer. Think, I assume Adam would have. I, 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 I don't. Know. I mean, I think it would be a spin-off series, but we'd be like a group of rejected Spartans. Ooh. Uh, we're essentially blue. No, I, I would actually, I would want to be Crash Bandicoot. I, I uh, want my you, player model to be Crash uh, Red versus Coot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go through other Microsoft-owned franchises that would be characters in. So I think we'd all be Battletoads. Battletoads. Oh, yeah. that's right. <laughs> uh, Crackdown versus Toad. <laughs> Crackdown versus Toad. <laughs> uh, we'd, we'd be Blinks the Time Sweeper. Ooh, they, they Ooh I'd be Solitaire <laughs> versus... Uh, uh, <laughs> be oh, Solitaire. <laughs> the world owns Solitaire, Joel. Oh, cool. To answer your question, we'd ruin it. <laughs> The final question goes to notes. Hey, Bear, uh, if you could swap genitalia with anyone in the world, who would you choose and why? Oh, is it is it permanent or is it uh, just like permanent. one day? Permanent. permanent. Because your first thought is, do you swap for a vagina? Because I would swap with Clyde the Glide Drexler. Ooh, the Drex. <laughs> what are you? He's a basketball player. <laughs> yep. What are you talking about? He's the Glide Adam, for a good reason. Adam, who would you? Um, because <laughs> it's slick. It's gonna like be one of two. There's that one guy who got his dick chopped off by Lorraine Bobbitt, or whatever. John Bobbitt. John Bobbitt. John Bonet yeah. Bobbitt. John Bonet. <laughs> I want to know kind of just, I just want to know what that feels like. Mm -hmm. Should I have your dick cut off and then reattach? James, what about you? Um, Are you looking it up right now? Is that yeah, what you're doing? Yeah, I'm trying to look it up. World's biggest cocks. <laughs> okay. I would uh, swap genitalia with Michael Fassbender. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's right. Good. Apparently, he has a giant Because thing. I know it's good. I know it's good to yeah. go. Uh, here's the thing I would swap with this guy. He was a friend of mine. <laughs> and I saw his dick on a soccer field. Uh, with a bunch of other people there. Wait, wait, there were a bunch of other people there. It wasn't just Where me. can I rent this film? Hold on a minute. It wasn't a film. This is a real right. life. And we all circled around him because I was like, what is going on with that circle? It was after a soccer game. It was a pretty sweaty game. And uh, we all circle around him. I'm not going to say his name because he might be watching. And uh, he showed off his giant boner. It was like 10 inches long. And it was in real. I saw it in real life and I was like, wait, damn. did you measure I, it? I want that. Well, I mean, I didn't measure it. You can it. assume. You do this. He did about yeah. two I, it was two lengths, two hand lengths, and I was like, motherfucker, that's huge. And that man's name was John Lorraine Bobbitt. <laughs> no. John Rene <laughs> Ramsey Bobbitt. <laughs> no. Anyways, that's So all. we're all general I want a, I want a big we, giant dick. We'd all just trade for bigger dicks, yeah, right? Yeah, pretty much. Right. All right, so this is this is not a QA question, but we were talking about this uh, inside the other office just a minute ago, and again, you cut Oh, this. that's right, yeah. You all right, so there are all these 13 and 14 and 15-year-old vloggers who are like, like hot shit and super popular. Uh -huh. Do you think that they're getting laid constantly by their left hand? Um, Ooh, I hope so. No, I'm just saying you don't. Have I time. think I think that these kids who are like popular and they go to big con, they get chased by girls. I think I think that they are fucking. I don't. Here's my theory. I think kids like that probably come from being somewhat antisocial, right? That's why they're recording videos alone in their bedroom. And then I, I think what they do is they find a what they deem to be super hot girlfriend, Ooh. and then they they have sex with that super hot girlfriend a lot, mm. but they don't necessarily they, they don't have the they can't bring themselves out of the shell enough to just like go like what's up babe and then fuck her. It's not like a Justin Bieber but thing. But no, no, these aren't like kids who like have a YouTube channel with two hundred. These are people who have like millions of I know. followers. And I know. you think that they're shy like weirdos? I think they. I think but that they probably are shy they're all weirdos. Like styled up and they got tight fitting clothes. No, I know they can afford all that, but they can pay. They can pay for someone to make them look cool. Joel but you can't pay to fight that voice in your head that right, says so every our, woman hates. Our you. question for you is: Do you think these thirteen and fourteen and fifteen year old <laughs> vloggers? are getting nailed no. all the time. I think they are. That's up for all your questions this week. Uh, we would leave you with a question, but Joel's really interested in teenagers having sex for some reason, so we're gonna just leave you with that. Uh, and we didn't answer any I'm of the Asian jealous. questions, so. 18, 19, these are all teen years. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bye-bye. Bye, guys.
Welcome back to another week of questions here on the show we like to call Open House. House. How? No, 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 that's not what it's called. What is it called? It's called um, uh, Crabtree Hill. Uh, first, people are going to be asking why I'm sitting in Spool's chair with the red background. Nobody cares. Wow. I, don't I don't think we answer it. I don't do it. No it's, one cares. It's not, formation. All right. No we just try different formations now. All right. Let's just Every week we say we waste on. too much time I'm recording just move shit. on to the next question. And then, and then, and then we, all right, every the first other question week, this week, we're like, oh, we're going to bullshit around for another 10 minutes before the show actually starts. This comes from... First question, this comes from Hi Frey, Hi Frey, 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 Frey. <laughs> anyway, the question is, we assume you guys don't have real time to become pros at any game. That's very true. Eternal noobs. But if you could take some real time off, what game would you choose to master? Joel? Just say League of Legends. Ah. Say League of Legends, say Heroes of the Storm. I'm playing Heroes of the Storm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what I would, I would James? Uh, I think Killer Instinct. Mm. I still watch a lot of Killer Instinct gameplays, and when you watch really, really high-level Killer Instinct, it's like awesome. It's really cool. So oh, Killer sorry. Instinct is um, not awesome. My my answer should be Halo. I was gonna say one thing we've forgotten. Adam Kovic's a, a pretty close to a Halo pro. Yeah. I, yeah, I yeah. never I never stopped getting good at it. I'm That's just right. naturally good at it. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna dedicate my life to Counter Strike Source. Source? You mean Counter Strike Go? No, the Source. Hell is that? He's going back to the beginning. Beginning. Bruce. I was gonna say Counter Strike Go. Because that's the game that people are playing mm -hmm. right no, now. No, it's definitely not. Adam. Some people, like five people are playing. Counter-Strike Go. Go? What does Go mean? You are supposed to be editing right now, school. Yeah. The whole reason that he's at your computer is for mystery's sake, but also so you can edit. <laughs> it's a <Here>. mystery. <laughs> all right, I'll answer the question okay. as well. All right. If I had all the time in the world, I'd play Smite. Because I already do it every night when I go home why and I stream. Also, I play Team Fortress. Spool. Why does Spool sound like John Lennon? That's Spool, how come you don't have a girlfriend? Uh, because I'm too busy playing video games. <laughs> Next question from Niall8100. If you could become the voice for any video game character, who would you choose and why? Mm. Mm. Uh, We're all looking at James. Uh, you go, James could do it. We're all looking at James. I mean, I... I mean, if there was ever a Psychonauts sequel, oh my I would love to be a voice Just in pick Psychonauts. Just video game character that people know and yeah. care about. All right, Rasputin from Psychonauts 2. <laughs> oh, Fucker. good. Uh, I think, it, I, once again, I think Halo needs a refresh. Master Chief? I should Master be, Chef? I should be the new Master Chief. Oh! So feed me, okay, so feed, let's, do, let's do some lines. Right, uh, so you're Cortana, okay. and you're telling me what to do. Uh, Master Chief, you gotta shoot the Covenant! We sure do! Oh. Just really like, sorry, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Dude, give it to me again, I'll do the voice. Oh, uh, Master Chief, look out, the flood is attacking! Do it! <laughs> James, go ahead. Wait, you have to feed me a line. No. Oh. Okay, I, well, I feed you a line as yeah. Cortana? Yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, Cortana says, Master Chief, you gotta bang me really hard. Dear Tim Schafer, please make Psychonauts 2. Again? This is my last no, chance to try and get your attention. To Adam a please line. watch this video. This is not make your platform. Psychonauts 2, James. call me. I'll do any voice. All right, now, I'll, do, I'll just do the sound of a toilet flushing. I put, don't care. Put this on uh, a thumb drive. Uh -huh. uh, put it in a self addressed stamped <laughs> envelope. Okay. Send it to uh -huh. Tim Schafer, yeah. care of yeah. Tim double Schafer fine. Kickstarter okay. starter Double Fine Industries. Okay. Okay. THQ. Slash THQ. Okay. With uh, a note that says, Dear Tim. I already sealed the envelope. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I made a huge mistake. I, I wonder who Joel would be. Oh, I would nice. be Laura Croft. Ooh, oh, that's a good one. Wait, with a British accent? Yeah, welcome to Laura Croft. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. We gotta do the lines. Do the lines. Bruce, feed him the lines. That's Cortana. Who am I? Oh, that's Cortana? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, look out, Master Chief. Oh, it's a skull coming down. It's a live skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get to finish the, the line. Thing is, I, I, I now officially have a video game crush on Lara Croft, and this only makes it better. Oh, like, well. Okay. I like it. Nice. Uh, Gagarkian uh, asks. It's his turn. It's James's. Uh, I, I, I was going to let you go. We're going in alphabetical order. Hey, James the gun. Uh, Gagarkian. Do your parents watch your videos? What's their opinion on your job, smiley face? I think we they all watch a lot of our videos, right? We've we yeah. confirmed that more or less. Not all my mom is Naruto on YouTube, actually. Naruto? Naruto. Oh, wow. uh, my mom actually told me she just, she doesn't, she didn't tell me what her Twitter account is, but she told me that she is following me on Twitter and she will email me responses to tweets that I have written because she doesn't want to do it publicly. Oh, that's really nice. It's very her. sweet of her. She's trying not to embarrass you. Um, the hard thing is though, sometimes I don't know what she's replying to. Oh right, yeah. So it's they, just, they think back. It's just it's another just, email that says you're making an ass out of yourself, Adam. You're pretty much that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's another level of disappointment. A few weeks ago, um, uh, I was talking to my parents on the phone and I said I'm sick, 
and they said, yeah, we could tell you were getting sick because halfway through the last podcast, you got up and left the room and never came back. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> was that the one where I was being really mean to you? No, that was, that was okay. last week. That was last week. And also okay. open house last week. No, this yeah. was like three weeks ago. Because apparently when, we hate each other. And we were all sick. Wait, you guys stop hating each other? Lose, yeah, please yeah. stop no, hating can see each that. other. We can't see that on the camera. They're punching each other. They're punching each other. Wow. Anyways, James, did you remember that one? Uh, they've seen selects. Uh, they'll oh, if we go somewhere and we do a panel and it's live streamed, they'll watch that. Fairweather fans. Um, Fairweather fans. That. That's what and, we call and them. And I got I got during the Rooster Teeth panel at PAX East. I got a text message during the panel from my dad that said, "Why do you have to use such foul language?" <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's so that's one of the things. Oh. So my mom, and your dad's dad, a true Southern gentleman. My mom and dad have from New York. They haven't brought what? that up to me. <laughs> but my, when your I your dad's up, a pastor. When I when I grew up, uh, they never cursed. Absolutely ever. I think I heard my mom curse once. In 23 years of, of living in their house, uh, but they haven't brought that up to me yet. Uh oh! And my dad just told me the other day he loved the videos. He said, "Watch!" I watched the gameplays for the first time. You watch our gameplays. Uh oh! Come on, dad! And he was he said he was crying. He was laughing so hard. And I was thinking wow. back. I was like, I think I cursed in that video. I'm not sure when I cursed. <laughs> what do you uh -oh. think? You might be watching That's a, a given. Uh -oh. So oh, I think I'm in trouble now. All right. Your butt uh, so I think it's oh, yeah, a, my butt. I think we should tone it down a little bit. Okay. I think we we PG the fuck out of this show. You just said fuck. And I think we need to put two versions, the censored and uncensored. That's a good idea. Spool. That's a good idea. Go back so, to editing. So we're gonna show you the censored version right now. Uh huh. Welcome to the Spool Show, where I talk about things I like, uh -huh. like Team Fortress, and I'm not high. Can you talk about girls? I don't really want to talk about girls right now. <laughs> And now we're back to the regular. Oh, sorry. Uh, level 51 Gaming asked, do you guys think that you'll do more drunk videos or just stick to your normal hilarious videos? They, is he saying that our drunk videos aren't hilarious? Oh. I think he's saying that they are more hilarious. Oh. But yes, we will be doing more drunk gameplays. We just the talked about this today. Yeah. Is blood alcohol level born? Yeah, well, or drunk born or just, blood know. drunk or Whoa. something. Uh, like we that. thought it was uh, it was fitting because our very first drunk video I think before was Dark Souls, was, yes. yeah. and this is being a spiritual successor, and this being the spiritual successor, <laughs> Funhouse. Uh, it makes sense. Let's do it. We were gonna do Hotline Miami. Didn't really seem fitting. Bloodborne. It's gonna be bad. The, it's game, be the bad. game comes out what March twenty fourth, right? It's soon. So it's soon. It's like Are we gonna be in this office or the new office? Uh, we'll be in this office. In this office. Um, okay. I had one suggestion. Okay. Uh, I want to get Adam Ellison because oh, he's be a Bloodborne yes, fan. That'd be great. He's a Dark Souls fan, and he will have to drink so much alcohol because I'm so bad at the game. Oh, I right. was gonna say, uh, yeah, you're not gonna let him play, right? Fuck no. Okay. Sorry, PG version. Uh, F no. F no. There you go. That's right. much better. So Bloodborne's coming up, uh, maybe the twenty, the week of the twenty fourth, hopefully. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get drunk. Ouch. Cool. Are good, you ready? Good question. Are you gonna participate? Yeah. Oh, Joel's he, participating. He does shots of champagne you do it? though. Oh, or, nice. Or cognac. Hey, yeah. he's out, ladies. Uh, what, what do you What do you drink, Joel? When I'm, I drink bourbon. When you're taking hardcore shots, shots to a video game. Absent the cult. Ooh, well, that's shit. a good idea. He's like, I need to melt a sugar cube into this. <laughs> Hold have please. Have a Picasso sculpture. Yeah. That I drink uh, out. Of. Ooh. Nice. Uh, do we still have those little shot glasses? No. We said, oh, we gotta get new ones. New little shot glasses. Oh man. And we need, we need to make sure they're small too. Uh, next question, Mikachubu, uh, did Gabor ever call you guys back? What did Gabor say? Yes, he did. Yep. Good morning, James. My name is Gabor. I'm calling from Kimmelsoft. I got your voicemail. Uh, there's not a lot I understand how you guys would hold a seat about 15 years later or so. So I'm curious to know if you could call me back. My cell number is... Thank you. Bye. <laughs> so seed never came out. Oh. No, it never came out. It got canceled. It was just the seed of a game. It never grew into an acorn. He said, it grew into uh, a tree. He was like, some assholes played it on some show. The publisher backed out, and it's uh, it got canceled we last week. Gabor's we life. went back in time. Back in time. And ruined Gabor's, maybe our video, somehow get transported through time to 1998. Wow. And then the publisher sees it, and they say, we're not doing it. Oh. I got an idea. We'll make a movie. We'll call it Back to the Gabor. Gabor back. Gabor back to the <laughs> doesn't matter. Back to the Gabor and back. Regardless, I don't know what he's I don't know what he's developing. He's still a developer though, so that's cool. Human yes. soft he's exists. Web well, software, first of all, sure. he has the same phone number he had in, in 1998. 1998. Good for Gabor. Impressive. Right, it's Gabor. Gabor. Right? What if Gabor goes on to develop Psychonauts 2? Starring Lawrence Sontag. Why haven't you already got my number? Starring Lawrence Sontag right? as the voice of Rasputin, right, buddy? <gasps> Oh, nice. That was good. Wow. That was a good That's voice. That's Sounds stupid. Really he won't sound that way. He'll be older in the sequel. Next question. I don't care. From Marissa. Marissa Lurie. 
my question is for Joel. Why are you so concerned about minors fucking? Ooh. I don't know if concern is the right word. I'm not, yeah. I'm Intrigued? Interested. Interesting. Yeah, right. intrigued. Yeah. Um, allured? It's, scholarly? I think it's, I mean, pretty, I was, I'm jealous. Because I was not fucking as a minor. I thought uh, you were. I thought you lost your virginity no, 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 no. in Australia when you were like 13 or something. I want to live vicariously through all of the 14-year-old vloggers that are out there that have a better oh, life than I ever right. will. I forgot Since about this whole thing. You, yeah. You're as an older man, though. You know that I'm, a better... I'm the second oldest man in this room right now. You know that a life of pleasure, a life of sex, does not lead to a life of happiness. But you're older than me. I know. I know. Am I? I'm just yeah, you're 34. No, I'm not. When you're, you're wait, uh, hold on, September. wait. I thought both of you were over 40. Neither of you were over 40? <laughs> uh, no, anyway, lesson learned. Don't have sex with minors unless you're 50 or whatever. Like no, that. I didn't learn any yeah. lessons. That's hold the problem. On. No one told us what's Having sex with hot chicks, right? How old are they? <laughs> you go, nice work, Dad. And he goes, and then your hands stick together. Oh, Here's no. Uh, that's for your questions this week. Uh, we're gonna leave you with this question uh, next week for you guys. Do you think that if Joel, if he ever became a father, would try to sleep with his son's kids because he's a weirdo? My son's kids? Yeah, your son's like. Let's say so my grandkids? Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Your son's your son's, girlfriend. your son's lovers. Yeah, your son's lovers. <laughs> <laughs> or your grandkids? I don't know. Would, fucking... you, would, would you sleep with them? Do you want to answer now or next week? I'll no. answer now. No, no, no. no. Wait. Oh, actually, yeah. Wait. Hold. The the audience will answer for I us. I have an answer. Mm -hmm. Don't answer. But I'll wait for next week. Right, Write it in an envelope. Uh -huh. And see if it's the answer that Put I that give. envelope in another envelope. And then we'll read off And I'll send it to Tim Schaefer. Yeah. Care of? THQ. Cortana. Cortana. At? 123 Fake Street. Oh, it's a mummy's coming after me now! Oh, oh God. Is that how we're going to end it? I don't want to hear that voice anymore. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Open House where we answer all your questions. We're doing a thing now where we come up with a different name for it and then I do some sort of really time efficient, not difficult intro. I noticed. Video. Thing. What are you doing this week, James? Let's see, what should I call it this week? Do Star Wars. Star Wars. Cranky in the boom! Questions we have from C. Kairu C. Nope. What is it? C Q C. C Q C. You get it? C Q C. What is a Jedi Knight? Jedi Knight. Jedi Knight. Jedi Knight. What is a job that you would never, never do. ever do? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I don't think I'd ever want to do Bruce's job. He works really hard. Oh, and ooh. he puts up with a lot of shit. I burn. Don't, I don't want to do. Hold on. Not burn. I garbage man. I, don't, I think they get paid a lot. They get, they they get paid that's a what everybody lot. says. Do they get paid a lot? They're all I millionaires. Think they, get paid, they get paid one million dollars. I think. <laughs> I think one, $1 million. million dollars. One million dollars per garbage. Pretty per good. garbage. They get paid in doubloons. There aren't yeah. many jobs that I wouldn't want to do. Games journalism. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be a parking, uh, like a parking enforcement officer. Oh. What's wrong? You got all clean air? Uh, walk around all day? No, you sit in the car all day. You no, 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 no. You're going to be zip right. Everybody hates also, you. Also, I've thought about it. Everyone hates you. Everybody okay? hates you. Everyone hates you. And I don't... I kind of begrudge people that choose to be parking enforcement I do officers too. because there's a lot of shitty you jobs know, and you could take a different shitty job. <laughs> Everyone who was a parking enforcement officer was a hall monitor as a kid. Yeah, oh, they yeah. abuse their authority, yeah, yeah. what little they have. Yeah, yeah. Dicks. So I don't want to be that. I could never be yeah, that. Yeah, but some of them are cool. Who? Hey, Which? Sean. Wait, Sean. Uh, he's like, is he's your like, webcam on? He's like, Sean, is, nice your, is, your, park. is your webcam Sean. on, Sean? <laughs> is your mic on, Sean? All right, all right. Go back to editing. Oh, God. I like your joke, James. I love you. Next question from Sphincter Man. Due to the growing decline in your demo disc catalog, no. Can we send in more demo discs or other shitty games? Yes. Yeah, please. So there is no growing decline. Hold on, let me, let's let's find out how many. Take we a have. look. Make sure they're care be careful with that. Please be right back. Yeah. Uh, no, the decline is growing. The decline, yeah, the decline is, is growing. Increasing. All right. So there's. Do, I mean, why don't you guys answer the question and I'll count how many there. Are. Uh, well, I mean, yes, th there's you can a send us anything. Yeah, please send us stuff. How do you send? Um, how do you send it to us, Adam? Except we talked about getting a PO box, which we did no previous way. times, and we never felt all through there. We are yeah. we're moving offices in like in a week. Yeah, wait to send anything for like a week or two. Yeah, hoard yeah. all your hoard all your gems, because mm -hmm. then we may have a new address. There's no but once rush we right do now. have a new address, we should be able to find it pretty easily. Yeah, and then you will just put in that address, care of. Fun house, Adam's butthole. What? Can't wait till we get to the Limp Biscuit CD. Oh yeah, the Limp Biscuit game. Yeah. Nope. Oh, it's so good. Nope. Bruce read it wrong once, and now they think Limp Biscuit is a game. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm really excited. Loyal subject. 
Why is Spool no longer used as a personality and only for his editing? Spool, you want to get over here? I wish here? I had a whip right now and I'd crack. <laughs> Spool, come answer that. Come on over here and talk. You want or to sit here? Probably James's. Oh, James yeah, sit on James's lap. Spool's, he's been getting jacked. He's yeah. been getting jacked oh, at the yeah. gym. That's why he's not a personality. Show us those squat muscles. Let so, me see the thighs. Ooh, show it. Just take the pants off. The thighs the front. I think we all know the answer know to that question. See. The back. Yeah. Oh, Wait, come on, Spool. P pull up your pants. Or pull down your pants. Either way. Why pull up my pants? Pull them down and show us the Press down. them tightly across your m I can't see any Can of your you, muscles. Can you flex your muscles? So the question for you, Spool, why have you not been in as many videos lately? Can you tell us why? Because they're mean and they make me work all the time. Please, someone's that help. <laughs> No, oh, that's not why. Spool's been, he has been the workhorse editor recently. Yeah. Uh, he's been editing a lot, uh, basically as much as Matt Peake, which is why Matt Peake isn't in very many videos. Yeah. Uh, and Shows now, time Spool, from now on, I guess I'm, I am absolving Spool of all editing responsibility. No, no you can't no, do we that. Need him. All he has to, nope, all no, he has to do, to work. all he has to do is lift weights with James. That's it. Oh. That's all. All day? All day. We're going today, Spool. We're going we today. All right, you ready to go? So I'm going to be real tired. That's okay. You got to keep, sleep here's, the, here's the catch. If you don't want to edit, you got to lift weights. So, if you're not editing, you're lifting weights. The mercenary. Oh, it's spelled wrong. That's cute. Um, Joel, what champion in League of Legends would each member of Funhouse be? Um, all right, that's a good if question. You make Go to the gym, Spool! If you make them all up, I'll have no idea. Okay, uh, James would be Garen, I think. Obviously. Uh, I think... <laughs> You would be Udyr, who's like a shaman kind okay. of, and you. No, you not are... Udyr. Or I thought something. it was Dimsdale. Who cares? You... Go to Adam. What about Adam? Fuck can, he, you. can he be the little girl? The little girl with the Annie? rocket launcher? Yeah. Oh, ooh. Oh. Jinx? Jinx? Yeah, you can oh. be Jinx. I know of Jinx. I yeah. saw the video. Yeah, this is. So I'll take it. It's a real hot. Because I know video. nothing about LOL. So to answer your question, we play Heroes of the Storm and Smite. Yeah, I'd be Smite. That'd be my character. Oh. Smite's a, a, a summoner ability. Okay, please go ahead. Next question is from Hair Babbler. Having brought it up, once you move to the new office, will you guys create a setup for the podcast that is similar to Rooster Teeth's? Uh, we'd like to. Uh, it's going to be levels, though. Yeah. So oh. they have they have what a chair, a chair, and a couch. Mm -hmm. Right. We're going to have a couch, a couch. A couch. Ooh. And then wait, above that toilets, so, yeah, and toilets. with a hole in the bottom, yeah. so Joel can continue shitting on us. Oh, oh. come on, Adam. Come on. Boom. I was making a simple boom. levels joke, oh, and then you had good, to turn it into a poop good joke. Boom. Do you remember when we first moved into the office that you and Adam and I split together, and it was just the three of us, <laughs> and we really loved each other, and anytime Adam mouthed off at me, I, I would shoot him with Nerf guns. But oh, yeah. it was all in good fun. We all liked each other. Next question from uh, Burkardo. Funhouse is in charge of a good food quickly slash fast food chain. What is it called and what is on the menu? Uh, There's a Bruce question. Why did he put Chipotle slash? burritos. This is not a joke. If I ever become a millionaire, I will buy a Chipotle franchise. Uh, much to Adam Kovic's idea, I might put it in my house so then that way I can get Chipotle burritos at literally any time. You realize it, you're gonna have to have cooks in there cooking. It will be somebody's job to stand in my house and have chicken. Ready. What if I want to go to your house and Real. have carnitas? <laughs> You're allowed to have carnitas, but you gotta call me. Yeah. Give me a few yeah. minutes to get he's the, like, the he's like, cooks to put that There will be up. large surfaces that create heat, <laughs> and on that heat, I can put the chicken. <laughs> the, uh, it's the question was, uh -huh. if you were gonna start a food chain, like an oh. all new food thing, oh, what would you do? Oh, oh, Bruce's oh. answer is, I just want Chipotle. a Chipotle in my house. I just house. want a Chipotle, that's it. Well, all right, well why don't you answer it then? I like Bruce, Bruce is simple. He, that was, he, that's he, all he I want, I want He likes food and he wants it in his house. Fine, you guys answer it then. I and mean, we can come up with a place. It would probably be sausages. Just sausages and kale. That's it. It's sausages just sausages and kale. Yeah. But, and would they be wrapped? Oh yeah, wrapped in kale. No, the kale is wrapped in sausages. Ooh. Oh, so what you do is you do you skin the sausage? Yep. And then you wrap that up what? You, with kale. And you stuff like you this. stuff kale inside and you mm. wrap it around like a like a mushroom. And it's you like have a mushroom. Oh. and there's like different varieties. Like you know how like sausage doesn't have to be encasing. Oh, it does not. It, You're like right. breakfast sausage, you can like pound flat mm -hmm. and wrap it around things. What um, do we call this place, Joel? The sausage house. Boring. No, it needs a better name than that. James, you go ahead first. What about Brown Baby's Bungalow? Ooh. But, but hopefully you guys all caught it. Did you see his eyes close when he said it? He went Brown <laughs> Baby's Bungalow <laughs> because his brain 
broke when he said it. <laughs> he went into it. Well, it didn't break. I let it go. Well, let's, 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 let's role play a little bit. We're all, you know, we're, we're, we're working out like, huh, it's noon. We gotta go to Triple B. Uh, no, Bruce, I'm thinking about uh, lunch. What do you think? Chipotle? Triple today? B. Daphne's? We're going to Triple B. What's Welcome triple? to Brown Baby's triple Bungalow. B. How can I help you? Would you I'd like the Brown a, Baby uh, special? I'd like a, a Brown Baby number four, please. Oh. Uh, yes, sir. Would you like mayonnaise or Chipotle sauce on that? Um, uh, the brown baby special signature uh, sauce. Actually, at brown baby's bungalow, we don't have, we don't have mayonnaise. We have the brown baby aioli. Ooh, Ooh. would you like brown baby Medium rare. <laughs> what would you like to drink, sir? Um, I'll have the brown baby special cola. <laughs> That's just uh, Coca Cola, sir. Yeah, it's just Coca. <laughs> Anyway, your total's like eighteen dollars. We could have come up with so. a better name for this place. Better than brown baby bungalow. Yeah. Brown baby bungalow. <laughs> <laughs> right. Maybe Latino. What's uh, going on here? What? Are you, or you just cooked the baby? No, brown baby baby is a term. <laughs> brown yeah. baby. That's oh, the, the food's called a brown baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's what the about bungalow. The, the bungalow is where you get the brown baby. Yeah. <laughs> sure, whatever. It doesn't matter. Who cares? James, go ahead. Made me laugh. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, if you could own any part of the internet, where would you own and why? Gentlemen, I think we all know the answer to this. Hamsterdance.com? That's right. <laughs> That's, a good answer. <laughs> That's a good answer. Man, how'd you know? We've my... talked about it before. What's, what's your answer, James? My answer would be high quality flash porno games. <laughs> not the bullshit ones, not the ones where you just click and then yeah. she gets off. I'm talking about the ones where you gotta whine, you gotta dine, That's and a then meat you gotta fuck. decide if you wanna fuck her from behind. That's a meat and fuck. Wow. You're talking about a meat and fuck, right? What? A meat and fuck. No, well, like it's That's not the name of the restaurant. It's meat and fuck. <gasps> What about you? Where, what part of the internet? What part of the so I can own any part of the internet? Any part. I think I would own the part. Suicidegirls.com. I'm just gonna. I just want suicidegirls. Oh, no, I don't know. I mean, I, I think I'd buy candystand.com. Candystand.com. Candy Candy stand, everybody. Let's find out what's, what's there. Um, I just I'm tired of other people playing my flash games. You never went to candystand? Candystand. It was one of the only websites. Oh, that worked out it was school. a little flash game. Yeah, yeah, they're really shitty. I think it's run by like Nabisco or this something. This is really like that. dumb. Hold on. What about dad. Naked Candy stand up? I don't want to own that go one. Go to nakedcandy.com. Yeah, I want to go to Naked Candy. High quality flash. Naked, it's available! Nakedcandy.com is available. Can we buy that instead? I top rated sex games, adult sex games. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> so that's uh, a James Willems production. That's a, yeah, that, that was it. That's the last question. Okay. Um. Uh, so our question to you is, what menu items would you like to see on the Brown Bubba Bluggalos? Yeah, what what are we serving? Put yeah. it in the comments. Would you like uh, Chipotle or barbecue? Here's a here's a clue. Um, pork meat is at an all time low. Wait, high. So that, that means it's cheap, right? No, no. All time low. Quantity is at a low, or the price is at a low. See you at the Brown Bubba Bluggalos. <laughs> I'm also Jewish, so it's okay. You can't say that. I am partially Jewish. What part? He's partially <laughs> like Jewish. He's seconds. partially. He's he's yeah. also I'm part Cherokee. Uh, I'm white. I'm all those things. Uh, right. He's and part Dutch. Right. No, we all are too. I'm gonna run that Ancestry.com and prove you all wrong. Sure, we all sure. came from Lucy or whatever. The well, yeah, name. I'm part Lucy. Also, we're all part of the Big Bang, so we have little pieces of stars. So you're probably part Martian. Cool. You're uh, Plutonian. That's racist. Oh, Joel. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Open House Talk Show. It's a talk show <laughs> where it's like Oprah. I'm kind of surprised under your seat right now. Everybody gets a call. I'm not going underneath Bruce's seat. I'm gonna level with you guys. Yeah. I'm a little high on melatonin. Why? Oh, well, because I've been sleeping bad. Don't we so all have melatonin in our body. First of all, that's true, Bruce. Second, melatonin makes you low, not high. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm low on melatonin. <laughs> so I might be a little loopy this episode. Okay. That I'm sorry, Spool. Yeah, Let's bad, let you finish I, your thought. They got, they got a bad batch. They got a bad batch. Right. Bad, 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 bad. Hey, what do you think this is? The the Drunk Born podcast? You can't talk over everyone else. <laughs> I didn't talk over you. Oh, your first question this week comes from Baroshima. If you guys were to go to prison, what would your prison bitch names be? Oh my gosh. I, I was hoping for a more interesting question, like what would you do the moment you go into prison? Because I thought about this. Okay. Do you do you do that thing where you fight the first guy? Do you align yourself with like your race? Like what do you do? That's racist. <laughs> oh, Joel. Uh, well, first of all, I make friends. As soon as I walk in, I start making friends with whoever I can hey, see. Hey, prisoner, how's it going? Oh, it's going nice to meet you. you. Hey, you're new here, huh? Oh, what are you in for? Uh, I am for murder. And uh, and then my prison bitch name would be Lovely. 
Love oh, that. that's nice. Yeah, also, really I, I guess I'm kind of offended too that he thinks that we would all have prison bitch names like we wouldn't. Yeah, true, we'd be the bitch. Be the guy. Hey, Barrel Shima, that's I bullshit. Think, I think yeah. friendly is the way to go. It's it's a common misconception that you ha that prison is a hostile environment. Right, it's not. Everyone there has something in common. They're all in prison. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly shower. <laughs> Man, shower. <laughs> Can we? Use that. <laughs> what, would, what would your prison bitch names be? My prison bitch name. Well, I can give James his. Okay. I give him um, his uh, big blues. Oh, big blues? Yeah, that's, that's what I call him. That's because of the giant balls. Because of my big blue balls. Yeah. Because I don't. Because yeah. I don't have any privacy to jerk off. Exactly. True. Mm. And then Adam. No. Adam would be uh, Queen Duke, because of the because he's the queen of leaving giant poops in the <laughs> toilet that everyone has to share. <laughs> You can't use any of this either. I would love to move on from this question. All right, next question from... I'm not going to prison. Oh. Game Boy FPHXT. Hey, guys, prom's coming out for this year. I want to show my girl from the time of her life. Any suggestions? Go down on her. Oh, God. <laughs> Joel, <laughs> we're supposed to put stuff in here that we can use. You can use that. All right. You can use that. I'll give you a suggestion. First of all, get your dad's 99 Mustang. <laughs> It's a That's red a good one. year. You're assuming a, a lot right Hold now. Hold on a minute. I got this. The rest of more of this plan. Okay. Get your dad's 99 Mustang. Learn how to drive a stick because you don't know how to drive a stick. Yeah. Learn how to drive a stick. Then drive the Mustang to her house. Take her to Burger King. Then you take her to the prom. Boom. You might kiss her at the end of the Did day. you go to Burger King for your prom? No. A 1998 Mustang. Yeah. Well, then why are you, why are you suggesting was this a, kid who in 2015 is going to a prom yeah, to get a 99? Because it's the coolest old, car in the world. That's an old no, beater. No, 98 Mustang is not the coolest it's car a beater. in the world, Bruce, by far. <laughs> My uh, school didn't have a prom. Oh, really? Yeah. What did you do? They had a... Oh. That's racist. <laughs> accurate. Racist. We should see how much we can bleep out. Oh, man. That's a good idea, actually. <laughs> I'm with Joel. Go down on it. <laughs> All right, go ahead, James. Uh, the Sutler Bricks. If each of you were female Game of Thrones characters, which would you be? We already know what Adam would be. What? The Greed. Or the Greed. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, the, uh, the crew lover. Yeah, <laughs> yeah gotcha. <laughs> Uh, what, 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 else was, what, what should we say if it was, or what, what should would, what would she say if it were her prom and Joel was going down on her? Oh yeah, yeah um, like just work your way around the hair, Joel. <laughs> just put it in red. <laughs> oh my god! Not a prop. Mm. Part, part the red sea. <laughs> oh, you're doing a great job. Oh, yeah. That's a little too low. That's my anus, John. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> John Crow. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why is this a thing? <laughs> I want it to be a thing. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. I'm going to see that question. Really? Um, okay, I mean... That's it? That's the only one I need. I'd be Daenerys. Who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joria Melisandra. Ooh, oh, Melisandre. Melisandre. No, 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 no. The, uh, the, her yeah, the retarded red... stepsister, Melisandre. Oh, oh yeah. the ugly one. She has one tit that's just pointing in the other direction. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, she has one crooked eye. She's like, keep her options up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I'm a pretty tit too. Go ahead. Uh, Kovics first asked, how did you guys develop your unique style of editing? We ripped it off from Tim and Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, sort of. Actually, there Absolutely. is a that's there exactly is, what there is a reason behind the style of editing mm. because we think it's funny. Well, kind of, because no, because we think it's not funny. We didn't think much of ourselves, so we said we'll record for an hour. We'll cut out oh, all the I crap. See, I see what right. you're saying. And we were always like, let's just condense it because there's so many like long YouTube videos out there. Yeah, that's like, a good point. John uh, <laughs> Wait, is the brown note the part in the center that's... Yes, it's no, a, it's what made her shit it's herself. The, uh, just pick it out. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> there was a couple of nuggets in there. Uh, next up we got Blessamoy. My girlfriend and it's I... Blessamoy, but... Blessamoy. Blessamoy. It's French. Yeah. Me, uh, my girlfriend and I had sex while Dude Soup was on in the background. How does that make you guys feel? Uh, uh, hard. Hard. That wasn't right. Wet. Sorry. Did she finish? Wait, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that was the question. Doesn't matter. Now, next question from Paperback Writer. In honor of Mortal Kombat X coming out soon, what kind of fatality would you inflict on your opponent when it comes time to finish them? I think mm. you've already answered this question. I feel like so, I feel like we have two. Uh, here's what I would do. I'd hop in my 98 Mustang, oh. take him over to Burger King, take him to a prom, kiss him at the end of the night, uh, Let say, me stop you right again. there, because as soon as they hop in that Mustang, they die of embarrassment. <laughs> Oh, oh man, come on, that car was so cool in that Embarrassedality. Goddamn, so cool. Was it a V6? Uh, 
<laughs> it probably was. I think it was. I think yeah. I knew a cheerleader with that car. Yeah. She was embarrassed by it. Her name was Bruce Green. What about your fatalities, guys? Oh. I don't know, I like the idea of like ripping someone's dick off and putting it down their throat. That's never been done That's before. I like the idea of grabbing someone's dicks. <laughs> Just leave it at that. That's all As I want to do. The goblin Jew of the group, I would um, I would lend them money and then charge them uh, increasing amounts of interest until they die in a debtor's prison. Oh, oh that's, really man, that's good. a good one. Joel, don't fall victim to that. Don't play a character. The goblin Jew? What? No, just, you know, bad jokes. <laughs> uh, Naxter, if you could be a demo disc, what demo disc would you be? I would put. Okay, so my demo disc would have Dragon Ball Xenoverse on it, but it would just be the first. 15 minutes of the game, which is nothingness <laughs> yeah. and boringness, where you just walk around and you do nothing. And All that right. would be, here's your taste. It's a, you went out, and then it's stop, and you go, and if you want to buy this game and play more of this dumb game, then here you go. And then Click I'd on this link, and it takes you to earthlink.com. And snap it right and in half. And then you snap well, it in That's half. the trick question. I don't want to be snapped in half by Bruce or. Or is that the is that the Viking funeral yeah, for it demo is. discs? That's it's what an every honor. demo disc copes with. Every a, demo disc that gets broken goes to demo disc Valhalla. It's the equivalent. It's just like going to like being a drawn and quartered, like ah Valhalla. Ah! Yeah, yeah, and they get snapped in half. Yeah, I'm a warrior. It's a breaks. A warrior's death. Uh, I would be the demo for Psychonauts two. Ooh, because it never exists. Oh, I thought you were gonna say because then you'd shatter it in front of me and then crush my spirit. No, I wouldn't do that. That's mean. That'd be funny. They make one copy. They delete all the files. They give it to Bruce. Say, hey, we trust you with this. While they're looking at James. You guys don't realize it. I play Psychonauts two all the time. In my head. Hmm. I've been a demo disc for Minecraft, um, and before it was published, I also would have snapped it in half, so it never would have existed, so that uh, there wouldn't be Minecraft videos on YouTube. So that Notch wouldn't be a billionaire? Yep. Why would you do you're that? Just, you're just mad you weren't invited to Notch's candy bar. How suck? How buy one Skittle? How suck a over there? <laughs> oh, he's having fun. He's having a lot of fun. It's not as funny as. Is there a '98 Mustang in that? He's not laughing. In that game, funny. Is there a '98 Mustang in the game? I think there is. I think he's having fun. Pretty oh, sure he's, oh, he's not having fun. What question are we asking everybody? He got, he got in the Mustang. Today. Um, okay. That's the your questions this week on this week's edition of Open House. Our question for you guys, we want you to leave in the comments below, is what should our friend in the beginning of the show do for his date for prom? Because we all had horrible ideas. We go down on her. We already said that. Don't go to prom. Spool, did you go to prom? I did not. Why not? And look how I turned out. Eh. You have a backwards hat on and really big headphones. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm not judging, I'm just making an observation. Melatonin cool. is bright. Why do you, you look that way? Because I have cup cold myself. Because he didn't go to prom, that's why. Yeah. He didn't he <laughs> didn't get in a 98 Mustang this is what we and drive see. it to Burger King. Every day. Use these images to make a 3D <laughs> perfect 3D model of Sean Poole. Oh, look. Spin around in your chair now. This is how we're gonna have sex with Sean Poole. Let's talk about that headphone rift. cord. I can't, I, the headphone cord. I can't, it's gonna be half completed. <laughs> Let's see that <laughs> butt. <laughs> All right, that's perfect. Nice. We're done. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Open House. Sing it away, Joel. It's copywritten. You can't sing that. I don't know what it is, but you can't sing it. It's technically a whistle too. I think it's not you really can't, or you can't singing, whistle it, or whatever singing. it is. Is this Price Is Right? I, He's singing with. It is? Yep. Yes. Oh. You won. <laughs> I am like an old man. All right, first episode in all new office. Let's do it. <laughs> this is right, an actual thing. Here's a two part it. question. Two very similar questions. Uh -huh. First one's from Turdish. Uh -huh. Ask Tudish, a question. Yeah. Turdish. Oh, sorry. It's just Turdish. <laughs> really? uh, care to you explain. Added an R. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read good. <laughs> Care to explain why you guys only answer a fraction of questions? I'm not even dreaming about a hundred, but seven per episode is just stupid. Gee, Considering rude. You get over 500 questions, and every week you slip in at least one question. No, we don't. From your Reddit moderator. No, we don't do that. Jig is up, guys. Let's get out of here. Yeah, well, Let's get out of here. They continues. figured us out. All right. See ya. I've abandoned the office. Goodbye. Abandon the, the office. We're the question. Out. It's well, my show now. Ah, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> To open house, my name is James, and I'm here to explain why we guys only answer a fraction of the questions. Uh, there's actually another part of this question. Go right uh, ahead. Was followed up by one of his friends, Dumbus. Do you guys only choose the top questions, or do you scroll down to less popular ones and add questions that you like to? All right, so that question just got answered by Tudish because I had negative two points. Yeah, he's got negative two, which is probably at least in the lower 400s. And then we'll answer Tudish. Yeah. Uh, 
We only answer seven or eight questions because the show's what, 12, 13 minutes long? Mm -hmm. we, 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 we're going to do a show eventually that's an hour long of us answering all of your questions and it's going to be really boring. Also, do you know why the show's 12 minutes long and we only answer seven questions? No. You guys bullshit with your answers no. and you try to like tell stories. We don't and tell them answer stories. things with like long, drawn out explanations. And everybody questions. thinks that they're so funny. This is like so my problem. I that 99 Mustang to it. Because there's a lot of comments and a lot of them are repeats with of one of, of, of questions we've already asked. Yeah. Most of the Comments, or, most or of the comments are just that people are already asking in the thread. Most of them are just spool writing. Hey, can you guys pay me more money? Most hey, like, why do I have to edit this piece? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> hey, do we have to come to work on Wednesday? A lot, a lot of repeats. repeats. So that's why we're gonna do the hour-long uh, question and answer show, or whatever <laughs> we're gonna call it. I don't know. One gonna, day. Eventually. One someday. day. We'll get there. The next question. From Aroused Dentist. Uh oh, there's the Reddit. Uh oh, mod. moderator. Uh, by the time this video will be up, you will be in your new office. So, what is your new office called, James? Uh oh. Um. <laughs> fuck. It's okay. I know what it's called. Take your time. I know what it's called, Take but I'm not sure if I should say what it's called. Office, it's office 125. Say what it's called, and we can. And office 125. That's not a very it's called creative name. <sighs> Just say it out loud. Ever, at this point, everyone's seen the wall. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, the wall. So the office yeah, is, the, the is probably most accurately called. Auschwitz. Oh my god. Jesus. No, come on. We can't call it that. Let's call it Holocaust victims. There we oh go. Oh my god. god. We can't call it that either. HV. HV. We call it the HV. Um, we are so sorry that we have offended you. What should we call Joel. it, Joel? Let's ask Joel since he's Jewish. <laughs> How about we call it the Fun House of Tolerance? Oh, I like that. There are, uh, like, look at all the Hasidic Jews, though. Look at all the, the hats no, that they're I, wearing. I got an idea. How about we call it Nightmare City? <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. the name of our new office? office? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Nightmare City. Oh, man. Population, <laughs> you. Uh, so. Gavin, actually Gavin was in just yesterday and he wants me to label all the people. Yeah. And I told him I would. So, I got one um, here too, uh, which you can label. He's the guy with the scarf and the hat. Oh yeah. Um, he's a he's a cowboy desperado. <laughs> His name is Paddington. Paddington? Uh, all right, I'll write Paddington. that down. Paddington the desperado. Right, can we just mark them all with a big bucket of paint? That one's just me, right there. Here, right, can you? Which one? This one. Hold on, let me look you at know, the, the shot. Jewish Make looking sure one. You, get it. you see him? Which one? Point at him. Put your finger. Oh, it is Joel. Wow. That's Joel right there. Wow. They got him. Oh, I found Adam. It's like looking Hold in on, the mirror. Hold on, I just found Adam. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Sad old man with a ten-gallon hat. Classic Adam. All, All right. right. Next. Next question. All right. All right. Uh, oh, this, is a, this is a Lawrence question. Oh. Well, I'm gonna ask the question, then Lawrence can get over here and answer it. Do right. you think Direct X12 will be the killer weapon Microsoft needs to get people buying the X bone? Mm -hmm. Apart from the graphics nitpickers, will the consumer masses actually care? No! Next this, question. This All one's right. Gwendolyn. Go ahead, Joel. Tiny Quilt. After you finish recording a video, how long does it take you and your slave Spool to edit the footage and upload it? Uh -huh. Spool doesn't edit fun house, uh, no, open house. No, he what doesn't. That's true. James edits. Uh, Never open seen house. a man usually. He, uh, that's true. Spool before. has edited a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, mainly James is the one that does it. Uh, mm -hmm. with the edits bounce back and forth between everybody. Uh, Adam edits videos. James edits videos. Lawrence edits videos. Spool edits videos. And then Matt Peake. What do you do? Very often, I don't do anything. Ooh. <laughs> I love Wait. that job. Ooh, I was me and you both, baby. Woo! Joel and I don't do nothing. Woo! Well, you guys do the uploading. Yeah. Well, Bruce also edits our edits. That's true. Oh, that's true. That's yeah, true. That's There's right. editing involved that's in editing. He always sits down at my computer and he goes, what button's your cut? <laughs> <laughs> Every single time. Because we all have different key bindings. We all have different key bindings. I always forget. The next question from Dylan 14 What is the last picture every friend house member took using their phone? Hold Whip on. them out, boys. Calling it oh, up. Oh, boy. Oh, I know what it was. It's yours. No, hold on, I have the best one. Phone soon. Whatever smart. it is, I have the best one. Okay. So I have a picture of a bunch of keychains, one of them being a swastika. Oh, yeah. That, oh, was, a, boy. that was a good picture. That was at Ace Hardware. Oh, Ooh, the, the wall's crying. How much was it? I can't believe it? they've got that at Ace Hardware. Right well, yeah. everyone said it was the Buddhist symbol, so not. not it depends the, on which yeah. way it goes. Hitler was a Buddhist. He was. Yeah, mm -hmm. peace loving. Oh. There you and, go. Um, Mine is this. It's a picture of the toilet here at the new office. Why did you do uh, that? Uh, and there's no toilet paper because I was going to tweet out that when we moved offices, they forgot to move. Were you I was pooping when you took that, that picture? Was really funny, I but... just finished pooping, and so there's poop on your hands and your fingers. No, because what I I was very. <laughs> and he's like, 
<laughs> I'm a guy. Yeah, yeah. I took the because I had the um the the toilet seat protectors and I used that to wipe my butt. All right. Anyways, Ooh, go ahead. Uh, move on. Next question. Or, uh, there's picture. a. I found a half broken CD with a weed leaf on it. Uh, I'm not sure if I win or lose. I took a picture of the mercury skin that I just unlocked. Oh my Smite. gosh! You Jesus. fucking. He looks nerd. like Tron. It's Holy awesome. Shit, but by the way, but cares. I was That's talking to Adam literally the day before, and I was like, man. I'd give anything to get that skin. Oh. And then I got it. So I sent a picture of it to Adam, which I took with my phone. Spool, what was the last photo you took on your phone? Oh, that's Bruce's butt. Oh, all right, we're, let's we're see it. Oh yeah, that's oh. right. He tweeted that, he tweeted oh. it. Okay, that's there. Next Look, question. He, for everyone's Sal already seen it. From Salama Lama Lama. I'm sorry. Are there any independent gaming YouTubers, PewDiePie, the Gaming Lemon Van Oss, you'd like to work with or do a few videos with? If so, who? We get this question every week and we always say yes. You know who I want to work with? <laughs> The answer is always yes. We want to work with anybody pretty well, much. on that note, we are starting uh, a new video series. Well, we don't know if it's a series yet, but we're doing at least a video where we did a 1v1. Yeah, the video's already up. And we took on Super Panic Frenzy, yeah. Steven's new channel mm -hmm. over there. Yeah, I mean, we're trying and then obviously, Achievement Hunter and everyone else, we're still, we keep talking about, we haven't done it yet. Well, we just had, we just had Gus on. We yeah. did have Gus yeah. on, yes. But like, we're, we want to do more long-term collaborations. Um, we're finally getting settled. So uh, hopefully soon, right? And if there's someone you want to see us collaborate with, let us know, please. Uh, also let, let them, them know. know yeah. That's important. Do you think Billy Zane uh, would ever co do a collaboration with us? Yep. He's not busy. No, he doesn't do anything. He needs money too. What about Bobby uh, Cannavale? We should let Billy Zane know that he we want to collaborate. He'll know. <laughs> Wherever he is. He'll know. He's like, hey. It's like, we go, the shadow knows. He was like, I was in the Phantom. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Anonymous Bucket. Other than creating video content and editing videos, does everyone in the office have a specific job assigned to them only? Them only. I handle the toilets. <laughs> Adam does the thumbnails. Adam yeah. does the thumbnails. I am That's the right. only one who does thumbnails. Unless like he's out, and then yeah. like so, and then James usually picks. Well, actually, everybody picks up the slack on that one. Typically, <laughs> uh, it's a seven-man job. What, it's, Joel? It's what do you work. have? What's your only job? I think Joel's kind of our mom, and Bruce is kind of our dad. Oh, mm -hmm. that's nice. Wait, why can't we both be dads? Sorry, bro. Yeah. yeah. It's You're California. This is not Indiana. Thank you, Bruce. Jeez. Yeah. We operate on- dad We operate like we're Indian. Well, it's because when I walk in on Joel naked accidentally, I get confused. You mean like- Whereas a... when I walk in on Bruce naked, I'm like, that's what I will become. Wait, what, what's confusing about me? Well, because you're my mom. And so I'm like, well, why? Why does he look different than me? Joel, we look exactly the same. No. Why are you have uh, hair? Why James are, doesn't have any hair? Yeah. Why is he shaped? Why is her his shape so different? And then I, I don't understand. Like, and why then, are your hips so wide? And then you have to sit me down and talk me through it and say, listen, sometimes Joel's are different than James's, and I just don't. Is this get a circumcision it. thing? Probably yeah. not. Yeah. I don't is. think we're too different down there, Joel. Oh, okay. Okay. Big oh. Gun Landmine wants to know, like Rooster Teeth, will you be offering internships for people interested in the industry? Eventually. The coal industry! <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will, I'm sure, at some point. I don't know when, though. Please. Certain requirements, we're looking for people with experience with Photoshop, yep. Premiere, uh -huh. they have a desk they can bring in, uh -huh. space chairs, access to candy, some may preferably a family member that works at a pizza parlor, because we like to hang out at pizza That's parlors. Like free pizza. Uh, squat rack, yep. readily available. Yep. Um, and, uh, Limsy? There's a lot more requirements. Uh, they have to be shredded. They shredded. Have to be shredded or, or a hot chick. Yeah, uh, shredded hot they, chicks. They've got to be able to edit videos. If they haven't put up uh, videos on YouTube before, then they're mm -hmm. out. Yep. And if we say this is how you do it, and you fail and ask us how, how we do it, yeah. you're out. You're out. No uh, coal for you. And you also have to be Jewish. Ooh. No, you can't say that. That's discriminatory. Oh, no. the rest of that stuff is fine. Italian. You can't be Italian. Jewish. That's what you have to be Italian. Oh god, <laughs> the wall will make you, you cry. They come. Like no one can get any editing done with a sad fucking wall. Yeah, that's true. So many faces. Oh, there's like a kind of smirky dude over there. <laughs> that guy's happy. Look, he's smiling. He's waving. But he died in the Holocaust. Those are your questions this week. Thank you once again. We're gonna theme next week. It's Game of Thrones theme. So ask your Game of Thrones related wall. questions, but not Look. about the books, because Joel will go off for. 45 fucking let's, minutes and I don't want to hear about it. Let's try to keep it civil. Let's try not to spoil any of the books, the show, That's Abraham Lincoln. or the interactive video game. And Hail, Hail. Beard Papa's. That's beard. Let's send those our way. That's Beard like Papa right there. Too. There's Beard Papa. I'm really Papa. looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to reading the books to you out loud next week. Oh, oh boy. That's Open Ernest Hemingway. Oh. Found Ernest Hemingway up right, there. I, I keep finding Bruce and then losing him.
<laughs> Welcome to Game of Thrones themed help and house. All of these questions, all of these questions are Game of Thrones. Last, never do that questions. again. Last week we asked you guys to do Game of again. Thrones related questions, nope. so we're gonna get right into it, guys. Uh, Kayo65 asks, if you guys fuse to one person... Form one person. Oh, sorry. If you guys fuse to form one person, what part of the new body would each of you be? Mm. That is not Game of Thrones related. I think we'd have I think we'd have to pull different pieces of different... I don't think it'd be so simple that one person would be this and that and the Are other. Are we like thing. a flesh we'll Voltron? Out throughout, on, like like we should take the best bits. So like Joel's hips should be on there, but it doesn't mm. necessarily have to be his legs. What mm -hmm. part of Could, me are you going to use? Part of you? Shoulders. Yeah. Your shoulders. Uh, your shoulders. I like your big yeah, your big broad shoulders. Big we'll use your big broad shoulders. What, what are we picking, James? We're gonna use the homunculus inside of his uh, brain that drives his body. Right, so we have my body control. I think just James. The homunculus is what he said. I think James's eyeballs. Joel, what eyeballs. Are you? What, yeah. what part of Joel are we gonna use? Yeah, said, hips. We're gonna use one of Joel's hips. hips. What about me? Uh, my hair. Yeah, we're gonna use your hair, hair, your your hair, facial hair, and your hair. My so body I guess you're hair. mostly the head. My, yeah. No, no, no. I don't have good head hair. Spool's got the body cutest hair. butt. We use Spool's we're butt. We're using Spool's, Spool's butt. butt. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, uh -huh. And I think Lawrence's Lawrence's, lips. Lawrence's calves. Lawrence. Cal oh, he's got oh, great yeah. calves. Calves great and lips. Calves, calves and lips. Guys. And then Matt Peak makes up the rest of the body. Yeah. yeah. The body's great. We created the perfect human. The perfect man. Good Game of Thrones question. Hello, ladies. Next question for Red Dead Revengeance. If you planned out a GTA slash Payday style heist in real life. What would you heist? He didn't Ooh. ask what the heist would be, though. No, no, but what would like what, uh, what, what would we, would we try and steal? So, yeah, where would we steal? You know, at LACMA, they've got that outdoor oh exhibit gosh. of the oh, giant yeah. bigger, levitated mass. Think bigger, Joel. No, it's levitated mass. It's the no, biggest. Joel. Joel's on the right track. Wait, yeah. I've got it. The Hollywood sign. The Hollywood. Ooh, that's a good heist. Hollywood sign. The Hollywood sign. Um, I was gonna say Joel steal, loves Hollywood. I think we should Ugh. steal Trump Tower. It's not here. The in whole LA. thing? That, I don't care where it is. We, we should steal the world. Oh, we should oh, steal like the Carmen San Diego. Rockabella. Oh, we should steal the World Trade Center. <laughs> well, we sneak around the world, steal Los world Angeles to Los Center. Angeles. We're gonna steal the Hollywood sign, cause I wear the red trench coat. Oh boy. Do you think they said to themselves, they were like, finally, guys, people are going to appreciate Rockabella the way that they should. <laughs> Rockabella! Uh, Ghostbuster 1011. If you guys had to make a cheesy 80s rock band, similar to Motley Crue, cheesy. <laughs> the crew. what would the band name be? What would your individual oh band member God. names be? And who would die of oh, overdose goodness. first? Wow. Well, well he, the rule is these he's, are he's, our only, favorite he's always supposed to ask hold on, one hold on, question. Lawrence would die of overdose first. Never mind. Obviously. Um, and then individual band member, my name would be uh, uh, Tommy Steele. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would be, um, uh, a s a s sp Spunky Brewster. Oh, Ooh, spunky. that's good. I like Gross. that. I'd be the Schling. The Schling! Oh, yep. he's like the guitar player, mm -hmm. like the Edge. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> or Sting. Mm -hmm. They call me James the Ripper. Oh, what do you do? I rip. I rip on stage. What? I get behind my instrument and I set up behind my instrument and then I just start ripping on it. What do you rip? And then what? I go, hey, it's time for my instrument solo. And then I just start ripping out a solo and you guys would be like, man, he's really good at that instrument. We should never have liked The it. Schling is I, not I, impressed. I really, really, yeah, the Schling is absolutely not impressed. Oh, what's our band name? Yeah, what is our band name? Uh, Sex mm. Swing. Sex Swing. Yeah. Ooh, sex Swing. Sex Swing. Is that our. We're gonna swing it to your vagina! That's the name of our band. That's the name of our first album, and that's our first number one hit. Sex yeah. Swing? Sex, sex Swing! The sex Swing! Sex band Swing! Album and yeah. hit. Put my sex penis swing. inside you! Yeah, how does it go? Sex Swing! Sex Swing! I'm riding up to your vulva! Oh. Oh. Ooh, girl! Ooh, girl! I'm outside of you now, but I'm swinging back to your G spot, baby! Sex Swing! Sex Swing! Sex swing. <laughs> It's sex swing. Sex then swing two. Then there's fuck slide. Oh, fuck fuck slide. And then there's there's dirty monkey bars. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, the anal, the well, titty totter. The titty tippy totter. totter. I'm up. You're down. You're down. And I'm <laughs> up. <laughs> fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> Followed by kiss by my first you. love. Strickler 67 one Strickle 67 Strickle What is wrong with you guys? Strickle 67 says you have one month to live probably due to some disc shard related injury how do spend How do spend <laughs> How do spend How do spend Um this is when I decide to heist the World Trade Center Oh <laughs> smart the World Trade Center doesn't one exist anymore 
No, it does. It's a it's a new one yeah, now. Yeah, it's one you know, World Trade Center. <clears throat> they rebuilt it. No, I, they, well, I heist it. No, it's the but you know Freedom Tower. It's Freedom Tower. I'm sorry, yeah. it's Freedom Tower. And you know why I bring Freedom Tower? Where? Yeah. To the good old U.S. of A. Back We're back, back to, to America, America, baby. Back to the homeland of Sex Swing. Back to America. Sex Swing. Sex swing. Sex swing. Oh boy. <laughs> Joel, how would you spend your month? Uh, I would probably travel, but not like regular travel. I would do extreme Boring. traveling. Like Get what? shot out What's of a extreme cannon. traveling. Oh Hold man! On, what extreme. if you die? Something could go wrong. I want to hear Joel's <laughs> extreme traveling. I would, I would go to instead of going to Paris. I would go to a different part of France. I'd be roughing it. He's like Southern Paris. Versailles. I knew it was dumb. James, what about you? Uh, I like Joel. Would travel, but I would travel in an unconventional way. Also like Joel because I'd be traveling with my band. Sex, sex swing. swing. Sex swing. We're ah! rocking the globe till I die in you. We're betting you know pretty really big sad? on sex swing. This is gonna be the greatest thing that fans love. They're gonna be like. Please stop talking about sex swing. It wasn't funny when you set it up. It wasn't funny when you executed it. And it wasn't it funny when you brought it back up for the callback halfway through the show. It sex makes swing me reunion. Sad that James has to be dying in order to pursue his dream of singing sex swing. Why can't you do that now? <laughs> that question just got really deep. We could do it now. Right, here's what we do we enter James into American Idol. No, we just enter James. Stop the sentence there. Rockabella. Your next question from Alice Carr. Nope, a loser uh, called Susie. A loser wow, called really Susie. Really having a hard time with these names. I, it's hard to read. It's just one word. It's hard to. Anyway. If you were characters in Ruby, what would your weapon be? Oh, man, this is good. Oh, man. I love this because it's, it can be a gun. It can be a sword. It can be a sword gun. I know, well, I know what mine gun. would be. Oh, man. Well, well, I would, attached to my legs, I would have shotguns <gasps> just strapped to my legs. That's you kind of so, ripped off, uh, what's it called? The Robert, of Terror. Robert, yeah, Plan of Terror. Why? No, she has a gun for a leg. I'd have shotguns strapped to my legs okay. so I could do like shotgun jumps where I'd fire both guns and it'd shoot me higher when I jump. Or I could kick a dude and then it would fire the shotgun. Mm. I would have, uh, um, uh, you know, rhythm gymnastics where they have like the ribbons. Yes. I would have those, but they're made of uh, like really flexible metal, so Ooh. that I can like swing them around and cut people's heads Ooh. off. Do you mean to sound gay all the time or no? <laughs> <laughs> What's your weapon, Bruce? Uh, the you, remember, you know how ribbon dancers uh, run around? With yeah, ribbons? yeah, that sounds yeah, real cool. They're metal though, and they slice people Whoa, up. Whoa, like that's the greatest, cool. coolest that's thing pretty, in the world. That's pretty. That's right? pretty masculine. Well, you guys better watch out. It's though. Ruby. I have the best weapon ever. Car keys that drive a car <gasps> when used correctly. Oh, look at that! Step. Oh man! Step. I got three blades. I'm like Wolverine. Yeah. This is the best Except thing ever. It's coming out of one thing and it. And their car and their keys. Yeah. Well, <laughs> next question from Happy Pill 77. If you could be a type of drug, what would you? What would be your effects and side effects? Hmm. Your hmm. effects and side. Like meaning, like what would it do to you, and what would the side effect be? Hmm. So, for example, Molly makes you really happy for about six hours. And then makes you really depressed for about 24. No, I was thinking of like Excedrin or something legal. I, didn't, Ooh, I wasn't yeah. thinking of the no, illegal thinking stuff. Of illegal. Any kind of drug. Oh. Illegal drugs. Black any tar heroin. Drug. I'd be mean black tar heroin. And so what's what your, your side what's effect, your side effect though? Uh, you basically get really high on heroin and it forms an intense addiction uh, physically and mentally. And, and it's really hard to die? shake and it, it pushes you away from your family and your friends. Ooh. You overdose and die? And then, and then eventually you overdose and die. Wow. Black tar heroin. <laughs> Uh, I would be a, a drug that when you take it, it turns you into any animal of your choosing. Like an animal? Oh. We can do that? I didn't know we could do That's that. That's amazing! Uh, but the side effect is cotton mouth. You know the only way to counteract the effect of cotton mouth is to use black tar heroin. <laughs> hey, what's the name of the drug in Dune? Spice? The I'll spice be, melange? I'd be spice melange. What happens to spice melange? What do you do? Your eyes, your eyes turn blue. You can see the future. You can talk to your unborn baby sister. What are your side Ooh. effects? Those are the side effects. I'm spice melange. Wow. You guys are picking fake drugs. I didn't know we could pick fake drugs. Oh. Black tar heroin's a fake drug. It's not. It's real. It's very real. I Trust me. I, I don't know the name of it, but I would like something. Let's call it uh, Hydraxor Pseudolol. Hydraxor Pseudolol. Hydraxor it, it, it keeps you up for days. Like seven days in a row. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Side like effects, though, hair. you get a little sleepy. Yeah. Uh, last question. Oh, ding, 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 ding. You won the... Uh, one question that we're actually pulling related to the theme. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, question of the week. Uh, Hank Olio, um, which Game of Thrones character slash story arc are you most interested in right now? Joel? Joel? Yeah, Joel. Well, I haven't finished the previous season, so I'm really hoping that Oberyn Martell guy ends up doing something pretty exciting. Yeah? Yeah. He's cool. I like mm -hmm. him. Yeah, he, yeah. Uh, what I like about him is he sleeps with men, uh -huh. sleeps Keep with talking. women, uh -huh. Keep going. drinks, eats, Fucks Does anything whatever he wants. wants to do. I love that. That's guy. why I can't wait for his story to continue this season. I love that. He gets his own chapter, right? Eventually. Yeah. I love that. What about you, James? I'm kind of a Rob Stark man. Mm -hmm. I think he's got 
pretty good claim to the throne. Uh -huh. I want to see him avenge his father um, and get, get justice for the Stark family. So I'm pretty excited to see one, him get married, Are we still settle down. About Game of uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, we're still talking about it. Um, I want to see him marry, get married, settle down, Can maybe have, have a kid. Yeah. yeah, maybe have a kid with his uh, young, beautiful wife. He's gonna be and king one day. I mean, look, he's I'm, gotta be. I'm king only one. on the first book and season. I didn't want to get too yeah, far yeah. ahead. He's gonna be a lot like his dad. The king of the his, north. His dad's awesome. Yeah. What about you? What character do you like? Eddard. I want to know what happens to that oh, guy. Oh yeah, oh, that's By a good far, choice. My favorite character. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're still talking about him. He right. I like him because. He could have taken the kingdom, but yeah, he chose yeah, but he not didn't. to. Wanted he's to got raise honor. a family. He's got, he's got honor. honor. I understand honor. that he cheated on Cat, which kind of sucks, but that's why he has Jon Snow. But did he? We don't know. Like, I think we'll find out probably like six books later. Yeah, we'll find out. He'll tell us later. Yeah, Either boy. way, I love We're these still characters. Talking about it. We're still talking about it. Please leave, I Bruce. I didn't ask that question. Oh. oh. You coming to talk to Bruce, what are you about excited something? about with the Game of Thrones? Yes, they won't shut up. Anyway, that's all the time we have for your questions this week. Um, what's our theme for next week? Game next of Thrones. Week. We're going to do Game of Thrones again. Perfect. Game of Thrones questions yeah, next this week. Is so tune in for Open uh, Throne House. Yeah. Throne Room. Ooh, the Throne Room. The Throne Room. I yeah, think our sigil toilet. should be like a seawolf. Yeah. Ours is the <laughs> questions or a and answers. can of dude soup. Yes. Or maybe right. just hey, Don Bruce. Cheadle's head. We're done. I've got bad news, guys. What's what? up? What? Can we go home? Get to cancel shows. Good job. That's yeah. my job. Sorry, Wait, guys. did you cancel no. Joel? In fact, I'm doubling the output. Guys, we have to do two Q and A's this All right, week. Let's start with the next not. one. Here right, we go. Guys, hey guys, welcome to the Q and A. No, 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 no. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Game of Thrones themed open house. It never ends. Too soon. Your first question this week comes from Mr. Shannon Ogge. Most of you <laughs> guys- Mr. Shanagi. I can't read words. Most of you guys seem to work out a lot. Even Spool has started. What? So Even do you, Spool? <laughs> do you have any advice or tips? Spool, how do you get as buff as Spool? Uh, you, you don't work out a lot. We got enough. Good Sorry. advice. All right. You'll know. You'll know how much. Use what I've I've taught you so much. Yeah. Uh, don't don't ever eat. Nice. Good. Just uh -huh. live off of water. How how late do you stay up? How often do you not sleep? Uh, I get about four hours of sleep a night. Yep. That helps. Mm. Uh, my boy. <laughs> More time to work out. I chain smoke a cigarette. Nice. Well, that's not true. That's being what's, funny. What's the single most effective machine to use at the gym? The squat rack. So now that you know how to get buff, yeah. you go ahead and start chain smoking. If you want this sweet body, show it, Spool. Take your shirt off. Take your shirt off. You, you need more alcohol? Shirt. Shirt. You already did You're it once. Done it's all over Twitter. Give me your shirt. Uh, that's a good segue in our second question. Bacon Bits Bites asks, what are your favorite tabletop games? It wasn't a good segue, sorry guys. This was a question for Joel, I, I guess. I fucking blew it. Go ahead. We Will. all play tabletop games. So Joel introduced me to the world of tabletop games. Are tabletop games also board games? I don't know. Yeah, sure. Settlers of sure, Catan. Yeah. As long as you play them on the table. Uh, I play a lot of Wrath of a Shardalon. Uh, uh, nerd! I'm done. I'm done. Uh, Resistance? Oh, we play oh, Resistance. Resistance. Those are fun. Yeah. yeah, Coup. Yeah, you play Coup. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna play Coup. Your wife's a dirty liar, by the way, when we played Resistance, and no one believed me. Yep. James, Hold I, on. I think there's one thing that we can all agree on is a bad tabletop game. Yeah. Cards Against Humanity. Oh, uh, yes. Worst. Okay, yes, oh, wow. that's true. Whoa. Uh, so a lot of people have God said, bad. hey, can you guys play Cards Against Humanity? No. <laughs> Bill O'Reilly with his dick in a blender farting into a can. <laughs> Ooh, that hurts. <laughs> uh, mm, let's see, fill in the blank. Uh, I like Warhammer. Next question. I can, uh, Montezum. Oh, you made it in again. Yeah. Are you aware of the massive um, amount of homoerotic content that there is about you on Tumblr? How does that make you feel? He was feel? shaking when he yeah. wrote it. M -m -mount. I have shingles. Oh, shit. Ooh, Bruce has shingles. Ugh, fuck. That's the more important question. So how does that Bruce make you feel? This chicken pox. Joel. Um, Honored, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean that's cool. I, I think it's cool to have any sort of fandom about us. We we have weird lives that fandom. people actually. It's called fandom. I've I've, fandom. Yeah. Yeah. I've said I've said over and over that if somebody can get off to me. Yep. Uh, it's the highest honor. I one think it is an honor. Yeah. I mean yeah. like I it's like great. girls, guys, doesn't uh, matter, aliens. 
pets, and dogs, and we're open to anything. I mean, we we. We worked in West Hollywood for four years. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I told you the most I've ever been hit on was the gym I used to go work out at. Uh -huh. yeah. Didn't wait. What, what was the, the glory story? days? What was that story it? about that one guy in the in the bathroom? What did he say to you? Who kind, not whispered in my ear, but we were kind of alone in the locker room, That's and as, as he was walking us out, out, he said, "I'd rip you in half." <laughs> It's so romantic. Uh, I think I think so. The, take, the takeaway here is our fans are very far reaching and have lots of different preferences. Yeah. And if you like to fuck dudes or you like to fuck chicks, we don't care. Yep. Yeah, yeah. We just want to make you laugh. Yep. And jerk off. Uh, yeah, next question. question. We want. Uh, to Womb Raider wants to know if we if you could draw as good as the fans, who would you draw fan art of? First of all, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. gauntlet thrown. Ooh, poor Joel. What, what's wrong with you? Are you stroking out? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay, right? I can draw. I can draw. I can draw. I can draw. draw. Okay. Right. Not as good. Not as good as what is it? Acid. Uh, acid, acid rain. Rain. Oh, God. Not no, as good no, as him. But uh, as as uh, him, uh, Joel. Joel, you're an excellent drawer. But how? How are you with animation? Oh, I'm amazing. Oh, I've seen. seen it. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, we I'm amazing. Show, let's show Joel's animation. And go. So good! Look at how good it was. <laughs> it's well, the was really, physics are amazing. Really uh, good, cool. Look, the question is to me because I can't draw as good as the fans. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, the answer is I would draw fan art of Egret from <laughs> Doing Game what? of Thrones. Doing what? Well, uh, I do a lot of fan fiction of Egret and Jon Snow. Uh huh. Uh, but I have to have Adam Kovic, Kovic, narr Snow. Adam oh, Kovic no problem. narrate it. Yeah, wait, so so now you have to pose so us. Who am I? No, you're the artist. You have to pose us oh, as Jon Snow and Egret. Oh, so I'm so you're, you're, you're Egret. So this is what your fan art is going to look like. Adam, he's, the, he's, the, he's the wind. That old man is Egret. Adam's Egret. Adam's Egret. Who am I? No, no, no. Hold on. Lay down. Lay down. I'm the wall. I'll be the wall. Lay down on your back. But you can't see Turn around. Turn around. Okay. Okay. All the way. No. Nope. Where do you want the wall to go? All right, All right here. Do you know? Don't like this. No. Oh, Jon Snow. All right, now raise your head. Okay. Right, just put me where raise you need your me head. To go. Like right. Jon Snow, like Jon this. Snow. Yeah. Now you bend over this way. Yeah. Who are you? I'm the wall. Okay. You're the wall. Okay. Bend okay. over this way. Okay. And yeah. then uh, the wall grabs like this. Okay. Like that. Yeah. And then you. Now you say. I love you, Jon Snow. <laughs> That's it. That's all I want. All right, next question from Matt Uzak. What are some frustrating aspects of video games that will make you turn them off on the spot mm. and not go back to them? I.e. difficulty, bad graphics, rushing. So for me, it's load times. Uh, for me, it's uh, playing multiplayer. For me, it's any game that has a gun in it. Uh, we recently played The Creatures at some CSGO, and Bruce was a team player through and through. We all were. I was trying to really lead everyone. Holy shit, I wanted to win. What's wrong with sometimes trying to win, guys? Sometimes uh, the, the hardest part of being a leader is letting other people lead. What the fuck are you talking about? James has never played the game. He can't lead. Sometimes uh, it takes an idiot to show us the way. What the fuck are you talking about? No, it doesn't. Sometimes. All those sayings are wrong. Give us you one need more to let go cookie. in order to learn to love. That oh, one's yeah. all right. I think that I, I can. How Stella got her groove back. All right. I, think of the I mean, heart. I can let go of James if if he will lo learn to love me. Wait, 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 hold on. No, if you let go of me, I'm fucking gone. Oh, <laughs> oops. Okay. Yeah. Next question from Sleepy Pixel. If you could have any celebrity, would you bring on Fungus? These are the kinds of questions we get in a Reddit thread. Next question from Sporadically Racist. Ugh. Have you guys ever disliked a video that you've posted on your channel? Mm. Oh, that's mm. a good question. Our channel Funhouse? Or <laughs> one of the previous channels that we've put content on in the past? Uh, our Pony Show channel. Uh, I wasn't a fan of the one time <laughs> where we put that thoroughbred on. You didn't like that? that? wasn't really I liked that video. Mm. Wait, the what? thoroughbred video that, with the horses? It was a little sickly. What? Didn't no, like it. No, it was what good. Nah. That video, remember that video where we all went out to that horse ranch? Oh we yeah! For half a day? Remember that? Filmed? We, we, yeah, but we, we didn't like that. that video. That was an obligation to the Pony Ranch that bought a campaign. But we yeah. saw that cow giving birth. I still disliked That's it. No. I still disliked it. Not a good video. Okay. There's all right. You can't win them all. So the answer for me is no, and then my guess yes. And then the uh, Pony video. Last question, Joel. Last question, Joel. Uh, Adire Flex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you had the power to swap one actor in Game of Thrones with Arnold Schwarzenegger, which would you choose? Agree. Game of Thrones question of the week.
Agreed. Hey, oh, nice job. Oh, right. Right. Nice theme. Right. 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 You did it. Uh, I, I'd switch, your, switch him with Agreed. Wait, so then I... How would Arnold Schwarzenegger sound as Agreed? Yeah. Adam Kovic. Oh, boy. Let's oh, say he would lick Jon Snow's taint. Oh. Oh, I know Jon Snow, I want to lick the tent. Uh, that's, I mean, that's, that's just too good. much Arnold. That's right. Uh, right. Oh, Adam, Arnold He's got to be doing the northern oh, I mean, accent. I'm just a little girl. Oh, there we go. Uh, you sound like Yoda. Uh, that's good. We're in the grotto. No, no. That's okay. Good. Oh, that's you got good. some grotto there. Uh, Stick the words you know. Grotto, taint. Grotto, <laughs> pubic hair. Crow, crow, crow. Uh, I fucked my mid to look like a huh? ah, There you go. Oh, okay. All right. I don't know what happened there. That's right. a good one. That that's was real good. Real, that was real good. When I die 30 years from now from a stroke, that's the same sound I'll make. I would want to go back in time and take Arnold Schwarzenegger from like 1982 and make him play uh, Dario, but book Dario. So he's got like blue mustaches and he's like a sexy foreign world. guy. And he's like, he's serious. nailing Daenerys book Dario? Stormborn. Bam, bam, bam. I'm doing the Bruce joke this week. Right, I'm going with you. Right. They're, I mean, they're leaving. We can talk more about this, but I don't really want to. That's okay. I just wanted to actually answer the question because that was just a silly Adam Kovic voice. It was. Run. But I think that's what the people want, probably more than serious answers or silly Adam Kovic voices. I, I think they He's kind of the voice man of the group now, so. Uh, that's all your questions this week. Uh, if you want to hear more serious questions like this video, if you want to hear stupid Adam Kovic voices, uh, leave a comment. Hold on, we gotta just we gotta decide on the theme for next week is Game of Thrones. So give us your Game of Thrones questions. We're uh, we're doing Game of Thrones questions. All right. Is your new office bigger? Well, yeah, you guys aren't in. Okay. I need to turn this off now. We gotta click stop. All right. Wait, where is it? I'm clicking it. Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Open House without the Joel. We are Sans Joel. No Joel on this episode's. This week's ep It's funny, because I saw a comment on the last one that said, I really like Joel being there. He has a certain charm that yeah. isn't there otherwise. Uh, little did we know that last week was his last week. Sorry, Joel. We'll miss you. We'll miss you, Joel. Miss you, buddy. All right, first question. This week comes from Tidges. Mm -hmm. If Fun House was a gay Swedish nightclub, what individual roles would each of you have in operating the business? This is a great question. Well, I would obviously be the question. manager of the club. Oh, okay. Uh, because if there's one thing I know how to do, it's manage a gay club. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Oh. No, no, I mean, like, just no. to, it's because those were things that I would I used to dream about doing, ma managing gay club. What? You used to dream about managing gay No, no, no. I mean, I dreamt about managing Men? gay... Gay, man, Swedish. man. You want to? No. You want to? You want to fuck dudes? I can't really go back okay. on this one, can I? No. no, you can't. I'd probably be the DJ, right? Yeah, that'd be cool. Fuck yeah. yeah. The MC, master of ceremonies. Um, I want to be a bartender because uh, I like trying new things, and I'll probably get bored of it after like half an hour. Would Just, you be like Coyote Ugly, and you dance on the bar for all the the gay Swedish one? Men to one the... half Coyote Ugly, one half cocktail, mm -hmm. one half um, sports bar. We just thought it was a Swedish nightclub, <laughs> but it turns out Joel's only letting in gay men and gay women. <laughs> um, Looking in the mirror, hello, stranger. He's like, Whoa. I got something in common with you. <laughs> Next question from Ben C. UK, I guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Proudest moment since you started making YouTube videos? Mine's easy. I know what mine is. Go, go ahead. Putting that cow vagina <laughs> in the last. Really? That was your proudest moment? I think so. We've done way worse. Robocop, Robocop. I protected Detroit, but tricky Detroit. I assumed Don Johnson was going to knock on the door for fucking vice. My advice. Love his legs. And then uh, my proudest moment was when we made the uh, Xbox One announcement video and Tim and Eric tweeted us. That was my proudest moment. Oh, wow. I couldn't believe that, that Tim Heidegger. He was mean about it, though, yeah. Uh, but then he tweeted it again, so I think <laughs> it was a joke, but I'm not sure. Please let it be a joke, Tim. I, yeah, I, I, wish, I wish he watched our videos. He doesn't. But if he did, Tim, was what it, if he watches was every single video? Was I really doubt or, that. Was it a joke or was it serious? I don't think most of our fans watch all of our videos. All right, Adam, you've been making YouTube videos the longest. What's your proudest moment? Proudest moment. Yeah, come on. Um, this this is cheesy. This is really cheesy. I like this it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It I like was cheese. starting Funhouse. Oh. No, it was nice. It's a it's a cool name. It's a it's a new venture. It's exciting. That was a very proud moment for me. James, remember when Adam picked the name Funhouse? My 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 proudest moment was when Adam picked the lamest response for the question about his proudest moment. 
can't be funny like you guys. I just, I'm the straight man. <laughs> hey, ooh, that's not a drink. Uh, <laughs> DeVito McCool. We've already seen Adam and Joel's, but I'm sure no. you've all got them. Who has the best spool impression in the office? Let's do it. Let's go down the line. I think I do. Um, what's spool, spool what's something you would say? Give me your dumb hat. Oh, man. Brittany keeps texting me. I wish I could <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> Can't use that. <laughs> Hold on. I'll do another one. Um, right. uh, uh, this is something about... Um, Hey, there was a uh, spool. I noticed there was a, uh, a few mistakes in that video. Can you re-export it? Um, Brittany keeps texting me. I'm not sure. <laughs> here, give me the hat. All right, here. Oh man, this, hey spool, I need you to do some uh, audio tests on that mic. Yeah, over there. I should have that done by the end of the day. No, no, no. I just need you to do the audio test. That you doesn't. Those weren't there when I exported it. <laughs> no, we. Uh, so I don't know why yes. this export was there. Uh, no, we actually we just need you to talk into the mic right now so we can have. Hey. Thank you very much. James is winning. How Lawrence do his? Hey guys, what's up? Uh, uh, um, hey, uh, hey, Spool. Yeah. Uh, Michael Jackson. Hey, hey, Spool. We're going out this weekend. Uh, oh, do you you're, have any plans? You're going out this weekend. <laughs> nice. That's a good one. No, no. Going out this weekend. Yeah. yeah. No. I mean, we're we're just gonna we're probably gonna go to a bar, maybe like uh, get some food or something. You want to come along? Uh, I got a stream. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Spool. I noticed you looked really nice today. You look nice today. Boom! Got me! Next question from Scotty. Three, two, four. The Church of Fun Houses formed. What is the Church of Fun Houses? Ten commandments. Let's not do ten. Uh, let's do five. Well, well five. I mean, first commandment yeah. is yeah. let's cut them commandments in half. Yeah. <laughs> one through five are just like they just they're just numbers. Number one, letters. only five, five commandments. Number okay. two. Uh, <laughs> Wait. Number two is five? thou shalt fart. Thou, thou shalt. shalt fart. Number three. Uh, thou shalt uh, try not to smell Bruce's farts because they hurt. Number four. Thou shalt always smell Bruce's farts. God damn it. Number five. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. Um, <laughs> man, I wish I had those tablets that we could uh, scroll them on like Moses. Walk down with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was it Moses? Yeah. Hmm. No, Moses. He went up, he found a bush, and he was like, what? And then he found some rocks that had words written in them, and he's like, Okay. These are it. Next question from Retarded Ninja. If you guys could choose anyone, alive, dead, or fictional, to play video games with for an hour, who would you pick, and what game would you play with them? Hmm. I would pick George Washington. Oh, really? That's a good answer. And I would play... Uh, I'd probably play Call of Duty with George Washington. Really? <laughs> because I think George Washington. So he can see the this error is... of his ways? No, I think no. That, uh, no, I think George Washington... Sense. I think George Washington was a man's man. Yeah. And I think that when he realizes that you can kill the Nazis in Call of Duty okay. that he would want to kill bad men. Well, no, but even more so, George Washington is a founder of America, and if any game represents America, like Hoorah America, mm. it's Call of Duty. And so he would be sitting there and you'd be like, this is what you built. Son, and then you high five him, and then- and You then, shove Doritos in his and face? And you go, hey, I got, the, I got some flyers for this nightclub if you want to come out. Uh, I think pulling Napoleon aside to play some Assassin's Creed Unity would be kind of cool. I would like to see his thoughts of how he was uh, represented in the game. Do you think they would understand? Wouldn't you have to explain to them what you were doing before you did any of it? Right? Well, he's probably a skeleton at this point. Oh, okay. So we're just gonna take them present day. I just want some bones. Napoleon's bones and George Washington's bones play Call of Duty. <laughs> James, what about you? I'm gonna say um, Megan Fox because yeah. she likes games. She does. And mm -hmm. then we probably have a lot to talk about and then she'd probably like be like, I care a lot for you, James. And then we'd put our hands together and then I'd see her, her thumb. Her club, thumb. Oh! Yeah, her club thumb. Her weird and I thumb. And go, well, anyway, let's go back to, oh, she'd probably be really good at the sticks though. Yeah, yeah. she'd have a big, big club thumbs. Big club thumbs. <laughs> Meme wanker. Uh -huh. What would the Funhouse Children's TV show look like? Do we have a uh, children's mascots that we have in the uh, TV show? Nope. Remember, like, Pee Wee had a, a television that talked, mm -hmm. and he had, um... um oh, yeah. Oh, it's, a huge, it's a giant double-sided dildo. Okay. It's like, hiya, kids! Yeah. But it's just, Welcome to the Swedish Gay Night Club! Not a children's show. trying to fly that, away. What? That's not uh -huh. a children's show. We can't do that. Well, they say, all right, first of all, who are we to decide what's wrong for children? Pee Wee had a, a television 
right? But people say, oh, don't let kids watch too much TV. So uh, we could have a dildo, and people are like, oh, well, you shouldn't use dildos on kids, but we don't know that maybe that's not as bad as... Are you going to include all of this in the show? I probably should. I probably you just should. said to use dildos on kids. Booty, 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 dildos everywhere. <laughs> it's me, Dildy, the dildo. Oh, God. Hey, next question from Boost Black. If you could place yourselves in any Game of Thrones sex scene. Oh, the Game of Thrones team. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, in case you guys forgot, uh, we are. this is a Game of Thrones themed week. We've been taking all your Game of Thrones related questions <laughs> yes, and answering them to yep. the best of our ability. Uh, yes. So if you could place yourselves in any Game of Thrones sex scene, which one would you choose and how would you contribute to it? So mm. uh, I would place myself in the Jon Snow the great sex scene. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And I would have a grit, or whatever her name you is. You just pronounced it two different ways. <laughs> say, but. <laughs> that's true, I did. But that's because uh, that's the way the wildlings do it. They say, oh, uh, oh yeah. Grit, so yeah. Comes in a grit sometimes. It's, it's good that you, matter really. <laughs> or why grit? I don't yeah, know. Anyways, right. she'd say things like, Hey, John Snow, you may have seen the men behind the screen light, uh, but it's okay because uh-huh. he's got the camera and we don't know. What did she say? That, is that sex Was that talk? a line that you wrote? What? Is that, that sex That's talk? from the books. Uh, all right, so then hold that's on. That's canon. Uh, <laughs> Cannon. James, what about you? I would I would go to the sex scene where that she has sex with that shadow down in the cave. Oh yeah. She gives birth out of her vagina. All yeah. she does is give birth to it. It's, oh that's <laughs> that's that opposite sex. I would be the shadow and that would be sex. <laughs> What, what, how are you contributing? Yeah, what would the sh- I'm the shadow. No. The sh- oh, so you're the shadow. I'm the shadow, and I'm climbing out of a vagina. Would, the what question would... was not, who do you want to take the place of? You, James Willems, are now in this universe of if Game of could, Thrones. If you could place yourselves in any Game of Thrones sex scene. You, you are not a shadow. What would, so what would Igrit say if she was there and the shadow came out? You, James, the shadow came out, and Igrit saw the shadow come out. What would she say? Oh, God. Oh, Jon Snow, run the race in the shadow. She keeps talking to Jon Snow. I'm just She's always with Jon Snow. I'm really confused. John, oh, okay. at this point in the story, I don't think we That's met my yet. favorite scene. My favorite scene is when uh, Egret travels all the way down. <laughs> yeah. To, and uh, sees the shadow yeah. come out. Yeah. And says, we're done today at the Jon Snow. You got your pretty right. McGrattle. Yeah. One second, right. Miss Rinder. I took Rinder. your shadow down to McGrattle, Jon right. Snow. I had the climbing oh. at my taint. If you I gotta, I gotta pick you're, a game. If you're in a sex scene, what would you be? Uh, I, I would... I want to go in that one scene. It's not really a total sex scene, but it, it's the aftermath where Oberyn's with like the two dudes and the chick, and like he's is this got after a, he gets his he's head got pushed a, in. This is way before, oh. and he's got like a dog in the corner. Yeah, I want to jump in and go. Am I good enough? You mean for Oberyn to fuck you in the ass? Wait. Hey, Oberyn, I can do a real mean you greet. And then he's like, who the fuck's you greet? And I'm like, it's this dumb thing I do every Hold week. On. How would Oberyn sound when he notices that you're just standing off to the corner afraid to get involved in his little, uh, in his little... What oh, Richard? Adam, come over to the no, room. It's me, Adam. Come and see me. I know the Game of Thrones thing is a joke, but we've gone way too long on this. The rolling the R's is my favorite. Over in King's <laughs> Sounds like Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> Where's Peter Dinkley? <laughs> All right, so it's we a broken car. <laughs> next week, make sure you ask us uh, Game of Thrones. Game of questions. Thrones is new yeah. theme for next, next week, week everybody. Game of Thrones. Um, actually, uh, real question. This, yeah. this, there might be something related to this. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, Halo fan fiction. We're looking for oh, good Halo fan fiction. Right. Can't tell you why right now, but if you leave some of that, we might use it. And Wait, if we you do, you the... might get a prize. This is but super exciting, by the way. If really, you can really combine exciting. Game of Thrones and Halo into one fan fiction, oh boy, you gonna get picked. Or Master Tweet for Bring Come on, it in me. Bring Jon Snow. Snow. Yeah. <laughs> Take it in me. <laughs> Just start the car up. It's, it's got to make a car down the road. Don't camp the active crim roll. Bring crim me, boy. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Open House. We're taking your questions. Game of Thrones, uh, Dead Horse. Let's do it. What? Hmm? Oh, you're talking about the scene from when the mountain... First question! From Commander Jeddo, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, uh, if you guys had to break a Guinness World Record or create a new one, what would it be? Bruce? So I can fart really well. <sighs> yeah, we all knew. But do it. I you can't, fart? I, I can't fart very long, but I can fart loud. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. really good at farting loud. All so, right. I would like to break the decibel record for the loudest fart. 
You know how when you break a world record, you get a plaque and it says you broke a world record? And then I, I in a minute, I'd smash all of the plaques with a bat as fast as possible. Oh! That would be, that would be my world record for okay. smashing That's other clever people's word world play, records. James. We all appreciate it. Clever, clever wordplay. Clever. I, um, I have no desire to be in the Guinness World Book of Records, but I did own 1999's version of the book. Ooh. And my favorite bit of trivia in there was World's Smallest Penis. Next question from Awkward Lion Games. If you were a game, what would your pre-order bonus DLC be, and where would I have to make my pre-order to get it? Hmm. All right. Uh, Joel? If I were a game, uh, your pre-order bonus DLC would be more modes of dancing. Uh, so, like, there are, like, different varieties of dancing that you can use as uh, an emote in yeah, the game. Uh -huh. emotes. Uh, yeah, emotes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And where would good. you have to make your pre-order? Uh, you would have to get it from uh, Lucky's Dance Saloon. <laughs> Which, is that a real place? It which, sounds like a real place. It's a it's a comedy and by day it's a oh, dancing man. school, but by night it's a hall where you can go and, is this a and plot dance. For a movie? Is what is happening? Like with with pre-orders. Yeah. Adam, what about you? Uh, I, I mean, like I kind of have one mode, which is just kind of like stoic and grumpy. Yeah. So if you want happiness Ooh, or other emotion, yeah, oh, caring, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you got to buy that. I mean, in the game is probably a. Cooking simulator. Mm. Are, are your vocal emotes like, ooh, that's a spicy of meatball? <laughs> that's racist. That's a racist thing to say. Italian is, is not a race, it's oh. a yeah, nationality. It so, in closing, I want to make Italian food tonight. That's mm -hmm. a spicy of meatball. James, what about you? Uh, you're looking at it. It would be this shirt. It'd be a special skin where I'm wearing the Batman shirt. Normally, I just come with the orange gorilla. It's copyrighted. But if you pre order it at Babbage's, then you get the. <laughs> he didn't license You get for the, the game. blue Batman shirt, too. <laughs> hey, nice shirt. I Thanks. Realize. <gasps> Batman buddies. <laughs> uh, inertia 0811. Hey guys, suppose for a moment you were to transpose a 16th century metaphysical poet into the aestheticism movement seen in 18th century Europe and beyond. This is Joel's question. Would the metaphysical poet's mm -hmm. aesthetic transgression align with that of the great aesthetes? Uh huh. Or are the two movements so entirely autonomous? And that I think he meant to say autonomous. Antonymous. Yeah, it says opposite. antonymous, but I think he meant autonomous, no, right? No, he means I, I mean, opposite. Right? Antononymous? I think it means opposite. That Not such a juxtaposition is impossible to discuss. Joel Rubin. Would the metaphysical poets aesthetic? Yes. Yes. Well, there you have it. <laughs> We're a that's gaming channel? To, that's the answer to your what? question. Yes. <laughs> YL Birdie uh, says, since Silent Hills has been canceled, do you guys think you could make a better Funhouse horror game? Absolutely. I think obviously yeah, we could. Absolutely. So here's here's what you do. You, we need to, right, what's, what's the location of the game? Uh, scene. First, scene. Scene. Bathroom. Bathroom. A misty bathroom. Okay. I already don't like how this game is being written like a movie. Scene. Misty bathroom. Interior. Misty bathroom. Uh, INT dash. Bruce. Bruce wakes up on the toilet. Uh -huh. okay. Pants down, shirt on. Okay. With a confused look on his face. Uh -huh. He doesn't know how he got there. He sees blood and uh, and brown. Or just Actually, just red and brown everywhere. All over the walls. Oh, no. Oh. And the toilet. Wakes yeah. up. Doesn't know what's happening. Must be a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So wait, so that's it? That's the game. The game was just me sitting on a toilet? Well, um, it's you sitting on the toilet, but if you pre-order it at Babbage's, then you get you get a different shirt for Bruce to wear on the toilet. Please buy our game. This doesn't sound any better than PT. It sounds a lot worse than PT, actually. Cancel! Next question is in Jinga Apocalypse. My husband and I watch you guys every day and are huge fans. Aww. We are having our first baby in August. Ew. You each have one chance to convince us to name the baby after you. <gasps> mm. Ready, Whoa. go. Oh, this is such an honor. It All right. is. All right, so here's the thing. Bruce is the coolest name in here, and I'll tell you why. Yeah. I'll tell you why. Number one, Bruce Wayne. Number two, Bruce Banner. Number two, Bruce Springsteen. Number two. Is he okay? Do you, I think what happened? Yeah. There's Bruce in there. There's, um, uh, oh, Bruce the shark. Joel? Uh, all right. Joel farted, by the way. Here's the deal. He stinks. I did fart. When you look at this lineup of idiots, you don't want your kid to end up like one of these Gentile Foreskin having. He's not Jewish. You don't know that. Well, I guess he could. Just by naming him Joel, he's going to be circumcised? It means Yahweh is God. I mean, look at me. Uh, I'll give you a reason why you should name your kid Adam. It's always easy. 
Uh, it's only four letters. He'll never get it wrong. There's no variation of the name Adam, so you don't have to worry about any sort of weird pet name, which is always kind of nice. No one's ever had a name. Hey, Adski. Me. Nope. Adski. What about Adam? Yeah. Whoa, Adam. Adam. It has dumb in his Ooh. own name. Yeah, you, you just can't. It doesn't work. No nicknames ever stick. Adam. Uh, and also, uh, first man on Earth who then had sex Neil with a woman. Neil Armstrong. Oh. But came from a... But yeah, then you she gave him the rib. That stupid Bible. St- oh wait. Unlike the rest of these assholes, uh, a James doesn't think only about himself, and thus I'm concerned for your kid. So you shouldn't even name the kid Bruce, uh, James, Adam, or Joel. What? You should go with the true American name Torvald. America, the land of liberty. All right, Torvald. You're trying reverse psychology. Yeah. You're giving her such a horrible name. She's gonna go, yeah, James doesn't sound so bad. Yeah, your name is like, they're gonna, if, if they name him James, they'll be like, oh, it's James the Lame. Right, let's put him in a list. All Number right. one, Adam. Joel. Stupid. Number two, Joel. Joel. Dumb. Awesome. Number three, James. Fucking dumb. Number four, Torvald. Number Who zero. gives a fuck? <laughs> Number five, Bruce Best wins. Awesome. They named a Bible after me. Next question. <laughs> Next question, the great Radsby. If you guys were all bosses in a From Software, what would you look like, and what would the fight against you be like? Do you know what From Software is, Joel? They oh. make video games. So they do that, but you know what I thought he was saying make? we're going to be like in a management yes. position at From Software. No. Oh. 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 oh, you can do that if you want to. I was going to say, hey, uh, maybe the bosses shouldn't glitch through the walls, and then they would look at me and go, you're fucking fired. Get, Get out. out. I would be something that you can't possibly draw. So I'd have like big bulbous things and then on the underside there'd be like a mouth but then they also also have boobs on my back too cuz why not uh-huh. and then at halfway through the fight I would transform because of blood and then I'd turn into a different monster that was also not identifiable as anything and I'd just be like Bleh. but if you pre-order it you get a different t-shirt to wear <laughs> I would be the worst, grossest, most disgusting boss of all, Joel Rubin. I would <laughs> look like Joel, and he'd be constantly like farting up. right next to you. When did the tables turn and fart became bad for you? Look, I like I that fart, Joel's like, I'm the boss. I fart in my own space, all right? I fart over here, and sometimes people smell it, sometimes they don't. You keep farting right next to me. Well, no, no, no. It's it's not that we don't smell it. It's we just stop smelling through our noses. Oh. We breathe through our mouth. That's gross, though, because then you can taste the fart. It's worse than smelling the fart. It's, you, yeah, but you can't actually taste a fart. Me, yeah, sh- you can. Let me show you a trick. It's just this. That. I would be like a scary, like skinny scarecrow boss who terrorizes your dreams. You mean Joel? <laughs> <laughs> Sir Jar, can you please get Spool to do an Ingrid impression? <laughs> oh, hey, hear that Spool. noise? It's, it's the Game of Thrones Ingrid. horn. Oh, I think that's Ingrid. supposed to be the Game of Thrones question of the week. Oh, An Ingrid impression. I didn't hear any of this. Yeah, yeah. Here you, go. you have to do an Ingrid impression. Do an Ingrid impression from Game of Thrones. You know who Ingrid is? Here. Uh, do it from Babbage's, though. Oh my gosh. Isn't yeah. it Ingrid? Yeah. It's, no, 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 it's yeah, Ingrid. Ingrid. We'll just do an Ingrid. It's and here. action. Hello, Don Snow. Come on! She sounds more Swedish or whatever. She's gotta be Ingrid. Why do you sound like Mrs. Doubtfire? I know. Hello! Hello! Don't snooze! No, no, she doesn't sound like that. Roll your R's. Hello, Don't snooze! That's not an R, there's no R. Also, Uh, speak up a little bit. Yeah, get closer to the mic and talk about your ting. <laughs> Talk about your workout routine. So this one's like to make what a would point? you hold on, Spool? What would you say if Jon Snow came up to you and you were tracking Jon Snow? But you're not Egret, you're, you're John, Ingrid. You're Jon Snow. Yeah. Right there. yeah oh Ingrid. yeah, you're Jon Snow. Go over there. Yeah. Come on. So here's the, here's what happened. Jon Snow appears, and then Egret's really attracted to Jon Snow. So what does Egret say to Jon Snow? Hi, Jon Snow. Hello. Will I'm you a... go down on me? I can't. I've got my vows. What? You have to convince me. Nice yeah, all right. <laughs> Come on. Jeez. Wow. That was really weak, Sean. That was really bad. Yeah, I thought that was good. Kind of expect better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not a bit. yeah, I thought that was good. That's a cut print. <laughs> well, uh, well, so make sure you ask us in the comments all your Game of Thrones questions for next week. Well, Please no, we're going to do a new theme next week. Oh, really? a new, new theme? theme? Oh, we have a new is, theme? Uh, Game, Game of Thrones. Thrones. Game yeah. of yeah. Thrones. Yeah. Make sure you put those Game of Thrones questions in there. Make sure they're uh, titled Ingrid, uh, uh-huh. Care of Joel Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> this is a good episode. You awake? You good? Good oh, work, no. everyone. Oh, I try to tickle oh, you man. awake, buddy. <laughs>
Welcome to episode 100 of Open House. Oh, we Today made it. Oh, we did it. We're, uh, we're in syndication now, baby. This is the show where we ask you to give us real questions, we end up getting silly things, and then we end up just kind of dancing in front of really the camera. questions are really good this week. They are? The first question this week no, comes from Ass Butter. No. What is your favorite vehicle in a game? That's a good question. Wait a minute. What? That's like a real question. Yeah, that's like a, real, a question. real question. What's my and favorite And it's video game related. Wow. Uh, the Scorpion in Halo. Uh, the Warthog in Halo. Um, the Banshee in Halo. What about you? What, what favorite vehicle do you have in Halo? Uh, the mount from uh, the did, did there, are there jetpacks in Halo? Is that a vehicle? Oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah it's sure. Not a vehicle though, right? I, no, Any way of not. getting around. I, I, Is that I, a really I, a vehicle? That's a... There's, all right, so probably the most fun I've ever had flying uh, a vehicle would have been in um, Rebel Assault 2 when you fly the X-Wing through the asteroid field. It's probably the most fun I've had. Rascal 2 standing by. Is Although, it really a vehicle if that if you are just it's, the vehicle? It's like you can't rails. get yeah. in? That, that game's on no, rails. No, you have to dodge stuff. This is what happens when you ask That's a serious No, question. no, I actually do have a pretty good answer. Favorite oh. vehicle is really sad. But uh, when I played GTA 4, I had a, it was really boring, but I had basically a white Escalade ripoff. Mm. I oh, I would take it out, but I would always bring it back and park it. Well, James, you were right about one thing. It was really boring. Boom! <laughs> oh no, watch out! Oh. Oh. I thought he was going to hit you. Instead, he cried and ran away. Want to take the next question, Bruce? Yeah, next question from Miley Cypress Hill. Ha, ha. Oh, if you were somehow funny. transported into your favorite movie, like the kid from The Last Action Hero, and live your life as a protagonist, who would you be and why? Well, we all know the answer for me. What? Luke Skywalker in Star Wars. Go ahead. Jennifer really? Connelly in Requiem for a Dream. Uh, I would like to be... You So remember the first scene Bruce's in answer. Lord of the Rings and they show Strider and before you know he's Aragorn? Yeah. yeah. I want to be one of those guys. Wait, you mean Strider? You, you mean like a ranger of the north? I, I mean, I don't want to be him because that's a lot of work. Yeah. I want to just basically be like a ranger, like cool hunter dude. No one ever in human history ever got to be that because mm -hmm. you would just die of like the Black Death or something. Cool like hunter. if you live in a world where you could be like, you'd live for 70 years or whatever and just hunt shit, that'd be cool. I want to be that guy. So you want to be Strider? I want to be Strider. James, what about you? Last Action Hero. <laughs> and I would be Jack Slater from The Last Action Hero. Is that the name of the kid? No, that's the name of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Did you have to look that up or did you know that offhand? We knew that, Jack Slater, because he stars in Jack Slater 1, Jack Slater 2, Jack Slater 3, Jack Slater 4, and that's the one in the movie. Is the bad guy in that movie the dad from Game of Thrones? Yeah. Next I question. Would, wait, oh. I, I didn't have a real answer. What's your real answer? I thought it was Jennifer Connelly and Requiem for That's a Dream. That's yeah. uh, I would be Milo from Treasure, Pl uh, not from Treasure Planet, from uh, Atlantis, played by Michael J. Fox. Uh, oh, Disney's yeah. Atlantis. Do you have Parkinson's? Because he <laughs> doesn't have Parkinson's, and he gets to go underground, and he bangs a, a smoking <laughs> hot, like, she Atlantan hot. chick she is who smoking. wears no hey, clothes at any time. If you were Jennifer Connelly, you could just look at yourself naked all the time. And bang yourself ass all to ass. the just time. Just staring there, like... Beeves, Beeves 707. I recently played Psychonauts on James's recommendation and really liked Whoa. it. Ooh. My question is, are there any other games that Matt, Adam, <gasps> Bruce, Lawrence, and Sean think are incredible but what underrated? Are about? What are you Why are you laughing? About? What's so funny? You're laughing maniacally. Did what? you know that you wrote the comment? <laughs> no. Oh. Yes. Yeah, because he doesn't ask Joel's opinion. Oh. Because we know Joel's opinion. We don't give you. If you're going to say King's Legend. Quest! Yeah. I was at the store. King's Quest is a great game. My recommendation is Battlefield Hardline because it's a lot more fun than I actually thought it would be. Oh. Underrated. Uh, this is more of a recent one, but. Well, no, it's underrated um, because it got reviewed not very well. Uh, Wolfenstein, New Order. I know the new one's out right now, but I just still don't think a lot of people played the. That last game. one. It's a great yeah. game. Like, if you like first person shooter single player games, that's one of the best games you can get. Yes, I totally agree. Even though my answer was already Psychonauts, which is right there. It's not underrated. No one bought Lawrence. it. It's actually overrated. Lawrence, what, what underrated game would you suggest uh, somebody on the internet play? The N64 game, Fighter's Destiny. Ooh, good answer. Fighter's Destiny. Bull, what game would you recommend? <laughs> say it loud, say it proud. I, I was going to say Jazz Punk. What is Jazz Punk? See, underrated. Underrated, no, no, no. Jazz Punk. No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no. there's never been underrated and unknown, Sean. And Joel says League of Legends. Oh. Matt SR30. I have a question about the office. Yes. It appears that you share your building with many other people, That's some true. sitting right outside That's your door, yes. that are visible through the glass. Uh -huh. How do they deal with your noise? Uh, okay. You guys are pretty loud. Do you ever get com comments or complaints? Uh -huh. Is everyone aware slash cool with what so you is do? So it, is it time we let people know? We let them in on the secret? Yes. Yeah. Those are all actors. 
We pay them. We pay them every day. We, yeah. uh, if you guys ever want to be part of the live studio audience or an actor, basically, uh, we have a Craigslist uh, posting we put out every week. Yep. Uh, you come in. We pay these people money Just to if be you there. find yourself in so, the Los um, Angeles area. We're clearly not... Little, little boys at Funhouse.com. Yeah, we're not, we're not concerned about the noise because uh, they're paid to deal right, with so that. So email yeah. littleboys at Funhouse.com. Uh, put all of your information in that email, and it's going to come straight to me. Mm-hmm. So what I do is I cast them. Mm-hmm. I make sure that they're all good. Uh, they've got to be... Over 16 years of age. But under five feet tall. Under five feet tall, right? Because they got to be little boys. Right. right. And uh, and then they have to make sure that they're hot. You know what hot means? Like like their career is up and coming? No, I mean uh, that they are good looking. Oh. And hot, hot little boys. I like hairy chests. Uh, I like shredded dudes. Um, and <laughs> short, like shredded. Like really short, short. shredded. <laughs> and uh, and they, gotta, they also have to wear shorts. So. <laughs> Those are all important. But none of the people have- Little boys at funhouse.com. I, I went for like a, a clean joke and Bruce made it horrible. You should have seen the little boy, the shredded little dwarf boy that poured coffee all over Adam's car the other you don't day. Don't say dwarf. Dwarf is not yeah. midget. No, dwarf is no. the right term. No, no, little person. I thought no, dwarf no, right no term. that implies a smaller version of a normal person. No one says dwarf. dwarf. Halflings Look are it perfect. Up. People like dwarfs. I'll give it a serious answer. Absolutely. People hear us all the time out there. And And they hate us. They really don't like us. Well, no, they don't hate us. What they do is they just passively, aggressively shut the door. They close our door. And, well, no, we we ask. Hey, everyone, we're having a good time doing the open house. That's what they do. They close our door. Mm. While, I mean, it's not mean. They could just come and say, hey, can you guys please be quiet? Also, there's been no official complaint yet. There no one's complained be. about it. There, there will, will be. Yeah. We're, 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 um, we're but we're leaving. moving in a. We're leaving here in a month anyway. So whatever. So well, then we'll don't get used to it. We'll be loud somewhere yeah, else, and, and people will add it we'll somewhere else. To answer your question, we'll always be loud for you. That coffee story is true. Tell you the coffee next story question. Later. Oh. Uh, your next question is from Dick Smasher, Mick Ironcock. Nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Since DBZ wow. is getting popular again, and you had the chance to make a new character. Uh, what would that character be? First of all, DBZ oh never gosh. stopped being popular. Yeah, bro. I, I'm kind of, I kind of. When did it slow down? Around GT? Is Second that... of all, we don't know that it's going to be DBZ because really DBZ only contains we, the DBZ storyline, yeah, preceded we, we by fun. Dragon Ball uh, mm-hmm. and followed mm-hmm. by Dragon Ball GT. Oh, yeah. So this mm-hmm. new Dragon all Ball could not even be Dragon Ball Z. We don't yeah. know that. Mm-hmm. James, don't forget to be sure to ask questions. It's really boring here. Actually, happening Um, I think he will probably be a. Um, a regular when dude. When you're listening to this during um, the edit, and, and he's going to accidentally it's a good be on the same sidewalk as Goku do, while the, Goku's going to the store, this and then this guy's going to bump into him, and he's going to go, Hey, what's the problem? He goes, No, I don't want any trouble. And then they're going to fight, and they're going to battle for the fate of the Earth and universe and more. Wasn't Popo Blackface? Next question from J.S. Lynch. Hey, guys, if y'all were meat butchers from post-war northern Russia, uh-huh. what would your favorite 1930 Eastern Bloc musicals be, and what type of ally would your cleavers be made from? Please the Warthog specific. from Halo. Can I say something here? Uh, the Scorpion from Halo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was, yeah, there an, was there an Eastern Bloc in the 1930s? Joel? Ooh. I don't think that was until we, later. How, we might have to throw Joel this question out because it's inaccurate. Your farts smell like the fields of Camarillo. They stink. What? Was that you in the smell m- like fucking old farmers? <laughs> Do you think in Joel's apartment? I know because I've been there. He has a little thing of candy, but the candy is not any good. Like an old person. <laughs> It's all stuck together. Yeah, yeah, it's all there's stuck a, together. There's a fine layer of dust on top. So, anyways, yeah, answer his question about the Eastern Bloc. Or oh, jeez. All right, Northern Russia, Eastern Bloc. All right, I would say my favorite one is um, Church. Well, mm. <laughs> I actually do have an answer for this. Oh, please. So, although I dispute the accuracy of the Eastern Bloc existing during the 1930s. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I don't think that's a thing. I would say of that time period, the Three Penny Opera is probably my Ooh. favorite musical. That's a good uh Mac the Knife? That's yeah, a good song. That's a good song. Um I would say it's uh Churchill uh you swine and it's all about uh it's an extended allegory and I'm done. <laughs> when did uh, Rock of Making up something? When did Rock of Ages come out? <laughs> yeah, I think that was I've like, got a great story about Rock of Ages. No, no, I don't want to hear it. What about the ally for cleavers? Oh. Tungsten. Uh, Tungsten. Thank you. Next yeah. question. Oh boy. Uh that's, <laughs> that's Bruce, Bruce or Bruce? I, re- I just read Oh, Jay's you read that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Marquee. Is this a Game of Thrones themed question? That's it. Oh, hey, now, no. question of the week. Hey, nice you job. did it. You did it. Uh, Congratulations. Well, what, what's our answer to this question? Yes. It is. Yes, it is. Uh, uh, actually, no. 
Oh. Wait, what? Ooh, How is it not a Game of Thrones theme? It's not. It's rhetorical. Yeah, it's rhetorical. No, it's not. He, didn't, not, he not. didn't answer the, he that's did not, not ask the question. That's not a rhetorical question. question. That's not a real question. That, I don't think you understand the definition of a rhetorical question. That question is not a real question. Yes, it is a real question. That is a question. That's a, that's an interrogative statement. Question and answers. The Scorpion Here from Halo. On Funhouse. I'm pretty sure it was Tywin Lannister that was in Last Action Hero. It was. It was. Was it really? Yeah, it was. I never saw well, Last Action You should. Hero. Oh, do you no. want to come over and watch Last Action Do you have it on DVD or Blu-ray? Make sure I you cut get this it. part, too, because it's really I boring. I get it. I on DVD, about super big. James, I, sure I remember the James, make sure Taco Bell had cut promotions. Cut it. And just they had it. these big Stop. plastic cups that were just holographic. Just and when you turn them, really boring. he went James, into the cup. Make sure you cut Here, here's the thing cut about Last Action Hero. Cut it's it a out. satire. Cut it out. So just like this it's, question. It's not supposed I'm to be stopping. an no, actual we gotta, No, we have to ask about next week's question. Next Stop week, it. ask us about Game of Thrones. Those apples are really sour. Oh, cool. Hey, tell us. Uh, you know, well, there's a question here about oh, that apple. Oh, sour apples. Yeah. How did they do They don't. Get back to work. Yeah, it's cool. I need you editing that video. We're gonna need that video done by uh, 1035. 1035. Oh man, you better Sorry. hurry. Oh, that's oh a sour boy. Good gully. Right. Yep. Uh, Want to intro man. the show? So what? I was in the bathroom. Oh, right, your first question this week comes from Crucify This. That's offensive. Oh, oh boy. I'm it's, triggering. Uh, triggered. Yep, yeah, someone's oh, triggered question. Can we? Triggered. What was the first video game that you hated but was widely, highly praised? <laughs> There's a lot of ad- a lot. adverbs there. Bruce. Me? Yeah, yeah well, man. First video game that I hated was widely highly. Last of Us. I mean, like, I didn't. First, that was the first, first one, though? Wow. I didn't hate it, but I thought it was. Woo! I thought it was. I thought it was. Pretty- <laughs> Someone made a friend today. I yeah. thought it was not very good. I mean, like it was, it was okay, but right. people loved the game, and I was like, this All is right. cool. All right. Joel, um, it was Uncharted, actually. Oh, there you uh, go. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. All right. I, uh, I remember parts of my childhood, so I'll go to something further back. It's actually Final Fantasy oh. X. Okay. Everyone okay. loved that game, and I was a Final Fantasy oh. fan. The last oh. one I played to completion was nine. I got to ten, I was like. This is dumb. No, I, I get that. I get uh, that. And then after that, almost every indie Which bullshit one? that's come out in the last 10 years. Which so. one? The first <laughs> game, Red by Nomura, and he's bad at writing stories. Which one was 10? 10 was the one with Xanarkand oh and my Blitzball. It doesn't matter, James. Wait, no, 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 that's no. why I wanted to ask the question. James, answer the question. I'm going to go back even further than Adam. I've turned a corner, right? But I didn't like I didn't like Zelda 2 or Castlevania Whoa. when they came out. Great! I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos! Like, Whoa. I remember renting those and going, these are too difficult and too confusing for me. Symphony of the Night is one of the greatest games I've ever played. I just got stuck in the game. I didn't know where to go. Symphony the- of the Night? You gotta put on the cool shades, that way you can see the orb over Richter. Symphony of the Night, great game. Next question from John Slane. Uh, the Avengers have failed. How does Funhouse defeat Ultron? Oh. Ooh, whoa. Joel? I spray water on them because water and electronics don't mix. That's true. Hmm. Let's assume we are the Avengers. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. But we're not Captain America and Thor and all the, all the mm-hmm. usuals. We're mm-hmm. us. We have our own powers. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Uh, obviously, my power is to make every robot attracted to me. Okay. So, and you, so while they're distracted. So while they're distracted by me, because I I took off my shirt and they're like they're like this, they're like, Buh? like that. Yeah. They're, 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 Buh. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we do know that Ultron had daddy issues. So I think I have oh, the yeah. powers of cool stepdad. Okay. Ooh. We go paintballing. We go yeah. the, the the pizza. Check. You win his heart. Yeah. So and then when he's not looking. I beat him. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, that was really wow. But, oh. but, but, that, but I have a question about Bruce's power. Uh, yes. Do you have amazing cleavage like Scarlet Witch did? Um. Is that how you distract them? I, I don't. I don't. But here's the thing: the robots okay. think I have amazing cleavage. Oh, the perception of cleavage. Right. right. Okay. So then, all right. And they go, well, then oh. my, my, I'm really counting on you guys and the daddy issues to bring him down. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> so uh, it turns out Ultron wins. Yeah, we died. <laughs> Next oh, question. Right. On to Marvel Puzzle Quest. Oh wait, that's what I beat him. I matched three colors. Oh, you already chose Damn it. You already chose it. <laughs> Sunny Teabag, if Funhouse was a frat house, Ooh. what terrible it video game is. would you force the new guy to play for 24 hours straight as an initiation to prove they are worthy of being a housemate? What terrible game? I was thinking about this. I would force, so here's the thing is that I would force him to play a game and then try and make that game entertaining. So it would have to be. What? Hmm? No. no. Just force him to play a game. Well, really? Joel's, Joel's making them do what we do every day. Yeah, no, that's right. Well, we cause, do. Well, then, but then I'll know if they're good enough to join the group. 
Well, well no. no. Wait, do you, have you ever been and in I, a fraternity? All right, you keep talking. Have you been in a fraternity? <laughs> no. Have you been I in a fraternity? I rest one. Have you? Uh, no. I'm the only one here who's been in a fraternity. What? So I'm the only one here qualified it to talk count, about It doesn't anything. count if it's a gay fraternity. Yeah, go it's ahead. called a sorority. <laughs> Add a little Adam, I'd go, hey buddy, Sarah here, grind this character up. He's like, but this game's hard. We take them down to the basement. We make them play The Last of Us or Uncharted. Mm -hmm. If they don't like it, they're in. Also, I think hazing involves something in their butt, so we gotta put something in their butt too. Or an elephant walk. What? What? You know what an elephant walk is? Is that when we hit him with a paddle? No, 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 it's, all right, so everyone, come here. Uh, what you do is you grab the penis of and you jerk. This is a real thing. This is no, you have to grab David. Either way, Ultron wins. Yeah. M. Chisenbergler uh -huh. uh, asks, what videos uh, that you have to make get you most excited? Example, Demo Disc, oh. Open House, Dude Soup. Uh, I love Demo Disc. I love it because I half the too. time the games themselves don't work and then we just get to riff. I like Demo Disc. So what about you? You only make Open House, really, so. Yeah, but I like watching Demo Disc the most. You do like watching. Well, but not, but or we... Open House because Open House, there are like the most Photoshops and dumb stuff that come out of it. I know Demo Disc and Wheelhouse are very similar, but mm -hmm. Wheelhouse at least kind of works. Yeah. I was gonna say, Wheelhouse is, <laughs> don't have to wheelhouse is easier because it, it's all on Steam, so we know the games work. Demo Disc, one week, it was perfect. Everything worked, yeah. it was fine. Yeah. This last week, nothing, nothing fucking worked. worked. We for, recorded for an hour, we got about minutes. two minutes of gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I um, like it though, yeah. it's funnier. Um, I, oh, I like Demo Disc because we all participate. I like that James is riffing, you break the disc, I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> My least favorite video, is open house because I have to sit next to Joel. Ooh. <laughs> Next question from Monazoom. In case of a mugshot, should I smile or not? I, I think what you do is you, uh, you scrunch. You know yeah. what I think is you squinch, squinch. You shouldn't look pleased that you're getting a mugshot. No, you do that. There you go. There's your mugshot. In court. All right, here. You have to look remorseful. Okay, okay on three, like on three, we all make our mugshot face. Okay. 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 One, two, three. Next question from Weed Monkey. If games existed on augmented reality headsets like the HoloLens, which game that you have played would you want remastered for augmented reality? Ooh, The Last of Us. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Bo Volleyball. Oh, yeah. Is that because you get to play volleyball? I love volleyball. Oh, you okay. know that. That's what I thought. And it'd be summer all year round. And it'd be uh, mm -hmm. uh, Wolfenstein would be uh, my. Oh, really? I, I think I think actually uh, Hololens is going to be great for people if they want to play horror games like PT oh, or, or Amnesia. That's a great idea. But in your house, mm. your house becomes haunted. The, I would I would choose Portal. Ooh. That's a good answer. <laughs> you you, you can't be flying through the yeah, air. That'd be like, a lot of fun. You're like blue, orange. Fuck! Like, <laughs> it wouldn't bounce. Well, it would feel like you were bouncing, right? But how oh. different is that from running around shooting Nazis? What? Because you'd end up running into walls in Portal. Yeah. Portals don't work. Mm, what if you? What, but what if it was a make-believe wall in front of you? <gasps> Joel's a genius. A park, a theme park where the you put on the lens. Roller coaster tycoon. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's just you're, like you're, God you're, looking down. In order to play any of these games, you'd have to be in a wide open space. Right? Yeah, you would absolutely like, have to be in a wide You couldn't space. be in your house, unless it was a horror game. Yeah, a horror game I, you could do. I, I honestly think horror games are gonna use the hollow ends. Yeah, it's a good idea. Have you, played, have you played any shitty horror games on yes. Oculus Rift? Oh, no. I, I didn't play shitty, I played Alien Isolation. It was scary. I, I've played I a game. shitty horror game on an Oculus Rift. It was terrible, right? The graphics were horrible, and like the thing was like, I'm coming at you. I was sweating. I was sweating profusely because it was so nerve wracking. Really? Just by nature wow. of having the Oculus Rift on. I'm gonna wow. pitch you an idea. So that Roller would, Coaster that would, Tycoon. That would make, Three. That would make this uh, technology work in your house. Yes. Is that you scan all the rooms in your house and your staircase and everything, and it goes into the game, and then you can skin your house. Oh. So however you want. It's like you're actually walking around oh. your house. I'm sure they're already working. That'd be I'm amazing. I'm sure of that. I'm what if sure you have a really tiny million, apartment billion like dollars. me? Uh, wait, Joel, are you going to be the first game developer for Hololens? I'm. I am. I can code. Uh, I know a lot about lenses. Oh. Hey, baby, welcome to my home. She's like, I'm um, gonna go home now. And you're like, but I paid you. Here, put this on. Let's do an elephant walk. William, if you were JFK, how would you have handled the Cuban Missile Crisis? Better. Kind of deep inside. I think that, that is the Game of Thrones question. Game of Thrones. Hey, hey,
right, so uh, if I were Jon Snow and mm-hmm. I had trouble with the Night's Watch, yeah. you would invite Fidel over. I invite Fidel. You just gotta hash it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I think the Cuban Missile Crisis is is a parallel well, Game to of Thrones. for Game of no, Thrones exactly. and and how they dealt with the wildlings. Yeah. They could. You know, they could have done just take a, a little a Bruce Bolton. Uh, Bruce, Bol- a Bruce yeah, yeah. Bolton. No, you, you throw your own Red Wedding, but you call it the White Wedding. You get a bunch of dudes over. Billy, uh, Billy Idol. Billy what? Idol no, no, no. There's gonna be jizz everywhere. White wedding. You ever been to a white party? Are we party? talking about the Cuban Missile Crisis or Game of Thrones? I huh? thought we were talking about Cuban Missile Crisis, but you through the lens of Game of Thrones. The like whole John- lens of Game of Thrones? God damn it. So anyway, James gets I his found arm the ripped one off. hot girl uh, uh, yeah. on the wall okay. also. No, she's Where? up there. She's Where? in a striped shirt. She's by... She's. I see the woman holding a baby. Yeah, it's the one. It's oh, the she one is hot. One. She's a little... She's like uh, homely, but but still cute. Well, you can't. I mean, there are a lot of details. So we can. She I looks kind of like Jennifer is, Connelly. We, is anyone stop? still watching? No, still if watching? you want to ask Game of Thrones questions, um, be sure to go to our subreddit. Also, uh, we are going to start taking questions on the comments of this video on the Rooster Teeth website. Yes, we are. Sure, why not? Okay, we are. Bye bye. Links are in the. Open house. The first question is from Paul and Baker. If you Wait, could, you're not getting intro to the show. No, that, there's we no did the intro to the thing. show. That was awesome. Come on, we just did it. We All sang. Right. The singing was the intro to the show. What do you want the intro to be? Yeah, you're the producer. You uh, tell me what to say. Uh, let's sing the intro to the show. Okay. Done. Here we go. Joel, start it. Welcome to Open House, the show where we answer questions from you, the viewing audience across all of our social platforms. Are really, only Reddit. It's Open House. I'll just use the other one. Your first question this week comes from Paul and Baker. If you could change the ending to any game, which game would that be, and what changes would you make? Um, I'll go first. Metal Gear Solid Four. I wish Snake actually originally blew his head out. Blew his head off. So he shot himself. What? So we didn't get any more. What? The original ending was he was going to murder. He was going to commit suicide, and oh, then wow. he didn't do it because yeah. apparently he didn't test well. I just so, wanted it to be over. The end. The ending of Metal Gear Solid Four is bullshit. That's also like the fourth ending of that game that has a lot of endings. It just keeps ending and ending and ending. Big boss comes out of like a hole. He's like, I'm still alive too. It's annoying. All right, I'm gonna. Then I'm gonna. I'll say mine. Fuck it. Uh, Half Life Two. I think the ending of Half Life Two. He is, blows his brains out. Uh, no, I, oh. I, I'm trying to think of how I would change it. I mean, obviously G Man's there, but. It, it raises a ridiculous amount of questions that wow. apparently Valve never wanted to answer. Are you not going to count true. the episodes that happened afterwards? No, where they I'm also didn't answer those, anything. Those don't oh, answer yeah. anything at all. No, so, no, no. Uh, we we need some sort of wrap up to that story. So if they're not going to wrap it up with Half Life no. Three, yeah. then apparently Half Life Two should have had a better. That, that that's a good is. answer too. Uh, my answer would be Turok, Dinosaur Ooh, Hunter. That's a bad answer. That had an um, because bad answer. yeah, the ending is him running through a corridor as it explodes and then jumping out. And then that's it. That's a sad. And still, it's real shitty. Still it's, bothered that so, the guy in the box doesn't look like the guy in the game. That's that's the thing too. Who's bothered me. Let, let's ask Joel how he thinks League of Legends should end. Um, well, I was I had two answers. One was that I think that Heroes of the Storm, the game I played last night, should have ended with me winning, yeah. and it didn't. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. But I was also going to say like I, this is this is honestly a serious answer. Oh wow! When you win uh, Minesweeper, the when you win Minesweeper, all you get is like a little flag and mm-hmm. uh, like a little happy face. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want like. Like a coming home ceremony, like you get from war when a minesweeper comes home and he has PTSD and he gets counseling. But he has to people also, hate him. He also people hate him a little, but he gets a parade and he gets to ride in a convertible. But then they throw shit at him in the parade. Yeah, but he's thinking Depends he's thinking I can't go back to this life yeah. because his his stress levels are so high. So that how's gotta, he supposed to have a wife and a family? So he's got to get back out in the field. He's got to get back out there. Yeah. Next question from oh. Part Time Crazy. We all know Joel is a snappy dresser. Mm-hmm. Insert sassy finger snap here. But if you, Joel, had to make over under one of the crew, who would it be and what would you do? Oh, man. Who would you make over? Is it Spool? 
It's either Spool or you. Oh, okay. Ooh, what what, what you do you to make? Tell me. Look good. Well, I would that remake you, you in my own image. I don't. What? I want to wear shorts, Joel. Uh, I would just. I would just get variations on a theme, and then maybe put you a little vest and a bowler hat with a. I, look, I have I bought those clothes. They're, they're really expensive, Joel. And a and a and a piped jacket. A jacket. Look, you with can't piping, put a price a on flower. fashion. Yeah, it's true. Also, I, I actually I want to chime in here. I want Bruce's beard to look like that guy from the Hunger Games. All right, Hunger Games. And then oh, I want, yeah, yeah. I want you to slick your hair back like American Psycho style. So, slick it back, skinny red pants, flower, uh -huh. button down, and shorts, a, and one of those one of those like uh, barbershop striped jackets. We've created the perfect man. He's so dapper. <laughs> Madam Kovic. Oh, it's your mom. <laughs> How can uh, I convince my girlfriend, time. ooh, to let me play video games in my spare time? P.S. We live together. Do, wait, so uh -oh. do we think Madam Kovic's a girl? Do you think this is a lesbian couple? No. How what? can I con How can I convince my girlfriend? With whole Yeah, sex. I know. But uh, Madam Kovic. No, I think this is it. a dude that thinks he's clever. No, no, no. Yeah. It's a lesbian. So if you're a lesbian and you <laughs> want to play lesbian games with your other Wait, lesbian what? partner, they're just like, like Rudolph. Games. No, no, lesbian. They just play video games. They're just well. You're gonna want to pick Home games. has a lot of lesbian uh, yeah, subtext. You're, you're gonna want to pick games like Dead or Alive. Rumble Roses, games with lots of hot chicks in it. Cool. Um, so that way when your partner comes yeah. home, oh, she's gonna see it and this she's is... gonna go, oh, I'm totally into this too because I am a lesbian and I am a Joel, woman who's really attracted to women. what he's talking about. I would have um, to agree. This is very sexist. What's sexist mm -hmm. about this? But maybe Cooking Mama would work uh, if you want your girlfriend to play <laughs> games Jesus or Kim Christ. Kardashian. No, oh, you, yeah. you guys are missing the, uh, the, no. the point. He's saying he lives with his girlfriend. Right. She's saying. Yeah. She's... Wait, she doesn't want to play video games. She's saying she with lives him. with her She's girlfriend. She's saying she lives with her girlfriend. It's but how does they live? The yes. person, yeah, the person wants right. to that play video games in their spare time, not with their significant yeah, they other. They, so what they need is a distraction. You need a spa oh, day. Buy spa no. days. Oh, spa the, days. Every day is a no, spa no, no, day no, for your It's so. expensive. Bro, hip yeah, but you got it. No, yeah, just drug them. Okay. Rupee. Yeah, just drug them up, and then once you get that lesbian out. You can do whatever you want to. Oh my gosh. You should invest in like hidden doors and stuff. Rory McD100. That's him. Uh, says Mad Max was great. What characters would the members of Funhouse be from Fury Road? Oh. That's Has everyone great... seen it? We've all seen it. Has yeah. Anyone not? Have you seen no, the pool? I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah. We've Spool, all seen you... it. We've all seen yeah, it. Yeah, Spool's seen it. We've all seen it. So um, I want to be. Hold on. Furiosa. I want to be Furiosa. Yeah. That's the coolest thing um, ever. Obvious, I know. Yeah. I know that's the obvious I be, choice. I want to be Han Solo. I want to be Furiosa. I want no, to be all the cool I want to say Luke character. Skywalker. Shut up. I want to be Furiosa. Joel. Because Furiosa is losing, missing an arm, uh, has black paint on her forehead, mm -hmm. she's mm -hmm. badass, and, mm -hmm. and she has a vagina, because then I can masturbate. Okay. I would want to be one of the people in the crowd, uh, like one of the like the shaking, sad uh, people who hold buckets. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> you want to be the old people? But, 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 I would start a monopoly on buckets, and I would then go off with my bucket uh, king. Kingdom and go found Bucket Town. Ooh, all, Bucketton. Yeah, where Bucketton then I become like, a, a warlord. Yeah, a yeah, a bucket that warlord. Like a bullshit because, town. Well, it's got a point because they need buckets what are you to get hold the water. Stuff in? What are you gonna so hold stuff if they don't have the hands? buckets? Adam, who would you be? I like the blind guy who plays the guitar. That was cool. Oh, the doof. Yeah. He, that's a good he had the coolest job because no one's going to attack him. So you get to just kind of hang out on that weird, like, sex swing contraption he thing. He's fucking awesome. And cool. just play guitar and shoot fire from yeah. it. All right, James, who uh, would you be? I would be the guy that uh, works for Furiosa in the beginning, who keeps checking in on her oh, in yeah. the driver's like, side. Oh, like, Where are we going, Mom? Where are we going uh, this way? And then she'd be like, it's fine. And he'd look, look at the town that he knows they're supposed to get to. He'd go, Oh, I trust you. I know. <laughs> You're and the like, imperator, I guess. He was so trusting of her until the absolute yeah. last moment. And I was like, I admire that. Also, Spool would be Mad Max. Spool would be Mad Max. But Spool, do top. What? No, do his line. The famous line do he says the in the movie. Mad Max line. Say it like him, though. Yeah. Do it into this is the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, let's get going. Then, <laughs> All right, yeah, that's good. That's good. That strikes what fear line? in the hearts of his enemies wow. or whatever. The next question comes from Steve Zilla nine. Uh, what fetishes do you think your favorite video game character has? Uh, zero, zero suit. Whoa. Samus has a fetish for boost screen. <laughs> that's not Is a, that a fetish. Yeah, think, that's not a fetish. Uh, it's absolutely a fetish. <laughs> no. I'd say it's a, he likes not hey, a very good no. life smelly hairy dudes that wear shorts. You bet. It's a tough question because first you have to think who's your favorite video game character. Zero yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's yours. Um, <laughs> I think I, I can just do a blanket statement. I think all characters are just gluttons for punishment. They just they're uh, 
what do you call it when you like the the masochist? He's a masochist. They're all masochists. I think they're just, they just like getting cut, getting hurt. I think Peach is a feeder. She likes making Why Mario because he's like oh, he's yeah, like tubby. She so so she's like he's like maybe I'm gonna go on a diet. I want to look a so rip uh, like a like a Luigi. And she's like, no, have some fucking cake. <laughs> yeah, does, you like that cake? She does make like a cake. You like the big meatball, don't you? Eat that. Yeah. Dear Disgusting. Italy, we're sorry. Um, well, my favorite video game character, as everyone knows, is Nathan Drake. And his fetish is that he is very egotistical, so when he has sex, he looks in the mirror and, like, flexes. Oh, like American Psycho. He's, like, he's like, does, like, the yeah. flex thing in the mirror. Yeah. So that's his his big thing, is he, he doesn't even pay attention to whoever he's having sex with. He's just too busy looking at himself. So he just fucks whatever. Favorite game franchise. I huh? buy that. Favorite favorite video game character. All right, well, hold on. Well, I'm gonna find out uh, what Master Chief's fetish is. What? <laughs> That's your favorite video game. Well, character. You can't have a fetish. He has no Wait, sex what's drive. What's the stupid lead character from Stupid Psychonauts? Rasputin or something. It doesn't matter. Raz. I want to know what Adam's answer is. What? what? Oh, so you want to know what Master Chief's? I want to know what your favorite fetishes. video game character's fetish is. He has the same problem that like Lawrence has, where he's in love with essentially video game characters or like like holographic women. So he has a thing for. Do you think it's Digital women. when she goes into like to like like clean his room or something like Cortana does in all the, in all the Master Chief games? <laughs> all the, ma- the Master <laughs> Chief, done, done. the Master I Chief can. games. It's like he's never talked about video games ever. <laughs> that gooey stuff. It's a gooey fetish where you oh. put your foot in like maple syrup and leave the gloves on. Bruce, take us away. Last question. Next question from Edgar Poe. If you had to make a clever Game of Thrones themed question of the week, what would it be? That. Is, I guess, technically... It's a Game of Thrones! Thrones 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 I don't like, don't want shingles. (laughs) All right, uh, what would it be? Huh? I would, hmm... I guess I would, if I were an audience member and I wanted a clever Game of Thrones question, I would ask, uh, what would Ygritte say when she meets Cortana and they get together with Lara Croft? And my question would be, fuck, Mary, kill, uh, Cersei, uh, Arya, cool. or Sansa. All right, Adam. Just do what he did. That's how we got in. My question would be, how do we end this episode of Open House, like oh. Game of Thrones? With a... We're not joking about this. Here we, go. we are not joking about it. Right over, no! How do you watch? Us questions uh, Game about of, Game, Game of Thrones. Of Thrones. Don't bother because we got our own questions. But next week's theme is still Game of Thrones, so it's a good show. Sorry, guys. You should watch it. I apologize for the rape joke. That's, That's what that was. Hey, welcome to Open House. We got guests. We have intruders. Yeah, they're intruders. It's they're, Bruce they're Green they're and cheaters. Adam Kovic. No, no, they shouldn't no. be here. No, no. I don't this recognize is, this them. is Jeff and this is Michael, and they're from Achievement Hunter, and they're cheaters. Well, we're not only oh, yeah. cheaters. What, what did we were reading your stuff right away? I there. think what he meant to say was we're winners. Oh, I don't know. We're, we're uh, ugly trolls. Oh yeah, that was one. Wait, of what? Yeah. Who called yeah. you ugly trolls? We were in your like subreddit after we did the uh, <laughs> after we did the prank video, yeah. and we were just reading your audience's comments. They were awesome. <laughs> Your first question comes to Commander Jetta. Of all the Halo games, what has been your favorite moment within a level? Can it be a funny moment? All right, can it? Well, it can be a funny moment. An enemy, a glitch. You they don't know how to just read it. As Whatever. It. Just read it as it. Can be a funny moment. A enemy did. A glitch you encountered or something else. I don't know. Jeff? Well, when I think of Halo, my fi- my favorite memory is probably uh, fighting all the way to the end of uh, the library and then having the game go, <laughs> fuck you, turn around, go back. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Good, you know, good job on answering these questions seriously, Jeff. We really appreciate that. Uh, can you give us a, a serious answer, Michael? Uh, yeah, I can give you a serious answer. Um, a serious answer, Bruce, would be uh, Halo pissed me off in ODST when you have the Vidmaster <laughs> Endure Achievement. Ah, oh, fuck! Watch. And it takes two hours to get it, and you need all four players. You know, fun fact, all of Halo ODST is actually just a glitch of another Halo. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, would you like to give a serious answer? I have a couple. There was one that was, uh, it was like in Halo 3, I remember. It was uh, like one of the, the arc missions, and they dropped a tank, and it hit a rock, and it started flipping out. And then it just like helicoptered away, and it, there was a Marine on top of it, and I was like, huh. That's a video game. <laughs> so, so now you know why we don't give serious answers on Open House. But that was real. Because <laughs> <Serious answer>. it's <laughs> really fucking boring. It was hilarious. That's stupid. All right. I probably should have made, done some like red versus blue thing there. Are you uh, in that? 
<laughs> Next question from Hooch747. If you had an evil version of yourselves, like Mario's evil version of Wario, what would they be called and what would they do? I, my evil version would be Juice. Okay. And Juice is pretty fucking cool. He wears sweet shades. Yeah. He's got a pencil thin mustache, but no beard. Um, and let me see what else does he do? <laughs> He's fucking cool. He wears glasses and has a pencil I'm thinking mustache. About cool and things things that he, that Sometimes on does. Friday night, he orders a pizza. Yeah, Juice orders pizza on a Friday night and sits at home and plays Smite by himself. <laughs> It sounds a lot sounds like, like Bruce. Yeah, isn't uh, that, that's not what Bruce does. Bruce might smile with people. Shit! <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if I can top that. Jeff, what about an evil version of you? Uh, his, his name would be Laser, and uh, <laughs> he would be super into rollerblading, I think. Oh, well, that's not. Well, that's actually really cool, actually. Like, really out in public. 2015, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is the last time you saw a rollerblade? It's come back around now. Yeah. Yeah. Has it really? So now it's yeah. cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. And he would, he would wear a lot, of, like, a lot of spandex, but unironically. <laughs> That's also very cool. Yeah. It's also come back around, Jeff. I'm being really nice over here. Uh, Adam, go ahead. What about an evil version? Well, I'm I'm so low key and just like tired. So mine would be Splatum, and I think I would be like just way too touchy. <laughs> What's up, buddy? How you doing? Like, oh, how's it going? affectionate. Oh, how's it going down there? Oh, you're looking real good. Yeah. Right. Everything in this there? is way too Everything much. Everything going good? This is, how's it I've going? never is this seen. This you guys yeah. wanted us here. I've, I've never seen Adam touch. Is this even a show? Like, like, right yeah. now? My evil twin would probably be Mikeyol, because that's what everybody in the internet thinks. That's how it's fucking spelled. <laughs> Mikeyol. Um, and he's actually, this is a twist, he's actually pretty nice. Because I'm a piece of shit. Oh, so yeah. he, I feel like he'd probably like uh, do a lot of charity. Um, I feel like he would volunteer at like animal shelters. All things I would never do or yeah, be caught yeah. dead doing. None of those things are cool, though. So what, what cool stuff would Well, Mikey it's cool would? when you get pussy for it. It doesn't have to be cool. The question asks what the evil version Your is. Your version was evil, cool. Evil people do cool things. Yeah, you're like evil. Hitler. My, my evil version my is, uh, his name's Derek. <laughs> and he looks just like me, except he has a really thick beard. Not like you guys, like thick. Okay. Like it looks like someone just painted on a like beard. Like Fidel? Like Fidel, yeah. exactly. <laughs> like Fidel, and he'd also be the dictator of Cuba. Oh, um, that's pretty cool. And he'd smoke like cigars. Yeah. Huh? Like oh, Fidel? I didn't even think of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah like Fidel. <laughs> um, and then he'd also have a rubber anus. <laughs> What's a rubber anus do? What? What's it do? Uh, it prevents, you know chafing when you're rubbing your butt? Yeah. And you, you I hate keep that. wiping, you're like, I'm gonna get all that poop out of I there. a lot of hair down there. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Shmrafron. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. What is your favorite game to play competitively? Smite. No. no. Smite. Yeah. No. Favorite, do you it. like to play Smite, Michael? He I'm doesn't Mikhail? even know how to play Smite. Yeah, Jeff, Smite. do you like to play Smite competitively? I mean, I dabble. <laughs> no, you don't. You're a liar. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> Uh, Counter Strike Go is my favorite game to play competitively. Peggle. <laughs> can you really? play that competitively? Fuck yeah, you can. It's got multiplayer. <laughs> Are you I don't know, Halo Two, maybe for me. Right now, that's what you want. Yeah. I don't really play competitive. Uh, if I had to pick one, I'm good at Halo Two. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, right now, Destiny. I don't know. Smite fucking kicks my balls every time I play it. Yeah. I know. I, I don't like to play anything competitively. At you this play Smite every night. Nice. I don't, all the time. But you like don't like we it. agreed, we don't like it. No, no, we don't. Yeah, <laughs> we don't. get our shit pushed in. Yeah, we get, uh, so I don't like it. I don't like to play anything competitively. The only thing that I ha play that has online multiplayer is Marvel Puzzle Quest. And that's because I don't actually have to compete against anyone. I'm just battling another person's team controlled by a computer. Right. So it's not really even competitive. Isn't that just bejeweled with superheroes? Yes. Okay. So in other words, we're all bitches. Next question, Je uh, Je uh, Jeff. Would you mind? I play Mortal Kombat online. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. So Fud Judd, uh, that's a hell of a name. He uh, he says Spool's always uh, irking to be in open house. So this one's for him. If the Funhouse crew were animals, what would everyone be? <laughs> this one's for him. He's Should we here. answer for Spool? Because he's not here. <laughs> Let's let Spool answer. <laughs> all right, everybody. Welcome. To no fuck. Hey guys, welcome to the Spool Show. This is me answering your questions here on Q and A. <laughs> <laughs> the show. This is my Q and A. Hmm. If the Funhouse crew were animals, I would say that Lawrence is an owl because he's wise. James is a monkey. Definitely, definitely like a chimp. I would say Bruce is a skunk. Bruce is a skunk. Adam is a buffalo. No. Mm. Thanks for watching the Spool Show. See you next week. All right. <laughs> next question. Uh, uh, Michael, can you read the next question? Yeah, Michael, yeah. you get the book. Have fun. Yeah. Oh, this uh, whole fucking thing. So good. Yeah, that's you. Okay. 
Hi guys, love the show. Just wanted to ask, what are your opinions on the downgrading of graphics quality, particularly oh, in relation geez. to textures okay. and lighting in The Witcher 3 on PC, in contrast to those we were show in trailers back in 2013? Mm-hmm. I know it is a great game in terms of the story and gameplay, and I'm a big fan of the series. However, I am disappointed with the finished product and feel like this is another Watch Dogs type situation. I understand everyone loves CD Projekt Red because of the previous success and their stance on DLC, which I approve of, but it seems to me they have been given a free pass when they have not delivered the product they promised. That motherfucker turned that into one sentence. Yeah, yeah there was some commas in there, but he, but there are no periods. I like when people change. write things that are supposed to sound really smart, but it's riddled with typos and grammatical errors. So you've seen the emails I was sending to Adam. Yeah, yeah I like yeah. reading Michael's emails. <laughs> we gon' show up! So this was a question... I fly in the sky! So this was, a, this was a question that he's saying, Witcher 3, what was it? He's, he just wants to know uh, if you're pissed off he said that, that I, the graphics t- got turned out. I guess it looked like, better. Watch James dogs. is pissed off. James is pissed off. I'm pissed off because you can't even touch the footprints like that trailer said you could. Remember that trailer? The super cinematic trailer no. for Witcher where some guy bullshit. touches the I footprints? Did that. I did that in the game. Man. Oh, did it look cool like just in the trailer? Was it the... What, no. What, no. Which are three? the ground and talk to himself. I didn't say who it was from. It's from... Is that LOL? Is that what that says? It doesn't it's matter. Oizen. It it's, doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. No, it's super important. It's in 95. <laughs> there you go. And and you thought monster. he was going to do this? No. That's that's what James thought. Are you kidding, James? James is a fucking idiot. No. Really, I just... James I was seen watching the trailer this before. And, listen, we watched this trailer together and everyone's like, so cool. And I'm like, that's not the game. That's a short film that someone was paid to make to promote a game. Of course it's not the game. It's not the game, Bruce. Um, Did you think that was a game, Jeff? No. Okay. And also, who cares? Graphics are important <laughs> for about 12 minutes, yeah. and then it's it, then you don't notice them anymore. Yeah, I've been playing Witcher 3, and I don't notice the whatever procedural lighting all stuff. I end up just looking at my mini-map, making sure I'm going in the right direction. Yeah. So, good job, developers. I, uh, <laughs> I know what you're saying when they spend, like, $4 billion in a game, and you're looking at the bottom left corner <laughs> for 80% of it. That's me playing GTA 5. Yeah. Adam, you want to read the last question? Yeah, your last question comes from uh, David... It's not important. It's not important. I can tell. Uh, And next week's theme gonna be, or is next week's theme gonna be Game of Thrones? That was your fault. He typed it fine. No, I know. There's a microphone in the way. It's hard to see. James, is this? Um, So, does this count as a Game of Thrones question of the week? Yes, this is definitely a Game of Thrones. Yay! We all clap for that every week. We clap for Game of Thrones. Every single week, we ask for a theme. Uh, for the show, for the questions for next week. And last week, we asked for them to be Game of Thrones related questions. That's true. Um, So, this person asked a Game of Thrones related question and now we have to answer it. Okay, so how do we answer this question? Is next week's theme going to be Game of Thrones? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. The answer is yes. There you go. That's it. That's the end of Open House, guys. That's it. it. You guys have an easy job. I know. It's pretty pretty simple. We just kind of talk shit about you guys and then... How about games? Pretty much. Remember Bruce's pencil mustache? Juice? It's fucking cool, man. He plays Smite by himself! I want the fan art of Jeff and Spandex on Rollerblades. Yeah, I know, yeah. You don't need fan art. Oh, I can just show you the photos. Yeah. I have the photos. <laughs> I'm gonna need those photos for the uh, B-roll. Wow, we Perfect. Fill these nipples. They are so hard right now. I don't want to fill your nipples. Can fill you? my milk lactating pieces of meat. Whoa! Ow, ow, that hurts. Why do men have these? They pinched Why? Them. They don't need to happen. They're now. so hard. That was really good. You pinched them. They were really hard. Well, at least HR has evidence. That's why I got rid of my evidence a long what? time ago. Joel, I got a real I have real bad bullshit. news, guys. Give I, I pulled a real, real bad muscle, so I brought you into massage. Right here. Oh. Help him out, Joel. No, I've got limits of what I'll do. Oh, Elbow. Joel. Hey, no. It hurts really Joel. bad. Right oh no, don't hit. No, 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 you're gonna break his kidneys. <laughs> Get it. Ooh. Oh, that feels good. Yeah. I don't know. That's any different from what I was doing. Yeah, you got a knot right there. Oh, yeah, boy, that feels good. That's what you do. And take off your clothes. Hey. Look. Hey, we did a weird intro, so that's enough. <laughs> Let's just... That'll probably get cut somewhere in the middle awkwardly, and then it'll just run into the song. That's true. Watch as I struggle through usernames, whose first question comes from Hala Hala. Give me Dala. It's easy. That one's easy. Well, Once again, easy. it's all in lowercase. It runs as one no, word. No, just easy. read it. Just read the letters. Anyway. The problem is you see letters and then you try and mix them all up in your head to make something else. 
You gotta, you gotta say the letters. Holla, holla, give me dollar. All right, we got a question for Bruce this week. Mm. Bruce, now that we know you weren't a nerd in high school, could you give me and the other Hosmets okay. a short guide to how to be a cool kid in high school? Okay, step one. Step one, uh, grow a beard at 14. Easy. Okay. Shave every day at 14. Right. It doesn't matter if you don't have hair there or not, just start shaving. Wait, okay. shave it? I thought you're supposed to grow it. Don't shave it. Well, by shaving it, it grows yeah, faster. You, you, yeah, that's exactly. a myth. It grows in thicker every time you shave. That's Don't shave it to grow faster. Here's okay. the catch with step one, though. You gotta shave your entire body. The whole body. I don't see how shaving yourself it gets grows in ha- thicker, James. That's, that's not, the way that's hair a myth. works. That's, a myth. that's an urban legend. That is not an urban legend. That's what happened to me when I shaved my whole it's body. It's step two. You peach fuzz. But you shave off the peach fuzz, what do you think is gonna grow step, back? At- step two. Wear sweet cargo shorts mm-hmm. and ska band shirts. Okay, I'm on board with that. Not a lot has changed since high school. The step, that's this is, step, hold on, Bruce. Yeah. This is how to be cool now in high school, right? Yes. Not in like 1997? Yes. No, no, this is how to be okay. cool now in high school. Uh, step three, go to a lot of punk shows mm-hmm. with other guys. First, you must find Never the girls. Shows. Never girls. No. Only other guys. Yeah. Should you and wear like sweet leather jackets and tight leather pants? No, I wore cargo shorts oh. and band shirts. Yeah. Ska shirts to the punk show? Well, yeah. They must have loved you because you were cool. Yeah, well, I was I was a rude boy. <laughs> hey, Dan, the Mighty Mighty Boston's are playing down the road. Oh, it's like a Clueless. Hold on, hold on. Bruce, that was amazing. Step four. <laughs> Step four. Don't have sex with your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, why would you do that? <laughs> That's what girls like. <laughs> they don't want you to have sex. Oh man, be straight edge. So don't have sex with your girlfriend. Step five, be straight edge. That's what oh, cool yeah. kids do. Get tattoos and shave your head. Why are straight edge guys usually racist? <laughs> <laughs> nice question from Simon Aiken. With FIFA now having female soccer teams and players available, what other franchises would you like to see be more gender inclusive? Is FIFA a franchise? Yeah. Yeah, of course. FIFA, the, it's oh, talking about game. The game. The game. FIFA the game, not FIFA. Yeah, I, thought, I was thinking game. of all the, the scandals the corrupt, going on. Yeah, the They're like, fine, game. fine, we'll let women play. It's like, was that what it was about? <laughs> no, no. Uh, more gender, more I would like to see inclusive. a guy Tomb Raider for once. Thank you, America. Uh, <laughs> I would like to see a guy Boyanetta. That's true. Oh, yeah, Boyanetta. Yeah, 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 yeah keep like going, that. Joel. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> wait, you don't think these are good ideas? No, these are good ideas. I was thinking the other way. Keep going. Joel's gender is a two-way street. I would like to see Dead or Alive hunk Volleyball. Yeah, yeah baby. That's right, baby. Uh, uh, nice guys, want to jump in here with any sweet. Well, I was going to say that I think there should be more softball games. Because mm. to me, I don't play baseball or softball, but to me, t- throwing a softball looks infinitely more complicated yeah, than it does throwing a baseball. No, no, oh, that's no, wrong. There you go. See, you got yeah. the wrong way. Oh, no, no, it was a windup. That's not. You don't. <laughs> I like that you stop your own momentum. <laughs> it, it doesn't yeah, that yeah, seem the, more complicated? There's like a rubber just, band. Oh, that's the way to do it. It's a rubber band in his shoulder joint that winds and then. I, just watch. Just watch the motion. Okay. <laughs> Wait, <no. laughs> that was a double. Is that, well, that was a curve. That, that was, was a curve ball. That was a double. No, that gets uh, one I, Alligator in a vest. You are a modern day Walt Disney, about to capitalize on the Funhouse brand by opening a Disneyland style theme park with mm. all our favorite Funhouse friends. What attractions will be there? No, Adam, no you want to go ahead and say what you're going to be saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah, no, yep. exactly I was waiting. Adam was is going. sitting there waiting. He's like, you're going to say the racist thing. You're going to say the racist thing. <laughs> he was a very well known anti Semite. I don't even get to go to my own theme park? No. Oh, God, no. No, absolutely no. not. You you're can help not design alone. some of those beautiful characters. Well, guess you ain't getting in. I'm starting one across the street called Joel's California Joel Adventure. Yeah, it's called Knott's Berry Farm. Have fun. Ooh, I'm not Berry going there. Sucks. Yeah, but yeah. I get Snoopy. Who do I, you get? You get stupid Mickey Mouse. Yeah. You get stupid Daffy Donald, Donald Duck. Yeah, those are really good Beloved characters. characters. Yeah, you get stupid Who gives Olaf. a fuck about the peanuts? Frozen. We, yeah. get, we get Elsa and Anna. Yeah. I get Woodstock. I got Lucy. <laughs> I got Charlie Brown. Oh, my God. Look, 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 look. Walt Disney did a whole lot of wrong things. <laughs> Did he? But he hated the Jews. So. <laughs> okay, hold on. That was also one of those bad not ones. Both those I'm not gonna, yeah, no, they're all bad. They're all bad. I, I, I think that one of the rides at our theme park would be the parking lot. Right? You yeah. get to sit in a car, right? It's okay. a little motorized car, and you drive it around a lot, and you have to find a spot while other people are also trying to oh, So this you is wait fun. in line, and then you get in your little car, and you drive it, and you try and find a spot. And when you get it, you get a coin. You take that back, you see how many times you can do it in the 90 seconds what, you're on the ride. What does this have to do with supporting the Nazis? Well, this is a. Uh, <laughs> there's flags all over it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he wasn't a Nazi. There's, there's he, the, wasn't a, he was a Nazi. Nazi. He no, just didn't care for the he Jews. He didn't care for Jews, but there was also the whole <laughs> World War II. 
propaganda videos that he did with Donald Duck, like yeah, uh, he hated he hated the Nazis. Yeah, like going. He also he hated, hated the Nazis. he went to hate. Our next question is from Jay Azim. With the recent Fallout hype, what's something you love most about the series? Mm. Well, I, I don't know. Based on our no episode that we filmed today, everyone in this room hates Fallout. No, everyone likes Fallout. No, 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 no. no, no. You're, we you're, don't hate Fallout. I've played hours and hours and hours of Fallout. I love Fallout. You're, yeah. misreading, you're misreading our reaction to the trailer. I... So, uh, something I love most about the series is the obvious answer, Vats. I love the targeting system. That was my favorite part about Fallout 3. I love that. I love that whole thing, and that's what got me into that game and kept and just kept playing. That's, uh, I'm a sucker for the aesthetics and the time period. I like the 1950s uh, doo-wop vibe. Like, I like the fact that the civilization stopped at that time period but continued with this weird retro future. I dig that. That's, like, the coolest thing about it for me. The thing I like most about uh, the Fallout series is that it means that the next Elder Scrolls series is so close. It's a little bit closer to coming out. Dork. Get out of my protein. Holy Get shit. out of my protein bars. Next question. Wait. Have you seen him? Right, your next question yet? comes from Joel Rubin. How many protein bars does Bruce have? Let's oh, guess. Let's these. guess. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say... Yeah, let's guess. I'm going to say 28. 28? Uh, that looks like 32. Well, is it going to mess up the recording? Don't pour it out. Yeah, don't, don't, don't pour it out. Okay. Oh, yeah, pour it out. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, What are those syringes? Like a screwdriver. There's needles in there! And drugs! Uh, I don't know, there's probably like 25. Yeah! It's so heavy with stuff. Next question comes from Gloop Town. How can I recover from video game exhaustion? It's been almost a year now. I find it very difficult to start a new video game, especially story-driven games. Has this ever happened to you, especially since you work in the industry? I got this one. Okay. Uh-huh. Cargo shorts, ska band t-shirts. Oh, yeah. That'll get you... Uh, that You'll you be ready to go play video games, play video games Hey, Dan, right did you hear Real Big Fish is playing down the road? Yeah, I would l rather do anything other than huh, go to that huh, concert. Huh, huh, so huh, instead, huh, I'm going to stay home and play video games. <laughs> what are you doing? That is not how to skank. That is not how to skank. You like skank. Okay. Wow, that's real cool. <laughs> I always thought you. I always thought oh, Scott's terrible. Walk, walk their legs. I always thought it's all like. I'm thinking of that too. Yeah. Bruce yeah. makes fun of me for tap dancing, and look at this. Look at this idiocy. Get it up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. It just looks like someone trying to do the Charleston, which yeah. isn't cool, and then failing at that. Hey, the Charleston is super cool. Let's see it, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's more gay? Skank or the child? I can't tell the difference at this point. You could do that at a real Big Fish concert and no one will notice. Because no one's there. <laughs> so yeah, listen to ska music and then you'll want to play video games real quick. Uh, next question from Sphincter Man. I was in Cotillion in high school. Sphincter Man, who wins? Game of Thrones versus Lord of the Rings? Hey, guess what this is? It's, it's our Lord of the Rings <laughs> So should we talk about Frodo or Sam uh, this week? Sam Wise or Sam Well? Oh. Wait, no, nice no, work, Joel. Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings question of the week. It's been the, last, the theme for the last 10 weeks. Yeah. Isn't Pippin in both? Yes. Yep. Pippin's okay. in both. Sam, Sam Wise, Gamgee's in both. Mm -hmm. The last episode of Game of Thrones? Was fucking that last up. scene? Uh, fucking better up. than all of The Hobbit. No, uh, for <laughs> the record, there's going to be another episode of Game of Thrones that has gone up that may not be as good. By the time this sure. video goes up. That's right. So we're, if, so we're talking about Hardhome. We're just talking about this. We're talking about this. Yeah, we're talking about this. Come at me, bro. We're talking about this. Yeah. Goes, unless, oh. unless what happens this coming Sunday is cooler, in which case we're talking about uh, that. 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 Oh, yes. well, also, uh, here's here's the other thing. Uh, remember how we all went sand snakes? Uh, and then that other week we're like, sand snakes? Yeah. yeah. Uh, boobs. That's all you got to do. Lord of the Rings can't do that. They can't fix problems out. You're like, can oh, they? Good. Does Lord of the Rings have nudity or sex? Yeah, when Sam Sam gets back from Mordor during the scouring of the Shire, he really gives it to Rosie. Yeah, there's that weird orgy they scene at the end of Return of the Bam! Bam. Say that. Yeah, it's like he just we'll he's like talk about that. he's like, oh Rosie, it's been so long since I have been here in the Shire. Why does he sound like Ingrid? oh master, oh <laughs> master like Frodo, <laughs> oh master Frodo, <laughs> oh, go to the room for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I got a really real. Hobbit ah. pussy! Oh, my 
Nope, different movie. All right, well, there you go. No, well, that's Scottish. You know what? Oh, you know, guys, I'm tired of answering Lord of the Rings questions. Yeah. So yeah. we should answer a different theme next week. Let's do, right. let's do Game of Thrones I'm questions. Game, Game of Thrones. Thrones. That's, that's really kind of people have called it's that the similar. new Lord of the Rings. It, yeah, it's similar, but yeah. It's, it's so if different. you guys want to ask us questions, ask us questions about <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. Much better. Wow. You sounded late to me, but <laughs> how dare you? I'm well, he would sound late to you, Joel, years. if you're normally early, right? Mm. I'm just, I'm so punctual as to be pre-punctual. Not, not quite my clap sound. Not my tempo. Not, not quite, quite my, my tempo. Not my tempo. This weekend. Have you seen Whiplash? Yet? This weekend. You haven't seen it yet? This weekend! What the f- I saw J.K. Simmons at a pumpkin patch. I saw him at a Dodgers game. I saw him in Spider-Man and Oz. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Man, Oz. Uh, he tattooed a swastika on my button right now. Uh, your first question this week comes from Carlos A. O. C. Are any of you guys ever truly offended by some of the comments you receive in the vomit pit that is YouTube comment <laughs> section, or are you used to it by now? Uh, we laugh it off. Uh, yeah, most most of the time we laugh it off. There are occasionally comments that will get under my skin, but I don't mean they make me mad; they make me sad. Mm. Like what kind um, of comment makes you sad? Uh, I, I mean, I've talked about them before previously, but sometimes they talk about how my penis is too big. Mm. I hate that. It's not too big. I, I mean, we. It's not too. Your, your penis is not too like, big, buddy. No, don't I mean, worry. It's like, uh, your penis is just small girth. enough. It's like a kosher sausage. Small yeah, enough. but it's so thick and strong. Yeah, tiny, it's really. It's, it's a little tiny penis. It kind of looks like. Uh, it looks like my forearm. After a while, once Bruce people call you fat, hey! dumb, and <laughs> gay, after so many times, I don't know, you just you just become numb. So we don't. I mean, the personal insults, I don't care. I can't change the way I look. I'm sorry. I got a dumb face. I'll deal with it. The comments that make me the most mad are uh-huh. actually the comments on the no, where people are like, "These guys don't know anything. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you why I also don't know anything." <laughs> Those are the ones who's just like, they're, they're the most frustrating, and I also love them. The most. I would also like to see their gaming news shows. Welcome back to the... Yeah. The comments that bother me the most are the ones from... Because I assume that people that comment on YouTube, they just showed up, said something mean, and left. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what I assume. Yeah. I don't think that's always the case. Yeah. It's the people who, like, seek us out in other mediums, like on Twitter or, like, on Reddit or something, and they send us a long, heartfelt message that's like, like, please don't don't make fun of my obscure African religion. Like, it really offends me, and it's like, (laughs) okay, but we'll make fun of everything else. That's okay with you? All the J.K. Simmons jokes? How do you think he feels? (laughs) He's a big fan, and he gets really upset. He sent me messages. I I don't like J.K. Simmons' comments. You didn't see his Golden Globes acceptance speech? He said, uh, thank you to Bruce, Joel, (laughs) Adam, James, not Lawrence. Which was weird that he said that, right? Because Lawrence Lawrence. is his biggest fan. I know. Yeah. Hmm. Sad. (laughs) Next All question right, from okay. Crucify This. If you could play in a game from the perspective of the bad guy slash enemy, what would it be? Hmm. hmm. Joel. That's a pretty good question, huh? Credit credit goes to this person for putting a good question in there. I, I actually, so I'm, I'm going to hijack this one a little bit. That's oh, great. Uh, this was in a game magazine years ago. I don't even know which one, but someone was pitching bad ideas for games, and one of them was you play as a boss in, like, you know, like a PS2 era game, and your job is to sit in a room for four to six hours, yeah. waiting for waiting the hero, for the mm. biding your time, doing bench presses, waiting for him, <laughs> and then he kills you and the game's over. Oh, <laughs> man, that sucks. Um, <laughs> what is a game where the main villain is your own sense of madness, despair, and paranoia? And small penis? But it's back off the line. You play as like a... a- Papers, please. I would play as uh, the uh, Comstock from Bioshock Infinite. I want to see what it's like from his perspective. He gets to have sex with women all the time. Mm. All it, it's a good the joke. time. Hey James, subtle joke. He gets to, and then he, and also he's a real person and he gets to uh, eat food, really good food. He's got a taint. But the idea is that you're stuck in a room. <laughs> That's the joke. There's a bench cool. press though, right? I have to I'm some, good. Next yeah. question. I'm gonna say the sure the taco guy. It's the taco guy. It's the yeah. taco guy. If you were spool for a day, what would you do? Come into work on time. Oh. Boom. Notice how he's... Oh, what do you have to say about that? Welcome back to the Spool Show. That wasn't British at all. That was like C-3PO. So I'm reading the question. Today's question is, if you were Spool for a day, what would you do? If I was Spool for the day, I would go home uh, slippery and smooth? 
Sometimes it's, it can be rough if there's rocks underneath of it, so you gotta make out, make sure that those aren't there. It's a, mm, uh, I can't. Ah. Thanks for watching the show. See you guys next week. We're not gonna do one next week. But. I wanna attach a GoPro camera to his forehead without him knowing, so that when he goes about his day, we can just see like, it's, him like it's like those dogs when you leave I was gonna say, it's what people do to their cats. Yeah, exactly, that's what I wanna do with Spool. Do you think, do you think that if a GoPro was attached to Spool's head, it would come back and the footage would be just as shaky as when you attach it to an animal? It's like, it's like what is he walking Running around? around he had a dog bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's lowering into the floor. Uh, next question. Kittens are evil wants to know, what's the biggest disappointment you felt as a gamer? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel it every day because I don't have Half-Life 3. Oh, what? No. That's not a disappointment if I'm, it doesn't exist. That's an extreme no, disappointment. Yeah, I want that game! SimCity. Look! That's the most recent SimCity that came out. That was a pretty big disappointment. Complete and utter disaster. Hmm. Uh, here's the thing. I, we got Fallout 4, and I never thought Fallout 4 was coming. Yeah. So now, Half-Life 3's gotta come. You really never thought Fallout 4 was yeah, coming? Yeah, that's ridiculous. I actually really didn't. I, I, I thought it was one of those mythical things that Bethesda just sort of put off and was like, Never mind, we're not gonna do it. I, I got a good answer. Yeah. Uh, I'm disappointed in all the new consoles. They all have quirks. Like, the Xbox is just broken. Like, things just don't work. The PS4 was kind of buggy. It's actually, PS4 is probably the best one out of them. My Wii U is just unplugged because I don't even play it anymore. When you say they have got quirks, it makes them sound like an adorable <laughs> girlfriend who plays the ukulele. In as order opposed to, <laughs> to, like, defects, which is, well, they both have that. The, the desert like journey I have to go through to go from the main interface to, like, my messages yeah. and the load times in between. Is horrendous. It mm. worked fine on the 360. And for some reason, the Xbox One is like they are figuring it out for the first time. But now Xbox all games are uh, 1080p, 60 frames a second. Not all of them. Ooh. No, not at all. If the Xbox had done what it said it was right. going to do when they announced it, with all the, the the bullshit online always and checking in and media bullshit, would yeah. you like it more? I, it honestly, would probably be the exact same problem. Yeah. I, hold on, guys. There are a lot of really poor people in the world. And we're complaining about how long it takes to get to our. Messages. That's the question. They're not watching this. Yeah, there's, how, they can't. They're watch trying it on their to Xboxes. figure out how to get clean water. Yeah, and yeah. like, or or they're disappointed as a gamer is okay. not enough pieces for checkerboard. What or whatever right. in Russia um, or Latvia or Latvia. Or Latvia? People Estonia? are watching. Estonia watching us right now on their Chromebook. Their uh, laptop. Every laptop for every kid. No. Do you know okay. about 10 All right. Well, audience maybe boxes on console? This, this story is Hold being on. retold in a cave through paintings. <laughs> maybe maybe my biggest gaming disappointment yeah. will be a little bit more relatable. Okay. Mm. Brutal Legend. Oh, that's 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 <laughs> a Tim Schafer game. That's a good. All right. Next question. How do you feel about a Brutal Legend? Next Ethiopia? question. Okay. It ended Who too cares? soon. <laughs> next question. <laughs> next question comes from Shang Bang twenty four six. Shag bag. Shag no. shag bag. Uh, it's very small. It's text okay. In my bag. Either way. And twenty four six zero one. That's probably some part of your phone number. Won't somebody tell me? Answer if you can. Won't somebody tell me what is the soul of a man? What is? The, are these lyrics to a song? I don't know. Is this uh, a maybe. Are those lyrics to it? Joel? I feel like you Joel, know yeah, all Joel, songs. Joel knows somebody this answer. Somebody tell me, answer if you can. Won't somebody tell me, what is the soul of a man? Not, not an answer, but I think Lawrence got Joel it. to sing. Is Lawrence, it a castle? Lawrence, is get it? it? Lawrence, oh, no, is this man. a Castlevania? That, that stupid pile of secrets bullshit that people are still referencing 20 years later. Is that what it is? Pile. Is that what's happening right now? You can't have one original question. You got to throw it back to an internet meme. From won't years ago. somebody tell me? Answer if, if you can. can. Won't somebody tell me? What is this the soul of a man? Hey, 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 hey. I saw Ender's Game for the first time over the weekend. Yeah, what'd you think? Not bad! Next question from Big Nookie. <laughs> if Game of Thrones did a Q&A, what would they have? A Funhouse themed question of the world! Yes, they would! Yeah, they would. Uh, by the time you guys are seeing this, we're already celebrating the finale of That's Game right. of Thrones. That's wow. right. We've watched um, it. Yeah, we watched it. Do we yeah. want to? We do we want to pretend as if this is the future? We've already seen the yes, episode. We do. Yes, we okay. do. Joel, what were your thoughts on the final episode? Yeah, what did you think of the final episode, Joel? Uh, I th I was really surprised when the Terminator came and killed um, Master Chief. Master Chief. I was surprised by that too. in front of the small council. But oh, it wasn't man. that surprising because Daenerys has been in all the trailers. Good point. So they hinted at it in the point. trailers. When I saw Ving Rhames appear as his Mission Impossible 3 character yeah. and help out Tom Cruise. He had that Cruise little leather pork pie hat on. And wow. the White Walkers. Yeah, that was crazy. I never would have guessed that they were bad guys, but they were. They yeah. were. 
I can't believe they showed penetration. Uh, it's a first. Yeah, I guess. Dicks are usually flaccid. Yeah, that's true. That was a I throbbing like cock. I did like to see that, though. And it came good off shot. of a woman. That's a good shot. The dragon sex scene went on a little long. No, it didn't. I, thought, I didn't think so. I thought perfect, it was perfect dirty. Uh, I finished twice. Yeah, it took a, it took a little bit. But. I don't know, final score? I give it like 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Nine nine out of ten. Out of ten. So it's a solid 9. Really good. Uh, James? Um, with us? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go six. Six could have been stronger. Come on! Well, Can't wait for next season. Hey, though. we got two more seasons left. That's it. I, I well, have... we should prep for next season. Yeah. Well, how do we do that? We should do like some Game of Thrones themes questions. That's that a, great a great idea. idea. Nine out of ten. Yeah. I, no, I don't think we're gonna do that. No. What? <laughs> All right. Sorry. Well, what do you suggest instead? Tacos. Uptown. Fuck you up. Uptown. Fuck you up. Welcome to another week of questions on Open House. Only this one's special because we're doing it live from E3 show floor. Tell us more, Joel. It's five o'clock, guys. The show's closing. You're getting kicked out. One, two, three. Way off. One, two, three. 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 Are you doing the periscope? Yet? <laughs> <sighs> we already shot an intro, so we're good. Just keep... <coughs> well, we shot an intro yesterday. That's what I mean. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. We, were we, just, we just shot one now. We shot another one. Relax. Let's do another Double intro. Double intro. Okay. Here we go with your E3 questions. First up from Eat Steak One. Wait. What? Where's Bruce? Bruce is on vacation in sunny Cuba. Bruce was doing E3. Yeah, he was going to Cuba. And then he, and then Bruce, he threw. Uh, did you hear the crash? There's a crash sound. <laughs> yeah. And then something, and then something fell. A light <laughs> fell. Kaboom! And then Bruce said, "I am out of here," and mm. he just booked it. He got so mad that he actually shot one of the bones of his forearm out. Yeah, yeah. First time I've seen that happen. Also, we're filming this kind of late, so Joel will be doing all the sound effects to save us on editing. Yes. Didn't need that one. We don't have a lot of time to put this together. Nope. Not at all. So we're gonna stop wasting time. Uh, the question is, if you could eat one pet from a video have game. Have one pet. If you could eat one pet from a video <laughs> game, what would it be? <laughs> Poochie from Yoshi's Island. Uh, He's adorable. I don't know. Is that a real Poochie? Oh, that's the dog. That's oh. the dog. He's cute. Dog guy. Um, so I'm gonna answer the real question. Come on in, Spool. It's fine. Um, what time is it? Real quick. Uh, Set the clock. 9.20. 9.20. Good job. Our work day started 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Earlier than that. For um, me. When we did the uh, Halo 5 experience, they had a little holographic, uh, a little tiny hunter. Mm -hmm. He was cute. I would like a little hunter guy because they are actually brutal and mean, but a little one. Okay. He'd probably still kill you, but he's cute. Wouldn't okay. you want a little Cortana? That's not a pet. That's a human being. It depends on how you pet. treat her. Is there a game where there's a miniature woman that is naked all of the time and works as a pet? And also does sex things at you. You don't remember those little pop-ups from the '90s, like a little like a desktop stripper that would walk bonsai over? buddy. Oh, that's uh, it. With titties. Desktop stripper. There you go. Uh, I would pick Agro from Shadow of the Colossus because he looks like his meat is delicious. Is that the mm -hmm. horse? Yeah, the horse. Oh. I didn't know he had a name. His name was a hey, All he goes is Agro, Agro, Agro. No, agro. He's like the main character has two words that he says in the whole game. One's was, agro, and one's and the other's connected. Oh, ah. Just spit on me. I thought he was swearing. Does the horse die at the end? No. Oh. No. Or, the, the main dude turns into a baby. Let's go to the next question. Figure that one out. Uh, T Liger. Did any trailers or presentations at E3 change your perception of a game or tech for better or worse? Doom. Adam has a good answer for this. I do. What is it? It's HoloLens. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we were all a little skeptical, I guess, when we saw the Minecraft thing. Uh, but then we got to actually try it with the Halo experience. Um, I don't think it's going to be great for video games, per se. I think it's just going to be good for, like, day-to-day -day life and or going to a theme park. But what if you're playing a scary game yeah. and you're watching it on a TV, right? And then you look over, and there's something in the world. There's something in your. That was a I, prom, That was also a promise of like connect and stuff. That right. I, I guess the difference there is like Oculus. You have you can't go anywhere. Wherever you look, you're still in the game. Yeah. With Hololens, if you just turn away, things will go away. And you can also have sexy desktop strippers on your desktop. Bonsai buddy. <laughs> that was my favorite presentation. The desktop stripper <laughs> one. 
Um, Mine would be uh, Sony coming out and asking a bunch of fans to kickstart a game for them so they don't have to pay for it. <laughs> that was pretty monumental. I, I like think about it. people and people were excited about it. <laughs> it was, it was really like, ballsy Thank of you. Them. And then they started taking their wallets yeah. out and saying, here's a game that doesn't exist. And right after getting off of Reddit and saying, don't pre-order games, guys. Yeah. Remember. <laughs> so I, that like, trailer or presentation at E3 change your perception of that game for worse. Um, uh, it, James it, and I were talking about it yesterday. Yeah. We're going to probably do a Shemu gameplay. Um, hi, what can I get for you? Do you know of a place where sailors hang out? All of the sailors are big, you know. Where do they hang out? I yeah. thought there was more after that. And then I was Either like, way, I I was like guess how the first one it. ends. The second one he ends with on you arriving to China. And then it ends with you walking... The second one, which I'm pretty sure nobody finished, ends with you walking up a mountain hearing some girl chatter about mysticism. I'm trying to locate some sailors. What do you want with them? No reason. I just want to talk to them. Take my money! What a, what a fantastic story. <laughs> Fuckhouse oh. wants to know which new E3 title wow. should have their main character replaced or portrayed by J.K. Simmons. My little pony J.K. Simmons. Perfect! I would say that the Knights in For Honor mm -hmm. um, have the same kind of aggression and uh, disdain for our content that J.K. Simmons does. Thus, uh, they would probably be seamlessly replaced in that world. Um, one, one knight or all the knights? Uh, there was, well, there's a female knight uh, that I didn't get to play as, so I'm assuming that she might be a little bit more gentle and a little bit more bleedy. Um, but uh, the male knight... <laughs> <laughs> I would like all of the characters in Battleborn to be replaced with J.K. Simmons, but just just the head, so that it's all like robot and giant dudes and sexy females, but yeah, with yeah. J.K. Simmons heads oh, okay. shooting each other around the map. Yeah, Jacob, you, be... get, you hear that? I was going to say, yeah. Have <laughs> fun. Start, start photoshopping. Start photoshopping. Start <laughs> Danny, Danny Boy Kane asks, what, which game are you most excited for after E3? Horizon. I think we all know. Should we all say it on four? Yeah. One, two, three. Batman four. Four. Arkham Knight. Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. Get off me. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> when you are actually at E3, for at the beginning of the show, there's a game that you may be really excited for. Then you may yeah. try it, and then you may not like it as much, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. For me, we got to, obviously I've been excited about Arkham Knight, but we got to play it with the developers, mm -hmm. and and then there was a moment where I was like, this game comes out next week. Mm -hmm. This game comes out next week. I can play this right now. The reviews are out today. GameSpot didn't like the Batmobile. Guess what? what? Seven out of ten. Did they really? Give yeah. me seven out of ten? I'm not even kidding. Never mind. I changed my mind. Perfect. Back to Horizon Beyond Dawn. Can't yep. they just not use the Batmobile? Arkham Knight has a 91 on Metacritic. Come on, yeah. GameSpot, get your shit together. It was really nice. It was really cute when everyone thought Witcher 3 was going to get Game of the Year, and then Fallout 4 got announced, and then it's coming out, and everyone's going to forget about Witcher by the time yeah, November Or Witcher. Around. They're different. Sorry, Witcher. They're different. Oh, no, but this is how Game of the Year works. Maybe Maybe gotta, what did I play in the last 24 hours that I really liked and people are hyping up on Reddit right now? Shenmue 3. There it is. <laughs> Uh, your next question from Sunny Teabag. The other day, I heard the startup sound of a PlayStation 1 console. That sound instantly took me back to my childhood years, so I could like to... No, so I would like to know... I'm sorry, E3 hurt me. What sound from gaming fills you with the most nostalgia? I, I, I think just that, that opening chime from uh, Shemu. Do you know any places where sailors hang out around here? <laughs> well, it's, it's, the, it's the little ding, 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 schwa. Oh, yeah, yeah. From the dream wait, wait, hold on. Start playing... Play, play the Shemu song again. how high that cup went? That went very high. It went up, way up there. There's coffee all over the place now. I think he disappeared. I drank it all. Jesus Christ! What <laughs> happens with discs? Because I think that happens going on with his pop filter. Yeah. It's really shitty. Jesus. His hands are so strong. He was grabbing on me. It felt like the guy from, uh, from Never Ending Story, the mm -hmm. rock monster. Yeah. <laughs> it's a video Jesus game, people. Christ. Chill out. Goron. The startup, speaking of startup sounds, I like the so startup sound of the Sega CD. Was on the Sega CD. Eternal. Oh, wait, no, it was on the Dreamcast. Never yeah. God okay. damn it. Uh, the correct answer is the sound of you entering a level in Super Mario Bros. 3. 
The sound of you Get sliding into a woman for the first time. Get out of here! Shit! What are you doing? LA and moving from there into animation was like a dream come true because it re brought out those theatrical roots that I came from and sort of build it. What are you doing? Alright. Uh, Ryan's. It's James's turn. It could be anyone's turn. Oh, it's James's turn. It's James's turn. Ryan's turn. It's Ray's fan 75. How's it going, uh, Ray? Best game of E3. Just go down the line. Gentlemen, Joel, our expert. That's an incomplete question. Yeah, best. What, what does that even mean? Best game of E3. What is my best game of E3? Ray's fan, your best game of E3 was probably that new Harvest Moon that was next to our booth. They looked really cute. The what? Best game of E3. I had a lot of fun playing uh, Rock Band. Uh. Not the best game of E3 though. What? Then the Thanks, Joel. Uh, Destiny DLC because I got to play it a lot. That was a Battlefront. Hmm. Because I was the hero of Hoth. Uh, stop saying hero of Hoth. <laughs> Everyone's sick of the story. It's got a good ring to it. I'm James. I took town two ad ads. I killed Joel like five times. Dana, Joel's girlfriend, was better than Joel and was also on James's team. You, we all heard the story. We're all tired of it. Joel, I might make you my bard because you're good at telling my story as the hero. Uh, I like for honor because it was a. Uh, so it's in a uh, completely original game. <laughs> it was very playable. Hey, I've been talking. All of our lot. voices okay. are gone. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I can <laughs> you, you murder someone in Corona and you're like, heard, fuck! Heard, ah, I just stabbed him. I heard it took you like three minutes to learn how to parry. It's not that bad. Okay. <laughs> I mean, parry, I guess, is a little complicated. Okay. Just blocking is easy. Sort of. <laughs> Kajui asks, if Funhouse was Richard Branson, how would you make Game of Thrones in space? We did it. We kickstarted Shamu. We How many capsule toys will there be? <clears throat> I just picked that question because it had a lot of things in it that didn't make any sense <laughs> and it made me laugh. Uh, I think this is the best time to go out on the, uh, those three X-Wing videos we made. We're oh, all yes. flying around. Yeah, let's just show them back to back to back. <laughs> and that's how we end the show. That's Game of Thrones in Space. So much. Yeah. What I want you to know, to James, know? that yeah, yeah. every week you send out the open house document. Yeah. And every week I don't look at it. Okay. On purpose. On purpose. Uh huh. Because you're uh, lazy. And you would think it's because I don't want to be surprised. I, I want to be surprised. I don't want to pre answer the questions in my head. Okay. That's yeah. not the reason. No. It's because I don't respect you. At least you're honest. Thanks. Uh, I mean, that hurt, but. At Not the same that time, truth hurts. At the same time, I don't care. Mm. Love hurts. Love hurts. Welcome back to another episode of Open House, where we ask you, answer your questions, and because you asked us, your questions were pretty good last week. I enjoyed them. I don't cool. know See what I thing? can say about this week because this Joel thing? hasn't opened the document yet. Oh, first question this week comes from T. Breck. If you had a Kickstarter that would be shown at E3 by Sony, what would it be? I think this might be a reference to something. Uh, I'm not really sure what it is, Joel. Mm. I would kickstart a museum. A museum? Yes. During the Sony press conference for video games. A digital museum. Okay. During the that Sony exists press already, conference That for exists video already games. in Germany, but go on. A digital museum for old video games okay. where you can go, mm -hmm. but inside the museum, uh -huh. you donate yeah. to the museum. Yes. Uh -huh. And in the museum, you donate, and then the museum is a for-profit money-making machine for old video games. Sounds like an arcade. I would kickstart Final Fantasy VIII. I'd kickstart Shenmue Three because that's a game that needs to come back. Adam, oh, we're just gonna kickstart a game? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't kickstart a game. I kickstarted an, an immersive an experience. Idea. Adam, Final Fantasy IX or ten? Which or one? Kingdom Legends Hearts. of Dragoon. Kingdom Hearts Three. That's actually not a bad. Skies answer. of Arcadia Two. Next question from Beaver oh, Vernacular. Listen. Achievement Hunter is no for their team names, such as Team Lads, Team Gents, Team Nice Dynamite, etc. Mm -hmm. If everyone in the Funhouse office had to pick teams, who would each team consist of, and what would your team names be? I guess we all got to pick names for each other. Right, no, so oh, wait, one... hold on. We have to split up into teams. Yeah, no, okay. we're unified. We're, well, I'll we're pick friends. The teams. I'll pick the teams. Hey, what's right. up? On team... I'm going to get kick, kick, pick, on pick last. Team Awesome. 
You guys are team awesome? Adam, yeah, hold on a minute. Okay. Adam Kovic, first pick. Second pick. No, you can't pick. We picked over here. Second pick, James Willems. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm in. Third pick, Lauren Sontag. All right. Fourth pick, Sean Poole. Mm -hmm. Fifth pick, Matt Peak. Yeah. We're done. Um, I think you just labeled everyone from Funhouse. I want to start a team called Team I was leaving, I left Joel out, and you guys didn't notice I left I Joel noticed out. you I left noticed. Joel out, but I already had my joke that I wanted to make. No, I'm, I'm gonna be on my own team. You know what? Fuck it. It's Team uh, Boners. And on Team Boners... <laughs> That's not a good name, but alright, yeah. Uh, you get you uh, you get lots of prizes. And boners. And you get a team jersey. And boners. And you get uh, a pair of cleats with the team colors on them. And boners. And we're going to get a pizza party after the game. Spool and I are team wrecked team boners. It kind of sounds like it kind of sounds like because we same. wreck them, fools. It kind of sounds like the same Ooh, team that James wreck them. Yeah, except for the, the difference between my team, team boners, we wrecked team them. James. Yeah. Is that no fuck boys on team boners? <laughs> this is gonna be a good episode. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't wait for the boners. Now. I want to be team Jesus Christ. Next question. Uh, Johan Annihilate. That's pretty funny. Huh? Um, does anyone in Funhouse have a criminal record? Hold on, has anybody been arrested? Uh, I got caught for shoplifting when well, I was a kid. No, arrested. Arrested. No. Oh, Put no. in handcuffs and take it to the police. Do DUIs count? If we had a record, you could look it up. Definitely. That's true. So, I don't, I mean, you tell us. I guess the, I do uh, have to notify um, elementary schools that I live close to them. Talking. The perfect crime. What does this have to do with Team Rectum? Regardless. I have committed federal offenses. How? Oh, we all have. What have I you haven't. Done? What? What have you done? Name, like, what's a common federal offense? Have you ripped up money ever? Yeah, pretty sure I have. Have you defaced any federal currency? You've no, done that Probably before? no. Heck yeah. I, you know what? I picked a cherry blossom in Washington, D.C. What? Federal Whoa! Never I stole it. a life jacket from uh, an airplane. Joel! How you, dare wait, you? Have you read someone else's mail? <laughs> yeah. I've, I've done that. that. Never done it. Yeah, I was going to say, no. I want to know if anybody was ever, let's just say, caught by the cops. No, that's how good we are. Caught by the cops? I almost got caught by something I didn't do. What was it? Tell us. I, I oh, oh, come God. on! Uh, Team wrecked him. I was in middle school uh, riding a shopping cart around in the parking lot behind the mall, the local mall with my best friend, and the mall security showed up and they're like, hey, what are you kids up to? And you're and like, then, I'm groceries. <laughs> and and, uh, and uh, then you, get, you hear him on the radio like, oh uh, yeah, we got the kids with green and red shirt, right? And we look at our shirts and we both have green and red shirts on. And they're like, there's a lady at this store that really wants to talk to you because you guys got away with some of her stuff. And we're like, it wasn't us, it wasn't us. And we had receipts, luckily we were at Switch the Coast, the Land Center. Oh We've been there for hours playing Counter-Strike. All right, James, here's what I want you to do for the cut of this episode. Yeah. I, want to put, I want you to put that all in a block of text on the screen. All right. And I want to see if we can make sense of it. Feel okay. free to use Dragon Dictation. <laughs> what if I do something entirely different and then, and then still leave in the part where you tell me what you wanted me to do? <laughs> Uh, undone sweater. How big are you guys? You know what I'm talking about. I um, am six, about six feet tall. I'm about six like foot, 180 yeah. pounds. My middle finger uh, measures around one, six, three and a half inches. No, or that's not three and a half. That's, that's like an inch right there. One inch is your thumb. So no, you no, measure with a, no. Measure with a thumb. No. Measure with a thumb. Do it. One. My thumb's different than your thumb, though. So that's because you have a little baby thumb. Put your little thumb well, up the there. One, no, 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 no. That's not an inch. How taller are you? I'm like six foot. How big are you? Size. I'm like a 31 waist, but like a 33 NC. You know what's crazy? James and I are the same height. I weigh like 20 pounds more than him. Almost 30. It's not crazy. It's insane. It's because you carry a lot of weight in your giant cock. Next question. <laughs> Next question. Bowtie Sam, who at Funhouse is the best at limbo? I, I mean, only one way to settle it. I bet Joel's the best. I'm gonna be honest. With you. All right, oh, go. Here, Joel, start on the other side. Uh, uh, start uh, 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 I'm barely inflexible. Whoa! You touch it! You're out! Mark, if it bounces, it Nice, Adam. Nice. Oh, 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 o
Team wrecked him. Anyway, you can speed run that game in like, what, right, two hours? Game. Yeah. Next question from Kevin's McGurgan. You are now Batman villains. What are your names, gimmicks, and backstories? I, oh boy. It didn't start with an if, so I picked it. <laughs> uh, uh, you're in, so what are your names, gimmicks, and backstories? I will be the glass eye. Mm. And my superpower is that I can see for hundreds of miles and also have x-ray vision. What does it have to do with you, Bruce Green? What? No, he just wants to be a villain. Name just gimmicks and backstories. Villain. So I can see for hundreds of miles, I have x-ray vision, and I usually camp out my van next to schools. <laughs> Joel? So you can read the blackboard. And what kind of villain? So I can read the blackboard. I, I see what got they're writing and learn. I, I, that inspires me. Okay. I would be the candy man. Uh huh. My parents uh -huh. never loved me enough, so I try to find love through other children. Right. So I get inside my van. Uh huh. And? And I wait outside, usually. Wait outside um, school. You well, guys are well, no, 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 no. quite a duo. <laughs> Private <laughs> team name. Candy man and the glass eye. Oh, no, we're always at odds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joel, do you have one? Yeah, I would be the Freedong fighter. Um, okay. Dog yeah, Dog. you you have a trench coat. You go to parks, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and you free your dong. <laughs> did I? Did, were you gonna say all that and you I ruined it, it for you? It. James, I'm, James. Yeah. And James, um, what would you be? I'd be the glitch. I ruin Batman's computer games. It's yeah, hot in here. Yeah. I'm oh. hot. Team Rectum. Ermac, forty-three. Will you guys ever change the Game of Thrones theme? Wait a minute. Is that what I think it is? Yep. No. It's okay. the Batman question of the week. Batman question of the week. Ooh, all right. <laughs> um, I'm not sure why we. I think Game of Thrones has a good theme song. It's pretty good. I don't know why we changed yeah, it. I don't know why we changed the theme. Well, so we changed it to a limbo song. I like to imagine um, James getting the question, like going through Reddit and stuff, finding the questions for the week, and then thinking of funny, <laughs> chucking to himself as he comes up with hilarious answers that he has stored in his brain. This is why I don't read. Questions hey Joel, again. next week you get to pick all the questions. Oh, no, thank you. Okay. Oh. Uh, also, I think he's just talking about the idea that we have the Game of Thrones theme no, not. question, not the song no. to the show. Nope, it says song. It's it says called theme song. A double See? entendre. <laughs> See, he just added song there. So I, that's what that's what I write. It's it's a song. The, the will you guys ever change no, the Game really of Thrones theme song? George R. R. Martin did a great job on because it. Because I like James very much. Despite what Joel what, see what says right there? about him Who's typing? pre answering them in his head. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Sure. Maybe it's unavoidable. Let's see if we can do it. Double, there you go. Mm -hmm. But he tries, and he's nice, and blue eyes. This is what Ermac43 <laughs> said? And I'm Ermac43. <laughs> I don't know if this is actually Ermac. And you can tell because there's a typo. Because the first sentence doesn't end with a question, and these are all That's typically true, they're all, questions. They're all questions. So I think that this question might have been tampered with. Uh, so uh, submit your questions, Ermac43. We, we appreciate it. Oh, I mean Ricky Martin. <laughs> I meant to say Ricky Martin. Submit your questions, Ricky Martin, uh, and we will answer them. Thank you for watching Open House. Uh, we find ourselves funny. You might not. But that's okay. Limbo. Popping the clit. God, it, it wasn't was very so big. Wet. You were looking out into the ocean and you and the sun setting and there's that <sighs> glistening. Guys, I uh, I wanted to tell you that at the last episode I watched of Open House. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wasn't very good. Yeah. What? Really? A lot of people liked it. Thought, nope. I thought they it was, said that their mm. sides. I went. thought it was bad. I have, Why? Yeah. Uh, I thought we were under energy. Mm. Okay. We were low energy. We. You know how we get more energy? How? <laughs> Take a bite. <laughs> Good, now Bruce is gone. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Nothing, Bruce nothing. here, You're not answering open house. Okay, take a minute. Take Bruce here, answering open house <laughs> questions. <laughs> I'm here for the comedy. Hey, Spool, get in on this. Spool, mm. Spool, come here. Mm. See if you're schizophrenic. I have a lot of What the opinion. fuck are you doing? I was just tapping my thigh. You pervo. I can feel your butthole. Adam. 
All right, I, Chris. Bruce Green, don't respect or like anything that you have produced for Funhouse. You didn't have to do the mouth thing. Ever. You could have said that. Uh, we need to do it like actual Muppets, where you control the mouth and one arm. All right. Control the other. Hang on, we'll do the actual Muppets right up the butt. <laughs> All right, in the mouth. Uh, yeah, I got his mouth through yeah. his butt. Okay. Here's Spool, be my Ready? mouth. Ready? Because I can't right. see it, but he's actually holding his butt. There you go. Hey, Spool, what do you think about that? So I went to the grocery store today and I didn't have any water. <laughs> you unclench your butt cheek so I could shove my hand up your rectum. That's what killed Jim Henson. Welcome to Open House. That's what I do. <laughs> that was the beginning? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, your first question this week comes from... Call it a hot El open. Mat Matisti? Got it. Matisti seven. Got seven but... No, nope, wow. he nailed it. Man. Wait, have we... We've seen him before. I believe so, and I believe I fucked it up. Let's roll it back. Let's not. What is your stance on abortion and the death penalty? Good start, everybody. Oh, wow. That's a, yeah, that's a good question. A dark episode. Are we running out of questions? Well, oh. I think everybody should die. Yeah. So, Good call. I think everyone will die. Yeah. I am mm. uh, for the death penalty. Yes. Okay. I'm for abortion. Okay. okay. And I'm basically for killing everybody else in the world. Okay. Wow. Okay. At least you're consistent. Yeah. yeah. yeah no, I'm, I'm down with that. that. No gray for Bruce. Here, Black and white only. People think about death the wrong way. Like you said, death is inevitable. Uh huh. So abortion and the death penalty seem like shortcuts. You know? Oh, like so they're cheaters. Hmm. Right. No, not cheaters, but like you know, you're playing Candy Lane. You want to take a shortcut to get life, to the end. Gotcha. First. Life is a race. Life is a race. Now and you want to you want to get to the end as fast as you can. Little unborn baby. I like to think that we are living in a future state. We are moving okay. progressively faster and faster every day. Okay. Pretty soon, we are going to be able to identify Hitler 2.0. Before he's even born, Hitler 2.0. So Put I do support. So death penalty and abortion, one fell swoop. Huh? Get it all out of the way. That's I'm really sorry, nice. Hitler 2. That's like kind of that. cool and sci-fi ish. You should sci -fi, turn what? that into a like a novel that'll sell for four dollars and fifty cents. You at call an it Hitler 2.0. I call it yeah. killing Hitler. <laughs> oh, killing Hitler. Killing Hitler 2.0. Ah. Uh -huh. I Hitler. I Hitler. I Hitler. No, call it my struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Next question from Rouse Dentist. What is the most difficult thing about working with each other? Mostly the Hitler jokes. Yeah, <laughs> that's the easiest thing for me. Uh, the most difficult thing about working you know what with, it really with good? Joel mm. is mm. he constantly smells like Hebrew food. Carnivorous birds and insects. Here's the, the thing with us. Uh -huh. We only work better the closer we are. No. Oh. <laughs> what, why are we trying to get to a bigger office? I was going with Adam on this one. Yeah, see, Bruce knows what's up. We're like a Transformer, or possibly a Voltron. Bruce is the head. Uh-huh, yeah. And what are you? What? That's where it ends. Oh, he's Bruce just is just the head. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> um, I want to be the lion feet. Uh, oh, I, I wanted to do Voltron with all you guys. Honest yeah, answer, they, the most difficult thing about working with you guys is that it's very distracting. Because we have a lot of fun together, and sometimes you'll mention an actress's name, and then Adam will have a video of her masturbating. And it just happens, and then you're like, well, I'm not getting any work done. <laughs> Gornke, mm -hmm. as a big fan of Funhouse who happens to work in a sex shop, oh, I was wondering if you guys had any ideas for Funhouse-themed decorations or products I could put in my store. Mm -hmm. All right, before the joke answer, I want to give a serious answer. Gornke, uh, tweet us, because I need you to send uh, as many things from your shop as possible for free. To us. Oh. What are you going to do with them? Okay, I'm done. That was a serious answer. That was all. Okay. This is no, why we need a P.O. box, answer. boys. Mm. Yep. None of our answers are ever joke answers, Bruce. Oh. I don't know. I feel like anything that has our logo on it or our names or faces will ultimately just disappoint. Well, yeah. No, 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 no. He's not saying what products with your faces on them. Oh. No, what no. funhouse themed products. He's saying, how can we funhouse themed decoration? Oh, I guess he did that. No, so I just be, want okay. my face on he's a dildo. Saying, yeah, so he's saying, no, he he Photoshop. Here's what he should do. He should dildo. send us. He should send us his store's inventory. If you have an online store, or whatever, we'll send a us your inventory. A dildo and like, like in the '90s and '80s, when a video store would have <laughs> selects, Bless you. Yeah. we will ha we will pick our selections. Yeah, and you can walk into the store, and there'll be a shelf, and it'll be oh. James picks, Bruce's cool. picks, Joel's yeah. picks, like Adam's picks. Pictures of us holding the dildos we use. Well, not necessarily. It's just this is our shelf. I used this dildo and. It feels great. A bright Ignore orange the smell. dildo that finishes way too soon. Uh, TR Parasol 
wants to know, out of all the gaming consoles out there, which gaming console best describes each Funhouse member? A bright orange dildo. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, I am the Xbox One. Okay. Ooh. I don't know why. You come with a you're connect? big, you're because bulky. Because I come with a connect. I'm mm-hmm. big. Uh, you're you're a giant I'm bulky. power I'm overeat. Freak. Okay. Uh, I'm loud. Uh-huh. You spell gas. I spell a lot of gas. Is this like an Xbox? Uh-huh. Uh, I guess I'd be like a PS Vita. I don't really have a lot of friends. Um, I'm a little intimidating when you look at it, but once you take the time to get to know me, you're ultimately disappointed. Oh, I'm like okay. the Dreamcast. Uh, I, I can do a lot of fancy things, but I'm underappreciated in my own time. <laughs> I am uh, like the Jaguar because no one's ever heard of me. You have a lot of you have a lot of buttons though. I have my controller is riddled with buttons. <laughs> <laughs> my spool's a, a Nintendo something or whatever. Well, yeah. What would spool would be the Wii? He's the Wii. He's yeah. super accessible. Spool's an ooh but also useless because he makes the noise. Um, ooh yeah. The Wii U, then? Lawrence would be a, a decked out PC computer. Uh, no, no. Absolutely. He's a Sony. What's a the Pix- 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 Pixis? Pixis. <laughs> Sony Pixis. What, what would Matt Pete be? Oh, he's like a. Uh, let's see. He'd, he'd be the PlayStation he, One. No, no, no. Or he, PlayStation Two. PlayStation Two. The hardest working console. I was, was going to say he's that, or he's like a a Linux-based computer that's been running for 85 years. Oh, yeah. That is just a workhorse. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's the server for the Counter-Strike 1.6. <laughs> uh, Ticket up a nacho wants to know, <laughs> knowing that you guys usually don't have enough time or don't care enough to either pre-order a game or buy it the day it comes out, what? since it will be on a sale, be on sale, sorry, on sale sooner or later anyway, and knowing that some of you are much larger Fallout fans than others, have any of you pre-ordered Fallout 4, or do you plan to wait until it's on sale? That could have been shorter. Roll call. Who's pre-ordered Fallout 4? Joel. Bruce. Adam. James. Lawrence. Spool. Banana. So, okay, so here's a question for the room. Okay. No one here is going to pre-order it. Who's going to play the game day one? I probably won't play it day one. Okay. I'm going to try and find, like, a, a good eight hours of time to sit down and play Yeah, it. good so, luck. Yeah, I know, I know. It's not, probably it'll be a Saturday. You know what we do? We make a video series. Yes, that's exactly where we what play it on a podcast. Yeah. So I don't like Bean Town. Bean Town. It means Boston. Next question from King Kronos. With RTX coming up soon, I was wondering, what are things that you guys really enjoy signing, and what are the weirdest things you were ever asked to sign? Mm. Uh, I really in- I hate signing t-shirts, by the way. Oh, yeah, it's terrible. It's impossible to sign. I always yeah. feel bad, like we're ruining yeah, it. Uh, I, let's, I real quick, humility time. I don't, we still don't know why anyone asks us to sign uh, anything. Yeah, we're just this, diminishing this is, the value of whatever thing you're presenting us. Yeah, with. this right. is a first world problem to the nth degree, and I think it's ridiculous that you ever ask anything, yeah. or ask us to sign anything, and also thank you. We, um, I would say my favorite thing is to get a picture with fans, because that to me feels like that's going to like last forever. I agree. Um, I don't like it when you ask us to flip off the camera. That's always weird. What? what? Do people, yeah. people, they're like, hey, flip off my friend, and I usually go, oh, eh. yeah, Say something mean to um, someone you've never met. Well, then also people always ask us to do something, and then we immediately do the opposite. It. That okay. will always happen regardless. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so if you want us to do something, ask us to do the opposite. So if you want us to suck your dick, ask, ask us, us to <laughs> blow my nose. <laughs> blow my there, that's it. Just like a girl. Yep. <laughs> the weirdest thing I've ever signed is a cane. I signed that cane as well. That was weird. I don't think that woman knew who we were. I don't think she, so. No. We probably should have given that cane back. Uh, Blug wants to know, as an openly gay member of the LGBT, forgot the Q, community, what are your guys' opinions on Ian McKellen's death in Season 5 of Game of Thrones? Oh, you know, what that, you know what that sound means. It's the Ian McKellen question of the week. Ian yeah, McKellen question of the week! The Ian, Ian McKellen, McKellen question of the week. Hey. The one that we answer every week. Hey. He's an old gay man and he played Gandalf. And, Gandalf and Maggie Rose and he played off. off. Also, Ooh. I also like his turn on the stage as Richard the Third. Well, it's and the, the end fourth. of Open House. Thanks and the again fifth. for watching. Thanks and for canceling us again. Uh... Remember you played a Nazi? This is a, yeah, this is a, this is a joke question. We don't need to answer it, guys. We this episode is brought to you by I Hitler 2.0 in theaters next week. <laughs> in we'll see airports. you there. <laughs> Goodbye. Adam's a vampire? You see what happens when you don't have a What smile. am I? is vampire. If 
Adam's a vampire, and the two of you are human. Joel is a succubus. Joel's the <laughs> vampire. I thought you were an elf. Oh, you later. know what that means? It means I, I get all my power from draining men. I know. I oh. know. Succubus only drain men? I thought they drained everything. It's draining men. What's the Chaka Kala It's draining men. Welcome back to another open house where Joel and Joel alone answers all of your questions. Well, ahead, Joel. I am Jubaka. Well, I don't have to ask the questions, I just have to answer oh, them. Oh, yeah, Adam reads the questions. <laughs> First question comes from I am Jubaka. Does Spool's $1 one hour rule extend to the women or men he dates? Yep, next question. <laughs> Joel, come on, there's got to be more to the show than this. I guess Spool has to answer this yeah, one, technically. Yeah, that's Joel. He said Joel. It does. Spool, so I can see you in my webcam. He's a cheap you date. You keep looking back. You yeah, so no. badly want to be on he the show. He wants to be on the no, show. I heard my name. Spool, get in here. Like three times. Get in here. Come on. Here, right. Come talk to us about your uh, rule. Uh, it means you don't, you don't. This is why I asked you. <laughs> this is why I asked you. Shut up, Sean. Uh, what's, the, what's the most expensive date you've ever taken a girl on? And where did you go and what did you do? Uh, he flew across. He flew, flew across, across the, the country, country. To, oh, yeah. to meet that alien <laughs> spaceship that, that he fucked. So that's hard to say because that's like. I don't know if you but you were already that. going across the country. That's not a date. This is still the first question. Yeah, that no, really is. Oh, no, I have my own rule. Okay. okay it's no, my no, no, $1, one inch rule with the ladies. Oh. You give me a dollar, you get an inch. You give me three, you get it all. <laughs> You use your penis on dates? Next question from OG Willie. What would the official Funhouse mascot look like? All right, so I'll start from the bottom. Okay. I think he would be wearing uh, combat boots, but they're kind of, you know, like, have you ever seen a homeless man's combat boots that, like, were the, the flaps? They, they, <laughs> yeah, yeah. they do this when they when they walk? Yeah, oh, yeah. totally. That's, yeah, what, yeah. that's what it's... Okay, okay. Like. Right. okay. Um, I guess the legs mm -hmm. would be uh, robotic in nature, mm -hmm. like... Um, like someone from uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Cool. Just full robot legs, <laughs> but cool. um, guns can come out of them. Okay, so, so guns like, are that's robot awesome. Guns. No, 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 like just out of the kneecaps. Okay, so it's like it's <laughs> like, like the Terminator when the Terminator is... It's like Terminator legs. It's like a robotic, robotic skeleton or an exoskeleton. No, no, like like carbon gun. fiber bio... But like guns come out. Oh, okay. like the Blade Runner from South Africa who murdered his girlfriend. That's the one. Uh, um, what about the torso? The torso would obviously be a ripped six-pack. Yep. Um, yeah. That's it. What about his arms? His arms, also uh, ripped. his arms, one also arm, ripped. Yes. one arm is a chicken wing. Okay. Uh, so he never goes hungry. Yeah. Oh, got it, so he can eat himself. Yeah, yeah. and, and, uh, one arm is mm, a grappling hook. Oh, cool, nice. like Just Cause. Yeah. He, that's, he that's can literally get from. anywhere. And then what's the, what's the head? It's like a uh, chicken or something. It's a Furby head. <laughs> A Furby head. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, but a Furby now, so it looks like it's been in a dumpster. For yeah, about it's not years. looking too good. What's the, what's the name of the mascot? Chizzywick. <laughs> It's Chizzywick. Cheesy the Dick. Mascot. It's everybody's favorite yeah. Chizzywick. He goes, hello. <laughs> <laughs> he says, <laughs> And then the eyes make that clicking sound. <laughs> <laughs> Put oh. me back in the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> all right, next question. Boots are flapping all over the street. Uh, I already forgot its name. Chizzywick. Fierdos <laughs> del Beggio. Uh -huh. uh, in your opinions, why do the majority of games based on other entertainment media fall so short so often. Ergo, Lord of the Rings, even though that just had an amazing version of the game. I don't think EG, wait, wait, wait. EG really doesn't pretty, stand for Ergo. Pretty cool it Game of Thrones. I right? think but it means the same thing. Yeah. Well, what does EG mean? I, I say, put in a lot of emails, it's, it's, it sounds a, smart, but Latin, I have no idea what Latin. it means. It's a Latin version of, of an example. Yes. Ah, what? I know Latin. Didn't I say Ergo? Yeah, no. It doesn't stand for that. What does it stand for? Ergo means therefore. Yeah. That kind of works in this scenario. EG stands Therefore, for such as... Ergo! Ergo! Uh, yeah. Exempli grat gratia. Free example. Yeah, free example. You I free guarantee example. you this person didn't fucking know that shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, you yeah. listed two examples of properties that have good games. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, kind of, though, but not... Okay, so I know what he's saying. So, like, say the movie... For Lord of the Rings Four is coming out, so and then they're cool. like, "Here's," and then the game's gonna come out. More goodbyes. Like, <laughs> Lord of the Rings Four. <laughs> right. Lord of the Rings Four. <laughs> Goodbye more goodbyes forever. Now. So, and then like a week before the movie comes out, a video game comes out, but it's not good. Right. You want to know what why? He's saying. That's it's because it's because it takes less time to make a movie than it takes to make a video game. Well, typically what happens in those scenarios, too, is it takes forever to get the rights, oh, yeah. which is weird, mm. and then the game always gets rushed within, like, nine months. Yeah. 
two years is usually pretty good for a game to work, but this is actually happening less and less, like James was saying, which is really good. Because yep. Shadow of Mordor has nothing to do with any of the movies. Yeah, and it's awesome. Like, Fuck it. Let's yeah. just build a world within the property. Well, just, uh, yeah. Adam always brought up Batman Arkham, I think it was Arkham War, or uh, Asylum, yeah. as a good example of a movie that came out around a Batman, or a game that came out around a Batman movie, but right. wasn't based on the film. Yeah, they don't, they're, they're de the developers and the publishers and the studios are all figuring out little by little, which is nice. Uh, you still get some garbage, which I love. Like G.I. Joe, Rise of the Cobra. Great game. Yeah. Super shitty. I can't wait until we sell the rights for the Chesiwick game. Next <laughs> next question. Uh, it's, it's him trying to kill himself in his apartment. Yeah, but he has to go out there and dance on the football field uh, yeah. for the basketball game. Uh, Block Kid uh, 559 wants to know what's the longest you've each gone without taking a shit? Uh, this happens like every week. Uh, how long does it take to shoot open house? <laughs> So you take a shit before and after open house? That's right. Holy shit. Two I'm going to skip this You question. shit two or three okay. times a day? Do you right. hear that? Joel shits two or three times a day. Two or three times a day? Really? Yeah. Yeah. I eat a lot of fiber. Do you, are they tiny poops? Yeah, are they little little nuggets? Some of them are decent size. They pop size. out little pebbles? Decent Not size always. meaning what? Because hmm. you probably only see your own shit. Like, um. imagine... Like a zucchini, but like a, a spring zucchini, so it's not had the time to ripen into a full. See, that's the thing, though. That's not the most shits. Yeah, they're giant are, are shits. like squash. Yeah, they're... why? Why would you? Why would you want to hold it in for that long? The longest no, I've gone without it's taking not a about shit. holding it in. That's just the size of poops. Joel. That's not necessarily true. You've just grown up in a different world where poops are much smaller. Your butt, it's, your butt. Because I'm from smaller. the south, no, isn't it? No, your oh. butthole's smaller. That's the. I went three and a half days without taking a shit because I was constipated, and then when I when I was when I took a shit, it blew out the cap. So like there was like a little, is that what you call your a, a your little, o ring the no, mushroom tip? No, a little cap of poop. It fired out, right? And I was like, oh, that was weird. That wasn't enough. And then it, my asshole exploded like a frozen yogurt machine. Uh, your next question from a Laser Boltman. What is your guys' most memorable fart that you have heard from Bruce? <sighs> uh, we actually have one. What? A new one. We do? Uh -huh. Yeah. We're, oh, we're yeah. Well, live so game. juicy. Um, usually, they're, I try to forget them because they hurt. No. I was um, going to say, that's like asking a boxer to remember their favorite time they got punched in the face. <laughs> Very true. But, uh, we no, do. it's like asking a boxer the, the favorite time he threw his first his favorite no. punch. No, 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 no that's punch. you're the boxer. That's for you. Yeah, yeah. Favorite punch. Nope. I think we have a special clip for all you guys. Oh, yeah. This is my favorite one because we had a boom mic and we basically put it up to Bruce's asshole. Right up his rectum. We can't right. use that boom mic anymore. Let's roll that clip. There was one when we were in our original uh, three-person office that shook the wood paneling. <laughs> For real? Oh, yeah. I shook the wood paneling? Really resonant. Man. James, what about you? I don't have a favorite. Come on, James! There's lots of good ones! They didn't say favorite, they said There memorable. was one recently, we were doing some sort of gameplay and there was some sort of timing thing. Oh, it was, you, t you synced it up with the clap sync. Uh, we can play that clip too. I bet you can't win any awards. My favorite one was when I was uh, taking a shit in the bathroom with Adam because I said it's in the same room in Germany and I shit oh, so boy. loud I think I woke him up and he laughed. <laughs> it was really good. That hotel was the worst. It was. I could see the outline of Bruce and all the things he was doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Next question from Lynching. From Mortal SD. James, why are you so cool? Does it take a lot of work for you to be that cool? For the record, I didn't pick the questions this week. Oh. Someone else did. I picked it. Well, no, because we all want to know. Yeah, James, I want to know, so know why cool. you're so cool. Why are you so cool? Surf lessons. All right, so I'll walk you through Surf my day. Lessons. All right, no. number one. 6 a.m., get lessons. out of bed. Hit the beach. Do you give surf the surf lessons or do you take them? Both. <laughs> All right, what happens after surf lessons? All right, surf lessons for about 45 minutes to an hour if the waves are good. Uh -huh. Then I move on. I go to the gym, do legs, all right? Then legs I, every day? What? Legs every day? Every day. Every day. Only, every and day only legs. legs? Jeff, just, yeah. Why okay. would you work on anything else? Because the surfing's always upper body. Oh, yeah, all that's right. a good point. Okay. Then I go, I get, a, I get a big rice bowl. It's a breakfast bowl with a fried egg on top. Okay. It's brown rice. What kind of egg? fried egg. Yeah, what, what? kind of egg? Ostrich. Ostrich. And then, uh, and then so after that, I generally show up around work. That's what you, you guys see me show up around work. Yeah. I we all uh, give say... about half an hour, and then I take off my clothes in front of all of you. That's true. Mm -hmm. he does Every that. single day I do that. No, that's true. Back to the gym, right? That's true. He doesn't, he doesn't now work Now I work much. legs. Yeah, but... I work my legs Again. now at the gym. It's a good regimen. So, uh, oh, I get it. Each, each time he goes, he only does one leg at a time. No, oh, both that, legs, both times. No, both legs, both, both times. Okay, all right. Okay. How long are you in the gym that second time around? Three and a half hours or so. Right, and so what, what, what primarily, is it just one, like, long set of... 
Well, if people can run on squats. the treadmill, they can do marathons or whatever. I do back squats. Mm -hmm. I put about 315 on there, and I just continue with squatting for three and a half hours. They're asking why you're cool, not what you do to work out. This is what makes one cool. All right, so then after the three and a half hours in the gym, you come back to work come around back, like four. I put on some shades. Put some shades. And then I sit there. I sit here. <laughs> And That's then true, you guys are all too. working, but I just sit here with the shades on. That's true. And then occasionally I'll mutter to myself. Um, what do you say? And then, uh... <laughs> I'm not in here, yeah. so I don't know. Anyway, actually. back to the gym, <laughs> and then I do legs. Dice, oh magic dice, will I ever be as cool as James, as cool as James, as I just want roll to a dice. be? Yes. No. Did you get a 20? You got, no. You got a 4, I, got, one, I rolled really poorly. I rolled really, really poorly. I'm late for the gym. I'm late for the gym, All right. All right. We'll see you later, James. All right. All right. Um, I have one more question. Yeah. I have two mice at my desk. That's not very cool. Uh, right. You can read the next question. Oh, uh, that's your final question. Uh, this comes from Just Shades. What are the rules about making a Game of Thrones theme question? Gentlemen. Yeah? We've come full circle. No, no, that, that already happened. He already asked the Game of Thrones. So what? He, uh, earlier. The, he the, did? Yeah, Beardos Del Baggio. Same guy? Really? Yep. No, it was a different guy. That's oh. why, that and that guy won. Oh. Right. Just Shades doesn't win anything. We'll roll it back, play the clip. Yeah, we'll play the clip. Okay, well, that, that was, really okay. that was it. Yeah. That's the end of Open House. That's really cool. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you Thank for you. tuning in. I, I, we appreciate it, and we're sponsored by Dungeons and Dragons Dice. If you like what you see on Open House, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe to Robaz. Tweet. YouTube.com. Snapchat. Yeah, I don't think favoriting does anything. Robaz. Also, liking doesn't work. Playlist really our videos in your video list. It, it's actually helpful if you show this video to your sister. Illegally download our video and then upload it. We're done. God, I look fucking tired. He's got you there. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Oh, I look so tired. Look. Mm. I got a bruise on my neck that my wife pointed out to me last night. Why do you have a bruise on, on my neck? neck? How'd you get that? Why? My hair's all fucked up. What's wrong with her? I know what I need. Adam, what's wrong with her? Mm -hmm. Lawrence I'm going like this. Right, I'm trying to block Lawrence. Don't, Don't block Lawrence! Lawrence uh... mm -hmm. That's cool. Good job, Lawrence. This will um, clean up my hairline. Let's start the show. Hold on. I'm going kamikaze for this one. Let's start the show. Oh, I have okay. a zit James, on my neck. You're used to, you're you. used to flying solo. How does it feel yeah, having yeah. to crashing my plane out. into a yeah. carrier? I do to go I take out my little. You Okay, let's start the show. Welcome back to another open house in an all new office. Wow. It looks more sad. Uh, yeah, we're deep beneath the Earth's surface. We got a cool yeah, shelf about three miles. behind us. I, I made sure to put the shelf behind us so that way it does look Joel cool and I are best friends, shelf? best team friends on the oh, yeah, open house. There, though. Um, we'll have cool stuff behind us. We so. have a cool background too. What is it? Matt Peak. Matt Peak. Oh, that's pretty cool. Way cooler than yours. Wait, other, other way. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> Winners. Right. First question this week comes from Bowtie Sam. What is a field or subject that you guys excel in but don't ever talk about? Hmm. That's a great question. Talk. Are we going to answer this for real or are we going to answer this in open house Answer style? it for real and make it funny as well. Uh, I can't do that. Oh. I'm great <laughs> at accelerating my Prius into oncoming No, cars. you're not. That's not true either. either. Yeah, Prius is That's the one car made without no. acceleration. Shit. So. Mm. Adam, do you have a hidden talent? Hidden talent? I, mm. I can basically do a Gollum impression. Oh, yes, right. Oh, let's hear it. That's about, you want to hear it? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, Jon Snow. No, that's, that's oh, damn greet. it. That's a greet from jo uh, Game of Thrones. I don't watch a lot of stuff. I, I mean, uh, I have, uh, uh, I, I, I've been playing drums for almost 20 years. Bruce is pretty good. And I, uh, I, I like to play drums, but I never play them. Mm -hmm. How did I not know this? And, How come you didn't uh, play drums with us at E3 during Rock Band? I was... In Miami? That is the correct answer. Okay. Un benito a Miami. <laughs> uh, James, what are you good at? Uh, I'm amazing at lovemaking. Um, sure. I've wrote, I've actually written several books on how to make love uh, to yourself. I've made love to him. Um, because a lot of people think that masturbation is is something that's, you know, there's one way to Can you demonstrate right? your cunnilingus? Is that, is that knuckles are very doing? important. Imagine this is a, a giant throbbing Tell us about the vagina, James. Uh, what does it look like? Vagina looks like it looks like someone made a mistake while they were making a penis. 
<laughs> All right, next question from Aroused Dentist. Have you got a name for our new office yet? Wait, it's it's Aroused Dentist's new office too? Right. Our new office? I think yeah, they, that's they rather own presumptuous. It. That's why we set up those extra desks. Oh yeah. Oh, it's for Aroused Dentist. Yeah, Aroused you're late dentist. for work, buddy. I think we're gonna have to have a talk with your supervisor, and you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was the fastest employment yet. All right, man. Uh, what's our new office yet? Uh, anybody uh, know? I have a couple suggestions. All right. Uh, the bunker. Okay. Um, so, bunk house. Uh huh. Um, Jody Foster. Cunnilingus. Oh. Uh, Adam. Oh, um, well, I like to call it Gulag 2.0. Gulag is good. Gulag. I like that. I was one. also thinking Gulag 2.0. What's the What's the name of the place where Hitler is in downfall? The bunker. This is bunker. No, is there a name for it? There was is a name there, for like, that bunker. bunker. I guess we can just Hitler's call it bunker. downfall. That's what we're called. Uh, well, uh, let's just call it Hitler, guys. Ooh, Hitler rant. That's good. There we Since go. we lost the Holocaust wall, we'll remember, we'll have his memory of who Hitler's? Joel, do you have a name for it? Mom's basement. Perfect. Good Next good. question. Ugh. Heavy is the head 24. We all know now that Lawrence thinks he can take Ben Affleck. <laughs> Which actor slash actress that has played a superhero do the rest of the members believe Ooh. they can beat in a fight? Okay. Hmm. I believe that I can beat Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. She was in the IDF. I don't know about that. Hold on a minute. That. I know that. I believe that I can beat her in a hot oil wrestling match. Oh, I see what you're doing. But a challenge! By beat her, I mean arouse her to mm. the point of possibly, maybe... Premature ejaculation? Having intercourse with her. Oh. Mm. I think I could beat up Adam West now. Oh, that's good. Well, he's like 85 or 90 years yeah, old. But then, but then Joel can walk around saying he beat up Batman. I beat up Batman. That's, that's a good oh. call. One of the Batman. Yeah, the really the, the Batman. Batman. The um, one that's important. I could take on Val Kilmer. Could you? Maybe. He's a big dude. He's yeah. a really big fat. Well, he's fat though. He's kind of slow. Yeah. I, slow. I would have to work on my cardio, and I just have to outpace him. You could do that because he would just fall on me. Well, he'd take a swing and miss because you could dodge him really fast. Yes. Yeah. Watch out, Val. Huh. James could beat up Ralph Macchio. I probably superhero? could beat up Ralph Macchio. <laughs> yeah, Ralph Macchio is not a superhero. I just sweep the leg. Yep. Um, you know what about Stan Lee? Does Stan, if I beat up Stan Lee, 92 year old Stan Lee, Lee is not a superhero. A superhero. But he created a bunch of superheroes. Matter. It doesn't matter. All right, mm -hmm. then I would beat up Jennifer Garner, but it would be a playground fight scene, something we've never seen before. You could beat up Electra? Yeah, Electra. Jamie Foxx? Tresoratops asks, uh -huh. do you guys have any pet theories about the great mysteries of the world, such as the Nazca lines, are we alone, will Jorah ever get laid, etc. Is that? Of, that's a Game of Thrones Game reference, of right? Thrones. That Jorah ever get laid? No, it's, I think it's a different Jorah. Oh. Which, which They're Jorah? talking about the Egyptian uh, pharaoh. Oh, yeah. Jorah, Jorah the, the 24th. I think those mm -hmm. are the crop who, circles. The theory is that the he are... actually was just a baby who was it's worshipped in Egyptian times. Mm. <laughs> Uh, Pharaoh Jorah the Eight. I didn't hear your. So, right, so my hidden talent, which I didn't say, oh is that gosh. I studied anthropology in college. I went to college for anthropology, and I know a lot about <laughs> human history and cultures and stuff. We're looking and at pictures of Haley Joel Osment. So my pet theory about the great mystery of the world yeah. is humans fucking did it because humans are the fucking best. Huh. Humans um, made the world? They did everything. Hold on, Adam has a theory. There was a short-lived cartoon about Johnny Quest, like the new adventures, and the aliens came down, basically picked up all the monkeys, and all the aliens looked like the Easter Island heads. Yeah. And they used music to transform the bone. But I believe that James Spader and Kurt Russell entered a gate. To um, I, I have a theory that uh, an Inspector Gadget uh -huh. chief is actually Dr. Claw. Oh, what? It makes sense because they're never in the same place at the same time. <laughs> also, Chief has all the information. Show us the cunnilingus, James. You go like this. Next right? question. And then you lick your palm and then you slap. Next ah. question, next question. <laughs> Uh, your next question from Dark Didrius. Oh, nice, yeah, you sure. nailed yeah. it. I know Bruce said he'd like to see this, but would the rest of you like your own animated adventures type videos? No, it's never been a dream of any of us to be in an animated show. I, I, I've said it before, it blows my mind that there is even a piece of fan art that exists of any one of us. Yeah. Um, mm, maybe you, Adam, but not me. I can make my own fan art. Well, yeah. for the rest of us, we're very humble. Like char characters. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think an animated version of any of us would um, be a dream come true. So maybe possibly you, Joel, 
can start an animated adventure show. No, I don't know how to animate things. Okay. You just draw one picture, and then you draw a picture that takes place immediately after that picture. Wait, wait, James, can we show his animation that Joel did? That yeah, let's see. He's got it. No, See, I, that that. Was, I was you right. Know what you're I doing. was right. I don't know how to animate. You know really what good. you're doing, Joel. That was really good. Yeah. That only took you what? 36 hours? Yeah, if, how long did if, that take? If one of you can make your character for D&D named Marston, look like Marston, and wield a giant mallet, then I can animate. What are you talking about? Why would you pick a mallet? It was like, what the It's fuck such a is blunt, he? boring I don't know, he weapon. does the weird jump, it's like yeah. It's don't forget splinter. that jump at the end. <laughs> Regardless, oh, yes, we want to do an animated show. America's uh, favorite yeah. character, Marston. It's Everyone's in our plans. Favorite character. Stop Marston. talking about Marston. They think there was a trailer for the new Marston. Stop it. Comic Con. We want to be an animated show. We're going to do an animated show in the future. I'm sure of it. It's just not going to be made by Jordan. Next Who's question from Sam it? the Park Star. Will, know, be, will it hates be him. you, Next. poor Korean boy? Next question from Sam the Park Star. Here are some British slang words. Can you guess what they are? Knobhead. What's a knobhead? Dickhead. Dick. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's the someone. Dickhead? It's like the tip like of your dickhead. Oh, damn. yeah. Okay, or not uh, gutted. Kind of when, lingus. Or when a bitch, that's kind of lingus. It's like when a bitch rips your heart out, and you're like, man, I've been gutted. Knackered. Uh, that's like when a bitch rips your heart out, and you're like, man, I've been gutted. Uh, bugger all. Bugger alls are, are little chocolate snacks you can buy at Ooh. the local grocery store. Mm -hmm. Caca. Saturday night. Uh, blinding. Blinding? Sunday that's, morning. Yeah, that's, that's an American. We have that in America. Uh, damp squib. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what I did to myself squib. last oh, night. Oh, damp squib is an IT crowd. I know that one. I do, well, what does it mean? It's like a wet blanket. And then bollocking. Bollocking, well, when you go to the rodeo. Isn't No, bollocking is when two men try and tie their testicles together. I thought it was yeah. when you go to the rodeo and then you, you ride, but then you, you get your, your balls you stuck on the... Mm -hmm. But you get hard at the same time that your balls smash against the cow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, no, it's I was going to say... Cow, it's a bull. A uh, bull, pardon it's, me. You yeah. jump off of the bull and then you collide with one of the clowns right. and then your balls get tied together. But your yeah. happens so all the time. But you're hard the whole time. Gerard Bernard... Uh, which WWE superstar should join Game of Thrones? Hold on, I got a really important question about yeah. this question. Yeah. Can we be done with the Game of Thrones theme? Uh, uh, I think no. that's the Game of I Thrones mean, question of the week right there, Bruce. Good job. We're prepping for next season, so... Yeah, I mean, you gotta, gotta get ready. Who knows what's gonna happen with, um... Jorah uh, Pharaoh and the, the, Jorah, the Naz, Naztec lines. Birds. Can we not talk about it anymore for a while? Why? Because. You know what? Hey, Bruce, yes. We don't have to do Game of Thrones themed questions anymore. We're doing WWE themed questions no! from now on. That's somehow so worse. this question still qualifies. Damn it. All right. So um, I don't know. I'll come up with a WWE question right now. I don't know. Who we here have wants a WWE, to do WWE question? question How did Chris Benoit murder his family? Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> Adam? Um, I'm, I heard he put them all in like in headlocks. Oh, he no, put them in a cross face. <laughs> Can we have a question? A Check video? him, ref. That's what Chris Benoit's on the phone with 911. Check him, ref. <laughs> Check him. <laughs> All right, so who's ready to start open house? Well, we're going to try something new. Um, no, no, I'm going to go like this, like Ghostbusters. Ready? No more questions. Yeah. Spool. Adam. Uh, no, come on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I don't know what's happening. Spool, got, spool nailed it. So when I say spool, to go to another he person. goes to the next person, and whoever he says sings higher. Oh. Yeah. Is that higher. the one where they go back in time and help Doc Brown? <laughs> yes. All right, ready? All right, here we go. Do it. Uh, spool. Adam. Lawrence. Egon. What about Peak? You forgot about Peak. Bad idea. <laughs> They're still working. Yeah, why are you? Oh, school's crazy. like, school's like right. I want to be on camera. I'm still working. Joel's in Transylvania or whatever. Meeting his friend. Joel. First question this week comes from Cat Cool 67 If Spool is getting married, what would happen if Spool Stag Party? I'm sorry, what would happen at Spool Stag Party <laughs> if you guys were in like charge it. of it? All right, Spool, what would happen? Let's see. If we no, were... he said if we were in charge of it. Oh, we were in charge, yeah, in charge of it. But that includes it. Spool. I would be a considerate friend, and I would just have us all around drinking light beer, watching Boring! Stream. Probably Spool's own First stream. things first. Oh, Here's what we do. We buy three butt plugs. What we do with those three butt plugs, I'm not sure. We only need two more. I tell you what we do. We get the bros together. Okay. We hop in the car. Bros. We drive down to Mexico. We're driving down to Mexico. We grab Spool's mom because she's pretty cool. Spool's she's pretty cool. In Mexico. And we go to the donkey ride. 
Ew. You mean the donkey show? The donkey what? No, we, we go to the petting zoo and we ride the donkeys. Head. Bag over his fool's head. We handcuff his hands over his head in a basement. We punch him in the stomach. Nice. Right? Yeah. We tell him America's the enemy. Yeah. <laughs> and then we waterboard him. And, we say true uh, freedom comes from death. And then at the end of all of it, we say, you still want to marry him? And then he goes, yes, I do. And then we go, <laughs> all right. I see what you did. <laughs> Happy birthday, Spool. Next, yes. next question Wait, from no, Cornhuskers12. Yeah. Do you think Lawrence looks better with or without his glasses? Let's find out. Lawrence? I got a weird face. Look at this. Ah! Oh, I, like, I like Lawrence's Ooh. face. Hold on. Man. Lawrence, when Lawrence. you went away for a second, there was this monster sitting at your desk. Wait, hold on a minute. Dull Lawrence, pink take off your and pudgy and... He's like Clark Kent. Superman! That's Superman! That's Clark Kent. I like the loser. But that's not the question. Um, I don't uh, care. Yeah, I, I wish Lawrence that. got glasses that looked like the 50s style that kind of had wings on the end. Oh, oh yeah. Like yeah. a like a classy cat. Like I'm a librarian that's never had sex. <laughs> yeah, I want Ooh. you to look that Except way. I do this, and then I do a little bit of this, and then I get laid instantly. Uh, Spool, do you think he looks better with or without his glasses? I like the glasses. They frame his face. A uh, real question for you. When Google Glass came out, Lawrence, did you want to get a prescription version to wear those all yes. the time? <laughs> did I want to get them implanted into my face? Yes. Dead to me. What about the rest of us? Uh, do you think Do you think that the rest of us? Would, yeah, let's see how we all look with Lawrence's oh, glasses on. I have glasses. Actually. Don't you, James? Adam looks cool. Adam looks much better. Oh, you look much better. Better? Yeah, much better. I actually better. used to wear glasses, then I got LASIK in Koreatown. I like Lawrence's frames, actually. Lawrence's frames Very are nice. Uh, Bruce oh, also Bruce. looks better with glasses on, yeah. Bruce looks like Gordon Freeman. Turns Very out they're just really good glasses. Get I'll you take a crowbar. It. Cool. Well, you look like a professional skateboarder. No. Oh, yeah, I guess I Oh, can yeah. That. No, I was going to say, he kind of looks like Woody Allen. Woody Allen. Hey, skate. Hand the, what the fuck? Give hand the glasses to James. James. Go to James. James? Uh, Same country. What's wrong with James's chin? Why'd he suck his chin in? This is my glasses face. Yeah. Push him up like this. Like this. Like this? No. <laughs> I push my glasses. Sometimes James, my you glasses have... come down my nose, yeah. so I push them, I push them up. You oh, have yeah, glasses. Like We've seen it. James is that hot professor that I want to sleep with to maybe get a B plus. Gross. Spool, read the question. Uh, I don't have the dog open. Oh, nice. Good job. Lawrence, read the question. Broken Wing 4 writes, In honor of New Horizons' recent fly flying by of Pluto, uh -huh. if you had your own dwarf planet, what would it be See, like? See, it's not easy to read the questions all the time. Well, you guys make fun of me, but it's hard. Uh, I read them I just fine. Think Lawrence is smart. One. If you had your own dwarf planet, what would it be like? First, you get three butt plugs. <laughs> then, what you do is you scatter them around the planet like a treasure hunt. Ooh. Butt plugs. My planet would be a rectangle. Ooh. I'm tired of all these planets taking over the the spherical shape. Yeah, mm -hmm. like a Borg cube. Let's see some originality planets. Yes. You know what we don't have? The box. We don't have Dyson sphere. I was about to say mine's going to be a Dyson sphere that just is has enough room for me and my computer desk, and it'll have great internet. That's mine's what I gonna said. Be a diamond. Stole my answer. Oops. Ooh, diamond planet. Like a Sims thing above their head. Planets are a girl's best friend. Uh, train own. Train one. Train own. Uh huh. Uh, who handles all your accounting, and how did they get into doing that for a YouTube channel? Well, uh, we all know who handles the accounting for Funhouse. We mm -hmm. do. The money guy. The money guy. Yep. Mm -hmm. We the don't guy, talk about him. The guy with the curly hair. Mm -hmm. The guy who's in Hungary right now. <laughs> Killing vampires. That's not true at all. So basically uh, the way it works We call him Jewish Joel Rubin. Every time you watch a video, it causes a machine to drop a penny. Um, and then that penny rolls through a series of tubes that Google has laid about all of the United States and most of Europe. And then that penny go is distributed to the accountant manager for every specific YouTube channel. Ours happens to be Joel. And then he gathers the pennies and, and most, most people ask, what does Joel do? He spends most of his day stacking the pennies, throwing them into a bag over his shoulder, taking it to a bank, and then uh, cashing those pennies in for real money. And then uh, once he gets that money, he uh, he writes uh, novelty checks. We all get paid in giant size novelty. R ooh, Resk Reskosik? Reskosak. Reskosak. <laughs> right. If you had to advertise Funhouse on a highway billboard, what would it be? What would be on it? All right. First, I'm gonna say a bunch of dudes with basketballs. Plugs. What? A bunch of dudes with basketballs. No, no, that's dude perfect. We already have that. What? That's, I a, real be, that's a real thing. It would be a, a, a locker, and there would be a girl crawling out of a locker, right? Ooh. She doesn't look scared. Mm -hmm. 
But she also Confident. doesn't look happy. Uh -huh. But she's crawling out of the locker, and then it would say Funhouse. I don't. Bottom. You don't see enough mechanical billboards these days. I want some movement. Ooh, Something, like a guy yeah. with a basketball who's dunking <laughs> yeah. over and over again. I think I, I think I want my billboard to be solely Lawrence holding a basketball, <laughs> and the, only the basketball moves. Except the, his head twitches once in a while. Yeah, like it's bouncing off. What about, head over and over it just says views. What about if there's a butt Ding. on the billboard, and then Lawrence is holding a butt plug? <laughs> Like just has groceries. Do you know how many people would go to that website? Website? Well, you didn't put a website on it. It's just a butt with a butt plug. Oh, oh well, yeah. that's true. Uh, Sal229 wants to know, is the WWE question of the week actually going to be a thing? James? I don't know. It's your show. I don't know. Is it going to be a thing? I don't think it should. I don't think it should be. I don't know enough about WWE. Can we pick a different subject? Maybe no, you don't I really know, know that much about anything that we answer here. here. Made up a whole story about how the accounting for YouTube works. Is this how Chris Benoit oh, killed no, his no, family? Oh, man. Out of nowhere. Cool. The, uh, uh, honest answer, here's the thing. Who just pooped? Um, when you put in stuff like themes, it makes it really easy to put in jokes because it's the same joke every single week. Uh, the Game of Thrones thing went on for too long. Ever? 10 weeks. 15. 11 weeks. Yeah. I think oh, 15, 15 weeks? Um, 15 weeks. So, uh, I'm trying to find something else, so I don't have to come up with any funny jokes. I can just use the same joke over and over again. Dyson Sphere. That's the hard truth answer of the week. Chris Benoit. Can we do the Dyson Sphere question of the week? I think my planet's gonna be shaped like a diamond. Only it's gonna be a slightly larger yeah, diamond-shaped planet than Spool's diamond-shaped planet. Ah! It's gonna nudge it out of the way. Well, you know, the only thing that can break a diamond, another diamond. All right, that's good. So what is a donkey show? <laughs> All right, Joel, be funny like you just were. Cool. Hey, I'm back from vacation! You should be, oh. you should be embarrassed because there's a stranger in the room. Oh, man, that was a rad vacation I had. None of you chumps was there. Oh, I really missed this. Woo, I missed this. Woo. Really missed this. Welcome back to another week like of Open House. <laughs> what? I don't like vacation. Oh, yeah. This hey, who are these losers on Open House? This week's episode is brought to you by the country hungry, where Joel won't shut up about it. First question. There was one yes. Hungarian fan there that, that spotted me. Heavy me is the head, 24. With Yu-Gi-Oh! match getting closer, does anyone Funhouse have any previous experience with card games that give them the advantage over others? I My answer is no. I bet Lawrence does. Yeah. I knew it, nerd. I played Magic the Gathering like a lot. <laughs> like yesterday? <laughs> no. It was in high school. I, I bought cards a lot. I had to beg my mom to drive me an hour to the nearest card shop. And then by the end of it, I remember I sold my shoebox full of cards to my friend for $20. How often did you win, Lawrence? Didn't play competitively too much. I did a lot of organizing of my cards. Does collecting the nude sex cards from the first Witcher game count as yes. a card game? Yeah, that's good. Then yes. I uh, I was once on a bus with a kid who was going to teach me how to play Magic the Gathering in like third grade or something. And then he gave me a bunch of cards and he's like, all right, you play them. And then he proceeded to beat the hell out of me yeah. in the game. Yeah. Uh, and I went, I don't think I like this game. And that kid's name was Jared Garrettson. Monster. <laughs> I just remembered something. What? I uh, I learned how to play magic at a math and science meet. <laughs> Next question! That does, but I played the Star Wars card. How often of it all has there been, let's say, creative differences? Tantamount to any arguments that may have transpired. Tantamount? Is that the right that, use that's of that not, word? He didn't use that right. Uh, he tried. I appreciate the try. Tantamount. That's the, the, the thing from Star Wars that they cut open <laughs> yeah. and they sleep in. Well, Spool and I continually have creative differences. Like, yeah. pretty much every day we're button heads. Like this thumbnail I'm making Spool, right now. Yeah, Spool it's wants like... to make his um, <laughs> thumbnails gayer. You made them gayer. I always colors. say no. All three stumps but look at that on each other and get their penises inside them. And I always Wait. butt heads with Joel, because Joel always wants, wants to make everything gayer. No, I I'm chill. I don't to... butt heads with anyone. I don't like I'm, cool Joel. I really don't like don't cool Joel. Don't like him. Either. You button up one, please, please. Yes. Isn't it? It's All right. Close, close it up one more. He unbuttoned one. No, he unbuttoned another one. Lawrence. Oh. Lawrence. Yeah. Talk about that time you and I got into a full-fledged fight. Uh, so we were eating, and James looked at my food, and I was like, what? Just say it. He's like, nothing. And I was like, just say it. And James was like, listen, it's been, you, your food looks pretty good. You're not going to eat it. And I was like, 
fuck you, I'm not gonna eat it. So I ate it all. And Jim's like, I just wanted to ask you for it. I know what you wanted to do. And in the process of seeing it, I started spitting on him. And he was like, just calm down. By the way, when somebody tells you to calm down, you never calm down. So I got even angrier, which is his fucking fault. And he knew that. He was trying to get me all riled up. Does this story have an end or a yeah, point? Yeah, the battle was tantamount to like a Godzilla fight. Also, it's not Godzilla. a correct answer to the question, which asks about creative differences. Yeah, I wanted to creatively eat all of my food. Next question. Angel Shover. Uh, have you guys ever taken Viagra? If so, for what reason? And how long did your Woody last? Woody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, oh, man. James, you want some Viagra? Yeah. Got some right here. Oh, yeah. Pop me up yeah, there you go. All right, let's do it right Joel now. Here we go. Anybody. So wait, yeah, no one has taken it or? Under the tongue. Guys, right. I don't want to be a square here, but Viagra is a prescription drug. You can't take your drugs. You can't Can just you take it. Can you pop me another one? It's not working yet. <laughs> These are yogurt. Rather. Pop me Viagra, it's semen. <laughs> Who's taking Viagra in this room? I've never taken Viagra. I've never had the There's option that I just one. popped. <laughs> Matt Peek, have you taken Viagra? I don't know if it was Viagra or not. I tried it one time. What? What? Yeah. You don't know if it was what Viagra? What was it? Hold on, wait a minute. Did you get a boner? He doesn't remember no, what it was. It didn't work. Oh. It didn't work. Hey, Matt. <laughs> what? Uh, are there any other things that have prevented you from getting boners? Nope. I can't remember doing Good answer. <laughs> After you took that pill, Matt, did you <laughs> tantamount someone? <laughs> uh, no, no, I tried <laughs> I think we should all take Viagra at the same time. No, Why would like, we all uh, want to have boners next to each other? What? It's gonna be like drunk born, only we're all gonna take Viagra every time we yeah, die. I'm, I'm afraid boner born. Dumb. I'm boner dumb. born. Oh yeah, so every time we die, we have to take Viagra. He and just said what? that. Yeah. I don't think it's, that's how they work. This is what I mean, creative difference. It's always button heads with you guys. What if we have six placebos, like sugar pills, and then one oh. thing, and whoever- Viagra roulette. Read <laughs> the next question, Joel, just do it. All right. Watson055 wants to know, what was an unknown game growing up that you loved playing but no one else played? Joel? My uncle used to play a game with me. Oh. Uh-oh. I know what that game that was. It's it's called <laughs> Let's Go to the Fishing Hole. No, it wasn't. What, what, what was the actual game? I used to play a computer game called All Those Adventure. And it was basically like if you combine Mario and Donkey Kong together, but make it really shitty freeware, for, uh, shareware for the PC. Aldo's Adventure. Sounds really fun. Yeah, yeah. sounds great. Cool. Uh, Secret of Evermore. Did anyone play that? Yep. That was really, 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 oh, really good right, game. So that one's negated because someone else played well, it. Well, yeah, Lawrence has played it. <laughs> the only game made oh, by Square Enix. How am I supposed to know if anyone plays it unless I say the name? Can anyone just name a game that someone else hasn't played or? Aldo's Adventure. I just great. fucking named it. What do you want from me? But someone else game. has played it somewhere. <laughs> uh, Shuffle Puck. You guys play Shuffle Puck on the Power PC? Nope. First you, pay, you pop a Vi Viagra, and then you go out there with your uncle, and then you're shuffle bucking. <laughs> Ginzo Greaseball asks, are any of you gender fluid? If so, are you a female or a man right now? <laughs> That's my favorite term, by the fluid? way. Fluid? You tell me. Are you gender like, fluid, man. Gender fluid. Are you a it means reptile? You're, it means you, you're, you know, you can fit into either category. You kind of float from here, here now. Yeah. Oh, James, you can't make fun of that. I'm not. I'm saying I'm explaining what it is. You, you get to choose, right, at any point, any it's point fluid. in time. It's fluid. Sometimes There's, you kind of move no. from this, and kind of you move to that. You, you don't, don't choose your does my penis become a you vagina at will? Because I want this power. Hey, like in, you pour water into a glass, like it becomes a, a man. What, so, all right, so real quick, let's go down the line. Who are you? What are you right now? Yeah, I'm a man. I'm vacation man. I'm cooler than Joel. Man. Tool? I don't know. Lawrence? I'm genderless. Jared? I'm water. Oh, James? Jared? All oh, man, man lady? All oh, man. Yeah. Hey, he's a man lady. And then Matt Peake? Bearded lady. Male. Male? <laughs> All right. There you have. You Matt heard Peek it here first. The male man. He's like Latino. Do I, I got get the more money for my are... SATs? Well, Lawrence, go ahead and read the when, next question. When, I don't, I don't, what? What? Over my eye, it what said gender want, fluid. I thought it said Garfunkel for a second. Just for like half a Take second. Take the fucking glasses off so you can read. That's going to get cut. I didn't. Good joke. Comrade Canary writes If Funhouse had a world tour ship cruise, what name and activities would it have and places would it sail to? Uh, we play shuffle puck on the, the poop deck. <laughs> Wait, with your uncle? Be yeah. Happy, but uncles and little boys. Viagra roulette. <laughs> we yeah, only Viagra go to Fire roulette. Island. Viagra roulette, go to Fire Island. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's a fire you can, you Island? Come into the uncle pool, it's full with gender fluid. Joel. What? Stop chatting and listen to my funny joke. Yeah, he's not listening. What? Fire, fire Island Cruise Line. Fire on Island. Fun no, no, we call it fuckboy cruises. That's what we fuck call boy it. Fuckboy cruises? Fuckboy okay, cruises. Fuckboy. 
Fuck boy cruise. What would you break over the stern for its maiden voyage? Viagra. Bottle Just throw of a bottle of Viagra at the wall. The, oh. the stern <laughs> is the rear of the ship. <laughs> the prow is the front of the ship. You put Viagra up break. your butt, it works, doesn't it? You mean the bow? Prow or bow? Bow? Prow. I think it would just be in a, someone's backyard pool. No, it'd just go from West Hollywood to West LA. <laughs> yeah. Like over in Lance? That's quite a cruise line. <laughs> it'd be the world's first land based cruise. Oh, no, yeah. it wouldn't. So, like, it just goes over le like it's a boat, but it's got. See, the problem with this setup is we can't hear no, each other. It's a boat. It's a boat with And wheels. so, Spool just ends up making the same jokes hey, five minutes later. <laughs> James Williams has a question Can uh -huh. we never do this again? Because I can't hear anything they're saying and they can't hear anything I'm saying. And I think that's a good idea. All right, so I have an idea. How about week, we never do this again? Because I can't week, hear anything he's fucking saying. I have an idea. We're not going to do that. We're going to do this again next week. Last week it was okay when we didn't have Joel here, is all I'm saying. Why did Joel sit over there? Because that's just more people on. All right, then Joel, go over there. Joel, come over here. Go, cool, Joel. Bring my sunglasses. Joel, Joel should sit with James. Bring your dog, too. Yeah, you come over here, bring Man. your stool. This is much better. No, this isn't anyway, better. Anyway, that's our show, no. everybody. Now, <laughs> Joel's just gonna yell in your ear now. That's fine. Paralurks. Yep. Last week, Lawrence said a game needs to have a playable demo in order to justify a Kickstarter, but I see a bit of a problem with that because most devs will have something playable within the first month so they can test the mechanics they're working with. How polished does the demo have to be? Does it have to include all the custom art, model sounds, and music? How much can it be lacking and still justify a Kickstarter? You know what this is? This is the Kickstarter specific to Lawrence's <laughs> opinions question of the week. Uh? Yes, it is! Oh. Um, Chris uh, killed himself. <laughs> I never made know. a game. I don't know what. I don't know. But but hey, guess what? You answered your own question. It only takes a, about a month to make a rough playable demo. Release it and then make a Kickstarter. Don't make a Kickstarter with a bunch of concept art telling you how awesome your game is going to be. Yeah. How much money do you think it would cost to make a yacht work on land? We need a round oh. table. How much a round does a table with cameras pointing out and then we can all talk into our camera, but we're still talking to each other? Ours would be the first land cruise. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bunch of dudes in a van fucking. That's the cruise. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Open House. We're back from Texas, and we're gonna answer all your questions about Oklahoma. We didn't do what? We didn't do an open house last week because we were too tired. I saw oh, a lot of comments. We they were, were they were so upset about it. They were, we were so upset. No, we we weren't tired. We were busy. Actually, we I had a tired. plan. Oh. We were going to do open house on the plane flying back. And then guess what happened? We got tired. We got tired. And no, our well, plane got delayed, and uh, we all ended up on different flights. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's I was on one home. flight. Bruce was on another flight. Then the, the, I don't even know. No, James, the and plane got tired. Uh, I was on a yeah. flight. Pete James and Elise went to Salt flight. Lake City. Oh, you guys went to Utah. How was Utah? Uh, it was real nice. Um, so on the way there, when we were getting onto our, our connecting flight, mm -hmm. they said that they were running out of overhead space. So Elise and I were like, we got to get on this fucking thing. So we cut in front of a group of Mormons because we knew they wouldn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. Do they sell beer in the Salt Lake City Airport? I don't know. I didn't look. Oh, okay. Well, they're going to cut in line for you at the gates of heaven. Okay. Ooh. Wait. All right, first question from Grand Macon. I always wonder why your desks are all facing straight. Whose idea was it? Who and what the straight? hell are you facing? All right, so here's, uh, the, here's what happened. Uh, Joel, every morning around 10.30, gets up and teaches a lesson mm -hmm. to us. Uh, it's, yeah, we're, we're laid out in the sense that we are a class that get, gets taught every day. Mm -hmm. well, before he does that, we have to do our Pledge of Allegiance. And we do so always, that's always always get up. Face the flag. Uh, Pledge allegiance to the flag of the most wonderful soul of America. And don't forget that if you don't, I'm gonna come kill your wife and girlfriend. And one nation under God, invisible, with liberty and justice for him. I think for Halloween this year, we do a special live action sketch. And the premise of the sketch is we basically recreate Sleepy Hollow, but with Joel. Can I be Casper Van Dien? We're doing, be Casper Van Dien. We're doing open house. We're answering questions right and now. And I'm going to be Christopher Walken. James, we're doing, why are we, we're not discussing sketches. Wait, do I play Christina Ricci? Yeah, that's you. Next question from Hip Hop Apotamus 123. 
What are some examples of video games that have the potential to be turned into great films? We, Pokemon. Already we, we asked, talked we asked, about this. We answered this question about once a week. Yeah, so let's do it again. Doom. Uh, so the answer is... Um, don't do ET. it. Doom 4. Uh, Pixels. Assassin's Creed. That's a nice job, Spool. It's like saying, uh, what basketball game can be turned into a good movie? Doesn't make sense, All does it? Jam. Yeah, All right. of it's them. Space Jam. The yeah, Space, Space Jam. Jam. Yeah. But that wasn't like that wasn't like the the Clippers versus the Knicks, 1976. Hoosiers. That was the idea of basketball. So Who you could dream. Well, no, I, I think the the app comparison. Why may catch up? What book would make a good movie? And that's been done no, successfully. No, even books books have a have a linear narrative. But Lawrence, basketball games aren't set in a turn world. Tetris into a movie. What Take Souls? They're already doing it. They turned Battleship into a movie. Remember that? That Battle was fucking awesome, yeah. but it had nothing to do with Battleship. They turned Clue into a movie. They turned that was also awesome. into a movie. So, so you're just saying, so what's a good a movie, movie that also has the name of a video game on it? No. Yeah. no. They integrate no. the elements, like in Battleship. Zelda. And they use the buoys to try and fire rockets. That's like awesome. the game. Remember that? <laughs> the best part of the movie? The answer. Having a discussion with Lawrence about stuff like this is like having a discussion with Slate Magazine online. Like, <laughs> he has to play the fucking contrarian. There is a way to do it, Lawrence. Yeah. Yeah, There's a way to do everything. The answer is Zelda. But, and, uh, and he, hold on. No, Zelda doesn't talk. Yeah, that old Ganon's no match for the king. You have to make a good movie and then just call it the game and then bring something no, from that. I, I think the no. important thing to look at is you shouldn't do a one to one. Alright, guys, this is not a podcast. Oh, Thank sorry. you, Bruce. <laughs> World of Warcraft. Oh, <laughs> boom! <laughs> Never mind. Say Holy cow! Asks. Benson, could you shut the fuck up? <laughs> oh, Benson. He's smiling at us. So <laughs> uh, like uh, look at him, look at him like shaking. Daddy? If Funhouse was a horror Cute. film, who would die first? Why and so on? Would there be any survivors and who is the actual killer? So you're basically asking us to script, shoot, and uh, and produce 10 Little Roosters right now all on right, the spot. Let's get on it. We'll all right, so first of all, I'm no Seven Little Fun House in a room. Spoiler alert, uh, Matt Peake's the killer. Yeah. yeah Just that's so you guys are all aware, Matt Peake is the killer. A cult. I think Spool <laughs> is the nice guy who's second to last to die. Uh, oh, okay, God. I'll take it. Who has the big boobs? Adam, Adam's, Adam's the bimbo? Adam, Adam's I will have boobs and you can do blackface on me Adam's and I will bimbo. die for what? What? Blackface? What? Blackface? Yeah. I'm the stoner. Spoiler. That's true. <laughs> well, it's actually it's just... true. So uh, second to die. I'm, I'm more curious, how does the killer peak kill us? Um... I thought I would die first so I get back to work, so I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> no, you kill us all so that you can get yeah, back so to work. Yeah, so you can go back to work. Oh, yeah. That's a good answer. Uh, heavy is the head 24 uh, asks, let's pretend Bernie did give you guys the million dollars you asked for. What's the biggest difference the audience would see in terms of content? Uh, they wouldn't see any content yeah. because we'd quit our jobs and run away with that. Boo! Peace! See just, you later, Bernie! But just like, like blank a check. Year and a half. Yeah, then we need to come just back. Like spool, just like blank check. We'd all have a giant mansion <laughs> and I like that the kid blank coaster. checks like, I have a million dollars. I better buy giant boxing gloves. <laughs> <laughs> And like it's the giant tub of ice cream. I think they would notice that all the videos are blown up because I would have my body covered in gold. The problem is a million dollars isn't really a lot of money in Whoa. this state split among seven people. Well, I don't think they're saying they write us personally a check, but that's oh. just the joke I made. How would our content change? Oh, right. absolutely in no way whatsoever. Well, no, hold on, hold on. What? You might see a new member of Funhouse. Oh. Never think about that. Benson. Who? Gold yeah. Lawrence. He's cheap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Bernie, if you're listening. He's not. They want to waste it. money. He doesn't watch the show. Oh, blank check. Smart. Man. Next question. <laughs> Buy a million copies of blank check. What was your favorite part of blank check, school? The, the part with the blank check. I like the park when the he's part, in the park. The part where he's hitting on like the thirty-year-old police officer chick, and Boom. she's into him. Boy, yeah, wow. she knows he's rich, so she has to have sex with him. <laughs> right? Do you remember the name of the villain of that film? Uh, it was the guy with the money. Miguel Ferreira. No, it wasn't. Ah, crazy dice seven 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 writes. Hey. Are you worried that the planet is running out of clean water? Yes. Joel is. Intensely. But what I do know is oh. YouTube. So we're gonna heal the world by making an environmental YouTube channel where you report on news in a cool way. Boring. And all the kids Boring. get excited about Give it. Give me a Facebook wait, wait, wait. page to like. People don't flush the toilets here in this office. I do that on purpose to save water for yeah. California. Uh I noticed that, which is okay with me, except that 
then they don't flush it the next time, and then they just start peeing on the seat. Yeah, I don't pee on the seat. Look, no, let's get this you. straight. All right. I, I don't. Everyone's freaking crazy. I went to the beach the other day. Plenty of water. <laughs> For hundreds of ten thousands of years, the Earth has existed in filtered water, with or without you. All right. The Earth is gonna be just fine. Listen. When Jesus Society. came back and visited the Americas, um, he said the water was not a big deal, and then he buried a bunch of gold plates in the in some place. Oh. Benson, stop interrupting. He doesn't like it when you make fun of the Mormons. So Sorry, he hates Jesus. Benson used to be Mormon. Uh, Roca the Fierce asks, I'm someone who wants to branch out in terms of what genre of games I play. More specifically, I want to play FPS games, but I can't get over my slight fear of FPS games. Well, you're screwed, that's the end of the question. Uh, I think not being able to see what's around me and my character and having the threat of someone behind me scares me. Do you have any tips or suggestions on how to conquer my fear? Don't be a bitch. <laughs> Cut off the Mormons. No. Oh, uh, I pee, didn't hear the pee in the toilet, but don't flush. Uh, play, play with uh, two people making fun of you sitting behind <laughs> you the whole time. You'll never be scared. Never. Then there will always be somebody behind Learn, you wait. and you'll get used to it. Learn how to mod games and then create a 3D model of your character and make your own 3D version of the game. Blank Check was a good movie. So <laughs> let Spool answer questions. Uh, good job, Spool. Uh, go ahead, Matt, yeah. you can answer the question. Now, next question. Boom Jammin <laughs> wants to know how I feel about, or someone named Matt feels about, being the figurehead of a cult. Uh, yeah, that whole thing. It's still kind of processing that. Uh, we'll just say I'm the reluctant leader and it's Spool and James's fault. Thank you, Matt. We appreciate it. I'll follow Matt to the Thank ends you, of the Matt. earth. We Matt, tell you. me to do something so I can impress you. We worship you. Uh, continue what you were working on. True I will, my lord. All hail peak. Lord um, upon high, what is who is reluctant to lead us, you. causes us to follow him. All I remember oh, was... I being be there honest. and looking at the crowd, I just saw like arms going around, and then like I don't remember what we were talking. Just talking about Pete. We were talking about then, blink like, check. Praise him. In conclusion, I really like that we can talk about these things, and as civil adults, and not get oh, mad. Shut up! Oh, get off oh, your high horse! Fuck you! Oh, you're you're right. Right. It's a fucking fun house. I'm sick of it. Welcome to Open House. How you doing, Mark? <laughs> <laughs>this week comes from real my fiddle 11 uh your future child is now old enough to use the internet what are you most worried about them finding out uh, about you up to this current point in time Ooh. uh i think i made uh, some hitler jokes and i also have pictures of me on the toilet you know for me i don't think there's anything i've done that could be considered an embarrassment or controversial or shameful or anything do you think if a vagina senses danger it can it can now she is ready for a beast fuck. Like one of them ever gets an erection, pulls it between his legs, and the other guy pulls it. So, uh, you know, my whole life is an open book. Lawrence, what about you? Uh, I think I would immediately lose all respect in the eyes of my child, uh, based on the times I've been shirtless and the time I was writhing around on the floor spinning up foam. <laughs> it was what weird that? I remember that from the but, exercise video. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. There's that was another one. <laughs> You look your child in the eyes and you go, I did this for you. Yeah, that's uh, true. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no. Uh, you will like this roof over your head, son? Little Derek? Well, this is the roof of vomit bill. I paid for that roof by foaming out of my mouth and taking my shirt off. Hold on, you hold throw on. on. I have the best question of all time. Is there anything that Matt Peake is embarrassed about? Not really. I don't think I would want my kid to... I think I haven't done yeah, that much on camera anyway. I think that so. was it. I think That's it. That. Okay. Dad, you're the leader of a coal. Yeah. <laughs> Next question from Lawnboy79. Would you rather change gender every time you sneeze or not be able to tell the difference between a muffin and a baby? Why would you ever want to not eat a baby? What? Wait, if, so if you see a muffin, you might think it's a baby, mm -hmm. so you won't eat it, but if you see a baby, you'll think it's a muffin, so you'll no, probably no, eat you, it? No, you just can't tell the difference. So it's not like gotcha. you, you're switching one for the other, you oh, just can't tell the difference. I think like, that's so like if you go into a coffee shop, you might see a case mm -hmm. of babies. 
That's, Maybe. Not a, that's right. a million dollars butt question, though, isn't it? it yeah, this is pretty much a setup for a million dollars. But I, I like that idea. Like, Joel comes in one day with a box of muffins, and then you're like, well, You monster! Yeah, you. <laughs> but then everyone's eating them, and then you go, Do I? Do I, I eat listen. one? And then you get the one baby in the group on accident. Yeah, no, 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 the, the trick is at the right I'm, I'm going for the gen, uh, the gender change because I watched Ranma one half. Is that the basis of that anime that yeah. he sneezes No, and no, no. Water. Every time water. It's, water, it's, yeah. it's hot water and cold water. There is so. a sneezing one, though. Don't worry, Bruce. I'm on Bing right now. I think oh, okay. Okay. Right. What does Bing say? So here's the question. When you sneeze, do you become like a very voluptuous woman, or is it just no, kind of just a flat Asian to, woman, I think but you your should, penis you, just pops uh, listen, in? <laughs> you become the female version of you. Yes. So however you appear aesthetically as a male... So, so, so I just, Joel you, becomes Joel. I'm so, super hot. Yeah, so Joel doesn't really change all that much. Ooh. Adam's working really hard to find Ronma naked. Ugh. We found it. This show has nudity. It's cool. What the fuck are we doing? Nice question. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, James. I can't. Adam has nude videos of Ronma. I don't know. I mean, it's not really nude. I mean, it just looks like James's pecs. Adam's productivity is cut in half today because he his monitor shit the bed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Joel, he's gonna the, work in Read half the next speed. question. Hurry. Hello, my name is James Willems, and this is a question from Gator Ryan. Can you guys think of a game that would be dramatically improved by adding one or more sim one more simple feature to it? For example, I think Bioshock Infinite would be improved greatly if you could simply carry more than two weapons at a time. Thanks. That was James. Is his question. Add uh, hardcore pornographic scenes to basically every video game, mm -hmm. and they yeah. will get better. Yep, I, I'm with Lawrence. Yeah. I think I think the first guys, time I played God of War no. and you had sex that's not in a that feature. boat, guys, you were like, feature. "This yes, game it is. would be awesome." Not, no, yeah. no, that's not a feature. No, no, yes, it is. It's a feature. As a, it's sex scenes. As a kid, I remember getting Jurassic Park on the Genesis, thinking, "Wow, this is the better one. Really cool. No porn." I'm going to answer in a real way, and I'm going to say every game would be enhanced by having grappling, uh, like a grappling hook given Ooh, to the main Ooh, there, see? Joel's right. That's Joel plays more feature. video games than you, Lawrence. Grapple up into that pussy. Yeah, uh, think, hold on, let's let's do the honey pop experiment. If you added a grappling hook to honey pop, uh -huh. would it make it more fun? Yes. I disagree. Hardcore porn would make it more fun. Yeah, but if you could grapple, well... Yeah, but you could grapple into... Into their boobs. Yeah. Until, <laughs> yep, and then, but then, they, they wouldn't be nude, though, they'd have clothes Yeah. On. Why? They'd be wearing a there's nun's no, habit. There's no porno. We haven't added the porno feature. Doesn't matter. You, I mean, are you saying that this isn't sexy? Me doing it over the shirt? Oh, he's flexing. Guys, I, I want to go back should... to the baby question for a second. <laughs> next question, next question! The beauty of video uh, games is they are not universal. Uh, James, read it! Oblivious underscore frog 92. You've been doing the Q&A show for quite some time. It's called Open House. It's called Open House. How often do you guys get disappointed with our questions? Oh boy. Uh, I can answer this, because yeah. normally it's me going through a list of 450 to about 600 responses. Yeah. Generally, disappointment fills my heart. Uh, it fills my heart like a bucket out in the rain. But it helps, though. Uh, you, we've learned to filter certain questions. Um, yes. Here's a fun fact. Just because you're the most upvoted question of the week doesn't mean you're gonna get picked. Yeah. Black Nerd called you guys out this week. Just stop yeah. downvoting stuff you don't agree with or yeah. you think it's gonna re read all of we them. We look at them all. You're wasting your time. I go to the bottom. Um, it's hard finding questions that have anything to do with video games. Um, we have managed to filter through a lot of the fuck, Mary kill <laughs> questions, which is good. Man. Um, you guys finally stopped asking us about Game of Thrones. I don't know what that was all fucking about. That was weird. I actually um, have a question for Lawrence. Lawrence is relatively new to doing the open house format. Are you, nice. are you disappointed with a lot of these questions? No, I think they're good conversation starters. Oh shit, I should answer this funny. What if I told you that a lot of people hate your responses? Uh. <laughs> We've had this discussion for a while. The show starts out with simple things like, what high school did you go to? What's your social security number? And we run out of things because mm -hmm. we answer them. Yeah. So then we eventually need new questions and then people try to get really crafty and creative. They usually just be the fuck, Mary kill thing and it's not funny. It ends up just being us making a little jokey show. So welcome to Open House. So if your question was answered this week, oh you gosh. are one of the chosen. Congratulations. What do they win? What do they win? Uh, this mouse. Uh, no! Here, you can have this Moto 360. Wow, oh, yeah. watch! Those uh, are both really good. Oh, you know, you're, uh, you guys, can have my, my Surface tablet. Virtual reality experience. I'm 
I'm it's like I'm it. inside a cardboard box. I'm gonna say one more thing to the me. I'm gonna say one more thing to the viewers. Shut up, guys. This is a long episode. I know. All right. So here's the thing. Hmm. Please ask us questions about video games because we want to talk about video games too, in addition to us. So next time, ask this question about video games. Not just video games, though, because if you say that, we're only going to get video games questions. Also, uh, let's rewind to the part about the grappling hook and how that probably was the least funny part of the show. Ronmo one half. Man, you just called Joel least funny. Joel, or uh, Lawrence, read the next question. <clears throat> Steve Zillin 9 writes, If you guys had to be in a comic book, which one would it be? Captain Marvel, because she's hot. Yep. Uh, I would be in that graphic novel that Alan Moore wrote with uh, his wife about Alice in Wonderland and Wendy v for Vendetta? and fucking each other. No, v for Watchmen. Vendetta. Oh, Watchmen. Oh. Yeah. I'd be in one of the uh, Japanese manga about a girl who just loves to fuck. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of those, by the way. Can I tell you guys about my white whale? No. Okay. Your whale tail? It's Batman. Just say Batman. No, it's not Batman, actually. It was not well, Batman. Well, yeah, I'd be in Batman. Yeah. But a long time ago, when I was a kid, back when you bought porno in, like, magazine form, yeah. there was a heavy metal section of comic books, and next to it, there was a comic series some guy was doing about lesbian schoolgirls. Nice. Was it Lawrence? Was Lawrence doing that comic? I'm pretty sure it was done by one Lawrence Sontag. How, uh, frown on the cover. Wouldn't you want to fuck Wendy from Peter Pan? Ew, yes. No, of all those girls? No, she's like, she's the most uptight. Can we stop talking about Adam. underage women we want to sleep with? Yeah. I have an important question all about your lesbian All comic. I heard Joel say was tight. Matt Peake, read the next question. I would be Shh, in Marvel 1602. Peek, no, let Matt Peake read. Uh, oh, okay. Crucify underscore this. Mm -hmm. Disney Star Wars area has opened Blame. and you get a job as one of their cast members. What character from Star Wars universe... From the Star Wars universe, do you want to portray? Oh, I want to be the Jewish stereotype. You want to be Watto? Annie! Oh, yeah. oh, the boy is good! Yeah. Buy me a little bit of a Joel's snack on the snack a bar. I want to be... with your cookie! I want to be the woman with six boobs that dances in Jabba's palace. Oh, her name is Ula. No, that's uh, Ula's the Twi'lek. Are you Twi'lek. sure? I'm positive. I want to be George Lucas, and I'll sit back and go like, Meh. I'd be Captain Picard. I am the Make Jewish stereotype here. Oh, sorry. Oh. Lawrence, who would you be? Mon Mothma. Good choice. Thanks. Good choice. The leader of the Rebel Alliance. Matt Peake, what about you? The only other woman in Star Probably Wars. Probably some kind of droid. I'd like to just kind of roll around and mess with people. <laughs> Any spies died. You're very us utilitarian, Peake. <laughs> All right, Adam, last question. I like when you can tell R2's sad. It doesn't have emotions. That's the thing, though. It's it's mimicking what it believes human sadness to be. Adam, read the next question. Oh, hurry. Sassy. Hey, your last question this week. Uh, this comes from what is that? Terrible? I don't know. Terrible. Terrible. Uh, does Matt ever burst out laughing while editing the videos? He did earlier this week. It was a good sign. He's got something. What did you laugh at? What did you laugh at earlier? What? Earlier this week, you were, you laughed at something while you were editing it. What was it? Um, I remember. I saw it. And he wasn't oh, editing it. He was watching something one of our in videos. something in Dead Realm. That's what I was editing in the Dead first Realm. part of the week. Oh no! But yeah, I, it, it happens all the time. Did he laugh out? Did you laugh out loud though? Probably. It happens all the time. All the time? You know what happens more often though is Matt um, Premiere will crash and Matt slams his yeah. hands down on the desk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, he should. And gets up and paces around the room. Yeah. And then mutters under his breath. This is why Matt wants to be a droid, because then he can just fix the computer. And he doesn't have to yell at it all. The time. If there's one thing Peak appreciates, it's efficiency and getting everyone on the same page. So anytime things start diverting and you start to see outliers, he cuts them down. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> We're going to PAX Prime. Let's right. answer questions really fast. <laughs> this video while we're at PAX Prime. So we might be drunk, Let's we might be tired, and we might be inclined to ignore this entirely. Go, Adam! Lack of Photoshops. Alright, your first question comes from Final Crucible. Uh, let's say the video games of tomorrow were all about crossovers. What two or more franchises would you like to see interact in one video game setting? Disney, Square Enix. Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2. Disney and Square Enix has done that. Right. Spool, answer. Uh, 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 Mass Effect and Dragon Age. Nice. Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. Halo Ooh. and Gears of War. Uh, uh speak, peak. I had something yesterday and I can't remember it now. That's okay, that's well, alright. let's sit here and wait for you to remember. <laughs> Nash Bridges and Duh. Quantum Leap. 
Jack and Daxter and Beyond Good and Evil. Ah, nice okay. Right. <laughs> so many hands. Uh, pretty good. <laughs> Next question from Alligator in a Vest. If you were born 100 years ago, what profession and lifestyle would you lead? We'd all be dead. Uh, it would be, what, 1914? I would be a railroad tycoon. I would be a soldier in trench warfare in World War One. I would probably be a uh, guy boxing on a dock for like 98 rounds. Hmm. I'd be a, a boxer, but an old-timey boxer that dies really young. Can I be the village crier? Like, here ye, here ye. <laughs> it's 1915. Uh, yeah, it's 1915. It's, it's not 1515, you <laughs> idiots. They had Should I be, I want to be a paper boy, like stand on the street corner selling oh, newspapers. Oh, that's a good one. That's actually that's a really good, good That's actually, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> school, school, sell me a paper. What's the headline? The headline is, the, the Zeppelin's gonna crash in the World War One, and we're all gonna die. Uh, nice job, even though the Zeppelin's in World Zeppelin's War Two, and that's crash <laughs> what? I like that they're calling it World War One. I, <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence, what about you? Uh, I'd, I'd probably be a machinist. I'd be at home with my sheet my machines, my cogs, my gears. I'd probably lose Steam a finger, punch. and then I'd drink myself to... I, I would work with my machines every day, because they'd be my only friends, and then I would drink myself to a stupor every night, because I'm alone. That's kind of what you do. Pete, what about you? Uh, maybe a... Railroad worker or factory worker? He works for me. That's I cool. <laughs> also, Lawrence works for me back uh, then. Uh, now, nah, next question. Uh, the last direwolf 420 has the worst. <laughs> ever. That's, That's a good, good. name. Uh, was there a video game that you played a lot when you were younger, but were never able to beat? Then you came back to it years later and finally beat it. Um, no. I only recently did, got uh, 120 stars in Super Mario 64. Ooh. I'd beaten the game several times, oh, but I with, never got all the stars. That's with your dumb Bluetooth controller on your dumb tablet, right? Yeah, it still I, counts. I, I, I emulated that does not it on my count. tablet. How does that not count? And I don't you know to, what's dumb about that. You have to but play it on the original it, system. We've been traveling a lot, so I had time you to do it. You have to play it on the original system. That's bullshit. Can, can you imagine if you had a time machine today and went back in time to little James Williams? You're like, it's okay, buddy. You're not going to beat it. But we're going to live in a future where you got a little screen, you take it wherever you go, you go on airplanes. You have on airplanes all the time. I gotta go. The machine's out of juice. And someone's gonna mock you for it. I know, it's true. Can't yeah, Photoshop that Bruce, out. Bruce is like, I'm a firm non-believer in Bluetooth technology. Um, I, I, was, I wasn't able to beat Lord of the Rings, that the one on Super Nintendo, because oh, I that game is fucked. I had, it was really, really difficult, and Jesus. I had to draw a map. But then I came back with Game Facts, and I slaughtered it. Nice. <laughs> with Game Facts. Nice. Jesus, uh, brought to you by Game Facts. To Toxic Mischief wants to know, what are, what are your guys' tips for getting out of emotional funk? Hmm. Lawrence. Masturbation. There we go. What? I'm yeah, saying, always think back. Actually, Listen, it releases no. pleasure receptors. No, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your body, your your, your body and mind are connected, and if you do something nice for your body, and that doesn't mean like wallowing in in like eating bad food, but like exercise, no. jerk off, or exercise. There, that's good. Yeah, advice. I was gonna say lifting weights. Yeah, lifting weights it releases endorphins, which then go into your brain and make you think that you masturbate. What if your penis is so heavy that it's like lifting a weight? What? A <laughs> I sleep a lot. Oh, no, that's don't also do that. bad advice. That's good. Uh, yeah. That's what, turn off all the lights. Matt, go into your bedroom. Matt Peake's the got machine. the best advice. I'm oh, sure okay. of it. Matt Peake, go ahead. Uh, I could get really philosophical about it, but yeah, ex I'd say something like exercise or just try and, uh, so try, and think of, try and think of things you you do have that you're thankful for that you know maybe others don't. We're trying to help our viewers. Listen, like, you know, they are in the railroad. You know what gets me out of emotional funk? What is saying to myself? You smoking oh, weed? What am I so upset about? Oh, it doesn't fucking matter. Let's move on. <laughs> That's also good advice. Ignorance is bliss. Be no, 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 it's not about being ignorant. It's no, about it's, saying like, who cares? what like, petty shit am I upset yeah. about today? Doesn't matter. Prescription drugs. Ooh, so nice nice question. question. One Spectre Gadget asks, Nice job. You have the chance to create a new word that will be added to the dictionary and will last until the end of time. What is this word and what does it mean? Regards first, me. First of all, it's really uh, presumptuous to assume that. Wait, did you word just say end of time? Did you just say presumptuous? No, presumptuous. That's our word. That's our word. Presumptuous. Presumptuous. <laughs> all right, so presumptuous. What does presumptuous mean? Uh, it's it's, it's, it's a flavor that you never forget. No. It, <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. I like that. I'm, I'm going to admit the happy jack. That's when you're sad and you beat us. I was going to say it tastes like Roxy's vagina. Ew. Uh, does anybody else have any words? I like tumble funk. Tumble, what does that mean? What? That's two it's words. Together, two words. It that's sounds like um, it's one word though. It sounds like Bruno Mars pubic hair. That's called that's called a poor <laughs> man's <tongue. laughs> Another Jacob says, is there anything that gives away which person edited a video? Oh, yeah. For example, if there's something that James says he'll edit later and then the video cuts to an unrelated montage of random things, does that mean James edited the video? Mm, not what are your always. signature yeah, hallmarks are, of editing? My, one, two, three, go. Mine is one. mine always has a like static thing right before the the clickouts. I don't think anyone else does I that. Do you do that thing? always has a static uh -oh. thing? Oh, well, mine has a static. Just thing. Watch more of our videos. Um, <laughs> I always forget to put the intro on demo disc, so I, demo discs don't have the intro, and I do I know them. what it is. 
So, uh... So it's a catalog of school's fuck-ups. Lawrence, <laughs> Lawrence's generally has text that comes up. Oh, like I love little, when he does like that. Little, like, I oink, love when like Lawrence little, does that. Like little, with, like, an asterisk or tells whatever. Me to do it. I love when say, Lawrence like, fart or something. <laughs> school does school does adds a, a perfect point. point sound effect. Oh, yeah, he does sound effects. And, effects. and he also yeah. does a, a wide image, and then he always uses the image, instead of making a second one, he just does a close-up of it. He also slides images in and out with transition. I do, I do. I have, I have a, like, very... He's impact push a lot. Uh, James is, James is the randomness. It basically, if you say one thing, he'll put in another image of something that's unrelated. Like cow, that's very true. Uh, because it makes him laugh. Yes. Adam, what, what, what about you? Me? Yeah. Uh, if he ever looks like the editor is bored of his own video. <laughs> <laughs> so I was gonna say, yeah. Using elements of things yeah. like, uh, I, I don't know, the end credits to some sort of movie that isn't even oh, yeah. referenced in the video. Adam loves doing that. Probably there. Yeah. Peak, uh, Peak's Peak. signature is that he's able to mimic all of our styles, uh, I think. Uh, yeah. I think I think it's really hard to tell wow. when it's a Peak video because he's really good at saying like, oh, Spool normally cuts this, or he's Lawrence normally cuts this, so that way I mimic. He'd well, get away with quite a crime. So knowing all of your styles, I would say Matt Peak actually, he is the best because he can his edits are perfect. And oh, all of your edits are garbage. They're all garbage. And Matt Peake's the best. I'm sitting the best. here shaking my head in disagreement. You're the best. Matt Peake's the best. You're the best. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, He's getting free hats. Uh, not true. I also have, for 12 minutes. Not true. Matt Peake, read the question. You made me scroll up on the damn script. Sorry. Uh, Come on. Oh, no, pissed. James did it. All He's pissed. Uh, Matt's getting angry. Uh, okay. Triple digit two. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Ask if you could give each other tattoos, what video game themed. Tattoo? Would you choose, and where would you put it? I would. Okay, I would give James a tattoo of Psychonauts, except I would spell it wrong, and it'd be on his forehead. <laughs> I'd give oh. Joel a tattoo of the gravity gun on his penis, so it looked like his penis is the gravity gun. Cool. Nice. That's smart. I'm that's happy. awesome. I like that. Uh, I was gonna say I was gonna give you a keyblade on your penis, but that's way cooler. <laughs> Wait, we have penis tattoos? Yeah. I would. I would get. I would get Lawrence, since he wants to be a dick to me. I'd give him the best tattoo in the world, uh -huh. so that way he'll feel bad every time he can't look at it. Right. It's gonna be a full back tat of Shadow the Head. Oh my god, take it. I'm just gonna install mirrors all over my bathroom. <laughs> Make Shadow run fast. <laughs> I wanna get a tattoo of a Borderlands hat on Spool's head. <laughs> That's, but I gotta laugh. But I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> like Spool went, Spool went, wait a minute. Well, hold on a second. I like I tilted Spool, my head. Get, what, what would you give Adam? Uh, a Shenmue, the face of Ryu from Shenmue on, on his, his face. chest. Oh, it's chess. Okay, well, but it has to be from Sonic Transform or, Ultra. Or, right? tat yeah, yeah. or tattoo the symbol, like, on Ryu's jacket onto his back. Maybe both. Oh, give Tiger Crab? Hold on. Peek yeah. has to tattoo himself. Peek, what would you give yourself? Man, I, I thought of everybody else. Or <laughs> not everybody. Did you Myself? say keyblade on a penis? Myself, um, Halo Tramp Stamp, sure. Nice. Ooh, Adam. Uh, Adam, go ahead and read the next question. This is uh, Dunkai. Funhouse is now its own esports team. Yeah. What would the team be called? What would the role of each team member be if the game needed roles? And what game would the team play? Oh, man. Hold on. Our name would be the guy's name from before. It yeah, would be Last the last Direwolf 420. <laughs> and what would we play, Joel? Uh, you know esports the best. I think we best. only play Shoot Mania. Oh, that's, like, oh, that's actually pretty sweet. Oh, I like no. Shoot Mania. That's what I'm saying. We're the most important esports team Shoot Mania. from last year. Uh, a good esports team can compete in a lot of different games, like true. how the best sports teams can uh -huh. play different sports. Right. <laughs> yes. Go, it's true. Go Lakers. So it'd be Shoot Mania. Right. Space Cadet 3D uh, Pinball. Uh, competitive uh, uh, J pop. Um, Dating Sims. Oh, okay. Ooh, well, Lawrence is good at those. Never yeah. But yeah. competitive. Well, I would be ADC. What does that mean? AD carry. Uh, anime dating carry. Nice. <laughs> I think we should also be doing the professional speedrunning game, so only uh -huh. Assassin's Creed titles. What? <laughs> it's not a joke. I'm Mirror's just Edge. <laughs> it's not hard. a joke. Lawrence, I'm so confused. Lawrence, what would our roles be? Uh, I would be I would be the guy that like tells you you did a good job, but in the worst way. Coach. So. It would yeah, seem like I'm encouraging you, but actually I'm just really depressing everybody on the team accidentally all the time, and no one knows why I have a job. What, what else would we be? Uh, let's see, your spool would be the mascot. He, we keep him in a cage and give him bread and apples but every so often. Did you cover I would be, no, I'd be support. I'm just support. support. You see him play Rainbow Six? He was I'm, garbage. He's the best. I'm support. Uh, uh, what, 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 what? No, there we go. Bruce would be the manager. Uh, you'd make all the tough calls and yell at us. I'm not you, the coach. You'd be the guy, you know, Is in arena. actually playing the games? <laughs> no, I do. No. Oh, okay. No, nobody plays. Uh, no. It's Bruce just would be James the guy in the, playing Minesweeper. Bruce would be the guy in the sport coat and the tie yelling at everybody. Joel oh, yeah, like would be, uh, he would make all of our theme songs and PR material. 
Um, James would be our only actual active player. Uh, and then Matt, Matt would carry all the heavy equipment for us everywhere we go. What about Adam? Oh, he's a roadie? I, I think it, we would, that's everybody. Adam, wow. What about Adam? The actual, <laughs> I'm off the team, guys. Adam's our historian. <laughs> I'm still alive! <laughs> Historians are alive. No, they're I think we would hire people to play for us, though. Like, we would just be the, all those things. Yeah, because we're making so much money with all the sweet merch that yeah. I've been creating. Oh, yeah. man, we get endorsed by balls? Like, I love that drink. There. Look, we can't have other people play for us. We're not achievement hunter. Next, uh, last question oh. from Alligator97. Can Joel say something in Yiddish? Who are you uh, asking? Joel. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could. Whatever really? Question. He doesn't what? ask me to do it. He just says, "Can I?" Oh, <laughs> you're like a you're like a third grade teacher. <laughs> yep. Can you go to the bathroom? I don't know. And then you piss yourself. Le <laughs> c'est le bon temps roulé. That's in French. Come on, that's, that's French. Cajun. That's not French. It's Yiddish. Cajun. I don't know. Yeah. What? Yiddish I don't speak Yiddish. I'm from, I'm from Louisiana. Just say something from we Yentl. Don't, just say. We don't flout our Jewishness uh, in Louisiana lest we get a cross burn on our lawn. Yeah, All right. Well, you're crazy. you're safe now. So Yahweh. Say, say something now. Here, 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 do you want to say something? Yeah, else? read some of that. Abi gazunt. What does that mean? <laughs> as long as you're healthy. No, that's when you sneeze. What's altar cocker? Uh, it's an old. You're an altar cocker. What's a a a? Balabusta. Barmitz. If I were a rich man. For bl for blungit for blungit for bl for hey, cock. Uh, hey Joel. For drate. One time I owned a parakeet and my family was playing a uh, fiddler on the roof, and the parakeet died. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? It's called the parakeet cost. <laughs> Reparations, please. <laughs> Do but I like it when it vibrates because otherwise I don't know if I get the text or not. Oh yeah, it's great how it's on silent too. <laughs> Why is there just a box of games over there? I don't know, I think Lawrence's phone is the loudest. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, into. <laughs> One day without a Nexus, Adam's all, ooh, oh, 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 your phone's real vibrating, stupid. I've these games, Lawrence, stupid. you're giving them away to some stranger? I brought him into the office. Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition? I love this. Zack and Daxter on PlayStation 2. Wait, I want to address something. Actually, I kind of want this game. Bruce. Joel's talking to you. Are you sick? Yes. What else is in that box? Guys, uh, I never played Jack and Dash. Right. Is it good? Welcome to the Bruce Show. Metal Gear Solid HD good. collection. Oh, open it. Look what's inside that. Hey, we gotta start uh, hey. the show. We're recording. Oh, we already it. started it. This is Bruce great. is sick. It's good content. We're recording. These are good jokes. Uh, I don't know if they're okay. really good jokes. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, uh, I almost gave you that one, but then the guy wanted it back. Start the show! Hey, welcome to it's another warm. episode it's of Open House. Here. Joel, stop talking. That was spooled. That was me. Oh, you sound the same. First question this week comes from Infinite Maze. If Funhouse went on a road trip, where would you guys go and what would you road do? Road trip! So first of all, it wouldn't be a road trip, it'd be a rail trip. Oh. We would go on a train that oh. took us around, it would go from that place in England. Uh, Mississauga? Mississauga. Uh huh. And it would travel all the way up into the Himalayas. To Tokyo, Baton Rouge. Oh. It'd be the Stella Artois get fucked <laughs> on this railway trip. Wait, hold on. Are we yeah, having cool. sex or do we get drunk? Who's, who are we running a train on? Copious amounts of opium. I want to go to Fiji. On, on a, a train. It's not a road you trip. You can't really do that. You it's not a road plane. trip. A submarine trip. It's cool. There's. You can do, like, yeah, you do a submarine trip. Next question Ooh. from Saxino's Casino. <laughs> now we all know James Thing is Psychonauts. Adam loves Batman. Bruce loves Star Wars. Fool loves Smite. Lawrence loves anime ladies. And Joel what? likes fruity things. Hold on, let him finish. But what does peak like slash follow? I don't like how they put us into boxes. How did I We're like Smite? Than that. Just, just let care about Jesus, I know, let, let the man And you spelled answer. Lawrence's name wrong. You spelled like a girl. <laughs> let I'm the man, fluid. Let the man answer. <laughs> That's how you Lawrence Fishman. You got to answer. What? Oh, what do you like? Dude, these timestamps on these files are so... They're the worst. They're the worst, I know. Uh, uh, that's what he cares about. He cares about editing. Uh, whew. Isn't it Destiny? Well, I do play a lot of Destiny, even though I've kind of backed off lately. You like baseball. I do. I... Before you say anything, consider that this is what's going to be associated with you for the remainder of your tenure here. Yeah, just because you like one thing, it basically means that's all you like. Yeah. Because it's easier that way. You like Wool with Smite. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I got the question. I can say multiple things. You guys are the ones in the boxes. Yeah, you can say whatever you want. Yeah, you can say whatever you want, Pete. Uh, no, I like Destiny. I follow baseball. I watch a fair amount of UFC. I like Jesus. What are your hobbies? Really? Well, I like to play sports as well. I like to read. What say if Jesus way. was a new god in Smite? <laughs> Why 
Wall Smither. Uh, what feature slash idea in a video games has no one ever gotten right? Murder. I want to murder someone and I want to feel it. I want to get the erection that I get when I choke someone out in real life. That hasn't happened yet. Um, you know, you can kill people in Grand Theft Auto, it's just not the same. Hold on, let, let Lawrence talk, go ahead. No, I'm done. Oh, that was it? He finished his last. Looks like he's been saving that like, up I, all I, episodes. Yeah, no, look, I know what he's saying. Like, in a video game, you you almost become desensitized to it because you're just killing so many things. You're just like, ah, it's just, you know, little guys. Imagine a game where the entire purpose was to kill one person. Killing a person's hard. You can really Believe drag it out, yeah. It's like an orgasm. The longer you make it wait, the more I just want to fall in love with them and then strangle the life out of the You gotta put it in the bathtub, you gotta drain the blood. Hey, James. James, I changed the question. Hey, James. Yeah. You wanna go camping alone? You and me? We can figure it yes, out. Yes, I'd love to. <laughs> Dishonored Hobbit wants to know, if you guys were old men, what words of wisdom would you give? We are old men. Really are. Spool, really think wait, about Spool, what would you... Really think youngest. about this, because it's gonna be your quote. Really think, think about, about this. Then. Yeah. Uh... Have fun. Oh, oh, nice, gosh. good one. Nice job, Spool. So wise. Life's not serious. <laughs> there, that's a little better, I that's guess. That's not gonna make You're the like, 4chan spool. <laughs> You're like boring Joker. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Joel, what about you? Um, it would be, um... I'm so verklempt! Don't put down that bottle of wine! Was that worse than mine? I think that was. Are you telling people, are you telling people to be alcoholic? Spool was better. Mine would be... Fart with abandon. Uh, Wait, good. see, <laughs> that's a good one. That's good. but that's not applicable to everything either. So no, how it is, is you, absolutely. How is yours you better than mine? You can all the time. Mine, you could say, is yeah. uh, the wine represents whatever it is you hold dear or passionate to yourself, so, right? Uh, yeah, Bruce. Why? It's a yeah, same. and farts represent your inhibition. Yeah. So they're both life advice from old men. Yeah, but I'm, you're telling people to be alcoholics, and I'm telling people to relieve their bowels. But I'm telling people to be alcoholics with whatever it is that they, uh, with whatever it is. Mine would be squat, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, Mine is, that life good. is not look at serious. Me. I'm 83 years old, and I still have a six pack, and I'm still ripped and super strong, stronger than you, little bitch. <laughs> you little squat. Uh, I can't wait to be Adam. Old. I have a real one. Uh, save your money. Oh, that is a very good one. Till you die. Stop buying dumb shit. Adam Kovic's definitely. Correct. I just got the new LG G4. This phone is amazing. Yeah. Lawrence, Lawrence, really Lawrence. Today's Lawrence. 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 Lawrence.
and This Week in Chip Tune and the Gareth Emery podcast, Ooh, which has since been rebranded. Lawrence, what changes we this motherfucker up? Ah. <laughs> uh, Matt, Peek, what are you guys doing? Uh, Instincts. I dabble in the Joe Rogan podcast every now and then. But. God, he's so much more masculine than that. Yeah, than everybody. Uh, well, actually, you know what's more masculine than that? Not listening to fucking podcasts. That's what I got. You're all you fucking it. nerds. That's what I don't I listen to any fucking podcast. I don't even listen to our own fucking podcast. Jesus. Podcasts are fucking for nerds. What? Podcasts are great. No, he's right. It's like that, Spool. Brady. The last question from the actual base. How often do you guys skip the gym to play video games? Never! Too of often. <laughs> there was a point in my life where I had very little to do. I was working from home, and there were plenty of things that I skipped to play video games, but it was never the gym. I skipped meals. I one time let my car get a knowingly get a parking ticket because <laughs> I wanted to play more turns in Civilization. Wow. There are lots of things that I skipped, but never the gym. And the final question, Matt Peake, do you ever skip the gym to play video games? Not really. Only if so. yeah. yeah, only if I'm like hurt or can't work out to begin with. But then, not for video games. But other than that, generally no. Are you back on Insanity? No, I'm waiting for uh, all of us to get on it. I thought we were going to do it after PAX. Yeah, we're supposed to do the Insanity uh, nine, or the sixth day. I'm thing. Vulcan, bros. Yeah, I, I know can't do true. Insanity. It's going to drop my energy level. I, I got, save it I got sore calves. I just I ran a mile this week. My calves. Okay, the show is weird. officially over. Oh, by the way, vote for Rooster Teeth on the streamies. Yeah. yeah. Please, yeah. please. Yeah. We're going to win the fuck out of those awards. Oh, no, we're not nominated. Funhouse isn't nominated. So make sure you vote for the Rooster Teeth. But where but we're n- but Rooster Teeth is us. No, I know that, but we're not. But just... Remember, you're not voting for Funhouse. You're voting for Rooster Teeth. But you're voting for our cop. Is it? Uh, wait, uh, which? You're not voting for Rooster Teeth. You're voting for Funhouse. Is my award in the mail or what? Yes, they sent an email. What do we get if we win? An Squat, email. What, motherfucker? <laughs> Everybody's penis is different. So yeah, I can actually give mouth. myself a good blowjob. Yes. My problem with blowjobs is, spool, that doesn't look good. It never does. It does that normally? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Peek, how do you feel about blowjobs? Just thinking about it. <laughs> it's nice, yeah. isn't it? Okay. Good way to start the day. Hello and welcome to another episode of Open House where we discuss the pros and cons of giving other men blowjobs. What? No, Mostly no. pros. Ah. We read questions from the subreddit. There are only con- Oh, we, yeah, we read off of a piece of paper that's on our computer But screen. which subreddit? When Tell them, get school? another monitor? The blowjob subreddit? Me? Yeah. Are you sure your webcam's okay? Reddit. I don't know, I should probably stop blowjobs. Your first question this week comes from What the Fox, nice. asking, "What was everyone's first job?" Speaking of blowjobs, what was everyone's uh, first job? I worked at a flower nursery Bleh. and like helped old ladies get hanging plants into their cars, and it was the worst. Did you ever have sex with those old ladies? Every time they bought a hanging plant, it was you part know, of the every deal. Every time they say hung with my flowers and then help me with my, my flower. flower. It would be all the attractiveness and awkwardness of teen encounters, except she'd be old and wrinkly. What was your She's first job? Good. Peak. Go kart track. What? Oh, that's, that's a fucking cool. badass yeah. first job. Peak wins. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was all right. That's I got a, I got a job at a Chuck E. Cheese and I got fired the next day. Wow. <laughs> Wait, Why did they get day? Uh, because they realized that I wasn't old enough to be serving alcohol. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it was on them. <laughs> I assumed he just didn't treat Chuck. E. Cheese, the way he was meant to be treated. Uh, He's the CEO of that I organization. Know what to him. <laughs> he had pretty unorthodox ideas about uh, pizza. James was like, fuck you, mouse. I think, I, I I mean, first real job where I like had to submit a uh, W 2 and all that stuff and stuff, you know, just mowing lawns and shit. But uh, yeah, uh, Magic Mountain. I did, I was, did the right first. Mm. Oh, man, yeah, that was, was a good first job. Wait, you were on like, you were on like part of the track and then you waited with the camera. I would, were going I would have to mount <laughs> the front of Goliath and mount then it. hold the camera out of the legs. Joel, uh, not fun. What about you, Joel? Uh, I, I was a runner at a law firm, so I had to run legal briefs to courthouses and shit. I know you were. That sounds can you pretty guess cool. What, can anybody guess what I did as my first job? Uh, legal runner at Joel's dad's no. office? Like I don't Joel think anybody can guess this. Construction worker. No. Uh, uh, you worked at a church. Dancing no, church. Magician's assistant. Cl- you're close. Spool's close. Uh, rodeo Talk at a church. Clown. No, no. <laughs> Teach anything at a church. When I was 14? Uh, you Lawrence worked the Nacho Stand Summer at camp. high school. Uh, I worked at a YMCA. Nice. Uh, oh, that's a good job. I was at the front desk. <laughs> you don't you have to use this for the episode, but... Next nice. question from Benamon or whatever. Adam once mentioned that Funhouse content tends to appeal to a more mature gaming audience. Do you collect any demographics on your audience? And if so, what about them do you find most surprising? Take it away, Joel. Uh, 
Well, number one. Does it? Uh, they're all gay. Yeah, oh, well. everyone. No, one no, hundred percent surprising though. No, well, I mean, there's three percent of them are women. Oh, they're, well, they no, are, they're, they're, they're also, also gay. gay. I thought yeah, it was yeah. like seven percent. Just because you're a female doesn't mean you can't be gay, James. I so know that. But someone what's surprising said, to me is how the the huge percentage of your audience that's Danish. Which was pretty unexpected. Yeah. We did not like. It wasn't like that when we were at Inside Gaming. But for some reason, Rooster Teeth has a really big Danish following. Yeah, like ninety eight point nine percent. It's crazy. The rest of it's Australia. Brush yeah. your teeth, man. All that sugar. Lawrence, what were you gonna say? Uh, somebody, somebody suggested to me that it's possible that. So it's only it's only three percent female because that's the gender that people put on their YouTube profile. It may be that we have a lot of female viewers who just have a default profile, which is default male. Uh, is more than three percent of your Twitter of your Twitter followers are they girls? More than I don't know, percent? man. I don't look at my analytics. I don't give well, a what, shit. What percentage you got? Mine's like six or seven percent. Who is a ladies' man? Oh! Guess who's the least threatening? Uh, final crucible. I really want to start cooking slash baking more. Can it. each of you provide your signature dish that I can take all the credit for when wooing my significant other over my next meal? Joel? Take it away, Joel. All right, this <laughs> this is actually super super easy. Oh, you get, get yourself a pork tenderloin, uh -huh. and you just you throw it in the pan for uh -huh. like every side, just brown a little bit, uh -huh. and you get Trader Joe's cranberry sauce. Uh -huh. uh, they've got like a cranberry chutney. Uh -huh. Put it on top, put it in the oven, and it's super impressive and really good. Here's what I'm gonna say. White rice, black beans, chicken, mild salsa, a burrito? sour cream, cheese, guacamole, in a bowl. At here's, here's our trick. Adam and I, uh, <laughs> instead of food, we have a fine powder <laughs> yeah. that's ground up. Just like the humans bottles, were meant to eat. Mixed with, mix with cold water. Cold water. And then... You see some of the seeds in there still. And then uh, how do you you serve all that? your nutrient base. How do you there. serve that to your significant other? Do you have like a little um, milkshake glass with two straws that come out of it? Yeah. It. This stuff's it's like three dollars a bottle. You're it's trying cheap. to move. It's so cheap. Yeah, it is, but I don't want uh, to. Just care. tell your significant other this costs barely dirt. no money at all. And then they'll be pleased that you saved money. <laughs> and make them touch your abs. Well, Sprinkle well, it all around the bed. Well, Lawrence, you can... a, Lawrence, is there a cook, right? What do you yeah. What would you uh, do? I would say breakfast is probably my best meal because I cook yeah. it the most often. I make a mean omelet. Me too. Omelets suck. Omelets kind of do suck. I agree with. Uh, no, that's no, my no, love. No. No. That's not a burn at you, Lawrence. I'm just saying I've had a many omelet in my day, and every time I look at the menu and I go, you know what? That omelet looks good, and then eat it and go, God damn no. it. There's All I'm a, saying. There's a large curve on omelets. Great omelets are great. I was say. Most other omelets are mediocre. Okay. Adam, you have to spend the night sometime because I make good omelets. <laughs> We haven't we haven't asked the most important person in the room, Matt Pete, because I bet he cooks. Why am I? What do you? What do you cook? <laughs> what do you cook for your significant other, Matt? Well, lots of stuff, but this one's a good one for about a pound and a half of chicken, one and a half tablespoons balsamic vinegar, three tablespoons olive oil, six smashed garlic cloves, one and a half teaspoons cooked? Dijon mustard, and all you do is mix that together and then wash like Just dark chicken, and put online. it in a baking pan, that's it, 20 <laughs> Did minutes. Did you Google the question? <laughs> no, I, this is something I've been doing for a while. Well, my mom, gave, my mom gave me the stuff. recipe and it's, it comes out great every you're, time. You're reading me. it off something, right? No, I have it written down on my phone because I can't memorize the recipe, so every time I make it, uh, I just Wait, do you cube refresh? the chicken or is it just yeah. whole breast you throw in there? What? It's like 50 first dates with a chicken. Do you cube the chicken or do Somebody you- Somebody make a joke! I no, 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 <laughs> it's just chicken thighs, boneless chicken thighs. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Weebo Mary Hopto wants to know what piece of Elizabethan literature do you think could best be adapted into a video game? Take Super it away, Mario Brothers. Joel. <laughs> Who reads Elizabeth? First of all, there's not much Elizabethan Go. literature left. Probably some Shakespeare play. Probably like making, uh, you know what would be kind of fun is a Midsummer Night's Dream into a video game because then the fairy queen would come and you get turned into a donkey. There is video game. I welcome keep, death. Keep talking. Spool, go ahead. Like Shakespeare. Oh, what? what? Sorry, Spool. Read the next question. Oh, Jesus. Interracial Ninja asks, if you guys own starships, what would you name them? Oh, First of all, you can't own a starship. What? Why not? No, no one, you can run a starship, but you can't own you a starship. You can absolutely it's, own it. Not like it's They're a Han Solo. He like owns a starship. It's too expensive to own. <laughs> Whatever, my ship would be the star <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Wait, wait, how, wait, why is it called what? that? Because it's what it does. It goes into space and it takes what it wants from, from stars. stars. Just from stars, though? Like, yeah, those sexy stars are asking like for Like Tom it. Cruise and stuff? Or? Yeah. <laughs> why Man. Is she so much? I'm going to be the best starship captain. 
I'm a, I have an idea. So here's the thing. I have uh, Boba Fett. You know how Boba Fett ship's called Slave One? No. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to paint his ship black, and I'll call it the Black Slave One. <laughs> no. Matte black or like a glossy black? <laughs> now, matte black. Bruce, I only sigh because do you forget where you are? Where? You're in space. It's dark. You're going to hit something. That's to put it. Then it cloaks. So then it looks like no. you know, it totally disappears. The Star Wars is going to just run right into you and be like, what the fuck did I hit? Look how Star Wars hurts. Black Slave. I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> well, Swag Bacon asks, who at Funhouse would pick up the most guys at a gay bar if you had a comedy? Right, well, so here's the thing. Here's hold the thing. on, hold on. No, no, no. Adam, Adam, say what you're going to say. This fucking Joel's episode. What? What's that? Oh, yeah. Take it away, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> Joel? It depends on what kind of gay bar you're at. So, oh my God. the fact that you're already uh, asking this question, uh, all right, that the, question means you win. The name of the gay bar is called the Pile Driver. <laughs> Go. Ooh, I like that place. Uh, Adam. Yeah, because he's a big, burly area. dude. Big yeah, area. Area. Yeah. Okay. Sensitive. What about a bar called uh, Fire in the Hole? That'd be Spool. Okay. Me? Yeah. Um, what about a uh, gay bar called The Outlander? Uh, that would actually be Peak. Oh, oh okay. Uh, what about Star uh, James. What about Black, yeah. what about Black Slave? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, th this could be a, uh, a thing. Maybe we uh, one day we just head down to the local gay bar. That's and, not. Uh, we, we don't. We just send spoil. But we go down there oh. and uh, we just see who, who can pick up the most. Cars. All right, guys, we're going right now. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's all get our separate cars. Spool. Let's we'll all go there. Spool. We're, we're I heard just... you whisper. Let's go. Uh, uh, we were just uh, talking about gay bars. Yeah. I don't want no. to toy with. I heard the emotions. Slipped nips. Uh, where is the Yu-Gi-Oh match? Well, where is it? Uh, happening very, very, very soon. Well, here's the problem. True. No, they're someone asking. Got us. That's not true at all. Yu-Gi-Oh cards are expensive. And they bought us cards. And someone got us two big packs of Yu-Gi-Oh cards at RTX that had tags on them that were thirty dollars each. What does Lawrence have? And then they were never mailed to us here, so we haven't been able to. They're do coming. It here. I'm yeah. tracking the package. They should be in today or tomorrow. We What's in yoga? On top What's of it, the video Lawrence is hand. coming, like we promised. Lawrence, are those Yu-Gi-Oh no cards? We're on top of yeah, shit. Those are special those? cards, though. <laughs> Whoa, this one's cool. Look at how shiny it is. This guy. There you go. Ooh. Play some Yu-Gi-Oh. <sighs> they all look the same. Lawrence. It's time to. No one said it does not the card. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta do this. Malum branch of the burning yeah. abyss. Yeah. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Rubik Malamorance of the while. Burning Abyss. This is, this is our girlfriend now. Hola, waifu. This is our girlfriend now. Yeah. So Mech equipped an more engineer. It's, it's cool because she has three oh, holes, bird. but we only need to fill two of them. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Open House. I still don't have my face hair back. <laughs> yeah, what did you do? Why, you look like shit. Happened? You so look stupid. You, so Why would you, you do that? When you shave your face, you immediately start thinking about how long until it grows back? Basically, yes. Uh, I can clear the air now okay. because people are gonna ask. Uh -huh. okay. My mother bought me a shaver Aww. for my beard, like a beard trimmer. Okay. I hit one streak, one too long, so I had to make the whole thing even. <laughs> I shave. Nothing. I shave about once a year. Deal with it. I had a friend in college who did that, but he just left it. So half of his face was shaved and the other half wasn't. <laughs> I bet he got laid a lot. I was say, what's he doing right now? <laughs> Not getting laid. Oh. Yeah. Uh, first question this week comes from Triple Digit. I know this question is a bit morbid, but what would you say at each other's funeral to pay your last respect? Fuck you. Who's that? Whose funeral is that? Because I, I said funerals at funerals. I, I read a typo. Your Fuck. eulogy is fuck you to all of us? Yep. Wow. Wait, I don't want... No, hold on. <laughs> School's not speaking at my eulogy. No, God. Gotcha. At my eulogy, Lawrence is going to speak. All right. That's right. And I'm going to use James's passing, like most things, as, a, as an excuse to binge drink. So it'll sound something like... <laughs> and then I'll just vomit probably onto James's corpse because let's face it it's going to be open <laughs> casket you're not going to waste that <laughs> not on a funeral so uh, yeah that's that's going to be my eulogy and I was going to get the eulogy at Lawrence's funeral when he dies of alcohol poisoning at James's <laughs> funeral and my, my eulogy will be like we all knew he was an alcoholic but we really didn't want to tell him that he was an alcoholic well we do tell him in hindsight I'm glad I didn't because he's dead <laughs> Lawrence, you want to go splitsies on a casket? Sure. Ooh, that's not bad. Those are like $10,000. Yeah, it's so much money. It's going to save a lot of money. But it doesn't matter because your dad 
I can use what I saved to buy vodka. This is perfect. But you'll be dead. Yeah, you'll also, be dead. Also, I'm gonna burn myself up real good when I'm dead. Mm -hmm. So that's fine. Since Five, Adam's gonna feet. die first, that means I'll still be alive. Speak at Adam's funeral. Okay. And I'll say Adam was a dear friend. Uh huh. Um, and I'll miss him dearly. Uh huh. And he was my dear baby boy, Adam. If you could hear me right now, I would wish that you were still alive. So that way I can kill you myself. Why? What if you killed Because him? you wronged me. What did he do? Well, he, cause I was, so there was a point where I was gonna shoot <laughs> at him. Uh-huh. And then he shot at me, but it missed, so <laughs> then my bullet killed him. But, but if I had my chance to get back at him, I'd kill him. I'd shoot him for shooting me. James shot first. It sounds like you murdered me. <laughs> and then I'd run out of the funeral and then the cops would gun me down, yeah. and then it'd be my funeral, and then it'd go. And thanks for coming by the funeral. Yeah, though, that's funeral, really like nice of you. Funeral. Next question, hey, James. Next uh, question. Hey, Jeffrey. What position would each Funhouse member be if you guys were on a football team? Kicker. Uh, yeah, actually, wait, raise your cool. hand if you were on a football team at one point in time. I played soccer. We all played football? Shut up. That's um, football. So I think we all, we already have, I, I kid you not, I was on special teams. <laughs> <laughs> I was not very good at football. Okay. Still don't really even understand the sport. Uh, so my when position was, they said, when Griffin over there kicks the ball, you run. Oh, and if someone yeah. holds the ball, you hit him. And I said, okay, coach. And I hit a guy one time and on. that was about it. Did you ever end up hitting one of your own teammates on accident? I actually broke my best friend's leg, yes. Oh, shit. What? No wonder they kicked you off the team. Spool, what position were you? A kicker. I didn't play football. But, oh, okay. But if but I was going to, I'd no, be a but you never played. I played soccer for a long time. Lawrence, what position did you Soccer has positions as well. I was terrible, so offensive line. Uh, James. Uh, I chased the snitch. Matt Peake. I never played, but I'd probably be like running back or something. You would Ooh, absolutely yeah, be yeah. a running back. Maybe absolutely. Running back. Uh, Can you guess what I was? Quarterback. That's exactly what I was. Man. And you know, I always got scared in the pocket. So instead of throwing the ball, I ended up just putting it underneath my arm and running around like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I always figured the worst part was coming home and then telling your dad, John Voight, that you didn't want his life. John you Boyd. have bigger aspirations than just being a football star in a small Texas town. Are you Angelina Jolie? Remember that time that that girl with whipped cream came up to you, Bruce? Mm -hmm. But she worked at a Dairy Queen, mm -hmm. so it made sense that she had whipped cream. Are we talking about Friday Night Lights? Yeah. Paul Walker's in that movie and he's dead now. The Hoopy Fruit 42 asks, what is one meal depicted in a video game that you wish you could eat? I would probably choose the cake from Portal. Oh, that, ooh, look at that. That's pretty good. It's I've actually good. had that cake. There's a bakery in Seattle that makes that cake. That's where Valve got the idea. That's yeah, not that's funny. Just some piece of, it's just cake. some cake. Yeah, I know. I would drink some toilet water from Fallout. Nice. Can I... Can I have like a super potion or something from Pokemon? Sure, yeah, whatever you want, Spool. <laughs> I want the one it's up your from... your show, little buddy. It says it's from a video game. It's all game. right there, it's right there, whatever you want, man. That's not really food, but, you know. Yeah. Pete, it has what... all you need. Pete, what would you eat from a video game? I want the little shanks of ham from Wizards and Warriors. Nice. <laughs> That's a really good pick. <laughs> Wizards really... and Warriors, also, big problem with that game. What? In the very front of the cover, it's Fabio. You're the shittiest looking knight in that game. You're just this little... You're not Fabio. You're, you're not Fabio. Fabio. You're the furthest thing from Fabio. I, I got news for you, Adam. Sorry. You're, you're not Fabio. I never will be. Sorry, man. He's old now. Yeah, he's old now. Because one know, day, Fabio. one day, Dad, John Foy, I'm going to break out of this little town, and I'm going to... You know Fabio got hit in the face with a bird on a roller coaster? I would eat the one-up mushroom from Super Mario so I could die from alcohol poisoning and come back and do it again. And A. Dave writes, Sith or Jedi? Should just all say at the same time. All right. One... Two, three. Seattle on. Wait, hold on. Try that again. All right, yeah. Uh, one, two, three. New got it. Right. All right, one more time. Okay. One, two, three. Skyrim. Skyrim. Skywalker. He's one. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the week of Funhouse and Rooster Teeth collaborative content that good. you guys just had That's in order good. to expose your brand to the large audience pool they have. Mm -hmm. What other Apple. measures? would you like to take in order to publicize yourselves to the masses? Public nudity. I have decided that what? I'm going to, and this is a real thing. Uh -huh. I'm gonna apply, I think you can apply, okay. to Playgirl. Oh. Uh, so I, I think that possibly they might wanna do, I mean, I don't, you know. I, I work out a, a pretty good amount, so I figured I could be a centerfold in Playgirl. Um, how does that promote Funhouse? I, 
Well, no, I talk about Funhouse. Yeah, yeah. Too. You okay. have that calendar. Right, but no one unfolds. but no one reads those things. But they just want the dicks. I'm not really worried. Well, yeah, I mean, they'll get that. But then they'll also get the flavor piece about what I do. Yeah. Hey, Bruce, yeah. idea. Uh, you could you could twist your penis into a <laughs> right there. No. I don't want to do anything that compromises the penis for this photo shoot. I think it should be front and center. You light the penis, you frame the penis, and then you pull back to include uh, the rest of the man. Yeah. And I think also we Photoshop yes, a little bit, so it's one of those bent ones. I mean, you might have oh, a bent oh, look, one. A, I don't know. A cricket. I'm not judging. A cricket. Yeah, yeah. Because it begs questions. Well, it looks like it's interested. Mm -hmm. Well, that because yeah, because <laughs> the ladies be flipping. They're going through. The uh, ladies be flipping. Dick, dick, and they're like, this one is curved. He's list he was a kind of penis that would listen to me. Like a scimitar. Like a scimitar. I was gonna say we'd let like NASA shoot us all into space and we'd stream video games from space and be the first people to do that. Space is too high. I'd fly a blimp. <laughs> it wouldn't have any funhouse branding on it, but I'd get to fly yeah, a blimp. Maybe we should get on top of a tall building and shout. Yeah. Well we can play video games up there. That's a record, right? Do you think yeah. I can do it naked? Final question this week comes from a Bola Troll. Uh -huh. Is Open House a reality show? Meaning that the questions are actually written by you guys and our questions don't even get read. Yes. I mean, you can really... Yeah, I feel like you can answer this knows. yourself. Yeah, I mean, I was just, well, now he knows. James. It's so hard to copy and paste else. secrets out. But now, he, now that he knows, he has to tell everyone else that it's true. So like, the next person that asks this question, he has to be like, yes, they, it is not. We're never going to answer this again. The next, next person that asks it, Bola Troll has to tell them. Mm -hmm what he discovered today. I will admit it's a little sad. Uh, we do ask for questions every week and we never get any because no one watches this show. Yeah. Wait, so we have to we make our own questions so that we can come up with crazy headlines and silly thumbnails so that you guys will click and watch. And um, it's not going so well. So what I need you to do is help me out figuring out an application for Playgirl. Okay. Um, I think they usually have it in the back of the magazine and I don't really want to buy a Playgirl. Uh, Lawrence, I think he's We're looking it up right. Become a Playgirl now. model. Four steps. Okay. What's the first step? Uh, one. Right. Search for Playgirl casting calls in magazines and online. All right. Okay. Two. Take some snapshots of yourself. Okay. All right. We can do that. I've already got oh, that. that one. Uh, three. Rename your photos of your full name and the date they were taken. Okay. Okay. Clerical step. I like how that's a picture. <laughs> picture steps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, four. Include the following information and me measurements on your resume. With height, Playgirl. weight, chest so size, waist Shawn size. Michaels. Penis size, penis length, inseam, age, ancestry, eye color, hair color, and location. Do they need anything more than penis size and penis length? Do they yeah. show penises in this I thing? I mean, Playgirl, so yeah. Are you Googling Playgirl right now? Yeah. He's looking at Mario Lopez. I doubt his abs look like that. So I started Kickstarter. Oh, Kickstarter.com slash Bruce and Playgirl. So go there. There's an eHow article on how... Jesus Christ. How do I do it? Uh, ensure that you're up to Playgirl physical standards. What does that mean? Very muscular and well endowed, as well as handsome. Uh, uh, use sexy poses for your sample pictures. Body. Sexy? There's no room for modesty, Bruce. Po is Playgirl poses for women or is Playgirl for men? Well, what's a sexy pose? Here we go. Uh, here, here's some tips for you. Poses that emphasize the derriere, abs, and arm muscles are always a big hit. Most models opt for a full frontal shot in both the relaxed and aroused state, so be ready. Remember to light the penis first. Hmm. Hey, what about the gooch? Is that popular? What are they, they doing? The gooch in there? Uh, yeah, they talk. They talk about something called the childbirth, which is where you throw up, throw up both heels, one on like reach a mother. Yeah, take a photo like that. No, again. Yeah. Okay, that, 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 that. Joel, what? Do the clap with me. Do it with them. Are you, you not, fucking kidding me I right have now? Perfect rhythm. You ready? You're off beat. You're off beat. No, you want to go like this. Four, two, 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 three, and four, four, and two. Four, two, three, four, four, three, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm trying to do a roll call, Joel. Four, two, three, four, four, two. Hello. Four, two, three, four, four. My name is Joel. Never fucking mind. Let's just start the stupid hell of a name. It sounds like a Radiohead album in here. Hey, your first question this week comes from Proxima District. Mm -hmm. What is something you did in high school that you look back upon with disgust? I ate 20 chicken McNuggets in a single sitting while watching Tango and Cash on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I ate a three pound bag of peanut M&Ms, but I don't really oh. look back on that with disgust. Wow. <laughs> I also had two apple pies. I wrestled in high school, one time I had to cut weight and I did spitting where you like chew Skittles and like spit in the bottle and like yeah. fill the bottle up with your spit. That was pretty gross. Mm, yeah. That was pretty it disgusting. Awesome, though, Cause uh, you, you, you beat your opponent. Did you win? I did win. 
It was before cool. a tournament. Start so spitting. I want a button. I had anything. a separate bathroom for my sisters, and I would pop my zits, and then, oh. like, in a little tiny corner, the bottom left corner of the, the mirror, I would, like, put <laughs> the zit juice there and see how much I could build up before someone found it and complained oh, about it. Oh, my God. God. That's, That's awesome. Disgusting. That's oh. the last person I expected Matt to Pete? do that. This is another wrestling one. Yeah. After practice, I hung my clothes up in a locker and forgot them, and then the next day, forgot to bring fresh clothes, so I don't think they'd even dried off from oh. the day before. <laughs> That's, that's so all I had. But, but you had they to, smelled like, horrible, and it smelled, it's just been you had, to spar, you had to spar with someone else, too, didn't you? It's cool. Really oh, wanted yeah. to say I that. Gross at all. Bad. That's not so bad. Uh, None of you are gross. Uh, I, uh... This story hinges on whether or not you are rollerblading or skateboarding, because one is really dumb and one is really cool. Well, the thing They're is, both I rollerbladed, but I think I tried skateboarding, so and I hurt myself. On the skateboard with, with rollerblades? rollerblades? <laughs> now that's cool. That's really just trying to make Photoshop. That's really Don't do that. Don't photo... Next question, I oh. saw a bear, I saw a bear. The Playgirl Wait, magazine didn't answer the question. mentioned something about ancestry last week, so now I'm curious. What is your guys' backgrounds, nationalities, ethnicity? Let's We're go all down white. the line, starting with Lawrence. I'm white, I'm a white guy. No, Lawrence, what's your but background? You, what the fuck difference does it make? I grew up in German. German. Your, your Where German did your pilgrim descent? family come from? How does Which any of that matter? Were they on? I've never been to my mother. I ate 20 chicken nuggets watching Tango and Cash. That's my culture That's and background. My Stupid. name is Lawrence, and I'm a white guy from the States. Of America! Uh, it's cool. What are you? I'm mostly French. My mom is 100% French. I can, I can see that. Speak uh, some French, school. I am Hold French, on. and that is why I'm small and kind of cowardly. I'm a direct uh, descendant of Pocahontas. It's not a joke. <laughs> no, who not. is it? Slut? What do you yeah. Who is it? She got around. Uh, she got around. Yeah. Not yeah. that there's anything wrong. I, we're, we're not slut shaming Pocahontas. No, no, no. Sounds no, like no, you no, are. No. Are you slut shaming my grandma, my mama? I'm Czechoslovakian and Croatian, but that doesn't mean I speak the language. Please stop asking. Is that when the peak? Peak. What are you? Just a bunch of European stuff. I'm nice. Latino. Next question. Agromonk. If you could trade one person from FH, that means Funhouse, by the way, oh, for one person from AH, sure. that means Achievement Hunter, by oh. the way. Who would it be and why? Huh. Adam uh, would probably trade all of us for everyone at Achievement Hunter, so that way he could be around that <laughs> you, No way, are you fucking I wouldn't trade anybody uh, because Achievement Hunter blows. Well, that's what I'm saying, Adam would trade. Because well, Adam, every single time well, a question like this comes you know up. You know what? Because he's a trader. Here's the thing, here's the thing. I've noticed. Get it? I know. Uh -huh. Achievement Hunter just started their own Jim. channel. Shut up! It's a pun. They started their own channel. It's a double on I would trade Joel. Joel. Shut the fuck I would, up! Fuck I would trade Joel away for Gavin. Because oh Gavin Oh my and gosh. I, like I noticed trade. Achievement Hunter started their own channel and they have almost as many subscribers as we do. Almost. Uh, the problem is, is we're going to get to a million subscribers way before they. Yeah, have. way before. And like Jeff and Jack have been talking shit to me. So really? So yeah, who do been... we want from them? Why? To join us on the path to a million to subscribers. To help us get to a million before so that. So if we get a million subs, we get Ray? Traitor. If Spool, and, if Spool and Gavin were in the same room, do you think it'd be like a bird fighting its own reflection in a the mirror? Same, they've been in the same room. And it was that. Ben, thanks for fucking playing along, everybody. Jesus I Christ. What? I said yes. No. Yes, and. Marky Polo. Mad? Mad? No, I'm, I'm good. Marky Polo says, what would be some fun house inspired costume Halloween costume? So wait, does that uh, mean inspired by us? I, uh, full disclosure, I have no ideas for Halloween this year, so I, I kind of put this one in here for that I'm, reason alone. I'm dead cool. I had a really good idea, but it cost a lot of money and I wasn't able to do it. Are you going Batman again then? No, I'm not going to do Batman again. Are you going to be the 300th Spartan guy? They're asking what cost if they want to dress as us. Like like you're going to dress as Michael from GTA as Batman. Someone at Rooster Teeth is going to hate me for this, but what you shouldn't do is you shouldn't just buy a Funhouse shirt or like a sex swing shirt. You should make it, like just get a black shirt and then you make the sex swing logo but out of like red tape and stuff why don't they buy a funhouse shirt that has like like this logo on it but then just write sex swing or just... something like that but you should not you shouldn't just buy it that's cheating no that's like buying an iron man costume that just says iron man on yeah, it. i was gonna like a giant can of dude soup that's a good idea Ooh, that's a really good I'm idea gonna go as, i want to go as benson because he's cute he goes benson the dog yeah uh, i'll go as captain chris actually joel should go as captain chris he yeah. looks like captain chris. i, I, okay. do it. I yeah. want to go as joel hey uh, tyrone read the next question Lord Aerospace Nut. There we go. If Funhouse had to relocate to a different country, where would you choose and what would you need to be different? <laughs> so See, if I didn't play along, I would have jumped in my own chair and read it anyway. Huh? That's are giving somebody else a chance to be creatively interested. Are you upset none of your jokes are landing? <laughs> South Korea. Hawaii. Sweden. Hawaii is our country. Oh! Oh, it's blue! It's blue. You got me! You got me, fool! I had a great idea and you got me! Oh, you got, huh? me. You got me, fool! What are we supposed to do now? <laughs> Hawaii's our country! <laughs> Hawaii's our country, so the joke don't work no more! 
We took it from the natives. We took it from the, the Hawaiian uh, queen. I would like to go to the Bahamas. <laughs> Confirmed Dank Memes asks, yeah. what's the longest you've gone without fapping? Um, Which I believe means masturbating. Wait. Probably about 11 years from the age of zero to 11. God damn it, Skull! <laughs> <laughs> Who's really ruining this episode? <laughs> How's that sandwich tasting? The burrito is great! <laughs> there was a point at which I got a scab on my dick because I was masturbating so much. Oh. So, that's God's so way of saying been... stop. I Wait, hold on. <laughs> is he citing that as the longest Wait, he's gone? As long as no. he's gone or, or the grossest thing he did in high school? I know. <laughs> we can't confirm that this is high school. No, when it comes to masturbatory, it's, it's gross stories, it gets worse than that. So. But, the, it was after the scab got on that I thought, oh, this, this is like God's punishment or something. So I went, I th want to say like three days? <laughs> three days? Yeah. That doesn't take the body three days. Yeah. To no, the scab was still there when like I got back on the train. At least. There was a point where uh, shortly after I discovered masturbation, I was like, this is fucking great. I did it all the time. But then some, I, I went on a vacation or something and I wasn't able to do it. Yeah. And then I realized that if you wait, it's even like better. if you wait it's and then better. you do it, it's like oh. So then I decided to try and like wait. So I must have been like probably like I don't know, fucking fourteen or yeah. something. And I I waited like a solid three days, month. Whoa, Whoa. Maybe, maybe month and a half. Wow, that's actually. really good. But it's a slippery slope because you might accidentally have a wet dream. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah if you yeah. wait too long, yeah. your body will just do it for you. Uh, my, so, uh, mine is six weeks. Fine. I was traveling with some friends, and it was six weeks. Six weeks. Okay, yeah. that's pretty good. Adam. Wait. Good story, Adam. <laughs> Oh, man. Adam, go! So, coincidentally, going back to James's story, let's refresh real quick. Oh, I waited like a month and a half and okay. then jerked off and it was awesome. Okay, but oh, the vacation thing too. Oh, anyway, vacation. I was 18 years old. I was with my girlfriend's family in Puerto Rico. I was inspired by the film 40 Days and 40 Nights. Oh, yeah. I want to see how long ago. I thought I could go for 40 days. Didn't last more than 15 and I jizz myself in bed. Yeah, that's it in sucks. Bed? In in my sleep. Yourself, why why yeah. did that have to why did that have to immediately it was follow the James's... vacation thing? Well, yeah. I was also talking about vacation thing. And here's the thing, guys. Everyone's got something to say on the show. Sometimes you have to take a back seat to God damn it, Spool! That's the best answer. So um, I was around six weeks, probably I think it was probably a little more. I wanna say seven to eight weeks. But the reason I did it was for a competition. I was 25 years old. Uh, entered into a competition with an office just like Seinfeld. Everybody put in, I think it was $10, $20. Uh, the best part of the story is that, number one, that I won. And number two, that there was one other guy I was competing with at the very end, and I got a text message that said, ha ha ha, I just jerked off onto a girl's chest, you win. <laughs> and I was like, I win! <laughs> as you sat alone? Like, uh, yeah, as I sat alone. With a giant throbbing dick? In the dark, with, yeah, <laughs> the giant hard on. Why didn't you cheat? How would they know? How would they know? Oh! You're huh? really ruining the show. Oh. You're ruining the show. Puerto Rican. That's the one. Underscore ask. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have problems? Because you guys seem relaxed and cool all the time. Yeah. I mean, does anybody Gentleman. have any problems anymore? Yeah. We're, we're all dead inside and we're screaming, but out here, it's all laughs. So we're all good. So everybody's good. Got, we have no problems. It's great. Matt Peek, you got no problems, right? Question this week comes from Teddo 14. Are you guys gonna film more drinking videos like Drunk Born or your liver's ruined already? We have an update on that. Yes. So it's via, I mean, it's not confirmed, but we're gonna do Drunk Rocket League. Yes. With uh, Source Fed Super Panic Frenzy. That's ideally, hopefully they'll come out to us. Uh, that or we just play online against each other. I don't know how it's working, but yeah, um, true. we're gonna put more alcohol in our bodies because we like to die for you. What are you gonna drink? You know, Joel, ladies' choice. What do you want? I brought back. Weird liquor from Hungary. For what? You to drink. what? Oh, get, oh, get that shit down here. What is that? That's stuff? what I want. Weird liquor. It's been hiding in the king's hat. It's this, Unicru. This will last us exactly one <laughs> sip. No, you, yeah, you'll have a sip and you'll spit it out. Whoa, Unicum. Are we supposed to talk about t-shirts in this episode? Hey, um, yeah. I'm wearing a t-shirt. So You're wearing I. a t-shirt. Go buy it. It's great. Go They're gonna run shirt. out real soon because a lot of people though. like to masturbate. Lars, what t-shirt are you wearing? Uh, it's a Sunset Overdrive shirt. Go buy that shirt too. No, nope, you can't here. find that. That game, this that game like not lost a, money. It is not it's on the not rooster probably. No. I've never seen Spool wear a Funhouse shirt ever once. Not once. He wears dude suits I sometimes. Wear, he was wearing Achievement Hunter at the uh, gym. At Thanks the gym. for wearing that. I appreciate that. He's sweating in it. Might cool. as well wipe his ass with it. That's wear, a nice V-neck. I'm glad that you're finally starting to show off your lower neck. I got this from Mac Weldon, our sponsor on Dude Soup. Okay, it's time to stop the show. We're done. Hey, Everybody cool. click stop. 
Sorry Damn, for funny. throwing that bottle, but how was that burrito? You hit me in the face. Stop cool. the show! I'm not sorry about anything. Don't let Spool talk anymore. Stop this. James told me to throw the bottle. We're stopping. How does that make you feel? I'm stopping. These chips aren't as good as the burrito. Stop! Do you have a, a way to start the show, an idea for how to show, start the show today that I'm going to ignore and then do my own thing for? No, why don't you just do your own way? I, I, my way is to interrupt what yeah, we're doing. I've noticed that it's gotten really Spool, good. Spool, do you have a way to open the show? People just talk Let's over start the show! So stuff where like Spool says something or Lawrence hits <laughs> a microphone. Or arm on the microphone. Like, happens. Stop like, talking over us, James! Over each other. Stop it! No, normally that would annoy me, it's but really you rude. edit the show, so it's okay. Stop! Not this one. Uh. Read the first question. question. Hey, your first question this week comes from the most indie hipster. Uh -huh. If you had to eat one animal for the rest of your life that is not commonly eaten animal, uh, which animal would you pick and why? Chicken. Zebra. Kangaroo. Unicorn. Venison. I was gonna say elk. Ooh, All these things choice. are, uh, I mean. Very common. I mean, Adam, Kangaroo is Adam not common. Unicorn. Wild buffalo. Wild? Yeah. So here's the thing. I like chicken, but I like chicken when it's like meat. When you can cook, when it's properly sourced, and then you can eat it like rare in the middle. What Have you ever had chicken like that? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. pretty good. You get sick. I want to eat a bald eagle. Next question from a loser called Susie. Have you ever played a game where something has happened that made you instantly turn it off and never play it again? Mm. Yes? No. Yes. I feel that way at the end of every single game of a MOBA I've ever played. Yeah. <laughs> but I go back and play him again, so. Uh, you know what? I did that with League of Legends. I played League of Legends back in 2011 or 2010. Mm. I won a game that I played for an hour and a half. I hated every minute of it, turned it off, and literally uninstalled you the game. You won it. I actually also just did that with Hearthstone. So, so what you're saying is that if you're bad at a game and you and you don't like it because you're bad, you just won't play it anymore. No, you're, you're a baby. That's because I didn't have fun with it, Joel. Because you're a baby. But video games are supposed <laughs> to be fun. <laughs> Is that what happened with Smite when I yelled at you on accident? Yeah. You, you, you did not yell at me on, on accident. It was on purpose. And yeah, once you yelled at me, that was it. I had enough of Smite. Yeah, all we're funny we are on point today. Fuck I like you. jokesters all make it. Read the next yeah. question. I was playing dominoes with my grandparents, and they said something really racist, so I don't I have never played <laughs> dominoes since. I played Magic the Gathering once on a bus. I already told this story, and the kid on the bus who was teaching me how to do it, I'm pretty sure gave me a shitty deck of cards to play with and beat the shit out of me. I said, Well, I'm done with this. <laughs> I played Magic the Gathering once and a kid pulled out his bag of stones and he was explaining to me what the stones did. Mid-conversation, I walked up and walked away. Nice. I uh, had a PS2 game called Rise of the Kasai. Oh yeah. I wasn't super angry or anything, it was just the AI, AI cooperative stuff did not work. Mine was Prince of Persia 1. Well, Sands of Time. Yeah, Sands of Time. There was, I got almost to the end, and there was this part where you had to jump down, and I did it like 80 times, and I kept failing, and I gave up, and I've never played that game You shouldn't since. have said that, because now you're going to get a flood of people being like, Oh, it's so easy, let me help PS2 you. That's a really good insight into Spool's character. If he's not able to succeed at something, he'll just give up. After oh, 80 tries. After 80 times he tried. Give up. No, just quit. Well, I don't like you anymore. We're gonna beat that game together. I still have my PS2. Which one is it? Nobody cares! Bruce, Bruce underscore tickles underscore me. It's true. Do you feel like gaming is a bit more of a chore now that you depend on it for content? Uh, no, because we don't ever get to play the games we want to play on the channel. <laughs> like right now, I'm right. staring at Star Wars Battlefront on Origins. So yeah. I want to play it so badly. Yeah. So badly. You could do it. No, I can't. Yeah, you I'm can. Gonna... Every every day of your life, every minute, you make decisions, and you can make the decision to uh, just totally not take care of any of your responsibilities whatsoever and play Battlefront. But you're not doing that. What if you, you do both? Take responsibilities. You do it's both. never a chore. It's never a grind. It's a job. Well, it's a little different, and we try to make entertainment out of it. That's one thing. Oh, Battlefront is our reward. Did I tell you yesterday? We don't play fun games for content, because no. fun games aren't funny. Yeah. And people don't like seeing us having fun, they like seeing us being tortured. There's but actually a lot of times where people will suggest, hey, why don't you play this yeah. game? It's really funny. And I'm like, well, then what are we supposed Ooh. to do? Yeah. <laughs> it's doing all the work for us. Yeah. yeah. That makes us like a normal YouTuber. Right, Mystery Science Theater wouldn't have been funny if all they did was watch good. Yeah. Read the next question. Hey Bruce, read okay. it. Am I back in your good graces? No. Oh. Read the next question. Uh, Spool should read this. Noxy Johnville wants to know what, what would right. Apple have to do or release so you guys would buy an iPhone over Nothing. Android? Nothing. I'm never buying an iPhone. What if they dropped the price of the iPhone to we give you money to take a phone? Mm -hmm. well, I might do that then. Yeah, well, Google will beat you to it, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. Beat no. you there. No, Sorry, true. Apple. Yeah, Lawrence, Lawrence thinks he's yeah. made money on Coming lately again. Lawrence, how much did you have to pay for your broken screen though? 100 uh, bucks. They paid me $100. I mean, no. no. So if you think that. about it this way, a new phone costs $650, so I'm saving 
five hundred dollars. No, that's not how math works. I feel like all I did was break my phone and I made five hundred bucks. Use a calculator. It's easy. We could disprove this somehow. And my phone has one too. I could read it if the screen were correct. Maybe if iPhone, if Apple released a calculator on their phone, we would oh. buy it. It's a comma. I mean, there. barely. I can't control the comma. All right. Vinny the Pooh asks, ISIS have invaded the USA and all leading military personnel have gone missing. It is up to Funhouse Squadron to devise and put into action a battle plan to regain control of the United States. What role does each member play and how does everyone get shot? There's only one man. So we all have to get shot? There's only one man that can assign the roles yeah. and for the job, and it's Matt Peake. Matt, right. what would you do? Oh, God. <laughs> I, I got nothing on this one. <laughs> Whatever you say, Captain. Yep. All right, Captain. Uh, we got I'll you down I'll, to the I'm gonna grab a hell. gun. Should I grab a missile launcher, Captain? Yep, and that's how we all get shot. Matt Peake, oh. can can I Perfect. can I play the sexy spy who has to honeypot the enemy spy by having <laughs> sex with them? You're the China Rose. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He said sure. He said sure. That's my mission. I have to have sex with sure. ISIS. Uh, Matt, what should Spool do? He can be. Uh... Like Bob stealth Hope. sneaky guy, Bob infiltrator. Hope. Stealth sneaky guy, infiltrator. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Like a sniper. What about Lawrence? Oh, can Lawrence be uh, Marilyn Monroe at the USO? Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm the entertainer. Nice. Can I Keep the boy's spirits up. Can I be like Radar with his weird hand? Or? We can always tell what, what Adam is Netflixing by what show he he's like <laughs> making references to him. Oh man, that one time that what's her name did that? Oh, Hotlin Coolahan, such a babe, such a babe. <laughs> Throwaway Cause yeah, asks, how much did Sex Wing practice before the Rockman 4 Live event? Uh, That's weird. Bit, I made this doc yes. and I don't remember putting that question in there. <laughs> Well, you put it in there, so what we happened? Like, I want to say two, three hours. We're all rock band experts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sexperts. We're all sexperts, mm. so we've been playing this game for a very long time. Uh, that's one thing we actually do love is rock band. It's not a joke. Everyone was impressed by how good we were at it. Yeah. We're like, yeah, this game's been around for like 10 years. <laughs> no, it's yeah, new, I know. Though. It's I weird. A, a lot of people uh, over at in Austin weren't familiar with rock band like they're not are you I'm, calling them out yeah he's absolutely calling sure them. yeah i'm calling them out i'm calling you out austin texas yeah get there. better at fake uh rock band instruments. so can yeah. I tell, i'm gonna tell a quick story uh, uh yesterday morning as we were leaving austin james and i went to breakfast and the guy at the counter asked where we were from <laughs> yeah. uh, and i said la and he said oh well i oh, yeah. i played uh at the el rey theater in los angeles oh, and wow. i said oh that's Ooh, a cool venue there. Uh, and he told me the name of his band. It's Moonlight Graham. Neat. Uh, and then I, I moved on. And then uh, James was right behind me in line. Yes. And then he said to me, oh, are you with that L.A. guy? And I said, yes. He said, so what are you guys doing here? And I said, well, you know how you're in a real band? We're in a fake band. And we just performed at the uh, Vulcan Gas Company last night, and he just kind of like had this look on his face, like everything I've ever worked for is worthless. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, and I'll also have a side of pancakes, please. Also, they were ordering to the left. I was to the right. Who are you with? You got water on me. I didn't even say anything. Arcady Harris. <laughs> How do you judge the success of a video or video series? Uh, Is it by no. objectively looking at the viewing data, or do you consider other factors such as audience reaction, your opinions, production time, etc.? So there's a lot of things that we uh, we use to vary or to, to figure out like video series performance. The one thing that I do, and it's worked for me a hundred times out of a hundred, is when I watch a video, it depends on how much of a boner I get. So. Wait, is there a way to measure that? Google. Maybe our phones have some kind of application yeah, that it with numbers on them. I, no, I measure it with touch. Yeah, so hold on. I put my Your finger touch? on my boner and it feels, let's say 30% hard. 30? Then, hold on a minute, let me, let me, let me take some measurements here. What do you think right now, what do you got? This so is this like, video this, right now. This is like a 15% right this now. Like this is real low. It's real low. So if we get to a 50, 60, or 70%, I know we've got ourselves, you know, something something of a success. Times. For example, when Matt Peek edits a video, typically I'm around 100 to 110%. I know that that video is going to do well. So, Joel, t take a reading. Take a reading. All right, you got that. You got up to 22. 22. All right, we're almost there. So this open house probably won't be a success. Sorry, guys. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Adam, read the last question. Your final question is, I got a, uh, I got a toenail removed, and- Oh, oh my, my god. god! Wait, put it on the camera, you. put it on the camera! Turn yeah. it up. This is what happens when they remove oh. an ingrown nail. Wait, I can't oh. see Dude, it. They should just put I you can't down, see it. man. It looks like it's healed, right? Actually, it looks okay. Yeah, they you have your toenail, you. it's right there. Yeah, no, they, no so they, they cut on the side. Ugh. Right there. Oh, you actually you. put it on your pop filter. When my foot feels, uh, Adam. Yoda the Hobbit. Inflamed. Does Joel ever get sick of people thinking he's gay? Does it bother cool. anyone else that a lot of people think Joel's gay? How, does, how do you feel? I feel fine. 
It doesn't bother me. I, I mean, thought everyone just assumed we were all gay. Yeah. I mean, we all touch each other a lot. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder sometimes. I think it opens doors for us. Uh, but at the same time, I feel a little uncomfortable being disingenuous and playing playing up my good buddy Joel as something that he's not, just straight. <laughs> so um, I don't know. I don't want. I we talked a bit about the fetishization of culture, and I think Joel should certainly be ashamed about appropriating an entire see. group of people. We can, and we can stop the show. Uh, but you know, I, it's something that I wrestle with. We just stop the show. It's one of those times where you're in a room and people are having a conversation, and you just think like. Maybe I should jump in there and what give him a piece of my to mind. What does it mean be gay anyway? Stop the show. Gender is not, is not binary. Oh yeah. my gosh, we gotta stop the show, please. It's a wonderful swing pool. I'm clicking and stop. You can go with a deep end. I'm clicking stop. Spectrum. Gotta get those Tumblr views. Yeah. My hair's too long. I keep getting this like thing. Yeah. Like when my hair gets wet, make sure that it, it comes all names. the way down to like the center of my nose. Yeah. Nobody can just wants to say hi. Maybe Joel's just off. I think Joel's I just off. No. All right. Give me a oh, beat. Come on. Give, give me a beat. All right. Remember when we got this? <laughs> yeah. We got Yo, these what players. up, guys? My name is Joel. I'm on open house. Let's get ready to roll. <laughs> can I start the show? Face. Now? Is, that, is my chair part of that? <laughs> You're so stupid. I feel bad because if there are black people watching, they're just like the oh, fucking. Oh, no, black nerds gonna love that. Whitest dudes in the Wait, world. Wait, hold on, why? Oh. Just because you're black doesn't mean you're a rapper or have an appreciation for rap. No, because you have, you have better rhythm. Sorry, man. Ooh. You have better rhythm. You're fast, fast muscles. You're faster. You're stronger. You can't get sunburned. <laughs> True. What? These are all good things! Lamar, if you're watching, we're sorry. Where's Leroy? Hey, Leroy? I apologize if our humor is a little oh, also dark. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome to Open House. It's a show where we do your first question. This week comes from Road Night. We specialize in racial humor. If you had to produce a game compiled of all the other crappy games you've ever played on the channel, what would it be like? Who would be the characters? Where would it be set? What would the gameplay be? Just ask one question, for the love of God! Hold on, I want to make sure you answer Pokemon. all the facets of my question. Oh, okay, let's just let's improv something real quick. Let's okay, let's go, so let's the go. Pokemon. Who's that Pokemon? Pokemon, great, good. No, Pokemon's no. A, Pokemon's a protagonist. That's not even a game we played. No, it'd be, no. it had to be a first-person shooter. I said, well, no, the no, no. Like. It would be, it would be a t RTS. Okay. But using one of the you using Manhunter, so you'd have to click and move him around. Uh -huh. The whole army of Manhunters. And then, uh, and then, what else would we have in it that I don't care about Crappy the rest of this features. question? <laughs> Demi Lovato. Uh, then Bruce what? breaks the disc. Demi Lovato's yeah. the bad guy. And then Seal pops up, <laughs> sure. and he goes, and then he's trying. He's like a wizard, and he's giving you lupus. Did this joke pan out the way we all wanted it? There are options no. to it's play like, multiplayer online, and you're the best player in the world because nobody plays the game. Next Moving question on. from 3AF1. Which of you could survive the longest on Mars, and why? Depends which one looks more. I think Matt Peak. Matt Peak. Matt Peak. Matt Peak is a finely tuned specimen yeah, of yeah. human life. I, I can't grow food. You need food? It's all about growing food, isn't it? Yeah, yeah but I guess so. Are you yeah. a scientist, man? Yeah, but I don't think you eat food. No. You just are. I, think, I think it's Lawrence. I think Lawrence survives right. longest. What? Yep. Are you kidding? Lawrence can barely walk into the office without yeah. tripping. He's, yeah. the only, he's the computer engineeriest of all of us. Yeah, so but he could, like, kill fix all the systems. You know, we both have the same degree, right? Yeah, but Lawrence has glasses. <laughs> I do have glasses. <laughs> what yeah, I could use them to like make lasers, space lasers to, I don't know, <laughs> melt something. <laughs> Well, then you couldn't see. Lasers, I don't know. <laughs> like, like most movies of its ilk, there were about three or four times watching The Martian where I said to myself, well, I just lift up my helmet and kill myself. I'm tired of dealing with this. <laughs> I generally forfeit in those types of hard to survive situations. I find something sharp or something blunt and I would crush my own skull in because I don't really want to wait to die. I, I think Lawrence would get into an argument with himself yeah. about whether he could actually breathe on Mars or not, whether it's a conspiracy. <laughs> I'm like, I no, you can't tell me not I to can't. breathe. He'd walk out there and go, <laughs> <laughs> and then he dies. Well, how long do you think you'd survive on this? Uh, three weeks. That's pretty good. That's and bad. then I would just long enough to starve. Okay, how much yeah. food is in the rations? You have Eight three weeks, weeks worth. Yeah. <laughs> he, too, too many he variables. Them all. Then, he stress eats. Because in the Martian, he had like a, a base kind of. Oh, there, the right? answer is Gary Sinise. Next. <laughs> That's not. A I movie. love that movie. Red Planet. Uh, Zablez. 
Yeah. Um, if each of you could bang any military leader from history, mm. who would it be, and what would the child be called? <sighs> the child? There Maybe. would be no child, because I would bang Alexander the Great. That's arguably the greatest military leader in the history of the world. Wait, hold on. Are we considering Joan of Arc a military leader? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, then, yeah. yeah Joan no. of Arc? She's like 14, dude. She loses her superpowers, though, once she has sex. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she can't talk to God anymore. Yeah, I'm, I, I would bang Boudicca. Oh, yeah, good call. The Celtic leader who she was a badass. She would out, yeah, dude. She would. But booty? she, her booty's in her name. I would, uh, uh, bang Mulan. Cause then I would be a uh, mad. Uh, I bang Mulan Lawrence, all Lawrence, of Lawrence, ancient Lawrence. China. Lawrence, Lawrence. I would bang Captain Janeway. <laughs> <laughs> She's not real. I don't know. Hold on, Matt, Matt Peake's gotta have an Matt. answer to this, Matt. I don't, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, oh, almost. Um, I've never seen the second 300 movie. I own it, but oh, yeah. James the has second. only oh, instructed man. me to fast forward to the one scene. Eva Green. Yeah. Or Ava Green. Yeah. She's a military leader, right? I yeah, she is. Yeah. In the she movie, was an actual military leader. I want to be that frumpy dude in that one scene and uh, have sex with a, a hot the hunchback. Woman. Yeah, I want to be him. <laughs> Joel, read the next question. Yeah. All right. uh, Bowtie Sam, what's the most impressive thing you have accomplished while drunk? Ooh. Boy, oh boy. I, uh, this episode, open house. Uh, stumbled home? Vodka? What? Stumbled home? That's yeah. not good. I no. walked three miles from downtown LA home. Yeah, but I'm really at like two in the morning. That's impressive. I don't know. That's impressive. Impressive. I think just because he walked somewhere. Come on. Spools, I think Spool's onto something though. Probably the most impressive thing I've ever accomplished yeah, is convincing myself that not every single person I interacted with that night knew I was drunk. <laughs> right? Like they right? probably all totally did. <laughs> How would you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I like in my head I was like like it went like this. I was so like smooth. Hey Adam, what's going on? What are you been up to tonight? Oh, you're just hanging out. Cool man, yeah, I had a few drinks, but I'm feeling good. Mm -hmm. But what it actually was was... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah! Honey, we're leaving. We're going now. Haven't you guys ever had Ooh. sex with a woman while drunk? Fuck no. That's not, That's not impressive, thing. Everybody has... I mean, anyone yeah. can have sex with a woman. No, 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 no. That's no, not no. true at all. It's it's the degree of your performance. It goes I way, way up. Yeah, but that goes on James. Lawrence that goes on James's where you think you're doing yeah. amazing, but Perception like, of performance. Yeah. Sometimes you go, you can last, like, even, like, 90 seconds, too. Yeah. <laughs> set the bar way too low. That's the thing. Um, there, are objective, there are objective things about it, like the, uh, the amount that she pushes you away. Oh, okay. Matt Peake, what about you? Nothing too impressive. Maybe I... On a rare case, I was actually able to work out. I just like screw this. I'm gonna do this, and did a really, really good workout. Drunk well, strength. I didn't crazy. say any well drunk. Really? I just remembered that. That yeah, is impressive. I didn't well, say any for an entire hour. Boy, that was stupid. Was I back in Machinima when I kicked you out of the workout room. That beats out sex. Fuck you. Uh, Swool. Nice question. Uh, <laughs> fat boy, RL. Nice. Are there any games from your childhood you are fond of but never plan on playing again in fear that it hasn't aged well and will be a disappointing experience? Mm. If you did happen to replay any of them, how did that playthrough go? I recently put, replayed GoldenEye after 15 years, and boy, did it destroy my nostalgia. Well, he already answered the question. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, Goldeneye, Moving on, GoldenEye's my answer. I, I picked this specifically because I know Adam hates it when the when the person asks a question then answers it in the same question. I, I, if, you want, <laughs> if you want to ask a question just so you can answer it, that's fine. Guys, Write it on a piece of paper. He was Guys, giving an example. Open House of him. is the show oh. we're supposed to answer questions. Sure. Oh, he um, gave us an example. That's to, so nice, school. That's so great. To... I couldn't really think of a video game I played in my childhood. I'm to... glad he put Goldeneye down. Just, to they rage. just want to. He's so you. brave. We're not supposed to rage at our fans. They just want to love. I'm not you. raging at the fans. Uh, so it's this guy. I'm just raging. Every at week, the everybody fan. thinks that I have a lot of tension with Adam and that he and I are in a fight, but it turns out that Adam just has a lot of tension with the world. With the world. Yeah. It's called torsion. Adam, why do you hate Fat Boy? Testicular torsion? Lawrence, yeah. next question. Air, airplane food, everyone, right? Yeah. Can my vodka back? No. Marky Marky Polo asks, vodka uh, my back? Yeah. if you guys were to produce a game show, what would the premise be and who would you like to host it? Joel Rubin will host it. Yeah, Joel uh, Rubin will host, definitely. One of those long ha, ha, ha. Welcome I'm, back well, to the game show of Spin to win. Okay, what do you do? Uh, well, you gotta spin, so start spinning. Get up. No, 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 you're, you physically Okay, so spin. it's called spin to win, but the big showcase is there's the wheel. Spin. Right? Yep. And the wheel is, ju it just has spinning. anything on it. 
No, you don't have to spin. The wheel right. spins. What are you doing? And it has anything on it, but it's like one of those European well, yeah, game yeah. shows. You're getting more and more where points. Where there's also like more Joel's points. the host, oh, yeah. but there's a super busty. Today's episode of Spin to Win is brought to you and by. So she's like oh. always falling out of her tornado dress. fans. And since it's Europe, they like don't really care about nudity. So like a lot of times you get like regular people on the show, but by the end, like they'll spin the wheel and it'll say "Get oh, Naked" man. to win 500 bucks, and they'll do it. And remember it's to have your crazy. pets spayed or neutered. Good night, everybody. Every single time. Time. It would be amazing. It would be the best game show ever. Anything could happen in any episode. Joel, what do, what do we have to do? You just won. What did you? What? The show's over. I, I reminded the audience that they won. Really dizzy. Do, 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 do. Hold on. Spin to win. My answer is Golden Eye. Spin. Golden Eye. I recently, after 15 years, I destroyed. <laughs> it destroyed my nostalgia. We could stop. <laughs> Spinning it. Uh, <laughs> some guy played Uncharted 2 and thought it was Uncharted 4 and he wrote about it. <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck up. I've only heard the under part. I want to say to that guy, shut the fuck up. <laughs> do I need to rap again? Yes, go ahead. I need a, I need a sick da, 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 yeah. do, 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 When I play the drums, I play him right. I play him high and I play him tight. My name's Joel, I'm a fat competition. Don't shut up or I'll put you in your position. Oh, that was pretty good, Joel. All right, I guess I'll read the first question. Hold on. What? It's Halloween. Oh? It's a special Halloween version of Open House. You have to put it, show it, yeah. So what that means is there's like two questions Who about cares? Halloween or something. First question from Crawl Space Dweller. With Halloween inching closer, what are some good horror games and movies you could recommend? Fuck. See, I told you Halloween. Uh, you got you recommended Soma, right? Soma's great. Soma's Ooh, that's really that's good. Uh, did you say Selma? Selma's a really good Halloween movie. <laughs> Selma is a really good it's Halloween scary, movie. Scary. There's a lot of yeah. a lot of racial tension. A lot of racial very tension. Scary. Very very scary. Uh, what other? Oh, the, here's the thing. Blair Witch Project. Watch it at home, mm -hmm. turn the lights off, mm -hmm. and never look behind you. Oh! Ever. Never look behind you. Uh, you is, do you think the kiddies today only know Blair Witch Project as sort of like... A joke. A joke. Yeah. Fatal Frame 2 is real good. Um, Trick or Treat is a pretty good Halloween movie. What's that? Um, Ernest Costume Scared Quest Stupid? is the best Halloween game ever. Because you basically play as a kid going around getting candy from houses. It's cool. Um, it's cool. What's a good horror so game? I got stuck I in that game. I was gonna say Soma. Uh... Uh, Layers of Fear is pretty good. Ooh, too scary. Too scary. Too scary? Yeah, it's too spooky. It's really creepy. Uh, Lawrence, I, I have a feeling you have a really good Japanese scary movie. I already oh. said it. Oh, movie. Uh, House? Houseu? Is that it's the one with the cat? Yeah, it's a one with a lot of things. There's like a vagina piano that eats somebody. Yes! Forgetting the scariest game of all time. Oh, the seventh guest. Ooh. No, that's not scary. That's a it's game. a haunted house nope. wherein you have to solve puzzles that's involving cakes and skeletons. I'm now's just... hold on. Now's when I cut to that clip of it being not scary. Okay. I see in your eyes where tomorrow is hiding in my heart. Just for Walken's face is scary. <laughs> just Ricci's in general. Scary. Christina Ricci's hot. She yeah. is hot. She's totally but hot. But she looks like a ghost in that one. Yeah. No, she looks like a ghost in Casper. Oh, Casper, good Halloween movie. Next question. Zzz, compass, zzz. Do you think No Man's Sky will live up to the no. hype? Uh, no. Spool has an answer for it. No, I hate that game. You hate the game? Wait, why? I only hate the hype that's built up around it because we haven't seen anything really from it. Spool, are you excited about Fallout it's, 4? It's one of the games that's been getting hyped for years and years. Yes, Fallout 4 is cool. <laughs> but they actually showed a lot of stuff. Wait, the, they've shown a lot of gameplay from yeah, yeah. No Man's it's Sky. It's not an all gameplay. It's, but it's all come from what's his face, the developer. I haven't seen you anyone else. You think he's lying? You think he really made really. up a whole thing? Just to... I think he did to make a it's lot of money. It's all animated. <laughs> it's, it's all computer. What? I I don't know. It's one of those games where they Look promised they promised Spool. a lot of things for a lot of the years, Spool. and I've been a burned by games years. like that in the past, and I don't believe it until I get my hands on it. Well, you came back from your vacation with a bad attitude. Yeah, he did. You're mad because at the developer for only saying what the game is, yeah. as opposed to being mad at the people for making it blown out of proportion and thinking that they're going to live yeah, in a space at, but, world. Like, I'm for example, maybe like a dumb internet gaming show that asks, No Man's Sky, biggest game ever? <laughs> what yeah. kind of assholes would do that, blow it out of proportion? <laughs> that was a language issue. Biggest as in scope. 
Promises on promises. My answer is yes. As Dispensa, if you had to choose between how if you had to choose Halloween costumes for each other, what would you pick and why? Oh, real uh, quick. Yeah. Do you, are we gonna wear Halloween costumes for Dude Soup Live? Yeah, we, oh, all, yeah, we, we all are. Absolutely. Are we? That's we not all on Halloween. are. Yeah. Okay. Spool, you guys were all wearing costumes. Anyway, I think uh, a good costume for Lawrence would be either Lord Humongous or Immortan Joe from oh, Mad Max. Immortan Joe. Awesome. <laughs> really good. I wanna make Joel dress up as the Native American dude from Predator. Wait, the Indian guy that dies? Well, yeah. Remember when he goes on the bridge and he's like, Face me, Predator! And, and he, he cuts himself. What about and then he... literally two seconds later, he's dead. Yeah, he's immediately exploded. <laughs> what That's about me, says Native American guy from Predator? I don't know, I just want to see you cut yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see Pete as Teen Wolf, but like as Teen Wolf where he's wearing like the jacket. Oh. And that's a oh, good one. Doing glasses. backflips on a van. That's yeah. a good one. I like that. I would say James should be Atlas, carrying the way of the world. On oh, his look at that, huh? How literary. I mean, I'd just be spray painted gold. And yeah. I'd have to carry some shit around all night. No, no, that's that's the cover for Atlas Shrug. <laughs> You'd be squatting the whole oh. time. Oh, I should go as Ayn Rand for help. Oh, wow. This scariest costume. Unfortunately, <laughs> you have to be the Native American predator. Yeah, you so. stole because I was going to be Jane Austen. I wanted to be Jane Austen. You know, the writer of Pride and Prejudice. What female writer should everybody <laughs> in front of us be? Um, all right, let's move on. <laughs> Hold on, no one picked any, uh, Peak, what would Spool be? Spool, for some reason, I'm picturing, I don't know what you call them, the little, the little- A transgender? No. The little, Smurf. The little squids in Mario. The little oh, white squids. Oh. Really? I don't know why. Inky? Yeah, that'd be Inky? really cute. Blinky? A bloop? No, the bloopers are the fish. Yeah, I think Inky. No, Inky. I think you're right. Inky's the ghost from Pac-Man. I think Ooh. it is bloop. I think you're right, it might be bloops. Yeah, you're right, because Cheap Cheeps are the fish. It is a blooper. Jeff RVB says, Dear Funhouse, you suck. Why? Follow up. Is it hard to be this unpopular? Why is he always getting at us? Why is he always getting at us? So here's the thing. First of all, you asked two questions. Yeah. Which you can't do. That's against the rules. <laughs> uh, let's, should we roll Adam's monologue about two questions that yep. made everybody upset? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Wait, no, he was mad about people answering their own question. He's right? been mad about a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. he was mad about a lot of things in the last episode. This is, I, I believe, Jeff Ramsey of Achievement Hunter. He's supposed to be really creative and funny. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And... He, what? He, none, none, none of those what? things are on there. He's basically it, writing like our it's like fans. A, it's he like a child. A He's like, like a little baby. Stream of consciousness. Do you think he wrote this into his computer using a crayon? <laughs> Tapping on <laughs> the keys? <laughs> are we going to answer the question? Yeah, well, so why do we suck? No, I know why. Also, we modeled uh, our channel after achievement. Yeah, that's yep, why. That's true. Um, and now, just because, well, uh, is it hard to be this unpopular? He says we're unpopular. Should we should we look at the subscriber numbers on the channels? Uh, let's check those subscriber numbers one yeah, more time. Yeah, sure. And Funhouse is at 783,322 subscribers. That's a pretty big number. G1 Hunter is at 763,000. That's a little bit less, isn't it? That's less. Ooh, that is a smaller number. Ooh, That's not as big. Ooh. Doesn't that make us more popular? Ooh. I, Ida and Spell. Uh -huh. Damn it. Fucking Reddit username. You got it. If Funhouse was an acronym, what would each letter be? Well, the letters would be F U N H A U S. Good point. Nice. Lawrence. <laughs> no, nice. No Lawrence. Lawrence, you don't get it. Chris D dollar sign. No, it's not a dollar it's sign. Just an S. Chris D S one one. <laughs> you all escape death. Now, like Final Destination, mm. your death is imminent. How do you die? Spooky. Um, wait, 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 wait. If we say it out loud, does that mean that we're actually going to die this way? No, it's going to come true either way. I got yeah. mine. Okay, go ahead. Mine is I'll be sitting at my computer playing video games and I'm going to spill a drink onto my power surge protector Boring. and it's going to shock me with uh -huh. the water Drinks. and I die in the That's not like elaborate that. enough. It really is. It needs very to be elaborate. like one of those crazy devices. Then yeah. I have a giant glass pane following me from the oh, sky. Okay. Oh, there, there we go. That's I like better. Ghost. That's better. It always comes back to the end of Ghost, doesn't it? Doesn't it have to be sort of ironic for who you are as well? Yeah, uh, I was going to say, I'd probably be at the gym. Mm -hmm. I'd probably be exercising at the gym doing squats. Mm -hmm. And then there would be some guy who knocked over a weight that rolls oh, yeah. across the whole uh -huh. thing, uh -huh. which bumps into a person that goes, ouch! Uh -huh. And then that person nudges something, which then causes something else to fall. And then, and then I just realize that I'm not strong enough and I just 
just crumple under the weight and then I dust <laughs> die there. It's really similar to how I die actually, which is I'm uh, on stage in my first ever starring Broadway role. Oh. And uh, a light Cat starring Joel Rubin. comes crashing down, but it doesn't hit me, it hits the guy next to me. Uh -huh. And I'm like, woo, close one. And then somebody from the audience comes up and, and they stab me because oh, I'm really no. bad. In the music. <laughs> oh I no, oh, man, Lawrence, what about you? Murdered. Uh, I would. Oh. All right. <laughs> I yes. would I would finally get one of those VR headsets, and I would play some kind of anime porn game until I died of starvation. Oh, yeah. Would you have the pistol? How ironic! Would you have the <laughs> Damn you, death! You found me! <laughs> you, know, you know what would be better is if the piston pounder fucked you into oblivion. Yeah, it shatters my pelvis, oh, but I can't feel You're it. Your apartment so gets struck stimulant. by lightning and it overcharges the device. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I love this too much! Uh, Matt Peake, what about you? Mm, let's see. I was working on Saturday, which is the Sabbath, and God struck me down. Okay. All right. That's hey, wow. supernatural. So yeah. dangerous. Uh, for me, I, so here's a, there's a chain, it's a chain reaction. So, number one, I wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, I get out of bed. Butterfly. The effect. alarm goes off. Yep. Uh, first thing I usually do is I go and I pee. Right? Mm -hmm. Pee into the toilet. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, there's, I don't usually flush because California's in a drought. Then I hop into the shower. Shower's mm -hmm. only about five minutes because mm -hmm. California's in a drought. I come out, usually try and avoid the toilet because my bathroom's really small. Naked, fully naked. Yep. But I'm all wet, right? Dried off a little yeah. bit. So I come out. I come out. Ah. <laughs> That's gonna smell really bad, but were you stalling so that would roll out in the middle of your story? No, no. Oh, okay. I, I just have to fart. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I come out. You're gonna fart yourself to death. It's I'm pretty easy. I'm naked. Ooh, it smells terrible. Uh, <laughs> I think you have to hold it in. I, Basically, I don't know if you guys know, but when I'm wet, I usually use a blow dryer to blow dry myself. Uh oh, <laughs> it's not a joke. Uh, a spark shoots out of the blow dryer. Oh no! That lights a couple of my hairs on fire, and I go ah, 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 like that. <laughs> I drop the blow dryer. It falls into the toilet full of piss. Oh no! I accidentally put my hand in there as I'm falling, trying to brace myself. Hand goes in the toilet. I get electrocuted with piss and the blow dryer <laughs> as my chest is on fire. Oh wow! It's beautiful in, in a certain kind of what, way. What kind of Fart is your dying fart. Well, no, it's not a fart. I shit everywhere because when you die, your bowels explode. I like you drowning in your own electric piss. Uh, <laughs> electric By the way, piss starring Bruce Green. Yeah, I was gonna say that's Joel's first show. Uh, starring Joel <laughs> Rubin to get the stab by an audience member. Uh, final question from Yoda the Hobbit: If you could write the plot of Star Wars: The Force Awakens, what would happen? I'm pretty sure it would be Bruce goes to the he wakes up, he yep. pisses in a toilet, yep. uh, he takes a shower, that's right. he gets out of the shower, uh, all wet, uh, all wet. He, he goes to blow dry, dry himself, himself because he's too wet. Spark shoots out of the blow dryer, uh -huh. lights his chest on fire. He goes, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> It slips, falls, in, puts, the, puts the thing in the in the toilet, and then lands face down in the toilet, and then gets electrocuted by his own piss. And at and the very shit. end of the movie, goes. To to be continued. <laughs> and then it goes to the next movie, which is just still you lying in there, and someone knocking and going, Bruce, Bruce, is everything okay? Where does the lightsaber come in, though? Man, I can't wait for Star Wars. I'm glad I already have my ticket. My movie would be me in real life going to work, and then. And then a Jedi comes out of a starship and says, Lawrence, we need you to come and save the galaxy. Here are your awesome lightsabers. And then I get them all, and then I go and fight starships in space. No, no, you have to build your own lightsaber. You're, Lawrence and is then, like, I can help. And then it run, he runs onto the ship, and then it hard cuts to him with glasses, like VR glasses on, getting pounded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good! <laughs> Man, this movie's going to be awesome. This is really going to be good. Good for mm. spool. So this is it, he's real happy. Yeah, like you're him. talking like like this. Okay. Hello, my name is Bruce. Wait, we haven't yeah, like synced yet. You're losing all of this. I got a haircut. Uh, the person who cut uh, my hair knew what Ruby was. Uh, and, then, and then I was like, I was like, yeah, I work for a channel called Funhouse, and she goes, I've heard of that. Weird. No, she hasn't. She's heard of Funhouse. She, she, knew, she knew Rooster Teeth. She knew Rooster Teeth. And she knew Ruby. James I, I said, oh yeah, I'm James Williams. And she Williams. <laughs> James Williams. <laughs> <laughs> you may have heard of me. My name is Jamie Williams. <laughs> Joel, we need you. Holy shit. YouTube Red. And they're going to distribute all the money evenly. What? YouTube is communist. It's the, that's what it makes. That's why it's called YouTube Red. Yeah, that's why it's called. It, by the way, Joel thinks it's, this is really cute. Wait, you just clap. None of this is usable because Lawrence is playing with his mic. Well, that's it's all usable. It's fine. Clap. The fucking shit. No, what we happened? haven't clapped yet, but it's all being recorded on audio. Fine. I, I understand Fuck that you can go back. Record like this. Right. No, I understand Do you? that. Because you just said we were gonna lose all of this if we don't clap sync. Well, if you'll excuse me for a moment. <laughs> 
fine. You guys, oh, there's no way to rewind. All open houses happen if, like, I'm cutting it. It's real time. And it's real time edits, which means that I have to make the photoshops before we move on to the Whoa. next part. Otherwise, I can't use them. Is it possible? It's really tough. Every single week is a it's a challenge. It's a sprint and a marathon. So I can't wait till Adam gets back. He doesn't make fun of me ever. <laughs> Don't everyone everyone thinks that you and Adam hate each other. I know. Let's start the show. I agree with Joel. You guys are goofing around way too much. Sorry, Lawrence. First question from Weebo Mary Hopto. Where in the world would you hide Carmen San Diego? In Bruce's butt. Nice. Nice job. I say first. Nice job, Spool. That's kind of close. I would try. I would probably hide her either in San Diego, because <laughs> oh. no one would ever look, That's true. Um, or in my pants. Ooh. She's kind of cute. Is she Felicio. hot? Is Carmen San Diego hot? Oh, yeah, she's absolutely. You better she's believe she's But hot. is she small enough to she's fit in your smoking. pants? She's smoking. Really? Look it up right now. Look up Carmen San Diego. Oh wow, there's a picture right there. Look up at that. The right. Oh man. Whoa. Are you looking at Rule Thirty Four? No, just where? Uh, no, I didn't do that. <laughs> She has a style that's all her own. Yeah, I admire that. So, uh, next question, James. Uh, Wall Smither, uh, did you guys have any comedy idols growing up that influenced your current comedic style? Um, my yeah, comedy idol uh, was Joseph Goebbels. Oh, <laughs> very funny. A very funny the man. Very Mass funny Mass. movies. I could, I could not laugh because Joel, <laughs> the look that Joel gave me. <laughs> it's like I'm someone so kicked him in the nuts, but slowly, <laughs> and we were watching his face transition from being normal to being kicked in the nuts. I've told you over and over, Joel, that I'm Jewish. I can make these jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the Pocahontas in there. I, there's a little Pocahontas, a little Jewish, and a lot of, like, Irish and Dutch. What were your comedic influences, uh, Joseph Goebbels? <laughs> I mean, Joel Rubin? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I, I, you know, I enjoyed a good chuckle uh, every now and then as a kid. Did I like just say who it was? Uh, I like Dennis the Menace. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis the Menace? <laughs> animated! He's like an anti- <laughs> It's not even no, funny! I like Mel Brooks uh, okay, as a go. kid. I like Monty Python a lot. I like Animaniacs a ton. Uh, Who does? Uh, yeah, those were all good. But the, did those influence your comedy? Because you're not like any of those. Yeah, here's the th- problem, Joel. You're not zany to the max. <laughs> <laughs> do I write musical parodies all the time? That's, you do. That's true. Yeah, I, so fuck you. That's a good point. Hey guys, if Dennis the Menace were black, he would have been shot. All right. <laughs> Walking down the street with a slingshot in his pocket. Lawrence, what about you? I'm not funny, so I don't know. I uh, I watched a lot of Star Trek. <laughs> Funny show. All right, I want to know. Hold on. The most important answer is always Matt Peak. So Matt Peak, <laughs> who makes you laugh the most, and who do you want to be like? That's not the question at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fine, Matt. Read the question and then answer it. I don't need to read it. We already read it. But the answer is no. I don't think I have much of a comedic style. Oh, but stop! It. I grew up. I liked Steve Martin and Martin Short and Ooh, guys like that. All very good. Animaniacs is good too, Joel. Oh, I'm going to cater your daughter's wedding. Oh boy, <laughs> that was good. Yeah. What's the what's the breakfast at Tiffany's? Oh yeah, uh, and, uh, Mickey, uh, Mickey, Mickey Rooney. Rooney. <laughs> He's my comedic influence. <laughs> Kraken. If you could add Tom Clancy to any game title, e.g. Tom Clancy's Extreme Bleach Volleyball, nice. <laughs> what would it be and how would the content of the game change? Mm-hmm. Tom Clancy's Tampon Run. That's, is that a game? Oh, yeah, it is, is a game. That is it a is a game. game. We learned that. Absolutely. Yeah, Tom Clancy has to go. His wife is super pissed and he's like, oh, fuck me. All right, fine. I'll get whatever you want. <laughs> and he, he goes outside, gets in his car, drives to the store, gets in a car wreck and dies. Uh, mine would be Tom Clancy's Surgeon Simulator, except you're trying to revive Tom Clancy. Oh, <laughs> that's the sequel to Tampon Run. Oh, it, you no, always fail. Mine is Tom Clancy's uh, Shower with Dad Simulator, but it's actually an old Tom Clancy, and his dad is even like super, super old. Oh. So you get a lot of old man bowls. Old man bowls. So it's Dad and Granddad Shower Simulator. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Clancy's Gone Home. It's just Tom Clancy. On, sitting on a cloud, smiling and waving at all the living people. <laughs> What's that lesbian game? Has it gone home? Yeah. Tom Clancy's gone home. That's what he just said. Hey, Bruce. <laughs> I'm in the room. Pompous Sheep asks, this is for Peak. If you could start your own show, like Spool's Dollar an Hour, what would it be? Matt Peak. It's a great question. Mm, maybe something like the Achievement Mop. And for me and Lawrence, Mop Up Achievements we don't have yet. Fuck yeah. Uh, mop uh, Up Achievements. Wait, why do you call it Mop Up? I don't know. It's like, yeah, I, I guess I have a couple games. You think that you're are... so good at this game? Are you a no, 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 no. Well, I was going to say, you just get know. so many achievements, and then Lawrence ejaculates all over himself because you, you, you could call Clean yourself. Me up, Matt. 
And Come then on, Matt you has can call to it, it up. Achievement Hunters. It's nice. Like, that's a good name for it. Come on, I can't man. believe we're missing the talent show. Wow. We gotta hurry this, up and wrap this up. This open house up this is not going the, well. This is the untalent show. My talent could be getting achievement points. <laughs> Lawrence, read the next question. People, please sit there and watch me. T Liger uh, asks In a 1v1 arm wrestle tournament between Funhouse and Achievement Hunter, who would you pit against whom and would Funhouse win? Oh, boy. Mm. Seriously, pound for pound, Funhouse is stronger than Achievement well, Hunter. Well, that's a, no yeah. doubt. I think I, I, everybody already knew that. Yeah. No doubt. Okay. I'm probably the wait, Spool. You and I look at look at Spool. Bull. Spool goes to the gym. I know, Spool goes to the gym. But I did arm wrestle Spool a couple weeks ago, and I beat him, which Ooh. was surprising. That's because you're bad at me. Hold on, wait. That's not legit because I was not present. <laughs> Let's for that. do it, Spool. Right, and arm, it was arm wrestling. It was arm wrestling. Arm wrestling. Arm wrestling. The angle was like this. Oh, the angle, yeah. Oh, it's an angle. We're using the stool. Oh, okay. Oh, card table, too. We don't need a card table. We're using the stool. I'm still going to lay this. I'll hold it. Okay. I'll hold it. So you, you guys watch out here. All right. You good? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. When I pull my hands away, you go. Yeah. Ready? Oh, shit. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Oh, hey, oh Spool's gonna win! Oh, Spool's gonna win! No, 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 Jizzy fairy. Jizz fairy. <laughs> Jizz fairy. Y'all eat ass? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's two points. Uh, my answer is no. Uh, it depends on the ass. Okay. Oh, that's a good answer. Joel? Joel? No. It's true. I've had a good rump roast before. Lawrence? Not yet. <laughs> He's waiting. Matt yeah. Peak? No. <laughs> I'm just not ruling anything out, is yeah. what I'm saying. You know. It's a long, it's a long life. I don't want to go without all experience. They mean lick the anus, right? Yes, lick the anus. Oh, <laughs> then no. <laughs> uh, last question from Not So Fun House. If Fun House were to direct Jurassic World 2, how would they make it a successful follow-up film, James? Not make it. Mm. Because James um, loved Jurassic World. I loved it. He was a huge, was a huge fan. Huge of it. fan. Uh, he, it, he actually really loves Colin Trevorrow. There, the there was a director. point where I was watching it and I, I completely forgot I was James Willems, and I just thought I was there in that world. Um, I probably wouldn't make it. I would not make it. Why? That's, because that's, wait, hold on. It made like 1.9 billion dollars. Yeah, that's enough for at least two movies to make. More. So now we can count ourselves good for two, and let's move on. More raptors? I really think I could. I People think like raptors. Like Put wings on it. Yeah, make a monster with wings. You, you, you have to strengthen your arm and then. Yeah, but give me like a week. I think I can do it. You gotta and start then, lifting heavy. And then the monster, the wing monster, he flies off the island and he goes to San Diego and they chase him around in a car. That's and you get Jeff Goldblum back. And you call a car in San Diego. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. Joel, that was good, but I feel sick to my stomach. That actually was <laughs> really, really good. Uh, Stop leaving. recording. Woo. You won't hear any other part of the song that sounds like this. That was good. To the other side. Want, good stuff. Want to intro the show? Yeah, can I? You can intro. You Here's want me to intro? I think it's fine. I mean, Lawrence I, is pooping. I think if anything, you guys should learn to do things without me. We can't. I'm not always Impossible. around. Maybe there's, you should do like two straight weeks of open house without me. There's it's not never like been I invented a period of time thing. where we've been able to do open house or any show for that matter. You, you without invented any individual member of this group. You invented open house. Uh, kind of. I told Bruce one day. I said, "Hey, I want what to if we? About <laughs> what if we answer questions and we just point webcams at each other? It'll be easy." And then he said, "What if we have like twelve webcams and, then, and it's really hard?" And then you went, "I'll kill you." Hey Never. everybody, welcome to Open House. Hey. Uh, this is a show where we answer questions. Bruce Ugh. isn't here. Adam wasn't here last week, so we no. had to trade Adam for Bruce because <laughs> they're the same person. This is what happens around Easter. People travel. Lawrence Deal. is an empty chair. Lawrence. 
Okay. Let's do our first question this week. Uncle Jekka Kelly. Uh, hey, guys. If you had to pick a song that described each other, what would they be? Uh, Adam's song would be The Bitch is Back. Is that Billy Joel? I like Billy Joel. I want to be Uptown Girl. Mine would be... You don't get to uh, pick your own. Uh, Joel would be Killer Queen. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> Somebody do me, do me. Um, Lawrence would be Meet Me Halfway by the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> um, because I was just singing it earlier and now he's in the toilet and halfway between here and the toilet is where all the snacks are. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Can Pete be Nine Inch Nails' Closer? Yeah. Okay. Pete wants to fuck you like an animal. <gasps> he wants to feel you from the inside. With his Those penis hole. Next question from Master Prism <laughs> ZA. Um, so, we know Adam hates everything. Bruce hates platformers. And James hates The Last of Us. What do Spool, Lawrence, and Joel hate? Hmm. Well, I think for this question, we should go right to Lawrence. All right, oh, Lawrence. Guys. What do you hate? What no, game? I hate, I hate uh, friends that will wait for everyone else, but mm -hmm. won't wait for you to come out of the mm -hmm. fucking bathroom. I hate shooters, You're, but I love Overwatch, but I'm bad at Overwatch. Cool, what do you hate? Um, I get really ragey at shooters. I think I hate No Man's Sky. That was my answer from before, right? Okay. Uh, Throw it. Fatbo IRL asks, Fat Lawrence, the Funhouse office has now become a harem date sim visual novel. Good. Okay. With each member as a bachelor at and USMC, what trope is each member, and what are some flags? Mm. I don't like this question. I'm already getting so embarrassed, but also aroused at the same time thinking about his first. My favorite questions are when they say, go down the line of all of you. And me funny. My favorite ones are the ones where somebody asks me a question, then everyone else answers first. Was there a lot of, we, should, um, we should probably just clear out. Right, right, Lawrence, we're going to leave the room. We're going to let all you right, guys I'll take it over from here. Yeah. I'm just going to go under here. I'm still trying to pull up the email. Where is it? Lawrence, Shared I'm, I'm listening. Lawrence, Where are you? Lawrence, I'm listening. Oh, it's on drive. Hold on. Lawrence, just All right, well, Bruce, Bruce would be the Sundare. That's easy. The spool would be the, the shy, coquettish one. Probably would be injured. He'd probably have an eye patch or something. Uh, Joel would be the quiet, intellectual one. I think Matt would actually be the girl next door type. The one that you were childhood friends with, uh, but didn't remember. And then you were actually fated to be together. You know, that means he's obviously the last one you bang. Um, James would be the sporty one. He'd have the biggest boobs, that's for sure. Can I come back now? Jebtra, is there any time where you guys ever got overwhelmed over the shows you have create? Uh, you yeah, have sometimes create. we get overwhelmed by open house. <laughs> And, uh... There it is. And, uh, sometimes we're trying to do it, and people are moving and shaking, and then, uh, we think it'd be funny to start it a little bit early. Because we know Lawrence is coming back from the toilet, and we think it's, oh, well, we're starting the webcam, it'll be joke. funny, and then, joke. uh, but then, uh, you know, sometimes things get heated, you end up under a table. What can you do? We have difficult lives. Like, a lot of the games you guys play are not funny. But you guys make them funny. There's a Halo, it. drunk Halo, and that's a fucking disaster. That's an assassination! I watched you die! Nutmeg, nutmeg my taint. Why do I always get the crazy names? <laughs> if you could remove one gaming device from existence, what would it be, and why? Knock off game controllers. Oh, yeah? Nice. You don't have to off game, like Mad Cat's crazy names yeah. or whatever? Yep. Um, my favorite one I remember, besides the Spider-Man dildo looking one, I remember there were controllers mm -hmm. that had airflow through them. Because because gamers, I don't you guys know this, right? Yeah, huh? Your hands get sweaty. Because we're, we're just sweaty pigs. And so like we need controllers that have airflow and they blow on your hands and they keep your hands dry. Lawrence, you remember these, right? Yeah, I had a Thank roommate you. in college with really sweaty palms and he actually really liked those controllers. Oh. That's, you you should you need to evaluate your life before you start I think gaming chairs are a little overrated. I think I think you uh, could get it. Like these ones? What? These gaming chairs? Well, the problem is it's marketed as a gaming chair. You yeah, can just get just a, a chair. comfortable so chair. Here's a controller. Gaming at a higher level. 
Remember when we were in Austin and we complained that Adam didn't get excited for videos because he was being really wacky with the Achievement Hunter guys? And now he's being like excited and really wacky and we're just barely tolerating it. <laughs> it's like you guys just don't like me. <laughs> Wait, so to answer your it, question, yes, sometimes we do get overwhelmed making videos. <laughs> uh, by the way, I was gonna say uh, gunners, except Joe looks like Joe looks awesome in them. Is so he wearing them? They stick around. Yeah, where are your gunners, Joel? No, Boom! Oh, gamer grub. I can grub. see all. I can see sharp corners. But gamer grub. I'm ready to go. It's food, at least. <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> did, you know, did you notice he was not looking into his own webcam when he did the posing? He looked at the wrong monitor. And... Uh, Lawrence, next question. It's going to be, okay, oh. Slick Robbery asks, is there a moment in your life you regret fucking up and wish you could go back in time to handle that situation differently? Uh, sure, when I totaled my car and haven't been able to afford a new car since, or maybe when my ex-wife left me. I would like to go back oh, This is the hardest but episode did you, to watch did ever! Sometimes open house is a little overwhelming. <laughs> um, I would go back in time and I would, uh, I regret handling this situation where I told, asked Lawrence if he wanted to buy my futon, which caused him to get into his car to drive to my apartment and Ooh. get into a car accident in total's <laughs> car. <laughs> That's also, I also regret the time that I started Lawrence's webcam before he got out of the toilet that <laughs> we started doing open house beforehand because then it caused Lawrence to total his car. <laughs> Uh, when I was a teenager, I smashed up- one day I was really bored with my best friend and we smashed up a bunch of car windows and stuff at my grandparents' house because we thought they were just junker cars and no one would miss them. That was worth thousands of dollars and I spent the whole summer working for my grandparents. Spool was a dick. Bad I he was. smashed his grandparents' car. Well, it was junker cars, cars in the backyard, let's be clear. Kids do that. But though, also like, the pool pump got smashed and that was shit for good. no reason. Kids are shitheads. Uh, I have no regrets. That's why I have my lower back tattoo that says, no regrets. I was gonna say, I was gonna say are, <laughs> are you, do you regret that moment you looked into the wrong monitor and like posed? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wookie has a... <laughs> say it, Peek. Wookie has a wizard dick. If, if the Funhouse office were to go up in flames, what items would you try to save? Lawrence. Tyrone. Tyrone's a good answer. Yeah. Um, my turtle beach headphones. Uh, turtle beach headphones. I would um, I would just I wouldn't Hashtag take the PCs. Add. I would just grab all the hard drives. Okay. I just knock them over, just rip them out, and just run out with everything. I think that would take too long. I think no, the that's fine. I might lose an arm, but it's worth all the data. Uh, um, my Dragon Ball Z poster, probably. <laughs> that's good. That's a good choice. Good choice. Save my coffee cup. Been I would the longest. I would save the, for, myself. Really, turning colors. Because Wait, my turtle beach my headphones are wireless, I would be able to have my hands free to carry my dog out because I've been bringing Benson in more often. Good. So he probably would not understand how flames work, and he would just be sitting <laughs> there, and I'd have to carry him out. Peek, what would you save? Probably my TV. I don't know how, but I'd probably try and get it out of here. How did that get in here? Uh, Bruce helped me move it in. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I just imagine Peek. Peek, yeah. it's on fire! I'm just... Peek, leave the TV! He's like, I can't drag it! It's too heavy! Where's Bruce? Uh, Bruce left! He's not in open house! We also have a fridge full of beer. That comes in handy. Oh, I forgot about that. You can't yeah. carry the fridge out! You want we, one later? You want to yeah, drink a beer with me? Yeah, I actually might want one later. Hold on, I'm turning on the noise canceling. We could, we could use the fridge and the beer in the fridge to put out the fire. <laughs> or we could sit in the fridge, like Batman or Indiana Jones, and wait the fire out. <laughs> Why not both? I noticed nobody said they would save all the precious fan art and gifts that all uh, of our audience members Where is that? I don't even know where that is. They're on the cloud. I actually did. I said I would save myself. One, two, three. I think we did it. This is the perfect clap. That was really perfect. Oh, you were gone last time? Mm. Uh huh. Oh, good depth of field on this one. Like mm. on Hold on, real quick, something. before we start. You, you blew it. <clears throat> is everybody here? I'm here. Yeah, we're all here. Oh, okay. Oh, well, all right. Matt we're all here. You missed the clap. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's on the flat, though. <clears throat> <clears throat> He's really amused with himself <clears throat> right now. I know. Well, Matt, man, when Matt Peake makes a joke, it's pretty funny, typically. Pretty funny. I agree. No, Welcome it's back not. to an absent free episode of Open House. We're all here. We made it. Hey. This is, this is really useful because while I was watching the anime Attack on Titan, I was going, I wonder what her boobs feel like. That's a woman. Read that first question. Hey, first question this week comes from, what is that? Elaine, Elaine in the, the French. French? 
Is Funhouse cartoons gonna be a thing? How often can we expect that? Joel? That's, that's a Joel question. Yeah, it's gonna be a thing as long as we got money to make it. You're getting closer to the microphone. There you yeah, go. Yeah, it's gonna be a thing as long as we have money, we, we have money to make it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be doing them about well, we're at once a month. Yep. The end of the month. Yep. We have hopefully six episodes on lock right now. Tune in Saturdays every month for and Funhouse th- cartoons. Every month. This every is Saturday. Harder to watch than Firefly. Saturday at the end of the month. Every Tune in month. Saturdays at every the, month. At the every end of every month. Tune so, in is Saturday. That a lunar month. Quick, ah, are there any ladies out there who got their period the last time you saw a Funhouse cartoon? Woo! It's gonna happen again. Woo! Consult, Consult you know. Blood Moon. Consult your mothers. Check what? Next question from Super Pie 64. If each of the Funhouse guys had statues erected in their honor, <clears throat> erected, erected. Uh, what would the plaques at the bottom say? Uh, what would Spool's statue be, and what would it say? Here lies. Our little it's baby a, boy. Is it a gravestone now? He's not dead. He it's a statue world, of He was the baby of the world. Oh. Child of the world. No, he's not dead. I'm My not, plaque would high. say, Six Simper Badass. Uh, I would be kind of shrugging, and the plaque would say, Despite having a statue erected in his honor, he still found a way to feel bad about himself. <laughs> <clears throat> Adam? Uh, mine would say, Wrong Guy. I get it. That's funny. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, James? Back to Austin. Fuck you guys. Uh, <laughs> Wait, why are you coming? No, don't come. Come back. Mine would good. say, Adam, come back. Where are you going? No, Adam, no. <laughs> hey, Peek, what would your plaque say? Probably s- s- stop reading this. This would be the statue that like this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tough. Stop reading I'd this. I'd be in Peek's statue. Stop reading this plaque and get back to work. Is what I would say. Nice. <laughs> Like, wow. I like when Peek is much more clever than the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> Soviet Russia. I'm going to uh, attribute it to the fact that he can quietly sit over there for five minutes and come up with a good joke. All right, well, you answer last this next question. It's going to be really funny. Oh, like okay. Master Prism ZA, mm-hmm. what is the fanciest slash most expensive gaming peripheral you ever purchased that you didn't really need? PS3. All gaming Ooh. peripherals. Mm-hmm. Like gaming in general. Um, I'm going to, what was the name of the, the Genesis gun? To compete with the Super Scope? I'm not afraid of the Genesis gun. I didn't know, I didn't know Genesis. Was there a Genesis gun? gun? Yeah. There's like the Mega Nader or something. Was there a Genesis gun? Yeah, it was I a can't answer yet. Nothing. Boy. Spool, what about you? You game on PCs. So I you... bought a Nostromo a long, long, long time ago. Oh, I got one of those, too. If you know what that is, you could pre-program keys, and it would like, automatically do things for you. So I'd use it in MMOs to like, do crafting automatically for me, because back then, you couldn't queue stuff up. It would do like individual like button press every time you want to craft. This is what so you could do that, do. or you, I'd use it to twist on my on my minstrel and on Dark Age Camelot to like twist and have a pet go on. Get a minstrel cycle. Oh, yeah. My. Let me twist your minstrels. Here. Yep, twist, yeah. it, twist yeah. it on my minstrel. Matt Peek, what about you? Uh, I don't think I've ever bought any Smart gaming man. peripherals. I bought maybe uh, I bought Rock Band before I bought <laughs> it. Didn't let him finish. <laughs> well, no, but he did say <laughs> he, he was done. He was done. He's literally done. Literally Matt said he never bought anything, so I moved on. No, Peek, I, what, what were you? What was the second half of your sentence? What were you? I think I got half. a Game Shark as a gift, and it didn't work that well. Oh, okay. for yeah. what? Game Shark as a gift? That's not even very expensive. Should've, it should have just gone straight to Bruce. Regardless, anyways, I bought Rock Band. Cut that. I bought Rock Band before I bought an Xbox. So Xbox was my peripheral. That was the most expensive peripheral. Uh, and that's Xbox. all the time we have for everybody for that question. Let's move on to the next actually, question. I, did, I have an extra anecdote about the Nostromo. Remember how it had the little nub on the side no spool? No yeah. I, I thought that was an analog movement rather than just like four different keystrokes. It Waste was, of fucking money. All right, guys, you ready? Lawrence. Thousand. Uh, so first, I want to call attention to the fact that Peak wasn't last, and his answer wasn't really that funny. Uh, <laughs> second of all, jeez! Oh, oh my gosh! I wasn't oh, trying to be funny. That was funny though. That's all right. I wasn't Go trying on, to be Lawrence. funny. Uh, mostly it's just me bagging on Peak. I don't really have a good answer. Uh, the only thing I can have, like, it's funny and sad, like most of my life. Uh, instead of buying an expensive pad, I built a DDR pad. Oh my gosh. I went to Home Depot, I got lumber, plexiglass, and sheet metal, and built, like, an arcade-spec pad in my friend's garage, and then wired it through a PlayStation 2 controller and used that. Where's that, uh, where's that dance pad now? Uh, you know, I think I left it at my parents' house, and I'm pretty sure my dad used it for firewood. Ooh. Ooh the yeah, my dad. <laughs> Aaron's real nice. Joel, he, he didn't use it for firewood, he just knew what it was. Joel, please move us it. on. Read the next question. Aaron Thole, all of your past offices seem to have had a distinguishing feature that gave it a sense of identity. The wooden column, the street-facing window wall, red blue room, the holocaust wall, etc. What is it in your current space that makes it special? The Burgle House. 
It looks like we're a mile underground. <laughs> cricket right. Joe? Warehouse. Oh, there's lots of crickets. Cricket Joe hasn't been here for a while. Yeah, yeah I think he's dead. Um, yeah. I found warehouse. a lizard in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, lizard Joe? Lizard. Yeah. We have we have uh, highly flammable soundproofing that goes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if Bruce farts and I light a match, there's a 50-50 chance this whole place is going up. Yeah, it's a lot of matches. The, high, the ceiling is also way up there. Yeah, uh, I guess the, the room. The bat cave. All the space is the defining feature oh, of the this. Oh, the beer fridge. Oh, yeah, oh, we have the a beer, beer fridge. fridge. There it is. We don't have anything. Nothing, really. Oh, this, so bad. this is the this, most perfect I'd room we've ever had. It's yeah. still a work in progress. It's, we're getting there. We have plans for it. We're going to have a drop ceiling. We're going to have wall panels. Orange. We're going to have a custom homemade DDR set. <laughs> no, only we can find some firewood. We're not so. going to do that. <laughs> we'll read the next question. Uh, Simon Aiken, mm -hmm. for the 2016 Funhouse calendar, which month or months would each of you pose for, and what would the seasonal festive theme be? That's my favorite question. I, uh, mine would be August, because that's my birthday. I was going to say. Um, oh, that's my birthday, though. my pose... Can I be, be in it? The, uh, have you ever, guys ever seen the uh, famous picture of Burt Reynolds on the mm -hmm. bare carpet? Yeah. yeah. It'd be Burt Reynolds on the, on the carpet, but then I would be above him Totally naked, oh. uh, with basically basically tea bag. Like, oh, okay. That's you what I would do. Oh. Yeah, that's my post. Thing. Spool, what are you gonna do since you're also August? I'm in August. I'm gonna be the carpet. Oh, so you're gonna do, we're gonna just cram so you into that. Burt Reynolds is laying on him, uh, and I'm tea bagging. Yeah. Burt Reynolds. Okay. Uh, I, I would. Um, I'd probably be in August. It's my favorite month. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's good. It's when school starts. <laughs> yeah. Um, I gotta squeeze in there some. So I'm gonna be sexy uh, helicopter pilot. For the veterans. And this is on the, the same veterans. image that has Burt Reynolds and school as a carpet and Bruce on top of him. You could be Burt no Reynolds' mustache. This is, uh, <laughs> this is how calendar work, right? Yeah, yeah, this is how calendar works. Lawrence, what, what would you be? Right? Uh, I think it'd be August because I like the letter A. Nice. Uh -huh. But um, <laughs> mine, another prediction of being like real and sad at the same time, I'd just be in the background kind of doing this on a computer. Uh huh, right. right. Oh, Behind is IT bag Burt Reynolds, James. Um. My birthday's in April, so I'd probably have the month of August. Yep, that makes sense. And, uh, yep. and I would, you know, because August is known for its rain. It's yep. rainy August, that's True. what they Vet say. Veterans Day happens when it's raining, It usually. would be me uh, during Veterans Day <laughs> holding an umbrella, but also wearing, like, a small, like, Speedo, mm -hmm. like an yeah. Olympic Speedo, but nice. I'd have the umbrella and it'd be rained on. You're right. Burt Reynolds. Uh, well, unlike all of you, I'm actually going to choose a holiday theme for mine. Gotcha. Oh, August. Oh. Uh, and it's going to be, you've heard of Christmas in July? I have. It's going to be Hanukkah in August. Oh. Ooh. Uh, Hanukkah in August. Uh, Hanukkah in August. 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 24 August. days of Hanukkah. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, I'll be basically on a beach. Mm -hmm. uh, That's nice. Basically. On one of those tan things with the menorah and the reflection. Of the lights in the menorah will be tanning my my Jewish body. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> you got a Jewish like body. And Peak? finally, Matt Peak. July. It's when I was born. Festive theme would be summer. What would your pose be? I don't know. It's not in the question. Are you in a bathing suit? <laughs> yeah, sure. it is in the question. What do each of you pose for? It doesn't say what would your pose be. Oh my gosh. In a, in a, in a, Can we make a calendar <laughs> that that August is that one image, July is that other image, and the rest are just big gray squares? Yeah, yeah. Yes, we can do that. John, make it happen. Uh, Lawrence, next question. Uh. Waka Blocker Blamed uh -huh. asks, what's the biggest thing you guys hate about being related to gaming journalism? And if you don't like the term, what would you guys say you do? I mean, this is a very Lawrence heavy question. Yeah, this is a Lawrence heavy question. Do you I want guess. us to wait for you, Lawrence? Uh, I guess what I hate about it is. It's not. What? <laughs> no, you're good. Go right ahead. I just heard words and then my name. Nah, that prompts me to talk. Uh, what, what I think maybe I would say most of us react negatively to, and myself especially, is that a lot of the people who call themselves games journalists or aspire to the term typically only want to do that because they want to get paid to do something vaguely related to video games. So they don't really care about. Reporting they don't care about understanding and they don't care about informing They just want to write blog posts about video games and get paid for it, which mm -hmm. is fine totally fine But that's not journalism. So it's it's grown to just mean anyone who gets paid to do anything about games Aside from make them which is a, just a confusion of term. That's all but what do we say uh, we do then? Salt returns. You can't throw stuff oh, at yeah, yeah, Don't make it physical. Yeah. Do open house is not a physical place. Adam Unless him in the they're face two one. consenting. Lawrence, you're allowed to throw something back at him. That's Lawrence, the rules of like open house. Oh, oh shit. Oh, careful there. Shane. Yes. Peanuts? Goon. Yeah, that was a good throw. Stain John. Uh huh. Ooh. What would your, it's close. What would your like Bond racist. Girl name be? Bond Girl Ooh. name be? Uh, Pixie Grinder. That's really good. Um, Susanna Moist. Ooh, nice. That's really good too. Janet Wet. 
<laughs> she a nuclear physicist? Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> Dr. Wet, they call her. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be Vaggie Love Hole. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay, what does she do? Subtle. Uh, you know, just answers phones and stuff. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm uh, Lucille Bagbottom. Bag. <laughs> Not sexy, but go on. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No, she's an older one, like Monica Bellucci. But Lucy Bag about them. <laughs> no, I didn't say she's a Also, talent. Monica Bellucci is the name of the actress. Yeah. <laughs> character. What was her character's name? Do you remember? Ex wife. <laughs> she's his ex wife. <laughs> also, Openhauser sounds a lot like Open House. Oh, you mean Oberhauser? What'd I say? Openhauser. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Adam, uh, I'm gonna need you to squeeze these. Uh, I'm Eliza Wax Smoothly, uh, uh -huh. and I'm a professor of That's a brain. You can even say like what's that? It's hyphenated. Matt Peak. Uh, Maxima Climax Kika. Oh, oh, that was really good. Is there, uh, is there a pause in between every time? Yeah, Maxima Climax. That was just uh, my brain works slow, right? Uh, well, no, no, it's fine. I just I like the idea of Daniel Craig having to say the name every time. Yeah. The Lawrence. Yeah. That's yep. everybody, right? That was the best through. answer, and it was the last answer. And it was the last answer. Now you uh, see what I'm saying. You right. figured it out, Matt. No nipples. Nice work, everybody. Nice work, everybody. Yes. Well, this has been your weekly episode all of right, we can all go home. Open Hold House. On. Thanks for joining us today. Go home. Today's yeah. episode has been brought to you by... It is over. So I got like three guys. Office. Uh, Wait a all minute. of us are dying of the Feature black plague. We're in the... Oh, I think oh, James Bond would just kind of wander We're in the Open House post show. Who hated who this episode? All right. How do we feel about that? Okay. Feel good. Right. Feel good. Can you roll that back and let us know exactly how are your legs, on Joel? Far too early. Are your legs okay? I've been working my lap out. <clears throat> Excuse me. The thing is, hey, you, hey, you, that question's for later, buddy. You didn't bring up a chair, so now you're gonna have to commit to that. That has to be your whole thing. I'm aware. Oh, Bruce, what are you gonna do with that shirt when Star Wars comes out and you hate it? I don't know if I hate the movie, I'm gonna throw it away. <coughs> See, he's already getting choked up. Go ahead. Yeah. Let's start the show. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to Open House, where we answer all of your questions every weekend. There's only, there's only six questions that we answer every week. We weekend. answer six questions every week. There only you go. six. Yeah. That's how the show started, and that's how we'll end. We fun, just cancel. Fun fact: Sometimes we'll pick the number of questions that there are people. So if there's six of us, we'll pick six questions. There's harems. We don't, seven don't ever. Of we us, don't we'll ever pick do seven that. questions. We've never done that. If there's eight of us, we'll pick eight questions. See maybe. How, see how thick that is? That was a fun oh, fact. Oh God! Why is that on your that microphone? Was on my mic. On the Hey, first question this week comes from Carlarn DM. What are you gonna do when you reach one million subs? Hashtag all hail fun house. What are we gonna do, Joel? We're gonna play maybe Yu-Gi-Oh! Wait, no, wait, did we, you said we're gonna we do already it for played Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, that, right. that was a much lower promise. That, oh, was the only, that was the only thing that we actually hit. Yeah, uh, I, and I think in retrospect, we never said we were gonna make a video out of it. Oh my gosh. James, should I give you an exclusive clip that you can air today on this show? Lawrence, what do you think we should do? Uh, let's take the whole day off and film it all, and then we append all the videos together, and then it's a seven day long video. That's a great idea. That is a great idea. Matt Peake? And we don't have to work for a week. Matt Peake, what do you think we should do? Uh, be happy and keep doing what we're doing. Hey, I like Back that answer work. a lot. I Back think that's, to work. We're gonna do that. Uh, that's a party animal. I'll tell you the one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna gloat. An achievement hunter's face. Yeah, and we beat them to one million subs. Oh, by the way, they're catching up. What happens if they beat us? They are. They're catching up, and they may overtake us. So we need to actually like hurry up. You know how we um, get people to subscribe to our channel? Open oh. house videos, porn games, not... raw penetration no. pornography. We need to play games with other YouTubers. Yeah, oh. and we need to say at the end of every video, hey, if you like this video, but subscribe. Guys, I have an idea. How about we meet in the middle? How about we form pornography with other YouTubers? Ooh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Just Juice, if you could be Transformers, what vehicles would you guys choose to be? I would be a penny farthing. <laughs> Transform into that. James? I would be a sweet van with flames or some sort of large mural painted on the side. What about Maybe the of a dinosaur. Would you be the 18 van? Yeah, like an 18 van, oh, and then awesome. I would and then I would transform into a dinosaur. That peak? An old Volkswagen Beetle. No one would suspect that. They already had that. That was the one they? of the first Transformers. That was Bumblebee. Bumblebee yeah. No, he was a... Oh, wait, are you talking about, like, way Part back two. in the original? Yeah, yeah. the original Transformers. Before Michael Bay ruined it. <laughs> All right, it's been too long since I saw that one. Ooh, can I be Airwolf? Oh, that's even cooler! A helicopter? What yeah. 80s shows can we transform into? Yeah. Knight Rider! I'll be, I want to be Knight Rider. I want to be my mother the car. Wasn't there some kind of crime-solving boat? I want to be the apartment from Three's Company. 
Uh, the six show. Uh, uh-huh. Let's say you somehow has a fan who's also a famous celebrity. Which celebrity do you think is the most likely to become your fan? Kevin Costner. Easily. He's got great taste. He, uh, really he taste. knows to diversify because he has that machine that separates water and oil. He's good looking. So uh, good looking. He, I, we make a lot of references to Waterworld, and that's his favorite movie that he ever made. Yeah. So he'd probably be in that one. In this, and then he'd watch us. German Chancellor Angela Merkel would be a big fan. We make a lot of German Ooh. jokes. I think she appreciates them. Oh, that's true. That's so, a good one. Can you please? You do understand that I have to visualize some of these fucking things that you're saying, right? Lawrence? Find ways to visualize a penny farthing and now German Chancellor. Who gives a shit? Angela Merkel or whatever you said. Lawrence, what about you? Uh, I I think I think I could attract the hotter brother from the hit TV soap opera Passions. It's been off the air for about ten years, but was I think he's the, around. Was that the little person? No, 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 no. There was a little person who was evil, but uh, no, there were two hot brothers and the main character, F- Chastity? Can't remember her name. Anyway. Matt Pick, who do you think watches us right now? Who do you think is a celebrity that watches us right now? Eva Mendez, because one can dream. She doesn't wow. watch us. She do- Maybe. Think- Hold on. I got it. I know. Oh, James, I'm going to do just your colors. I'm going to put a call out to all the celebrities that are watching us right now, other than Raul Coley. Uh, he probably doesn't watch. He it. probably doesn't watch this yeah, show, he, anyways. He, he's too busy. He knows how. Is there a female celebrity, a female celebrity that watches this show? Hey, hey, James. Tweet uh, us. I got some good news for you. You can Google up Ava Mendez pretty easily. Oh my okay, gosh. Yeah, Next question, Joel. Go so clear. Hurry. Hey, it's Tickler One Hundred and One. Who is the best twerker? I put this in here because we all got to twerk. You ready? No, no, no. It's a typo. Yeah. It's oh. who is the best worker? Oh, it's Matthew. Yeah, Matt Peake is definitely the best worker. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just read it weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes sometimes you gotta be careful when you're typing your questions, otherwise we'll read it wrong and we'll think like you want us to dance in rid- ridiculous and silly ways when you actually want to know who has the best work ethic absolutely. in the office. So be careful when you're typing when we pick your questions. Have, have you hey Matt, show us tail. show us work a little bit. Hey, yeah, 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 show us how you work. Yeah. Have you guys seen how I work? No. Work it. That doesn't make sense. Is that how you work? Yeah. I don't understand. I mean, I, I've seen, I, sometimes I look over and I go, oh, Bruce is working really hard over there. That doesn't seem very productive, oh, though. Yeah. Joel, how do you feel about that picking one oh, chair for this stuff. open house thing? I think Bruce could be working a little bit harder, to be honest. Oh, boy. I can't work that hard. It's a wild call. You got a phone call. Oh, it's who's cool. interrupting the show now? It's Lawnmower Man. Hold on. Hello? 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 Hi, my name is Michael and I'm calling from the dealer processing department regarding your vehicle's warranty. We've sent you a final warranty notice in the mail. Oh, car. Car. I totaled my car. And this is the final. I don't have a car. Thank you for your time. All right. <laughs> was that a robot? I thought it was a robot. It was a real man. No, no, that's a robot. No, he said thank you for your time. Thank you. It was a robot prompt though. How did the robot what? know that he said I didn't have a car? Robots are getting smarter. No way. Yeah, I, think, I, I, I think it's easier to train a man to talk like a robot than to train a robot to sound like a you, man. You can't talk like a robot. Have you, have you seen those videos? I, I challenge you to talk like a robot. Train. I said train, Joel. That requires practice. Years of practice, I think yeah. that, was, probably. that was a man. I think That, that was a man I talking like, like a, a robot man. because he does that all day and he has no soul left. No, that's a robot. Lawrence, good call answering that phone. Yeah, no worries. Go ahead, Lawrence. All, All right, Stom Folk uh, writes, A disgruntled fan has reached a breaking point after the 50, 41st... Why is that word so hard to read? Number. 41st time his question wasn't picked for open house. He is now coming for you. What's your plan of action? What do we do? Uh, we have a stalker that comes in the office. What do we do? Board the place up. I mean, we hold up in here. We've got beer. We've got food. We have tequila. We have video games. We lock the we lock the elevator shaft so that way no one can get down to how low we are. Yeah, sure. Um, I th- I throw Spool out of the room so that the fan uses him in a misery like situation. That's a great breaks idea. Breaks his kneecaps yep. and forces him to answer questions in a wheelchair. That's a fantastic idea. That's so good. We sacrifice Spool. We okay. sacrifice Spool. I'm also going to go out on a limb and say the fan shows up. They're really pissed leading up to it. Lots of threatening phone calls. Lots of threatening. Emails emails and comments, yeah. shows up and is just like, oh, hi. Because that's generally what happens with most really mean fans, where then you actually talk to them and then they don't really have anything to say to your face. If you come to my office and you tell me that you don't like me, I will fuck you up. He's done it before. Yeah, Joel did it this morning and now look at Joel. Bruce, why don't you show us how you can fuck him up? Oh, God. 
Bruce, I can please. Smell that. You shouldn't be able to smell dance moves, but I can smell that. I'm dance really impressed with the stitching on your pants. They come together really nicely. Yeah, that's what I like about it. Uh, Matt Pink. When Bruce locks his butt into Joel's penis. Yeah, it's like it was designed like a puzzle piece. Yeah. It's almost like Bruce's butt has opposable thumbs. Please, like, Matt Pink, read the next one. Pick things up with it. Please. Elroy Shackleford. Hey Funhouse, will you guys ever do Dude Soup Live at the Hollywood Improv again? Also, want to say that I love your videos, keep up the good work. Yes! Never! Yes! James Ritt? Never again! December 11th, oh. we'll be at the Hollywood Improv yet again. It's a Friday night at 10pm. Tickets are on sale right now. We're, we're mainlining, we're headlining. new costume? Yeah. Are you gonna wear another costume? I can, I can go back and then I can finish where I was in Schindler's List. Because I didn't have time to read the whole book in the dressing room. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious yeah. how it ends. This is why you should come to Dude Soup Live on December 11th. I'm Don't be on the outside of the joke. Yeah. Come see us live there, is there at the Hollywood Improv. And if you can't come, please be sure to let us know. Oh my gosh, we'll put a link in the description Thank to buy you. tickets, it even helps. though you don't want to now because also, they blew it. I have another really exciting announcement. What? Can the show be over? No, the show can't be over because this is the most exciting announcement I think we've had probably ever. This is genuinely exciting. It is genuinely exciting. I'm very excited. We have a new member of Funhouse, <gasps> and his name <gasps> is Sean Poole. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh wait, no, no, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Sean Poole's been here a long time. Her name is Elise Willem. What? Joining us starting today. What? Hey, yeah. Bruce, hold on. What? Hold on. What? This is Wait. a very jokey show, so people tend to take this. It's show. not a joke. Uh, are we actually hiring her? We are actually hiring Elise. She's already hired. You hired my wife? Yes, yeah, she's somewhere in the building. I don't know where she is. Yeah, she's here. She's gonna be working for us. She's gonna be in the videos. She's gonna be like in videos. She's, cool. she's gonna be editing videos. Oh, dude. She's gonna she's gonna be at Dude Soup Live. She could be helping you read Schindler's List. Wait, are we gonna You're gonna hire my dog now too. We have to rename. We the hire my dog now too. Yes, we can do that. What do, you, what do you guys think the uh, first comment's gonna be about a female being on a podcast we call the dude that's called Dude Soup? I, I will fuck know. you up. I just don't care. I'm not kidding. Funny name. I'm not joking. Bruce, are you joking? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I will fuck you up. There he goes. Hey, Bruce, how about you show us how you go fuck him up? What are you gonna do that, asshole? You know what I do? <laughs> I get in. Go back there! You guys have giant meat hands. I have the delicate, agile hands of, of an woman? elf, of a gaming woman? elf, of a woman who's able to accurately Joel, place you know my you're a thumb. Male, right? You're male. It's but terrible. Mere micrometers uh, I know that from you each think other. It's also fluid, the only. Hey, welcome back to. <laughs> Hey, your first question this week comes from Fry Stray. Whatever. Whatever. If each of you had your own personal sports game, Tiger Woods, PJ Tour, Mario Tennis. Yes, those are sports games. giving you examples in case Excellent. you don't know what a sports game is. Thank you very much. What would each of your games be called and what would they be like? Oh, wait, can we do something a little bit different? Uh huh. We asked Matt Peek first you what bet. his answer Matt is. Matt Peek. Why? We did that. Ah, uh, he likes that because he gets to think. He gets to think about no. it. Uh, I'm curious what he want, I want his gut reaction. Okay. Peek's Premier League would be a soccer game. Why not? Ooh, that was easy. He did, he did alliteration. Yeah, there. you got alliteration in there and everything. Really good. All right, Joel, why don't you go? Joel's Jialai. It's Highlight. Oh, it yeah, doesn't work so well then, Joel's does it? Mm. Uh, Lawrence? Oh, I'm trying to think of a sport that starts with L. Lacrosse. <laughs> Yeah, lacrosse is stupid. Lasso riding. Lawrence is lasso riding. Uh, James's <laughs> gymnastics challenge. James's uh, gymnastics challenge. Adam. Ooh, I, what's uh, uh, Adam's track and field with drugs? Uh, that actually sounds tracks. pretty cool. Spool's pool house. Spool's pool house. That's, uh, pool wait. house is just a, that's a building, not a sport. I know. It should be spool. Like, and you find the best in, pool houses. It should be it's pool. So it's like a house. Swimming swimming it's, it's a it's a game that's competitive sauna survival. Yeah, it's pool sauna. <laughs> Ooh. How hot can you take winner. it? Mine will be Bruce football. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> like 2016. <laughs> Next question from MI470. If Funhouse, excluding Joel, was in charge of planning Joel's wedding, what would it look like? Oh. Well, wow. our first challenge would be getting Joel out of the planning process. Yeah, that's true. Because he's Bridezilla. Of yeah. idea. There will be no wine. No wine. wine? No wine at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> no throwing in open house. Yeah, yeah. We've talked about this before. Why you will be out of the head. next one. If you throw something again, you're out of the next one. Okay. Joel, no throwing in open house. Why does I always get hit in uh, the head? I'm going to veto Spool here. We're going to have wine and a vomitorium. Yeah. Oh, vomitorium. <laughs> we got to touch me. I'm going to hire a man to wear uh, like goat legs and play a flute. <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> What's that a called? Seder. A seder? Yeah. A seder, yeah. So it's going to be uh, awesome. He's I'm going to get erection. I'm going to get Joel. I'm going to tell him that as a birthday present, I'm going to do a calendar of himself as warrior elves. But what I'm really going to do is body scan him and then have 12 ice sculptures of Joel as warrior elves oh, throughout sweet. his own That's wedding. That's amazing. Each one is a wine cascade. So you pour it into the head and it yes, comes out. Wow. Yes. That's a good one. Cool. Dana won't be too happy about that, but I will. What? So it's not for her. It's your day. Yeah, it doesn't matter what day. But there'll be, no, there'll be no cuffs, so you have to put your mouth up to it to yep. drink it? Yes, you do. Oh, oh. Cool. You, have to, you have to suck, you have to suck, <laughs> you have to suck Joel's little penis. Is it flaccid or am I erect? No, it's really tiny. It's, it's, it's like, it's like a Greek statue where they were like, big dicks are disturbing. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, so they, be, so they made flaccid. them really small. Yeah, it's so flaccid. Mm. It's like a honeysuckle. <laughs> oh, oh, well, man. guys, we did it. We planned the most perfect wedding ever. All right. I, I'm already tearing up just thinking about it. <laughs> uh, next question, James. Uh, rare legendary player. When you guys do play Yu-Gi-Oh, which one of you guys are going to use your Exodia? Nine eleven on ice. That sounds like Joel's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> it says, uh, Spool, if you were to become the CEO of, in quotes of Funhouse, what big changes would you implement to the office? Oh, Spool. Uh, there'd be a lot. There'd be more. There'd be arcades everywhere and like what? Xbox stations hey, no, he, around. He's, he's turning us into G4. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, we Spool. No, we, 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 would, we would just have cameras going 24 7 and we wouldn't actually have to make videos. We would just have that going. So we, would just have, we would just have a channel like where we're just live streaming all day and we just hang out. People watch us piss? It's our, gross. No, not, like, viable not in the bathroom. Of Although we could have the bathroom. It'd be like Big Brother. Ew. Spool, what do we do for, for, for a job? That's it. They watch us. Just be in here and like play games and stuff like we Sounds do every like day. Prison. Also, Spool never comes to work. He takes every day off. Spool, I'm gonna convene I'm actually, an emergency I meeting of the board of directors of Funhouse uh -oh. and get you ousted as CEO of Funhouse immediately. There's no board of directors. I, I want to ask actually. I want to ask Matt Peak what he thinks of this new plan. That sounds fun, but bad bad idea. <laughs> That's so why he's Matt's the head fun? of the board, the chairman of the board. See, Matt but Peek's it is fun. Matt Peak Matt, agrees. Chairman of the board. Matt's, Peek. Yeah, Matt's chairman of the board. I'm I'm all about fun. Can we have swim shorts Fridays, where on yes, certain Fridays granted. of the month we come in wearing swim shorts? Yeah. Granted, and lots of surfboards. Seems like it's easy to do. Can Just I wear my swim wall. trunks on Monday? I'm already prepared. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm a very lenient CEO. I'll let most things fly, except for not fun. So Only if it's not fun, we can't do it. Yes, exactly. I wear these as workout shorts and it's hard. So it's mandatory fun. <laughs> All right. Would you, would you, would you call you yourself the fun police? I only have two pairs of shorts and I work out three times a week, so. Yeah. All those in favor of ousting Spool as CEO, say aye. 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 Hey, you, Vaughn, you put me in that spot. <laughs> no. No, we didn't. Yeah, we put you there. The fans down. did, and that's more important. Oh, my God. Because they give us money. Please read the it's next question. Power has gone to his head. That. Spool, read the next question. He's gone mad. Sky92 asks, how would Funhouse wage this year's war on Christmas? Why would you want a war on Christmas? I'd go, to, I'd go to those little bins that have all the donation toys and just, just pour... I'm holding liquor already. I just pour it in there and then light it on fire. <laughs> I'm holding liquor already. Well, that's implied. Wherever yeah. you yeah. go, you're all And then I just stand there and I keep swigging off my bottle and then anyone who looks at me, I just scream at them. Not even intelligently either, just... Until they move on. That's the worst. That's my war. What's the biggest? So I have a question for you. Yeah. What's the biggest signifier that Christmas time is here? There's a right answer to this. That's when you start hearing Christmas music on the radio. It's the very or end the of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade when Santa Claus comes at the end of the parade. Oh. You're gonna kill Santa Claus? What Santa, Claus oh. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. What I'm gonna do? What does he, he do? In the parade? I'm gonna be <laughs> a lone disgusting. gunman. That's disgusting. In a trench coat. Oh. Ooh. And I'm gonna pull a handgun out of my trench coat. Mm -hmm. Except for the handgun, it's gonna be. It's an eight shooter because it's a menorah. What's it filled with? It's a it's a Hanukkah menorah What's with it filled uh, with with uh, gelt. What? No, with spinning Jewish, discs. Jewish wine. No, it was spinning discs of razor gelt, and it's gonna shoot Santa and slice him into lots of Hanukkah pieces. You want to assassinate Santa Claus? Christmas is it dead. sounds like terrorism. Yeah. It's a war on Christmas. No lives will be spared. Look at him. He's a tough guy. <laughs> Wanted dead or alive. <laughs> he's, he's doing that thing again where he thinks he's looking at the camera, but he's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I don't celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm. As we all know, I celebrate a combination holiday of Kwanzaa and winter solstice. Mm -hmm. That's right, yeah. Um, Hagen. <laughs> so, uh, so I don't really have to worry about a war on anything. What's the name of that? What's the What's the name of it? Yeah, what's yeah. the name of your holiday? Winter solstice. Oh, winter solstice. Yeah, yeah. that good. sounds nice. It's like a warm blanket. Mm -hmm. It involves getting me a lot of presents on Amazon.com. <laughs> Thank you.
Lawrence, really nice question. <laughs> uh, Oxius17 writes, if you could direct your own parody porno, what would you parody? I'd go, I'd go fuck house. It's a parody of us. And it would just be me having sex with all of you guys. But are, okay, Ew. so, but do you at least okay. recast some of us as hot chicks? No, no, you're all okay. you and I'm still, I'm we just fucking We have to play you. ourselves? I'm fucking you and my bottle of liquor's right next to me all well, the time. This doesn't sound like a porn parody. Yeah, it just sounds Well, it's like... a parody because we don't, we don't have sex in real life. Just... It'd be a parody of that. It'd be a parody of our real lives, except oh, we're all having sex all the time. Sodomy. Oh boy, Adam. <sighs> boy, um... <laughs> I've always wanted to remake the film The Girl Next Door, but uh, in all the fake porno parts, we actually do the porno thing. Oh, that's oh, you in that movie? Idea. We call the film The Girl Next Door. The next door. No, the girl next door. girl's back door. The girl's back door. No, that's too The girl's next whore? I would do a parody of One Dollar One Hour called One Dollar One Hour, and Spool has to go find prostitutes that only charge a dollar. For That's an hour. pretty good. That's gross. And then, he, then <laughs> no, if you. he fucks them for an hour, does that a par- it. how is that a parody though? It's a parody. That it's just hilarious. sounds like a whole separate thing. I want to do a porn parody of Rescue Rangers because I want to see Monterey Jack go to town on Gadget. I don't want the likes of these snoops sneaking in here till I'm done. Oh, oh man. Let me go, jeez, and then just destroy her. Later, ladies. First, I'm gonna have a little fun. Oh, <laughs> I think Gadget can take it. Gadget's tough. How would that uh, song go? What? I think Chip and Dale. Uh, how does the Chip and Dale rest? He goes, Chip, 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 Chip and Dale. Dick, 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 dick in your tail. Oh, boy. Let's fuck her rabbit! Oh god! <laughs> I had a crush on Gadget when I was a kid, and this I don't is not good for me. Say mine anymore. <laughs> Matt, Matt Peake, read the no- last one. The notorious PIG one. Yeah. This question is for Bruce only. Mm-hmm. No one else. Lawrence, do you think Battlefront is underwhelming like I do? Bruce, uh, but it says it says it says Lawrence. Shh, shh, shh. Just like picturing him like pulling down that zipper and then her bodysuit comes off. Mm-hmm. And you're like, hey, it's fur, but it's also boobs. Zip it the dick and tail. <laughs> oh, you know, Ron Jeremy could still get work. Mm-hmm. Uh, the good oh, thing yeah. is that Lawrence and I like I, I like Battlefront a lot. We have fun with it. Yeah, I like it. They could use more stuff. I would cast a young Martin Mull as uh, Monterey Jack. All right, I'm stopping. I was gonna use go back to the original animation cells. And then just reanimate them in such a way that it's them so wait, working. Gadget oh, that exists. We can find that right now. The thing is, there's a whole sequence where Gadget, um, she is trying to attract Monterey Jack. I'm stopping. So I'm stopping. I don't want to know. The whole the whole conflict of Batman v Superman in the context of DC is that it's a mortal fighting an immortal, and and that goes back to like Greek legends. And you could say Gods of Egypt could could hearken to that as well, except it's it's obviously just a CG shit show. We watch it every day. We know what it's about. Batman v Superman has some potential thematic hooks that it looked like they were about to dive into. If you were looking to <laughs> Superman based content for uh, depth and uh, and interesting <laughs> right? things. You're gonna miss out because that comic has been around for about a hundred years, and they've yeah. they figured that out like twice. So like, you shouldn't hold your breath for a cinematic franchise. But they get to cherry pick. Welcome to Open House, a show where we talk about DC Plus. stupid movies. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, your first question this week comes from Snuffly Pig. If there was a live feed of the Funhouse office, what is something viewers may be surprised to see about the day-to-day operations of the business? Nobody Norm- uses condoms. <laughs> Normally I work naked. <laughs> How often we go to the bathroom? <laughs> why is that? Wait, why would that be surprising? Because they don't think we go to the bathroom. Because we, we never show it on camera. They think that we're like the cone heads? That we just have like a flat, like, like a flat butt oh. with nothing? We're eunuchs? <laughs> oh, we ain't like the cone heads. Lawrence, Trust you there. Lawrence, what, what, what do you think? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna give the boring actual answer. There's a lot of- there's many hours we're just quietly working, and no hijinks at all. Uh, I mean- hours? I mean, granted, so- Quietly working, maybe? We- 30 seconds of oh, the day. We have this arrangement where, like, one person will be quietly emailing, and another person will be under the desk, and then sexual acts will be going down there, obvi- obviously without a condom. Mm. But, uh, it's under the desk, so, uh, you'd have to get some kind of camera angle that shows that, and it's just not gonna happen. Thanks- thanks to, um, my time in this office, I've seen the Gods of Egypt trailer about 20 times. Your fault, though. You keep, the you're the one that keeps playing it. Fault has a negative connotation. That's my privilege. <laughs> <laughs> Next question from Zebra Shark. Oh, what the fuck? Get that off the TV! <laughs> yeah, Gods of Egypt 21! Before the fury swept over our land. <laughs> Get that off the TV! He used to have two eyes, now he only has one. Blackjack! 
<laughs> I'm gonna go turn this shit off. No, great. You let it play. You are let it play. God, he needs it. Are we gonna see it in theaters? <laughs> I don't want to give it money. The next gosh. question. You motherfuckers. All right, next question from Zebra Shark. Have the other <laughs> Funhouse members noticed how hot Lawrence has become in no, recent weeks? Absolutely. No, absolutely. No, everybody's uh, watching the Gods of Egypt trailer. We, we don't got time. <laughs> He's Lawrence, get that off the monitor! <laughs> Lawrence walks around wearing a toga. Uh, um, he has a shield. Yeah. <laughs> uh, little moccasins. Turn that! Uh, turn that yeah, off! I got to feed you! Oh, baby, turn your monitor! Ooh, that's the director in ten. No. Stop it! Uh, stop! Um, just like the gods of Egypt, I am white. <laughs> no, uh, Lawrence, is, Lawrence has been doing insanity with Matt Peak, and he's uh, he's slimming down. If well, you guys know. actually, no, well, no, well, fuck this question in the nicest way possible. Uh, Lawrence has been getting hotter for years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my I'm not kidding. Like, look, look at classic Inside Gaming. I think I was about 60 pounds heavier uh, and a lot look, nerdier. Look at Lawrence as a baby. Yeah, yeah. He I was, was an ugly baby. No, well, I was I was pretty thin I back then. I was pretty hot baby. <laughs> <laughs> hot baby. Hot baby. Uh, Halo burner. Uh, my girlfriend doesn't like when we watch Funhouse since she thinks you guys are somewhat misogynistic. Mm, I you agree. Please address her about this matter and prove you are all loving of What's all people. Address? There's only there's only one person that can answer this question, Elise. Uh, so this is a serious answer. Um, I think there are a lot of people that attempt to be progressive, but actually, uh, in what they practice, come off as misogynistic. Whereas uh, a lot of these guys. They may make jokes and whatnot, but in practice, they are very encouraging and supportive and progressive guys. Thank you very much for that statement, Hole. Uh, I mean, Elise. And, <laughs> and, uh... I'm surprised you could read. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, they're like kind of like my best friends. Uh, uh, hashtag not my shield. Well, that was embarrassing. Blue STI until E63M asks, Joel, can you tell us about your bar mitzvah? All right, so I'll just tell one. Hold on, hold on. Let me stop you right there. Okay. Matt Peak, can you tell us about Joel's bar mitzvah? No, I wasn't there. <laughs> it's because you didn't respond to my invite. Man. I'm gonna tell you a story that is encompassing of the entire experience. I had a little dance after my bar mitzvah. It was like a little little bar mitzvah dance, and all the kids from my middle school came. Uh, and we were at a little clubhouse at my at my neighborhood clubhouse, and there's a DJ spinning some tunes. And I walked up to a girl in my class at my bar mitzvah dance, and I asked her to dance, and she said no. Are they allowed to at say no? Own bar mitzvah? Yeah, she said she didn't want to dance with me at my own bar mitzvah dance. <laughs> oh, Are they allowed to do that? <laughs> what is it called when a Jew kills himself with his katana? Except a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spool! Read the next question. You can joke, Elise. I'm just there to say stuff. Elise, now that you're part of Funhouse, what is your imitation of Spool? Ooh, oh, awkward. Awkward. I'm looking forward to this one. Don't awesome. hold back. Uh, it's a lot like, I guess, the imitation everybody does. I'm gonna crush your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, why does oh, he always say that? Oh, nice catchphrase. Spool always says <laughs> it. <laughs> it. Disgusting. <laughs> So gross. Yeah. God, but why do you say that all the time? More, it's disgusting. Uh, I would also have accepted Jewicide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least read the next question. Uh, it's from uh, LG Beach Boy. If Ooh. you were the entrepreneurs of a brand new super hip social media platform, what is it and what is it called? This is tough. Hmm. This is a tough one. We got to think of a good name. Wait, do we all? We okay. okay and so, a good so reason. Real quick. MySpace isn't cool anymore. <laughs> Facebook isn't cool anymore. Okay. Twitter's getting lamer. Snapchat's yeah. still the cool thing. Mm -hmm. Instagram's kind of cool. Lasertown. Lasertown mm -hmm. sounds Laser Town like a good word. Okay, it's Laser Town because uh -huh. everybody likes lasers and people live in towns. All right. And it sets you up with. It's like a like a Tinder kind of thing. Okay. But it sets you up with hot anime ladies. Mmm. This is a dating site. So like we're, it's we're, like it's yeah yeah yeah. You don't it's really like, date you anime a ladies. You're not a dating them. site. No no. But like a hologram anime lady like uh, Hatsune Miku. Uh huh. Harajuku. Vocaloids. Oh, that's where the lasers come in. So, so yeah. So like basically, you it's a it's a Vocaloid matchmaking service. So you go to lasertown.com. You look mm -hmm. up. Vocaloid what? anime girls? No, 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 no. You put in your information. Yeah. Okay. Your height, yep. your weight, right. your likes, your lasers. All right. And then uh, within 15 to 20 days, you are matched. They create. 15 they, to 20 they days. They manifest. Yeah. They manifest out of lasers. Yeah. A holographic Vocaloid girl. <laughs> what if you've met? A, so what if? What if you've met a real life girl in between now and oh, yeah. when Good the question. girl who's crafted for your own personal pleasure? Good question. They, is finished. they provide you with a, a physical letter that you can give to the the human girl uh -huh. to let her know that you're ending things in favor of. Good. Uh, well, at least there's a girl. Yeah. That makes sense. Is that social plan. media? 
Because you're not really talking with anyone else. I mean, it's a person. What's the difference? It's it's a, they have rights. No, it's a no one talks to right, anyone on social media, like, by the way. Person. They just hit like and then keep moving. It's yeah. a robot. So, I mean, like, it, if it's sentient, it could be a person. Poke. I got an Can idea. It? Yeah? Okay, it's an app called Gobbler. And you install it on your friend's oh, phones. Oh, oh boy. And then randomly throughout the day, it will wake the screen and display a picture of a mustachioed man going down on another dude. <laughs> what is that? Why is that a social media platform? Because you can share it with you your friends. People. <laughs> yeah, it's imagine, a conversation starter. It's like imagine you're party. you're new to you're, you move to a new town. I'm huh? imagining. Right. And you're like, I don't really know anyone. I, I can't use Laser Town because it's not very cool. I can't use Laser Town. It's not available in this city. Right. And you're like, but I want to meet people. Mm -hmm. So you open up Gobbler, right. and there's a mustachioed <laughs> man going down right. another man. You're like, okay. And now you, you met. Yep. Yep. You social. got it. Talk to the town. <laughs> you're social now. Can I have three million dollars, please? Lawrence, read the next question. All right. Wait, hey Lawrence, quick question. Wait, wait, wait. When Gobbler becomes successful, are you gonna give all your money to charity too? <laughs> <laughs> no. With your anime wife? Nope. Uh, it's gonna all go to my anime wife, which is actually a trust fund for me. Okay. How, <laughs> else, how else do you make it untaxable? Give it to my anime wife. Zuckerberg isn't giving his money to charity. He's setting up an LLC. It's a for-profit company it that is. also does good. It's not charity. No. Lawrence, read the next question. Untaxable uh, though. Thank you. Pope Dope the second writes, "What were your teenage bedrooms like?" Oh shit. What were my teenage bedrooms like? So, uh, I... Okay, so... Wait, so let's, let's, let's start this out right. Yep. You say... You say one thing that was in your teenage bedroom and we'll go around the room. Okay. Oh. Uh... Well, only one thing. Nintendo Power Posters. Elise? Humidifier. Uh, spool? Disney Music Boxes. Joel? <laughs> dozens and dozens of self-created Star Wars Lego ships. Adam? <laughs> Uh, cut out cardboard of Perfect Dark Woman. James? A photo of Mr. Bean. Matt Peak. <laughs> Bamboo blinds. I had shelves of Star Wars models that I built. I built like 40 Ooh, you of them. You two, do we have so, this one room that we all have to live in together, this teenage bedroom, yeah. has two, two shelves things of, of yes. Star Wars junk? Yes. Yeah. Only one photo of Mr. Bean? His is his models that were officially licensed. I glued them together. And Mine stuff. were Legos that I made myself out of by my own imagination. We I say could, my X-wing, the wings would open and close. Oh boy, it was amazing. Wait, when you do this, at least didn't get a say what's in her room. I yes, did. She did. Uh, you were sitting right next to her when she said it. <laughs> why don't you respect? Why don't you respect women? Sean? I was He's looking like, at the I wasn't listening. I was too busy taking a crushing piece. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, and there's, we don't have a, a question for Matt Peak to read. Oh, oh. shit. So oh. Matt Peak, if you'd like to ask us your own question, yeah. go right ahead. It's just good, your chance. Hmm. Well, you've always wanted to ask. Would you always wanted to ask any one of us? How are you guys doing today? Shitty. Kind of tired. Tired. Let's go to hell, Matt. God. <laughs> a humidifier. I can't you that. <laughs> uh, quick question for you, Joel. Matt P. When you made those TIE Fighters, how'd you make them? Uh, they've got the Legos that have the little holes on the side. I'm just gonna, I'm hey, guys. It turns out four, 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 that when you yeah. ask a yeah. studio for like $200 million to make a film, they're not just going to let you do your art piece about gods and and human stop. beings battling. Here's what I'm doing today. I'm a little worried that we're not going to get enough work done. Because you already give them what they want. It's already Batman versus Superman. I'm sorry, guys. I just have to click You stuff. don't need a CG I'm villain in the third act to be a straw man for everybody to find. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Bruce is usually the moderator here, though, so somebody's going to have to call out who to read yeah. what. Who wants it? Uh, you know otherwise order. we won't know. Hey, Elise, I need you to do your Bruce impersonation and intro the show, please. Oh, no, really? Mm-hmm. How do you, how do you, I don't know how he does it. Man, that, that was perfect. perfect. You must have seen every single week, so That's exactly like know. Bruce. Just do it like how it is right, every single go. week that you've seen every episode of. Hi, everybody, it's Bruce Drummond, the Gopin House. Don't take it away. Did you, why'd you point at me? <laughs> I'm gonna rate you um, a D. Is there a rating? Aww. That's more than Bruce could ask for. This <laughs> one's from my Spartan Man. Do you guys have any near those experiences? If yes, what happened? How do you survive? Don't worry, there'll be words on screen so okay. you guys know what was said. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a lot of things that could be considered near death, but since I didn't die, I don't know. Hmm. I fell down a long riverbank twice. Because I fell down once and tried to climb back up and then slipped and fell back oh, down again. That, I'll count that as one. Okay. Uh, I thought you like went back years later to be like, wow, I almost died here. Oh, shit, again! <laughs> I'm back, you son of a bitch! Ah! Revisiting the scene of the crime. I, uh, I crashed my motorcycle going about 65, 70 miles per hour on a highway. And I remember thinking at the time, 
Fuck, I don't have health insurance. Just don't get so injured that I have to go to the hospital. America's uh, a great place. My much more boring one, which you can cut from the show if okay. you, you know, so willing. Yep. Uh Tell that story. Did you come on you like a glove? <laughs> um, we're, we don't have to use this in the episode at all either, but uh, there was. He looks down the barrel. Ugh. Now I flip the fuck out. Anyway. Oh. Nice. That's gun safety Smart one man. one. Does it count? Always point the gun at your face to check out what's wrong. What's with wrong with this gun? <laughs> okay. Does it count uh, if you almost die inside every day? Uh, next question from Loud Noises uh, 11. Uh, you are all Sith Lords. What are your Darth names? I feel like we've answered this question at least four or five times. Probably, Probably 20 now. now, but it's always funny. And also, hey, new Star Wars right around the corner, That's everybody. Yeah. This yeah. comes out hey. like two days before. Yeah. I'm Darth Box Star Office Wars Returns. Themed. Open up. What is it? I'm Darth Box Office Returns. <laughs> Who, actually, so I don't think I'd ever be a Darth. I, so I think Joel would be my emperor, though. So yes. you get to name me. Yes. Much like Sidious named Darth Vader, you get to dub my name, uh, Lord. Yeah, your name um, would be uh, Darth Fabulous. Uh, and you'd wear a robe of crushed velvet. Okay. Uh, and, um, what color's my saber? Uh... So it sparkles. So yeah, it's, like, it's glitter a it, color. It's silver, but it also emits like star sparkles. Okay. Nice. He turns it on, and it's just this fountain of glitter that never stops. Yeah, oh, cool. excellent. Is Darth gender neutral? Can there be a female yes. Darth? Yeah. Yes. Or totally have good. been. Yeah, like I would be Darth Windu. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. It's funny. <laughs> at a lot of levels. Jajabrams, if you're listening, yeah, we got a couple more characters for you to toss into your films. So that in episode eight, Darth <sighs> Phil. Because uh, people are named Phil. Speaking of Jajabrams and Darth names, Yoda the Hobbit. Uh, what would your pod racer look like if you could design one? We're really actually doing Star Wars questions. It's week. all okay, Star Wars. That makes sense. It's Star Wars. Uh, my pod racer would look. I would have two Priuses, are the jets on the pod racer, nice. um, and then the thing, the chariot that I ride, they're connected to, that pulls, mm -hmm. you know, is another Prius, only it's a it's a different color Prius. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yeah, so I wouldn't get the engines confused with the chariot. So it's a Prius-drawn Prius carriage? Yeah, I get I get the most uh, Klaatus per mal Nikto. space gallon. Yeah. Can it float? Uh, of all like, the pod racers. Do they have like special engines on them or anything, or are they just normal Priuses like tied together? I'm pretty sure I just explicitly said what my pod racer was, Spool, <laughs> and if you weren't paying attention, I can't help you. Mine would be a like a little pod that I'd sit in, and then it'd have two Death Stars. Nice. And then wherever the race was taking place, I'd just blow up the planet. <laughs> and then go out of one. <laughs> I and then, like, a, a piece of debris know. that is the finish line this. would drift past, and you're like, I win! Uh, my, my, my other, uh, car no. is a pod racer. You can't do another way, <laughs> Joel. There's, there's seven of us. Uh, mine, mine would look like Mace Windu. Is this <laughs> space? If Mace Windu was a pod racer. It'd be a Lincoln they're, Continental. They're so they're very aerodynamic. <laughs> Wait, is it just his head, or is it his corpse? Or is it, like, Mace Windu, two Mace Windows is pulling you they're like running. a rickshaw. <laughs> and you're whipping them? <laughs> oh boy! Lawrence, come oh, on! He's not. Hold on. He's not I, black. I, look, as he's if, just dark-skinned alien. As if the Jedi have been put through enough. Wait. So you're saying that all black people in the Star Wars universe aren't black people? They're different colored. I'm aliens? saying Mace Windu, whatever <laughs> yeah. his race species may be, mm -hmm. may not have the same history as the African Americans had in our country. So when Lawrence says something about whipping, it might not have the same connection. Oh, there. like maybe for his for his planet, like Steve. whipping is a sign of. Of honor yeah. and respect. Yeah, yeah. That was like as a 13 year old, the, the trials of whiptitude, and you don't become a man Ugh. until wait, that wait. happens. Wait, is Mace Windu Liam Neeson? No! Uh, uh redacted. <laughs> <laughs> right, my uh, my pod racer would be an 1850s steam engine locomotive. And I'd always be out I'd always be out the window with my little hat. Would you have little Greedos shoveling coal for you? Oh uh, no, I'd do that. No, Mace Windus. <laughs> uh with my other hand while I'm like I have my hat out and I'm shoveling the coal really fast. And then the laser comes down and just blows up yep. your planet. Yeah. <laughs> Winner! So they actually, in the Star Wars canon or universe, they never say human or alien, yeah, right? Yeah, they do. Mm. They do? 
Well, according to the Star Wars wiki, Mace Windu is a male human with dark skin. But, ah. Are you on but, Wikipedia? But I'm not, no, I'm on StarWars.Wikipedia. But he's not from Earth. We're on Mace Windu. There is no Earth. It's, it's a galaxy it far Wikipedia. away. I know. Far, far away. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. He's not from Earth, so the history there is it's not true. the same. It just says he's a human. It doesn't next say he's like Just read the next question instead of reading... Oh, it's my turn. Nabs Pro says, If you can go back to the time before technology, what time would you go and what... We, we've already answered this one. And what piece of... Spool, you did a... Great job. I told you, I shared it with all of you, and I told you all to check out the questions. That's what not. time would you go, and what piece of technology from the current time would you bring to show the people from that time? We were talking about this at lunch yesterday, too. I would go all the way back to the time of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and I bring a Prius? The technology I would bring would be a Prius. Yes! No. I would go to um, uh, the, the Norman invasion of England, but I would bring semi-automatic weapons with me and just mow down the knights on their horses. I would bring Sounds a talk like boy to the taping of Home Alone 2 and beat Macaulay Culkin to death with it. <laughs> oh, nice! Well, what, if but, you, what if you bring talk boy to taping of Home Alone 1? But Oh, he wouldn't even know! <laughs> I'm about to show you your future. I was saying, because Home Alone 2, the technology already exists. Yeah, he'd see me coming with it, he's like, Oh, I know, I know what you're doing! <laughs> and then he'd start running. Home Alone 1, I could just creep up on him. Right through the back of the head. I'd, uh, I'd take Joel's Prius to the medieval times. <laughs> the just, restaurant? The yeah, restaurant? Just go. I'm pretty sure he's done that before. Oh, have you? <laughs> no, no, I think I saw my old beater yeah, Honda when we went right. to Medieval Times. Black and white night all the way. Polly Warth wants to know, what is the longest you've gone without sleep and why were you awake for so long? James knows the answer to this one. <laughs> um, you I, know why I don't sleep. Uh, so, answering for Adam, the longest he's gone about without sleep has basically been uh, as long as a convention lasts. <laughs> Because anytime he meets fans, I tell him that he did something awkward to make them really regret meeting him. <laughs> and it haunts him, and then he never sleeps. So I always do this gesture where it's him pulling the covers up to his chest, but just with his eyes wide awake staring at the ceiling because he's thinking about that one thing he might have said to any number of you. I look forward to meeting all of you in a sleep-deprived state. I look forward to him meeting all of you in a sleep-deprived state. <laughs> the longest I've gone without sleep was when I was a college boy. Uh, back in my college boy days, and I worked on I was working on my senior thesis, and I was in my art studio for something like like three three days or something and Now I was an artist. Yeah was Are you painting <laughs> Now you're just a dude in a fez Now you're just a dude in a fez <laughs> Now you're just a dude in a fez Oh Hey Joel I'll never uh, what forget about, uh, I'll never forget it I'm on the set of Home Alone 1. I'm hiding <laughs> in, in, with my talk boy, ready to spook Culkin. Ready to spook Culkin. Ready to spook Culkin. <laughs> Lawrence and Peak, I would assume between the two of you, one of you have stayed up the longest. Uh, not really. I think my record was 48 hours. Any particular reason? Land party. Yeah. My, <laughs> my, mine's probably like three days from like a land party. Actually, I think it was like an Elder Scrolls Online came out. Me and my friends were all waiting for it for years or months or whatever, and then we just... I was in college. Wait, that so was like just... a year ago. Elder Scrolls Online? No, oh, that came out like... Elder or Scrolls not Elder Scrolls, Online. I'm thinking Warhammer Online. That's there we go. Warhammer yeah. Online, that was years and years ago. Oh. Next question. Yeah, Dick Penis God Damn It asks, This question is for James's eyes only. Sorry. All right, I'm Ooh. looking. Got it. All right, okay. Moving on. Mr. Underscore Dildo. Do y'all need some dildos? We already have dildos. We do. They're not really We're dildos. We're drowning in dildos. Do we, the question isn't, do you have them? Well, you got a bunch more. of dildos. Someone already sent us They're dildos. dildos. They're not functional. Those aren't dildos. Also, I... Yeah, listen, I'm making a claim right now. I don't think anyone needs dildos. Yeah. And 50% of us have I mean, Look at this guy. Well, not... Yeah, but the other 50% of the dildos. Now we have to... Now we have to blur that so I'm that this... I'm not blurring that. Right the the video's gonna get age-gated. Why? Why? It's just a piece of rubber. Would I blur a rubber band? Would I blur a rubber band? We also have to get blur age Would I blur a rubber band? Look, when it's blurry, you can't even see what it is. Oh, that's been in Billy's mouth, don't forget. It could be anything. It's Wait, that's gross. what I should oh, be concerned like, about? The yeah. fact that it's been in Billy's mouth? There's a lot of hair and like weird dumb so, yeah, shit so we stuck to this. Uh, so no, we don't need any dildos. Thank you for Thank offering. Thank you for, it's a great offer. R.A.P. Mace Windu. All right, well, this has been Oops. Go Enjoy Star Wars. A really successful How the fuck episode. Did, uh, of... We guarantee you, Bruce will be back next week and we will not be wearing all the same clothes. Not at all. There's no way we could possibly do that. Christmas Christmas
the bells, there go the bells, sweet, sweet bells, there's a dildo. I've never Mary, seen Mary, Harry Mary, Potter, Mary, so I don't know what Christmas Mary, is Mary, like. Merry, merry, merry Christmas. Ding, dong, ding, dong, there's a song. Bells. Merry Christmas. All right, hey, welcome back to another episode of Open House. We answer all your Chris, uh, Christmas-related questions. Oh, it's Christmas been so questions. long since we've recorded an episode of Open House. It's been long enough that we've washed our clothes and reworn them. People get the joke. Sync. They get I'm it. They, yeah, it. they hey, got it. It's like we pre-produced. Anyway, first question is we come from Logitech77. Funhouse Crew, what's your favorite Christmas movie and why? Jingle All the Way is the best Christmas movie of all time. I'll tell you why. Hmm. Because not only is it an awesome Christmas movie, but it also shows you what happens when a middle to upper class white man tries to do the exact same thing as a working class black man. <laughs> the black man goes to jail and the white man gets celebrated as a hero. Yep. I, I like the that. Passion of the Christ. <laughs> Is that Christmas movie? Which is more violent, Jingle All the Way or Passion of the Christ? Jingle of the Christ. Ooh, I'd watch that. <laughs> um, I don't really care for Christmas, so I like Blank Check, because it proves that as an adult, you can just buy whatever you want for yourself when you can afford it. Celebrate Christmas whenever you want. But he's a kid. Oh. Hmm? I'm a kid every day, Spool. I got a giant uh, trampoline in my backyard or whatever that movie was about. <laughs> I don't like Christmas movies. They're full of lies. Uh, Which... Nightmare Before Christmas is my favorite. That's though. not it's a, a Halloween Christmas movie. movie. It's a Shut Halloween up! No, it's a Thanksgiving it's, movie. It's a no, Halloween it's movie. Halloween. It's a Thanksgiving movie. <laughs> they came out and said it's a Halloween movie. 90% of the movie takes place after Halloween. It gets you ready for Christmas. So you watch it at Halloween uh. time. It gets you ready for it. Yeah. Let's listen to those lyrics. This is Halloween. This is that's not, there's not, not Christmas. Christmas. Not Christmas. Not Christmas. Not Christmas. Not Christmas. 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 Making Christmas. Making Christmas. Making Christmas. If you watch it at Christmas, it's too late. Half the movie is wasted <laughs> on you. Mine's Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Those, all those classic animated ones. Mm -hmm. Those movies are garbage. You're you, garbage. You, hey, what Pete, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Good answer. Die Hard because it's family tradition. Oh. I knew he picked a good one. Oh. Nice. Oh, that's good. Pete's good. Pete's good. Uh, next question from Partial Error. Uh, what Christmas presents would you get each other? Um, I like it that it's theoretical. Yeah. That's <laughs> would good. you? That's what I'm saying. You can get anything you want. Oh, anything. I mean, I'm not oh. partial air. I want to I wanna get a present for Lawrence. Okay. Yeah, I want to get him a car that cannot ever be totaled. Oh, oh. Anyway, the whatsoever. dream! And a I tank? want his insurance to be paid for for the next 20 years. Oh, wow. man. I think that would be a good present. That would be very kind. Very nice. I would get Matt Peak Die Hard on Blu-ray. <laughs> And then also set up a screening so you could watch it in a movie theater on Christmas Day. Or nice. in, in Century City, in, 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 Nakatomi, Nakatomi, in Nakatomi Plaza. Plaza. Oh, that'd be awesome. Wow. I would get Elise one day's reprieve from the voice that tells her she's no good at anything. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what if the voice is sitting right It's gone. You? It's gone. I don't get to see it this Christmas. <laughs> 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 who are you going to give? Who did you have an idea for? I was First it was Joel. Mm -hmm. I was going to get him a full... Whatever, however many piece orchestra, so he could sing numbers in f full effect whenever he wanted to. <laughs> and, uh, what is that? Uh, that's his <laughs> he's, he's, he's hyperventilating. <laughs> and, then, and then Elise took the idea I was gonna get Adam a vacation, so he could go anywhere Aww. he wants on Christmas and Thank not you. have to deal with Christmas. Oh, that's a good gift. All right, Thank we'll you. go with well, that one. Bruce gets nothing. On that oh. <laughs> Farik, if you were the hero in a point-and-click adventure game, what two items would you combine to save the day? Uh, I was fake Eric, by the way. Yeah, I'm not out there. For Reek. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough, though. It's tough. There's a lot of, fake it's fake Eric. Eric. A lot of it's letters right. and when stuff. When it's all lowercase, it's hard it's to good. read. It's hard to Joel, read. Joel, I'm letters. with you. It's a jumble. Thank you. It's Thank a jumble. You. Thank you very much. Uh, what two items? Um, a bucket of water and... Uh, a newspaper that had the front page headline with JFK's ass assassination. Specific. So you could do papier mache. Wait, is it because if you pour water and destroy the newspaper, then he never was assassinated? He never exists. Mm. That's how rules work. I would combine Jean Claude Van Damme with a submarine mm. to save the day. Mm. Uh, I would combine an oversized cucumber and Die Hard on mm. Blu ray. I would combine Silly Putty and the same newspaper that James used <gasps> to peel off the truth from the newspaper. That's not how it works, but okay. All right, save the day. Thanks, fool. Adam? <laughs> I can't talk about it. Right. He, he, he doesn't know how silly <laughs> It doesn't remove it. He just would... copies it. <laughs> <laughs> now you just have two images of JFK being assassinated. I would, I know. I would um, take the silly putty that peeled off the truth from the newspaper and combine it with a small wooden box that I would then present to Jackie Kennedy, his widow, 
<laughs> to save the day. To save the day. <laughs> She'd want to remember this. Yeah. It's I know you're going through a hard time right now, but yeah, um, yeah. I thought you might want this. But you could stretch hey, it out and make his face look good. <laughs> Thoughts? So you're like, I'm JFK. <laughs> Mine's dumb. Potassium and magnesium or whatever Ooh. Kirk uses to defeat the Gorn. But how do you give Oops. that to Jackie Kennedy? Yeah. How does that make her cry? Okay. Know. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. This is from Tark1121, or one point. Yeah, it's a weird name, but uh, if you guys had to be scientists, what kind of science each one of you is interested in? What? If you, you guys had to be scientists, scientists. which scientists? Science. Which Exclamation! Yes. Which if you guys had to be scientists! Uh, End yeah. of sentence. Uh, the only true science, astronomy. Looking at the sky, tells you what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. I would choose the only true science, phrenology. Hmm. Which the shape is of the skull. Science. You can interpret uh, personality traits based on the bumps and stretches of people's skulls. Mm -hmm. Whether you're a criminal or not. Need that caliper. So I might be. That's be? why I have I big be hair. I an anthropologist Ooh. and study oh, yeah. humans nice. from the past. Uh. Yeah. He's got the bulging um, occipital bun of a budding adventurer. He's good. He checks out. I would be a geologist so I could study the Earth's core and tectonic tectonic, tectonic plates and uh, move to Pompeii and live among the ash mm. people. <laughs> that was a jump there. I'm not sure. <laughs> Are Sorry, you naughty. Paul Giamatti? Are you inspired by Paul Giamatti? I am. I'm I'm one of the naughty Giamattis. That's what he calls his <laughs> geology team. That's true. It makes him dance. Make those seismic waves for me, baby. Um, I want to be the sexy scientist from Transformers 1, proving that... Megan Fox? No, the, oh. the, the Australian. Mark Wahlberg? Uh, that's the one. I'd be a naturalist. I'm not sure if that's a broad term or not, but, you know, study of the world's natural processes and stuff that lives in it. You know, you take off all your clothes, walk around naked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that too. Uh, Loper5 asks, if you had to create an STD, what would it do and how would it be given? Well, it'd be mm. sexually transmitted. Absolutely. Well, well sort of. It's an STD. I'm mm -hmm. a southern boy, and I think that the STD would inspire you with shame, and you would get it as soon as you stand on the same carpet as somebody else of the opposite sex. Damn. There's no sex there. That's just standing. Yeah. Well, you're already sinning in the eyes of the Lord, you son of a bitch. By masturbating. You masturbate, and that's how you get it. <gasps> so you have to be... If you shake hands with that person that has it, and then you masturbate. Yes, exactly. So ah. you do this, mm -hmm. and then you masturbate, then you now have it? Is yeah. that how you get it? Yeah. What that's are its so effects? True. What does so it do? It's hand um, it makes your penis fall off. Ooh. Or your vagina go out, outverted. Oh, Ugh. prolapse. <laughs> uh, wait. So, so penises become vaginas and vaginas become penises? So you just swap genders. Right. It works out. How terrifying. <laughs> um, mine would be an STD that shortens your refractory period. Oh, that's good. It's because it's trying to duplicate itself. Oh. It's a virus and it's actually thinking like, hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right. Okay. Um, and then it ultimately kills your brain. Um, everyone's STDs always really purely focus on the genitals. My STD is... Well, mine didn't, but whatever, Joel. <laughs> Look, at least he's not throwing something. <laughs> Joel's learning. <laughs> Go ahead, hey, Joel. Hey, Lawrence, can you see Joel staring at you in the camera? I assumed he was. Joel thought he was staring at him. Matt Peake, what's your STD? Aww. Oh, mine Joel. would be... It would cure you from all sicknesses and diseases, so it's one you want to get. Oh, so would, oh, it's like hunt for it. Like you're like you're just having sex with as many people as you can to uh -huh. try and can find you, the yeah. the golden disease. Like, okay, you get three types of AIDS. Because I'll find it? the cure. Aha. It's a race for the taste of very cool STDs. <laughs> <laughs> My imaginary STD would make everyone else feel as awkward and uncomfortable as I do at all times, Ooh. and it would be transferred with by a sweaty handshake. Sweaty, <laughs> well, weak, geez. limp. That handshake. already happens. When you when you clam up somebody's hand, they're like, eh. <laughs> it's it's immediate. So you'll come join me in my new society. Well, Shake off. Look, it'll be okay. We're on the same carpet, so. Mobster five eight nine. Besides squats, what other exercises can you recommend in order to become cool? That, I mean, that's a trick question. Yeah. This is definitely squats a... is number one, but oh. I guess besides squats, yeah. Um, handstand push-ups. Oh. People respect the handstand push-upper. What about uh, a kickflip pretending you have a skateboard, but you don't actually? That's good too. Yeah, yeah. Cool. pretty cool. Uh, rollerblading. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> good for your your cords. Uh, whoa, 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 careful there, cool guy. Look how hey, fit you are. He's getting a workout cool. and getting cool. Lawrence, yeah. I forgot. I'm going to a club later. Do you want to come? I think I do. Okay. I think I do. Oh, sure, You're going to pay for my drinks, right? Of course you are. Yeah. I'm just there to say stuff. Ask what holiday festivities would the cult of Peak have? Ah, oh, tell us. Do we drink and be merry, or do we be somber and be upset that, we're ha uh, that we got through another year? 
How do we treat this special holiday, sir? Yeah, when person. the family's all together, we're we're sitting down in the living room. How do each of us, Matt, celebrate your your cult of peace? I don't know, man. I have nothing to do with this cult, so I'm not the one to ask. <laughs> uh, but if it was, it Just would like be Jesus. To celebrate. Humble. Celebrate good times at Christmas with family and friends, and uh, yeah. But what should, like, what should we sacrifice though yeah. in your name? Yeah. Who should we sacrifice in your yeah. name? Yeah. What's their name? Give us a name. Who do you want me to kill? What are we killing? <laughs> is it Spool? Let's kill Spool. You want you what, still want to kill Spool? Maybe that'll make Matt happy. Is it, Lawrence, did the Lord tell you that? Slaves uh, become masters, and sure. masters become slaves. As much but plum berry juice as you can drink. Who he is. Mm. Judas. <laughs> you guys can cut. You guys can cut. James. Oh, thanks, Bruce, for having me. Uh, is this um, a talk show. Yeah, it is. Oh. Um, so basically, what I did mm -hmm. is I spent a little time mm -hmm. and I went through and I try and pick some of my favorite open house moments what to about represent the, everything. What about the community? They helped you too, right? So I asked the community for help. <laughs> uh oh. And what I got was mostly just people shouting out, "I like when I like when Lawrence <laughs> smiles." Or I we like, all like this. That. Yeah. Uh, I like that time Bruce farted. I like and I was that like, too. I have no idea where that is because we've done like 50 episodes of Open House. <laughs> um, but there were a couple moments that stood out to me. All right. And uh, and so I, with the community's help, made a list of some of my favorite questions, <laughs> our favorite questions from throughout the year. Okay. Next question from Kevin's McGurgan. You are now Batman villains. What are your names, gimmicks, and backstories? I. Oh boy. It didn't start with an if, so I picked it. Uh, uh, <laughs> you're in, so, what are your names, gimmicks, and backstories? I will be the glass eye. Mm. And my superpower is that I can see for hundreds of miles and I also have x ray vision. What does it have to do with you, Bruce Green? What? No, he just wants to be a villain. Names, just gimmicks, and the backstories. Villains. So I can see for hundreds of miles, I have x-ray vision, and I usually camp out my van next to schools. <laughs> Joel, so you can read the blackboard. What kind of villain? So I can read the blackboard I, and see I what they're one. writing and learn. I, I, that inspires me. Okay. I would be the candy man. Uh -huh. My parents uh -huh. never loved me enough, so I try to find love through other children. Right. So I get inside my van. Uh-huh. And? And I wait outside, usually, uh... Outside um, school. You well, guys are well, no, 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 no. quite a duo. Private <laughs> team name. Candy man and the glass eye. Oh, no, we're always at odds. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Joel, do you have one? Yeah, I would be the free dong fighter. Um, okay. Dong fighter? Yeah, free you dog. you have a trench coat, you go to parks, <laughs> oh, <laughs> and you free your dong. <laughs> did I? Did, were you gonna say all that and you I ruined it, it for you? It. James, I'm, James. Yeah. And James, um, what would you be? I'd be the glitch. I ruined Batman's computer games. It's yeah, hot in yeah. here. Oh. I'm hot. Team Rectum. So this is uh, at a time in my life when I was making jokes about uh, pedophilia. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of your thing. That was my thing. That's what I used to do all the time, mm -hmm. and now I don't do it. We do that thing where we, uh, one of us will lead off with a joke, uh -huh. and we usually, this is called improv, by the way. Yeah. John knows a thing about it. Da, 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 da. Shut up, John! Yeah, she canceled it. Anyway, uh, so I think a lot of people always ask, like, oh, how do you write your jokes? They, that's yeah. What you see is what you get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not that funny. You just follow Bruce's lead once he starts talking about pedophilia, oh, um, sex offenders. I, th I, th I think when I'm dead, long, you know, may maybe not long for now. Who knows? I think I'll forever be remembered for bars and tone for adding that, that I love little. That joke. I'm. It's. I love I'm, that bars and tone. Yeah. Too. I think. I think that's my contribution to Funhouse. That What's the next one? Fun. Uh, the next one is a different point in Bruce's comedic life. Oh no. <laughs> Why are these all about me? Is your friend I'm not funny. Where this is kind of a tread too. Bruce describes things that in his mind are cool. No, no, I never thought this was cool. Oh but, yeah. But exactly utterly is, I uncool. Was cool. I never utterly was uncool. Cool. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Uh, Alright, next question from I'm not going to prison. Game oh. Boy. FPHXT. Hey guys, prom's coming for this year. I want to show my girlfriend the time of her life. Any suggestions? Go down on her. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Joel! <laughs> We're supposed to sh put stuff in here that we can use. You can use that! Alright, I'll give you a suggestion. First of all, get your dad's 99 Mustang. <laughs> It's a That's a good year. You're it's assuming a, a lot right Hold now. Hold on a minute. I have to <laughs> wrestle more of this plan. Okay. Get your dad's 99 Mustang. Learn how to drive a stick because you don't know how to drive a stick. Learn how to drive a stick. Then drive the Mustang to her house. Take her to Burger King. Then you take her to the prom. Boom. You might 
kiss her at the end of Did it. Did you go to Burger King for your prom? No. A 1998 Mustang. Yeah. Well, then why are you, why are you that was this a, kid who in 2015 is going to a prom yeah, to get a 99? Because it's the that's coolest old, car in the world. That's an old no, beater. 98 Mustang is not the coolest that's car a beater. in the world by far. <laughs> My oh, school didn't have a prom. Oh, really? Yeah. What did you do? They had a... Oh. That's racist. <laughs> Accurate. Racist. We should see how much we can bleep out. Oh man. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. I'm with Joel. Go down up. <laughs> Alright, so what did you say when you bleeped it? I'm oh, really well, curious. I don't you remember. You don't remember what I, I, I said? I do not remember. What do you remember what he said? I, I for some reason I thought it was something racist, because we rarely bleep anything. Well, what did you say? I mean it kind of was. Say it out loud. I said I said they had a <laughs> Oh. oh, that's it? Yeah. We don't even bleep that anymore. That's pretty funny, actually. Well, I bleep things that are- it's funnier with the bleep. Yeah, that's Because true. then that's you think funny. about it. Oh. Yeah. Keep people guessing. Yeah. But wow. anyway, I like- I like diving into Bruce's psyche. <laughs> Taking his Mustang. But Bruce sometimes reminds me of the, um, when he- when he gets into, like, kind of the- the Bruce character when he takes it to a thousand. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of the- it's like the older brother or cousin Rico from Napoleon Dynamite. Uncle uh, yeah, Rico, yeah. He's like, man, when I was young, I was so cool. Yeah, yeah. For the record, uh, I wasn't taking it to a thousand. That's exactly what I did for my prom. <laughs> that's why it's funny! And I never thought it was cool. Oh, it's okay. Oh, that's and then nice. Joel was actually good advice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey. The next one is, uh, just an example of probably the most important trend that happened this year, I'd say, across the whole channel. Okay, okay. Um, and it was us kind of, you know, we like to merge media sometimes. We do, it's true. So uh, we got to t t explore something we're a little bit more interested in. William, if you were JFK, how would you have handled the Cuban Missile Crisis? Better. It's kind of deep inside I think that the is the Game of Thrones question. Game of Thrones! Hey, hey, So, uh, if I were Jon Snow, and mm -hmm. I had trouble with the Night's Watch... Yeah. You would invite Fidel over. I'd invite Fidel... You just gotta hash it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think the Cuban Missile Crisis is, is a parallel... Game of Thrones. For Game of Thrones, Thrones exactly. and, and how they dealt with the wildlings. Yeah, they could have, you know what they could have done? Just took a, a little a Bruce Bolton, uh... Bruce, Bo a Bruce yeah, Bolton? Yeah. No, you, you throw your own red wedding, but you call it the white wedding. You get a bunch of dudes over. Billy, uh, Billy Idol? Billy what? Idol no, no, you're just, there's gonna be jizz everywhere. White wedding, you ever been to a white party? Are we party? talking about the Cuban Missile Crisis or Game of Thrones? I huh? thought we were talking about Cuban Missile Crisis, but you through the lens of Game of Thrones. The like whole lens of Game of Thrones? God damn it. So, uh, so yeah, there... <laughs> The only thing I could focus on was the camera in the background that eventually got stolen. The only thing, oh, oh yeah. wow, I forgot about that. The only thing I could focus on was Marjorie Terrell. Oh, Man, is she hot. So there are a lot of, I made a lot of different intros for the Game of Thrones question of the week, but I think that was my favorite, mm -hmm. just because I, like, the colors in it, the colors in it were good, mm -hmm. and I did, like, a little effect with the camera. It's nice to a lot of work to, into it. You put some freedom into the editing. I yeah, like you know, there were some times where we just used, um, what's-his-face getting his eyes gouged out, <laughs> oh, yeah. Joel dancing at E3, but I think that one wins for the best. Um, well, so we have a date. April. Oh yeah, for Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones yeah. coming back, is that when we bring it back? So you better start asking your questions of the week. I was gonna say, we're gonna have to start prepping for the, for the premiere of the season, prepping so April for... may be too far. We might want to, you know, how you would like to rewatch the last season of a television so like show before January, it comes back. Maybe? So maybe like January first. First, okay, all right. Start asking, start asking about Game of Thrones. Acting. I'm just there to say stuff. Elise, now that you're part of Fun House, what is your imitation of Spool? Ooh, oh, awkward. That's awkward. I'm looking forward to this one. Don't hold back. Uh, it's a lot like, I guess, the imitation everybody does. I'm gonna crush your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Why does he always say that? Oh, this catchphrase. Who always says it? <laughs> Disgusting. So gross. Yeah. God, Spool, why do you say that all the time? More, it's disgusting. Uh, I would also have accepted Jewicide. <laughs> <laughs> so my favorite thing about that is how Joel made it about him. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so that was one of Elise's first videos, and that's when I knew she was a perfect fit. Wait, you didn't know before you hired her? You took know. a pretty big gamble then if you didn't know. Ooh. Um, right, so the next one. This one says gay bar on it. The right. next one, yeah. It's funny because um, we are not dealing with it, but it's from the from the open house, our first gay bar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but um, the question was about our children's show, and if Funhouse had a children's Why show. Why do we always talk about children? I gotta stop. They asked us, and so we just answered honestly. And I think this one we were actually pretty pretty conservative and normal about a children's show. Meme wanker. Uh -huh. What would the Funhouse children's TV show look like? Do we 
we have uh, children's mascots that we have in the uh, TV show? Nope. Remember, like, Pee Wee had a, a television that talked, mm-hmm. and he had. Um, um, oh, yeah. Oh, it's, a huge, it's a giant double sided dildo. Okay. It's like, hi, you kids! Yeah. But it's Welcome to the Swedish Gay Night that's Club! Not a children's I'm just show. trying to fly that, away. We what? That's not a children's show. We can't do that. Well, they say, all right, first of all, who are we to decide what's wrong for children? Pee Wee had a, a television. Right, but people say, "Oh, don't let kids watch too much TV." So uh, we could have a dildo, and people like, "Oh, well, you shouldn't use dildos on kids." But we don't know that maybe that's not as bad as. Are you going to include all of this in the show? I probably, I probably just said to use dildos on kids. Booty, 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 dildos everywhere. (laughs) I'm starting to when once you start stacking these. Back to back, yeah. you start to see, really, really break down what you've accomplished. And yeah, going back to that thing I was saying earlier about how I'm gonna die one day. Yeah. That will exist forever. Yeah. I want to run for president at some point. Yeah. Um, if your platform is let's fuck children, you might have a shot. Next question comes from Gloop Town. How can I recover from video game exhaustion? It's been almost a year now. I find it very difficult to start a new video game, especially story-driven games. Has this ever happened to you, especially since you work in the industry? I got this one. Okay. Uh-huh. Cargo shorts, ska band t-shirts. Oh yeah, that'll get you. Uh, You'll you be ready be to go video games play video games. Hey right Dan, away. did you hear Real Big Fish is playing down the road? Yeah, I would l- rather do anything other than huh, go to that huh, concert. Huh, huh, so huh, instead, huh, I'm gonna stay huh, home and play video games. <laughs> what are you doing? That is then, not how to skank. That is not how to skank. You want to skank? Wow, that's real cool. <laughs> I always thought you. I always oh, thought people. Oh, Scott's terrible. Walk, walk their legs. I always thought. It's all like. Oh, I'm thinking of that too. Yeah. Bruce makes fun of me for tap dancing, and look at this. Look at this idiocy. Get it up. Get 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 up. It just looks like someone trying to do the Charleston, which yeah. isn't cool, and then failing at that. Hey, the Charleston is super cool. <laughs> Let's see it, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's more gay? Skank or the child? I can't tell the difference at this point. You could do that at a real Big Fish concert and no one will notice. Because no one's there. <laughs> so yeah, listen to ska music and then you'll want to play video games real quick. I, so I think what happens is sometimes we'll have discussions in the office before we record. We, we're probably talking about ska music at some point, right? Well, there's yeah, also, I think there's also a question that talked about like what yeah. I used to wear in high school. Yeah, that was so that goes back to Bruce's idea. Okay. Cool. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I never thought this was Ska cool. band t-shirts, cargo shorts, and being Billy Zane. Oh Man. boy, yeah. This this show is just basically becoming like a worst of Bruce. That's what it is. No, it's not. I would not, not say worst of. It's sad. best this of. Is so sad. This is best of stuff. Oh man. Uh, so yeah, I love I love Scott dancing, especially when it leads to Joel looking like the a Charleston? scarecrow. He's so good at it. I don't know how his joints just are like jelly joints. How does he do that? They move all around. He's really good. Yeah. Next one. All right, so Fud Judd, uh, that's a hell of a name. He, uh, he says, Spool's always uh, irking to be in open house, so this one's for him. If the Funhouse crew were animals, what would everyone be? <laughs> this one's for him. It's Should we here. answer for Spool? Because he's <laughs> not here. Let's let Spool answer. <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome to... No, fuck. Hey, guys, welcome to the Spool Show. This is me answering your questions here on Q&A. <laughs> <laughs> the show. This is my new Q&A. Coming out. Oh, yeah. Hmm, if the Funhouse crew were animals, I would say that Lawrence is an owl, because he's wise. James is a monkey. Definitely, definitely like a chimp. I would say Bruce is... a skunk. Bruce is a skunk. Adam is a buffalo. No, mm. Thanks for watching The Spool Show. See you next week. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, um, so the Spool Shows, I'm a big fan of the Spool Show. And it's yet again a children's show. Yeah. We're always talking about children. Yeah. Dude. Well, it's, it's a demo. It's our demographic, I think. No. Well, no? That, no. Well, the image you use of him, too, would definitely appear on, like, a sex offender's website. <laughs> <laughs> it really was, like, I a found the shot. absolute worst photo of Spool. Like, it wasn't a photo. The fan drew it. Oh, that's found, why. They, they, what they like used this? was, yeah. like, him liking a horrible, horrible face. Um, but uh, hopefully more spool show in okay. the future. Is All this right. the best one? The so last one? And so these aren't best. These aren't worst oh, to best okay. or anything. But then this this last one stood out to me as just a big moment in across all of open house. It really is. 
T Liger uh, asks in a one v one arm wrestle tournament between Funhouse and Achievement Hunter, who would you pit against whom, and would Funhouse win? Oh boy! Seriously, pound for pound, Funhouse is stronger than Achievement. Well, that's Hunter. no yeah. doubt. I think I, everybody already knew that. Yeah. No doubt. Okay. I'm probably the wait spool. You and I look at look at spool goal. Spool goes to the gym. I know, spool but, goes to the gym. But I did arm wrestle spool a couple weeks ago and I beat him, which Ooh. was surprising. That's because you're better than me. Hold on, wait. That's not legit because I was not present. <laughs> Let's for that. do it, spool. All right. And it was arm wrestle. It was arm wrestle. Arm wrestle. The arm angle wrestle. was like this. Oh, the angle, yeah. Oh, it's an angle. Oh, okay. Oh, we have a card table too. We don't need a card table. We're using the stool. I'm still gonna lay this. I'll hold it. Okay, I'll hold it. So you, you guys watch out here. All right, you good? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. When I pull my hands away, you go. Yeah. Ready? Oh my gosh! Look at him go! Holy shit! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! That was an endurance match. All right, other arm. Let's go. We're good here, Bruce. We're good. Card table. Bruce, we're good. You want the card table? All right. Shit. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh, hey, let's go! <laughs> right, oh Spool's gonna win. Oh, let's go! Spool's oh, gonna win. Oh, oh, Achievement Hunter, something, something. Third arm! Whatever, we're stronger. Yeah, we're stronger. <laughs> I, just, I just think that is a perfect metaphor for what we do. Because someone asked us a question about our rivalry with a whole different group of people, and then we started infighting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're like, well, I'll show you! Well, it's because it's we're uh, so confident. We know we'd beat Achievement Hunter. Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely, well, absolutely. I was, I remember I was out for MCN London for that one I missed. I actually enjoyed watching that one on the road, and I remember laughing hysterically. Who'd you think was gonna win, Joel or Spool? I thought Spool's going to win. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, Spool is left-handed. Yeah. Spool's left-handed. Well, That's why we had to do it so, both ways. Um, Joel goes to the gym. We just never see him. Mm -hmm. He's got a uh, he's got a personal trainer with Lockjaw. Yeah, Federico. Yeah. <laughs> Go do it, Troll. Yeah. So he goes in the morning. So, but I always see Spool at the gym. So I just just from based on what I see personally, yeah. I thought Spool's going to win. Yeah. Well, so. he did. He won his dominant hand, and mm -hmm. then Joel won his dominant hand. Yeah. Why didn't you guys do a third match? We were going to. That was the third. That one. Joel was trying to pull out his penis. Do the third oh, okay. Arm was going to be the penis one. Just yeah, have sex at that point. Sometimes I like to remove the context. <laughs> well, thanks again for watching all year. Yeah, we appreciate it. How, yeah, many, yeah. how many open houses have we done? Uh, Do you know, what are we at? I think like fifty something, or uh, maybe forty, high forties. I don't know. Good job. This one's hey. number one hundred. I don't know. Sure. Hey, hey, nice. hey, we did it. Why are we clapping for ourselves? Thanks, everybody. We, we don't need thanks, to clap everybody. for ourselves. They watch. Hey. Why are we clapping for ourselves? Thanks, everybody. Fantastic news. I believe this episode, it is, is airing on the <laughs> air. <laughs> I tried! <laughs> 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 Un fucking believable! <laughs>